Thank you. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck indeed. Luck. We switch rooms. All right. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. We are going live for 12 hours as part of Operation Credence Muddy Water. Operation Jungle Run Part 2, uh, where we are starting off flying a slick with Ghost Rider Don of the 195th Assault Helicopter Company and a great friend of ours at uh, Savage Game Design and RT Columbia. And I am really, really excited for this. It's going to be a long mission. It's 6 a.m. We are starting bright and early. Zero viewers in the chat, which is totally understandable. There's one viewer. Somebody hopped in. And uh, it is morning. We're going to spend some time getting ready here, getting started. And uh, this is going to be a chill a chill start to things. So just uh, hang out, and we're, we're going to get things ready. Might be an hour before we start. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I will mark that in post. Hey, Harry. I'll mark your uh, time stamps in post. You're welcome to hang out for the whole thing or uh, or not. We are doing this to benefit charity. You can uh, uh, look at the details of that down at the uh, in the description below. Um, we are doing this in cooperation with military veteran gamers uh, and Lieutenant Colonel Dick Thompson in order to uh, benefit veteran welfare and mental health. And uh, that's a really important cause to us here. So um, I hear a million people talking to once. All right, let's turn this back up on my, channel. my with Ghost. Hey, Ghost Rider, there you are. Yeah, I'm here. All okay. right, awesome. I'm going to get my uh, chicken plate and everything set up here. I didn't see if we had a uh, an assigned call sign or not. I, I So I was just assuming we'd go with Ghost Rider. I hear everybody at once. What the hell? I, I'm just going to deafen team speak. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Harry. I know what's going around right now. Don, do you think as a as a pilot, should I, st I should probably take an M16? I've taken an XM. Yeah. Shorter. Yeah, there you go. Right, I'm gonna take I'll take the, the short variant. Good idea. Where would you keep an M16 if you're a pilot? You just like tuck it up beside the seat. Is there a little rifle rack yeah. in there? Uh, well, my personal preference, I would. You want something small, wouldn't you? So either an XM or I don't know Thompson, perhaps. But that might be a bit exotic. <laughs> you know what I mean? But then you could trade for it, couldn't you? Uh, on the fifties, we had a, a rifle for oh, each. I forgot to ask the talk. Into the, um, what they would do, spots. Sam, is they would uh, put it between the uh, armor plate that uh, is on the left side uh, by the the pilot door. Okay. Or on the right side, <laughs> and it would just go in there between <laughs> between that armor plate and their uh, shoulder. Okay. Okay. Roger that. That's that's good to know. Yeah. And uh, they, you know, put the butt down, the barrel up. Okay, so that it, it kind of sounds similar to. Uh, well, if it's in between the door, maybe not. But they have rifle racks and like ground vehicles too that are, you know you just put them in there was there a specific like uh attached like a i don't know i i'm still waking up uh or like a rack for it or was it no. uh, they just set it in there so oh, they, they could just, grab it if they needed yeah, it. yeah they just tucked it in there okay yeah um not all of them carried one okay uh uh most of them just carried their uh, 38 pistol, but 
Okay. Uh, you know, some of the guys were a little more macho and wanted to get in on the act. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, shoot out the window. But Okay. That's what they, I, I would... Uh, it would be cool if our guys in the OV-10 could do that. I know that they used to do that in Cessnas sometimes as Coveys, Covey pilots would shoot out the window with their um, yeah, rifles. I didn't, yeah, they, I didn't know they couldn't do it in the OV-10. Well, maybe they could. I don't know. I, uh, I just, the, of course, uh, the OV-10 cockpit's had so a little much different. firepower that, uh, you know, they might just carry it but never shoot it. Sure, sure. No, I'm looking over there, and yeah, we were, myself and Dra, who's going to be piloting um, the OV-10 with Rob today, we were experimenting All with right, it. I'm going to go, Spooky. And it's got uh, definitely a lot of firepower, like four M60s Copy and Willy Pete rockets. And so it should be interesting to, to see that thing in operation. I'm so excited for this. Oh, hell yeah, Thank ice buddy. Roadkill, do we have call signs? No, uh, take one. I'm probably going to go with Eagle because my community that uh, on a Sunday is Eagle flight, so I'll probably just okay. go with Eagle. I'm guessing we'll be Eagle, Ghost Rider, and Green Hornet then. Yeah, that's nice oh. and simple, isn't it? And they're, and, they're not, and they're, they're distinctively different. Guys, just letting you know, I'm, I'm not running a radio at all today because it, I just find it too much with the streaming stuff as well. Yeah, so I the Spooky's going to do it all. Okay, no problem. It's, it's just, it's just, it melts my mind roadkill every time. It's information yeah. overload, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I, I, that's where I start struggling then. It exhausts me as well. Well, trying to make, manage your stream on it on your own as well as trying to yeah. play the game as well. But yeah, and the radio, you know, especially if you've got two channels on the radio, that's just there. Uh, that's a uh, that's headache, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but if, it, if the shit is the fan, I can always jump on the planes radio. Yeah. You're going to be up oh, in no, the no, uh, the C-47? Empty if you want yeah, to. You unless I get radio, shot Just listen to it, don't yeah. use it. And then that means it's still broadcast to your stream as well, so you get that added benefit, especially if a profile is called or anything. True. Should I get a fucking... Uh... You just get a normal radio, and you can just always put, it up, put the volume really low. Yeah, so true. You, so it long range. So it just, yeah, so it doesn't annoy yeah. you too much. There's a tropical long range. It's called the Tropical R RTO. I'm just using the in-game... Uh... The in slick a radio. And NT, you yep. might want to wear the same vest me, Ice, and uh, Donna wearing because this will save your life. That's got a plate in the front. Has it? Yeah. Does it it's, do it's, it's, is that it's the armored? Is it the vest aircrew? Yeah. It's, it's a it's got chicken, chicken play in the front of it. So if you take a shot to the chest, uh, you can survive. You can, uh, Good morning, Miller. How's it going, brother? I tested this a long while ago, but you could take a couple of pistols. Really appreciate seeing you around so much, man. It's, it's fun to hang with you. It saved my life a few times when I've been here. Track IR, and, damn uh, it. Didn't, well, if you aren't wearing one, it's usually one hitting you down, but you know what I mean? From small arms, at least you yeah, might. There's my hey, dyslexia I... profile. Yes, sir. Uh, right. Yeah, hopefully, we won't have to deal with small arms. The Alpha 2 uh, will be fine. Downloads. Do you have right a little somewhere. time to help him? Yeah, yeah. Let me hear. What, um, uh, what channel? Give me just one sec. Hey guys, I'm gonna help uh, six, you guys in the stream here. I'm gonna put us on standby for a sec. I'm gonna help uh, Don's grandson Ryan get set up here. But don't worry, we'll be back very shortly. Alpha watch, Rob's engaging the Earl's on now. All right. When we get up there, full auto. Get rid of some of that ammo. <laughs> I want I want to shoot everything. Alright, drivers down in that uh Euro up ahead. We're gonna have friendlies off to our front left on the road. Contact front, get online, get online. Oh, 
All right, Alpha, let's move. Let's go. Alpha's moving across the road. This is Alpha, LOD, LOD. Over. I need our right flank covered by red. Need red on my right, guys. I don't want us to crossfire each other. On your right. Got a couple helicopters front. Contact in the field. Contact in the field. Let's get to the tree line. Alpha, we are in contact, assaulting through. What the hell was that? You guys good? Left side, left side. Cover it. Red, you guys watch front into the field. You good? Self aid, self aid. Enemy down, enemy down. We're good. I think uh, Jinx might need a medic to my right here. Is, there, is that a machine gun to our right? Was it Jinx or Strange? Get up by that. Get up. Uh, just go prone and cover this open field there. There's that fucking. Uh, There's that bunker. It's to our right. You guys see it? West? Strange will catch up. Let's keep moving. I'm right behind you. Contact left side, left side. Reloading. Is the bunker still hostile? Yes. Alpha, we've reached the bunker. Stand by, don't go in yet. Stand by, stand by. Good so far. Fire in the hole. Smudge, can you check our, uh, keep our left flank covered? I'm going to put some more frags through here. Nobody go in the bunker yet. Fire in the hole. What the hell was that? Uh, I'm on the ground. I'm on the ground. Uh, okay, we're good. We're good. Holy fuck. Uh, you want me to light up yeah, light up that fucking hip. Let it go, let it go. It's fine. We also did a, a AC-47 21 gun salute. For Chuck's benefit. Wow. They like shooting the miniguns. <laughs> oh, that's what I, that's what I was hearing? Yeah.
Yeah, he did two bursts with the miniguns. I'm going to nice. call it the uh, 21 gun salute. Excellent. That's uh, probably a lot more than, well, 21 guns. How many, How many barrels is on a minigun? Six barrels? Six, six barrels on each minigun. So six times, that's... Well, how many, is there a fourth minigun on there, or is it just nope, the three? That's, that's just the three. So it's the 18 gun salute. <laughs> yeah. Well, with a burst on there, that's that's more than 21 rounds. Yeah, <laughs> that's like the, the, you know, probably several hundred round gun salute. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, but uh, the, the ghost on, on the nose has my name in it. Does it say spooky? It does. Nice. Is that going to be your call sign, spooky, when you're up in that thing? Probably. Nice. And then when we're in the Cobra, it'll be Green Hornet. Green Hornet. Okay, cool. Yeah. Exciting. You could always be Puff Magic Dragon. Puff the Magic Dragon. I mean, there you go. That, that was the uh, the affectionate uh, term for us when from the ground guys, but the, uh, the actual aircraft designator call sign was... Or... Code name was Spooky. One of my favorite call sign, scenes. Call signs changed every month, though. Great uh, square remover, yeah. Spooky. Too bad we ain't got a 105 on it. Right. One of my favorite scenes from uh, Transformers, the first one, is where they're in Cotter and they're in the desert. Oh yeah. And he's he's calling in the the uh, AC-130. He goes, Spooky three two, use 105 shells. Bring the rain. <laughs> and then. Yep. The two A-10s just fly over him. That was a Michael Bay moment. <laughs> oh, yeah. At the beginning of the movie, there was a MH-53 that uh, was a Decepticon destroying all the uh, CB-22s. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. All of us that were on the 53s that were being retired, we were cheering because the 53 <laughs> was killing the 22s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, that, that movie was a little over the top, but it was a fun one. Uh, it yeah, always I mean, makes me uh, quite unbelievable the fact is there's a one you can manage to fit a 105 on an aircraft and fire it while you're in the air. You know, to oh me, God, <laughs> yeah. shake the when, airframe to pieces. When, <laughs> oh, definitely when you fire the 105 howitzer out of the C-130, the tail tail kicks uh, out, so you you get a like a left hand yaw every time the 105 hits. Damn. How many 105s did they mount on this? Because is it one or two, or is it? A it's 105. It's the no, I meant it, how many how many guns? Oh, just one. Just it, one okay. The U model gunship that I worked on had a twenty five millimeter Gatling cannon just uh, aft of the forward cargo door that you uh, load in uh, with, and then in the back, in the parachute door, was a one five howitzer, and then just forward of that was a forty millimeter Bofors. Is it, I think it's on the C one thirty, or might be on the uh, the gunship AC one thirty gunships as well. That. Uh... They started putting um, Hellfires on the wingtips, didn't they? Yeah, the uh, the J model, the, the current J model, which is effectively now been uh, codenamed as the Ghost Rider gunship. So there you go, Don. Uh, really? Another legacy, yeah. That's the, uh, awesome. The, the 4th Special Operations Squadron uh, for current operations used, uh, we were, we were named the uh, Ghost Riders. And we flew the Spooky 2 gunship, the U-model gunship. And so the J-model has been na named the Ghost Rider gunship and to name it after us. Wow. wow. From chat, spooky. That's uh, awesome. John says, tell Spooky. I think you cut out there. I think it's because of the radio. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, I gotta jump on the freak weapon, here. Uh... Yeah, I see that, Antti. Loud and clear, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not, I don't have the radio yet. I gotta get the short range one. 500, that's what we're on is air coordination? Yeah, yeah. 500 for air, and then... Oh, we're already have... set. There we go. Well, you have you have to set all of your other channels. Because I do? You have to change to those channels for close air. Oh. I was only saying on air because do we need to be on Covey? I don't know we do, do we? No, uh, for the short, according to the document it says for short range we have to swap over to the short range frequency to talk to the ground yeah, think... element that calls us in. Short range then. So you have to change all of your different short ranges to each individual short range.
It's... What were you going to say, Don? That's awesome, uh, Miller, that you got your shoes. Yeah, Spooky, I was just trying to help uh, uh, Ryan uh, in Discord, so uh, I and I accidentally hit the control button. Oh, okay. Is he getting in okay? Yeah, he didn't know which slot to take, so uh, oh, okay. I just had him get under Digby. Okay, cool. Yeah, I could look. Let me look and see in the roster where he's at. I think he's part of the Long Ranger Reconnaissance Patrol. He is, uh, yeah, he should be under the LERP, so slashing Talon 6'9". He is the, well, he's currently the 2IC, but I don't know if he's comfortable with that or not, but there's an open Grenadier slot as well. Oh, here's a fun fact about the 4th Air Commando Squadron. They were the first ones to fly the AC-47, and they always tasked four to be available for MACB SOG operations in Vietnam at all times. Really? Yep. So uh, I was I was told about the, an instance where they had two uh, raining down uh, fire into the jungle in Laos. Two at, at once. once. How would you even coordinate that? Would you just have them both they're, on either on side the of the... Yeah, they're on either side of an orbit, and they're just laying down <laughs> a V of tracer fire into the jungle. You just look up, and you see the other gunship across from you, and just wave at the dude, give him the thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the thing that uh, with with the Arma one is the gunner has a little bit of control about where the, where the weapons are. But yeah. the real way of life one, the weapons are in a fixed position and the pilot looking at the left side has the trigger to fire them. The gunners are just making sure the belts yeah. are uh, are good to go and the weapons aren't jamming. And then the loadmaster is actually standing in the parachute door, dropping illumination flares. Yeah, yeah. I think that's similar with the, uh, the other gunship models it did too, right? They have like a little sight piece or something for the... Pilot, yeah. does this one have the sight piece at all? No, Arma 3 version does not. Okay, well, we can just pretend that this is some crazy special rigged up version that we made for, yeah. for our unit. Yeah this, <laughs> yeah, this is like the super, super secret AC 47. Yeah, with, with the rudimentary night vision on the gunner. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh. Night vision, I think it. I, I think the gunner scope has rudimentary night vision, it's not like the best, but it's rudimentary. Yeah. Wow, nice. Uh, uh, and then, as far as the U model gunship, to the left of the pilot, there's an F-16 HUD. What? Uh, yeah, so if the sensors fail, they can lock the guns at zero, zero, zero elevation, zero azimuth, lock them in place, and then the pilot can still fire them, or tell, the pilot can line up the shot and tell the gunner to fire them manually. Oh, okay. So that's, that's the same as some of those old... Uh... Old, uh, sorry. Uh, there, there's certainly some infighting, some tension going on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wonder what's going on over there. I think it's the, I think it's the the rub one. Guess oh yeah. They don't yeah. like their call sign of rub well, one. <laughs> they don't like it. You gotta own it, man. That's history. The Scandi recon, so they have a thing anyway, don't they, about themselves, and so. Uh. uh he must be testing stuff for chat. Nice. This is this is the most chill start to a uh, mission that we've had yet. We're just hanging out with all the aviation yeah. people. I don't know where everybody else is. You Should know we know where everybody else their, is? They're probably getting their butt cheeks shot off. You know Sorry, what we're couldn't, couldn't delete them out of the inventory, so that's awesome. We need some uh, chairs, some uh, some parasols, and some beer. Well. I well, just got in... team killed by one of my team members. Oh, oh no. We haven't even got out oh. there yet. Where are you uh, located? Uh, I think it was FOB 3. I'm gonna have to get a TP back. There was no, uh, there was no reason. I'll fly reason. you in. Uh, I'm looking for FOB 3 at the moment. Mark, we'll go out there, I believe the... I believe over at the OV-10 might be um, uh, one of the... I think, is, is Whiplash or uh, Dolly 
the uh, game master for this because yeah, they are. There's, there's five. Might be able to just send them a poke. Yeah, send them a poke on on Teamspeak, and they should be able to get you think, taken care I of there. Look like. I think the Quebec is the uh, the Zeus for the Sog guys. Okay. But uh, there might be a Zeus over at the OB10. So for everybody in the chat, sure. there is three or four different ground elements out there doing separate missions. We have a LERP team, a SEALs sure. element, a PBR um, detachment of some kind. I don't know exactly what that would be called. A platoon or something. So a, uh, also in true Air Force fashion, there's a, a car over there for us on the other side of the AC-47. <laughs> That's right, because we don't walk anywhere. Yeah. And uh, there's a SOG team as Dom's well. Dom's going to laugh at me for that joke. And all the call signs are historically accurate. You were issued two feet. Use them. I think probably also uh, Dolly looked for the most offensive ones he could find, which is great. Of course, I see you could probably make that joke at me too. I'm sorry. I, I was I was talking about something with the chat. What'd you say? <laughs> I was saying in true Air Force fashion, there's a car over there for us to use. And Don and you can probably make the joke of smacking me and say, you've got two feet, use them. <laughs> March or die. No, in the army, we steal a Jeep, paint it yellow, and use it. <laughs> there you go. We stole a couple Jeeps in the last uh, the last mission last night that I was in. <laughs> we were there. Were some guys drove up in a Jeep, and we just hopped in it and drove off with it. We probably shouldn't have done that, but I, I tuned into Dreams uh, stream last night because Don was on the door, so I was saying hi via Dreams chat. That's bad when you're dreaming about the mission already. Hell, that was all last night for me. I couldn't stop thinking about Arma. I don't know why. I even got up at like 3 in the morning to talk to uh, Dennis about ideas that I had for something. <laughs> <laughs> I was just spending way too much time. But Well, I, I was worried because about it, the, the, that, that gunship model is a little bit buggy uh where it like you can taxi at uh, 15 clicks uh like 15 kilometers an hour and it's mm. wobbly all over the ground well that'll make things more interesting yeah out of the 15 practice landings and takeoffs that i did last night there was only one where uh, i took off without any damage after taxiing oh my god oh, wow. <laughs> just because of that wobble well, we should get maintenance on that. Getting, getting balanced to go with tires. Yeah, the, the tire pressure is tires. off. Tire pressure is off and weight and balance is off. We packed too much beer and flares in the back end, I think. You got to do that to uh, the gunship takeoff, like like Don's always describing, where you dismount everybody but the, the pilots and then they run alongside <laughs> the aircraft and... But you got to run up those stairs while it's moving without falling off, without a railing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I got, I got to take a piss again, so I'll be back. Good luck. Don't fall. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. You know the saying, if you're an American in the living room, what are you in the bathroom? European. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. There's I'll be here all week. That. Yes, there is. Well, Ice, it looks like Ryan got accepted right into Digby's team, and he's uh, helping him uh, arsenal up and going to join. So that's well, all well and good. That's, that's good for... For Ryan because uh, he's pretty much doing what we usually do on Sundays with that team. Yeah. Yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah, they're good people over there too. Yeah, it was a little bit chaotic yesterday, but that Friday night fight thing is a 
interesting way to go. Yeah. I saw you uh, shooting at some of the uh, the hel enemy helicopters last night. Yeah, oh, you watch the SL-8 Dreams yeah. uh, game? Yeah, I got some hits on it, but I couldn't bring it down, and he shot us down twice. Well, he hit us with a missile once and blew us up and shot us down, and the rest of the time we just had severe damage. Okay, so we just got two... They're, they're requesting all transport pilots to call in on AirNet. Okay, I better actually grab a radio then. I've been sitting on my own for too long without a radio. Prepare to have your ears hit. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, any station, any much. station, this is Ghost Rider radio check. Ghost Rider, get your 5 by 5 help me. Get them radios. Got you loud and clear. Is that Covey? Today? You know it. Oh, I've always got stories. Roger, got you same, Covey. Be at the right time. Yeah. Ghost Rider, this is Falcon. Falcon, Ghost Rider, got you loud and clear. How me? It is. Roger, I have you 5x5. Five five. I have no copy on Covey. Copy relay. Over. Roger, I copy. You have... Uh, no copy on Covey, and we'll relay any traffic for you. Unlimited ammo as well. Roger, out. Shot down. There's a whole gaggle fuck over at the OB-10 already. Now, who's uh, that? Gill, are you on the set? Over. I don't know. Loud and clear. But there's a scarlet red beret. I'm wondering if he's a combat controller. Where are these civs running know. around? Are these like CIA guys? Probably. C could be. Could be uh, one of the Finnish guys if he's got a red beret on. Oh, it could be Finnish. Because they I'm what's, the, what's the event I did? They, they were all wearing red berets, and I was playing uh, Prince Raspberry Beret behind the back, laughing at them. <laughs> I also know that 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 beret color is used by the Air Force Combat Controllers. I'm gonna go Colin try and find Hendricks. our slick uh, Don. Could well be. Good oh, and there it is. <laughs> well, we gotta we gotta get our oh, Ghost Rider right. colors on there. Nice. Yeah, slick. yeah. Are we stealing one today? That says United States Army. Yeah, but that's not the right camouflage. Let's see here. Can we... Oh, yeah, yeah. We got this. There we go. There you go. Already looking there you good. Go. Don's playing. Don's playing. Don's chopper. Let me get my yep. window right. So I'm listed as a uh, co-pilot, but uh, am I going to be a gunner or a co-pilot? I think we'll probably just jump between. Uh, you just do whatever you want. If if the guys want to be on the guns while they're riding and you're okay with that, then that's fine with me. Or if you want to be on the gun or if you want to be a co-pilot seat, whatever you want to do, Don. This is your aircraft. Don's chopper. I think Don, uh, it's your bird. He's just a taxi driver. Yep. Good old 256. Tell you what, must have just come out of maintenance because it looks like hell. <laughs> needs, a good, needs, a good, needs a good wax job. A good wax job. Yeah, that 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 uh, slick in that photo, that famous photo you done, looks so clean. It looks just uh, pristine. It's clearly taken good care of. That's just... Yeah, I had, uh, me and another pilot had our parents send us turtle wax from the States in our care packages, and okay. we waxed our helicopters. You waxed? So that's why they look shiny like that. I bet you, I bet you we could talk to the the vehicle team and get them to adjust it to look shiny and clean. <laughs> Remind me to do that. I'll I'll ask him about it because yeah, they they love stuff this, like that. This one looks just uh, do a new reskin of it and call it the VIP Ghost Rider. <laughs> oh, we got a we got a gentleman coming over. 
Right, guys. Uh, Ali would like our presence over there because we he wants the pilots just to run the general briefing, so we have an understanding of the battle plan. You got it. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Uh, he said that. Uh, well, I uh, he asked. Uh, Rob asked me what call sign I was going. I was going with Eagle. He said we were probably going to have Eagle one, two, and three for any transports, but uh, obviously we can deviate from that if we need to. No harm in having the other call signs. It's a bit more unique. Yeah. yeah. Skins as well. Yeah. Fake to Alaska. Yeah. Have we got um, Gay Rocket here? Yeah, I'm here. And Fall back. have we got Fall back. Uh, yeah. the other one? Yes. <laughs> uh, do, do you mean uh, Rob Fall One? Back. Yeah, Rob One's here. Lovely. So we've got all commanders um, just waiting for Rob to work out what's going on. He's just doing some coordination with a veteran interview, and then he will be over to brief you as to what's going on. Uh, Rob 1, I'm going to get you to relay the information to your pilots as to what they need to do initially. Okay. Um, yes, it's going to be interesting. I mean, it's, it's gonna be fun after 10 hours, we'll all be giggling at our, uh, Why am I in the middle signs. of a circle here? There we go. This is a Ghost Rider, <laughs> ready to check on, uh, air coordination net. I know this. <laughs> yeah. Why am I doing Ghost Rider on air Thanks. A special boy. When I'm not one of you. Suffering from success. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Roger. Rally up. Return to uh, yeah, whiff, I hear you. Rally up. Group. Everyone is... Fat fucking tiger. It's just... No. Um, Oh, what the hell? What the, yeah. what the fuck? Uh, Got a tiger over there. Let's go play with it. Is that the mascot? <laughs> yeah, the end of that's the gonna end. That's well. Tony over there. We probably should have checked it and then reorganizing it, but there we are. So, so yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to reach oh, out to see if he can rearrange his time schedule because. Uh, Ante, ride that tiger. Ante, ride it. His name's Private Miller. <laughs> yeah, he'll come there. He'll, he'll Private Miller. Started, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, That's for you, Miller. Whip flash role playing as the tiger. That's amazing. The board. At least he seems. That is amazing. Wow, I've never seen anything like that in Arma. Whoa! What is with the giant snake? Oh no! Who? Why would you shoot a tiger? You fucking yeah. animal! Well, the mascot la oh, lasts a total of about five seconds. Edge is about to be eaten. Wait, wait, wait. I guess I'm a gay ra rocket. It should be. Ooh, what's the deal? All right, guys. Wait, uh, <laughs> wait. Heads up. I'm gonna do a brief, a bit of a command briefing. Is this just the command here? Uh, all the uh, team leaders. Command and pilots. Yep, could be. Roger. Everyone, hear me? Okay. Am I clipping or buzzing or anything on my mic? No. Got it good so far. Yeah. You're all good. You're I'm always buzzing. buzzing yeah, I'm no, buzzing. No, it's going to be a good op today. So, uh, <laughs> it should be fantastic. Uh, I just heard we've 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 gone over four grand. Is that right? Now? Six point so... five k actually. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Keep an eye on it, yeah. Somebody just dumped seven fifty. Virus wow. John in chat, uh, keeping an eye on it for us, and he's also oh, donated fantastic. fifty dollars as That's well. That's fantastic. So is everybody ready for a great op? Yay! Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, That's the plan. Alcohol, right? Absolutely. Right. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to be at this for 12 hours today. So just remember on the net, try and keep the comms down to like almost like one or two words. Uh, you know, what the fuck? How are you getting loads of uh, regroup? Oh, that regroup shit. Uh, it's probably the huge ass snake or the tiger. No, what, saying it's regroup? coming from me apparently. Yeah. Okay, nice. <laughs> just do an all stop. And that, that should be good. Oh, oh what the? Oh, oh God. I, I don't even want to know. Can't they not play snake. with guns? <laughs> all right, all right, break, break. Keep the comms down, keep the comms down, guys. So everyone, everyone who's a team leader, just do an all stop, and then that should stop any spam. All right. Oh, we've got MPs by the tent now, so you can't dick around. So you'll get, you'll get carted off. Right, so we're good. We're good to go. Um, so what I'm going to do is just give you a quick briefing um, about what's happening. Uh, before we do that, are there, is there anybody having any problems or trouble that needs uh, someone to take them aside and help fix or anything? Scully will do that. Move up slowly. No, we all no you're all good. good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> In unison. 
Oh my god, it drives me nuts, this thing. It All right. does. Armor, it's just fucking armor. Do you know what, we could turn the radio off, but that probably wouldn't work. Okay, right, so, we basically have, if you go to your maps, we have um, a dual mission today. We have two objectives. First objective is Objective Bronson, which is a prisoner of war, uh, somewhere in the northwest around the Vakanga and, uh, and Van Chu area. Now, that area we know has heavy NVA um, anti-aircraft, which can be resupplied and refitted. So if we if we take it out, it can still uh, come back. Um, the pla uh, the other objective is Objective Flynn, which is to the east around Halong Bay Navy Base. Um, objective Flynn is a journalist who has been um, dicking around in the north um, and got himself caught. So our objectives today, two objectives, one is to get prisoners of war, unknown quantity, uh, Objective Bronson, and return to uh, play coup. And second is Objective Flynn, journalist, um, single man, uh, civilian, and bring back to, um, uh, to um, play coup airbase. So any questions on the objectives? I, I have a Gold question. Get into... Falcon. Yeah, go ahead. Um, is there a bouncy on this journalist's head? Balkan, Ghost Rider, right right I'm in the middle of a briefing right now. Do we, do we, do we, uh, when we go to Australia, what's, what's no, the deal? It, it, You're it in the US Army, you're a fucking mercenary. It is, it is Sean oh. Flynn. It's, it's Errol Flynn's son, um, and he is wealthy, and, and he has a lot of um, blowing hookers at his gaff in That's Saigon. That's what I'm getting so, at, Digby. It's yeah. the hookers and blow. Yep, so if, yeah. you, if, you, if you bring him back, he's a legendary character in SOG history, and uh, we need to bring him back uh, safe, uh, and then take, he'll take us out on, uh, to, to, uh, on the town in Saigon and introduce us to all of his... Uh, Black Ops uh, hookers that he knows. Fucking fantastic. That's actually a real thing. I'll tell you more about it one time. So, um, <laughs> I'd the like other to thing know is, more. there's an AA net uh, covering uh, Halong Bay as well, uh, which is well supplied and will come back online when we've nuked it. So, here we go then. So, that's, that's, the, that's the objective. So, the resources we have, we've got the USS Falcon, uh, USS Freedom down in, in the Gulf of Tonkin to the south. Um, and Rub One is going to start. Uh, we also have the uh, the Falcon uh, full sign F4 uh, to support us. Um, we have um, air we air assets. We've got basically uh, Eagle are going to be call signs for transport today. Um, so um, all all transports will be Eagle One, Two, Three, Four. Just just decide between yourselves what, which one you're going to be. Road kills Eagle One. Ready. We're Covey uh, controlling the air. And then we also have uh, call sign Spooky, which is going to be either a Cobra or an AC-47, depending on what we need. Um, and then we have Artillery, which is call sign Sunray, which is our, which is on our command net. Uh, the the, the uh, Artillery um, has done range checks and can achieve um, uh, accurate fire at any point around the, uh, the uh, AOs that we're dealing with. Now, we also have PBRs. Uh, two PBRs are based at... Uh, I've marked Gay Rocket, which is the um, Gay Rocket PVR base. Um, for patrol boat Riverines um, will be able to transport. Uh, my plan is to send the SEALs, which is Rob, uh, Team Rob 1, um, with the PBRs uh, through the Perfume River, past Hue, uh, out into the Halong Bay, and to move up and, and, uh, and scout out uh, Rob, the area around Objective Flynn. Rob, yep. Interdiction. Remember, you can undersling them. We can undersling them. Okay, yeah. Oh. So, you can undersling the PBRs, right, 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 so you right. can take them closer. What? Okay, oh. so what we'll do is we'll have, we'll have um, eagles uh, in the CH-46 um, taking the PBRs up to the Halong Bay area and dropping them in the bay somewhere so they can they can proceed up uh, the coast to do some recon. Nice. The um, what we're going to send the um, the Lerps, uh, which is slashing Talon, to um, LZ. Uh, T Talon 1, so well, Talon LZ1, I'm going to use that, that, that way of saying it today, uh, to the east of um, Objective Bronson area to, to try to locate the AAA. Uh, and we're going to put the SOG team um, uh, into Alaska LZ1, because that's uh, full time baked Alaska. And their, their job is to come in from the southwest and try to scout out and get visual on the um, hey Joe, Objective I'm Bronson. Eagle 2. That's going to be slick. my plan. That's as far as it goes. I'm very happy for ground commanders to to work out their own uh, needs uh, based on what they see when they're when they're down on the ground. I don't want to try and micromanage you guys today. 
That's fine. Uh, are you, uh, so for Rob 1, I, I got kind of confused. There is our mission now changed or our insertion way changed now? Or are we still with the boats at the start? Okay, so you guys, I think, um, are spawning on the carrier. So what mm -hmm. we want to do is we want to get you guys picked up um, and we want to get you uh, up to the boat um, and then have the... Oh, actually, yeah, well, we could... it depends where we drop the boat. So this is where I kind of take a step back and you guys as ground as, as ground team leaders, we you know what the objectives are. So I want you guys to basically request what you need to get your parts of the task done okay i'm not going to tell you what you're doing you tell me what you need and i'll coordinate okay so our, our, if we're going to objective bronson uh yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna think about how we want to insert there absolutely yeah and that, that's what i'd prefer is I'd, I'd, I'd like my ground team leaders to basically run their teams and run their objectives and i will basically supply you with what you need and give direction where needed Okay, coordinations uh, need I'm probably going to ask for a little bit more specific, like tasking, like so that I can better understand what I what I want to do to help out that task. Yeah. So are you um are you rub one? Uh, yeah, I'm actual. Rub one. Yeah. Okay. So basically, what you're going to need to do is you need to get your team into the objective uh, Flynn area to visual recon AAA, um, dispose of it, and then and then uh, secure objective uh, find objective Flynn, secure him, and bring him out. So you can do that however you like. So I, you know, I would suggest that we we get the, uh, you know, you request transport for the PBRs, uh, which we can get dropped wherever you want them. So you decide where you're going to put them, and then you get your team dropped there, and then basically rally with the boats and move up uh, in the water. Yeah. Uh, so the PBRs are going with us to Objective Flynn. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'll uh, I'll let you know what I come up with. Yeah. So if you come up with a with a landing zone for yourself, where you're gonna where you're gonna put yourselves in, and then basically how you're gonna recon the area to try and spot the AA and uh, have it have it taken out for you, uh, and also try to locate objective within. So you're gonna need. I have some brought sort of... Jackson Birch over here now. So hello, the pilots are here. Hey. Oh, they missed the briefing. Yeah, I have told them that they're gonna be under slinging. Roger. Uh, I'll 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 let them know if yeah. Those are the my. Uh, pilots, I'll, I'll let them know specifically what I what I want when I come up with it. <laughs> yeah, so you so I'll, we'll be coordinating all the air assets uh, via um, via Covey, uh, but on the uh, the air frequency, we'll be uh, dealing with all the all the comms between any aircraft and Covey, and um, Covey Rider, which is me, will be dealing with um, all of the uh, ground unit command uh, talking to me to request uh, what, what you need. Uh, Rob, right. I have a question from Spooky. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, as far as the communications with the AC-47, communicating on short range with ground, it's going to be a little difficult because of range. Yeah, next uh, how do you, you want you that? Won't, to you, won't, you won't be coordinating. Nobody in the air will be coordinating with Come. ground. Um, that that uh, from the from the, uh, the 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 CAS roles that you'll be you'll be coordinating with Covey. That's our job. It's, that's my job. Uh, oh, technically. Technically, it's a dual job because because um, because Covey pilot uh, Dra is going to be uh, talking to the air net, and Covey Covey rider, which is me, is going to be talking to the ground. Uh, so we are the flashing. conduit between all of the cars that you guys need um, uh, on the ground and uh, and the aircraft. Okay, Cap, I was unclear on that. Thank you. So. So one thing we do need to do is emergency procedures. So what happens if um, if if uh, if, a, um, if a if a bird is lost? Uh, you, I think from what I've understood briefing is you will have to E&E &E, and that's where the 500 frequency short range comes in because you will need to try and raise Covey on 500. We'll be monitoring 500 and other and also all all of um, air call signs will be monitoring 500 on short range. So if you pick up um, what we want to hear on, if you go on, if you use 500, we want to hear emergency call and then whatever your call is, so that we know that it's a 500 and that we're responding on 500, okay? Okay, Roger. Uh, d don't just jump on 500 and start blathering on, because we won't know where you're coming from. You're coming. Um, and as soon as we, what, you know, once you hear a copy on 500, what you'll need to do is give approximate location. 
straight away so that we can we can make sure we orient into your area so we don't lose signal and then uh, we will attempt to extract you using transport that is what we call a bright light emergency gentlemen so should that happen uh, you need to call get on the emergency and say emergency bright light bright light and we will basically uh, try and locate you okay roger that do you want so us uh, to try not use long range then you won't have it because you don't have a backpack or, or do you? I told uh, them to have backpacks so we the emergency coordinate initially. Okay, we'll get rid of them though. All, all of the frequencies are on the map. Where is so it? I, I, can you I just confirm, will, will the pilots lose their backpacks once I will once tell you now going? that they will lose their backpacks as soon yeah. as they go into a um, aircraft yeah. aircraft crash. I'm sorry, what was the emergency Traffic. freak again? 500. 500. Yeah, yeah. That's, so, so that's your short your range. Short range. Put in. Your short range that is a an emergency set. survival URC 10, and that's the radio you use if you get shot down. And we are expecting to get casualties today, and any air crew survive, you need to get on 500 and call um, call bright light. Roger that. And remember to say emergency on, on 500, so that we know that we're on 500. All right, you got it, boss. Because you know what it's like. We'll lose range on you, and whoever's near, they will heard, oh, we know there's somebody, but we don't know where he is. That's the first thing you need to communicate. After that, we'll we'll make resources to get you out. Good shit. Yep. Well, when we do get you out, just need to tell the pilot where you need to go because uh, because it'll be wherever your your base aircraft is, is that you can get to. I think most of them are here, aren't they? But some, but but obviously the F four um, is on the carrier. On the Freedom. Is there is there any other aircraft Freedom at the moment? Yes, the two Jolly Greens are also there. So, so we have Jolly Greens. So we the two Jolly Greens. Greens are going to be what's under-slinging the PBRs. They're the only one Roger. with carry capacity to. Okay. So that means yeah. you're without an F4 initially, because they're going to be doing the transport. Roger, that's a CH-53. Okay, yeah. Great, okay, uh, so... Quick question, yep. if I can. Yep, uh, do we have any intel uh, on the surrounding areas of the objectives? Like, uh, troop, uh, troop uh, amount... Uh, uh, other assets other than the anti-air not only That's a, a brute question. mercenary I but mean, a thinker perhaps a scholar but the intelligence ahead, the intelligence is you are in indian country expect yes amounts of enemy forces <laughs> try not to get discovered <laughs> uh no what, what i'm more thinking is uh do they have uh, their own boat and stuff like that do yes they have their own boats it's a naval base that um you're going into which is why the pbrs are going to be used and should be used to a devastating effect hmm. um but yeah it's it's a naval base you're gonna have to hit them really fucking hard basically yeah no because uh, it, it's it, the the circle around uh, on top of the base is fairly bright so i i can't see all of the like <laughs> stuff on the map inside it yeah it, it's it's the main NVA naval, sorry, NVN naval base. That is the main one. So use okay. it as an opportunity to smash up and disrupt as much as possible whilst you're up there looking for the asset. Yeah, no, no. no okay, that's, that's good enough. For, good enough for me. Thanks. Yeah, you just have to assume the worst, I guess. Um, so just Covey Covey Circuit is now marked on the on the map in between the two objectives. We'll be flying circuits around the area to stay in comms with everyone. Um, and I've just made a quick note on there of our call signs and our, and our frequencies. Just to confirm, because I've only heard really rub one on that. What radio is infantry meant to be on? Seven zero. zero. We're on the net with a covey. We should only ever be really speaking to the covey or the other elements in our AO. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I was on that, but I only heard really rub one. It is Star? Um, which, which team are you in? Russian. Right, so you're alert, okay. So are you an RTO then? So it's not true. Yeah. No, okay. So... I believe team leader and two aren't here. Oh, you're, I thought I thought Tyron. Was There's something kind of fun about this whole setup yeah, process. It's not in the group yet. I I don't know. It's right, it's okay. just immersive. It's like the calm before the storm, you know. Any station, any station. This is uh, Eagle Two radio check. 
Uh, what video were you on? Uh, why did my Hello, Eagle three? 2, Eagle 2, uh, you are on the wrong net. This see, is the minutes. command net. <laughs> I can't leave him alone for five fucking minutes, man. I know. So who, who, where are we getting our orders from then? Are we getting our orders on air frequency? Should I not yeah, be monitoring yeah. command? Okay, yeah, Roger. Don't need to monitor command. No, yeah, don't need uh, to borrow monitor Covey because Covey's monitoring air. All right, so air is all we need then. All right, yeah, Roger that. Long story, long story short, if you're in the, if you're a pilot or in the air, just monitor six eight. Nice and easy for you. Six eight and five hundred are the only two frequencies you need to worry about. If Perfect. you are one of the ground teams, the only frequency you have to worry about is six um seven zero, and your own personal short range net that you will have to designate uh make it nice and easy for yourselves um because you know rob needs it to be easy for you for him and don't spam over the um long range frequency because rob will get very tested miller very tiger's not uh, dead it was a it was a mountain yard sacrifice to uh to the spirits yeah. A little yeah. bit of radio. Re releasing so his spirit um, so that it could just enter all of ours. Sign, and then and we bring the spirit of the tiger into the battle uh, with so us. So that we got a very clear idea. I don't, I don't want to hear I this or I that because I won't know who the hell you are. So so uh, use your yeah. call signs, guys. Okay, can I give a recommendation? Just because we're not using... Who's I? Who's I? <laughs> <laughs> because we're not name? using Acre, if you, when you've finished your transmission, can you just say out? So then we can start a new transmission if we're waiting. Yeah, Roger that. That's, that's yeah. yeah I'll, I'll that. make sure to tell that by RTOs. Just so if you're talking and then we're trying to wait to get a message out, we know you finished, so we can then get straight in with our message. Well, yeah, if it's an emergency, let's, let's just have, call break. Yeah, let's have super right. super good use of break today. Okay, so if you hear the word break, everyone just zip it and wait for it to see what's being said because you need to make sure that the comms are clear and everyone can stay calm. Right, we've been here for a little bit now. Shall we? Is everyone happy with the briefing? Everyone knows yep. what they're doing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. Let's go. Yep, yep. Where are we delivering I'll, the PDR? I'll, 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 I'll let Covey know more uh, after we've been dropped off in the uh, PDR base. Is the Whoever heli the... coming? Is our heli coming up? Or pick us up. You you need to organise yourselves, your special forces. So I'm not I'm not going to direct you like like an armchair general here. Basically, your special forces um, team leaders. So. You decide what you need, and you ask me, and I get it organized for you. Okay, so that that's basically the the the, um, the all back today. So if you need something, you get on get on the net to us, and we we basically try and sort you out. Talent one zero, before you go anywhere, I need to talk to you because I need to call off my plan with you. Also, a uh, quick question about respawn. So when people die and respawn, they need transport back to uh, the uh, AO. I'm guessing. Which means we're going to need uh, to organise the, the the slicks to be to be um, mobile for for reinserts. Okay, Roger. Where exactly is the respawn? Is it here? It is for the uh, SEAL team. It'll be on the aircraft carrier. For everyone else, it'll be just outside the terminal building by the uh, resupply, refuel, and repair trucks. Okay, which is to our north, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. on, on the airfield. Okay, got it. We're just uh, behind where Spooky is, basically. We're in. Not Spooky, we the actual flying Spooky. If anybody wants to make my markers more accurate uh, inside chat, that's fine. If you, if you want to put the actual marker on a certain zone or you know something more accurate, that's that's fine. Feel free to redo them. Just keep the same color scheme. I'm marking um, high points for my mob, uh, okay. Rob. So if I need to reference aircraft in relation to you. I'll be using high points and I'll remark. Welcome everybody who's joining in. Excited for today. Uh, Roger that. Uh, we should actually cover CAS. So uh, if, if, when you guys want CAS today, uh, get on the net to me, uh, Covey Rider. Um, I, my job is to basically talk to you and find out where you are and where you need it. But the two most important things I want from you is, well, three things. Is One is your call sign. Second is the azimuth or direction to your target, and, and the third is the uh, the distance to the target. Uh, because if I if I once I've got that, I can set I can set the um, the air up to basically come in and uh, not strafe into your positions, and also use the right weapons to to do danger close uh, uh, support. If you need artillery support, of course, then then request fire mission. If you need you an airstrike, well, guys. request airstrike. 
Right. I was about to say uh, too, if uh, there's nothing else, Rot One is ready to be teleported back to the aircraft carrier so I can set shit up with my team. Okay, well, I'm everyone, ready to rock everyone and roll. have fun. Yep. Everyone have yep. fun today. Let's raise some funds. Let's let's kick yep. some ass and let's get those two objectives right. back to base, yep. yeah? Hey Rob, when oh. anybody breaks, can I get a hey, minute with you? Sit down. Yeah, who, I, I don't know who I is. Uh, that's spooky. Ah, uh, spooky. Yeah. Since the yeah. Are okay. Be, yeah, just try uh, and use your force sign and stuff, so I know I'm uh, talking. Yeah, for this initial. Uh, like, uh, Ghost Rider, should we go over to our uh, slick? Well, we don't know yet. I'm waiting. Oh right. Uh, so for you guys in transport, uh, we kind of stole your 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 call sign. Uh, we're just getting used to run as eagles, right? So eagle one is roadkill. Yeah, eagle one roadkill. We're eagle two. Got it. Probably want the Cobra to um, yeah. escort. Uh, Sounds good. Sorry, right. a little if you, weight if you tasking. Need, need, need to be a Ghost Rider. I can work with that because it's mostly going to be mediating you guys. Okay, okay. well, we'll, we'll, we'll just go with the plan. Eagle 2 is fine. Yep. As much as we got the Ghost Rider slick, call sign is, is uh, fluid. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm, I might play as Eagle and uh, yep. Ghost Rider then. Eagle and Ghost Rider. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, that works too. Because it's only two transport teams, uh, two transport crews, right? Yeah, I mean, if you want to do that, that's fine. All right, all right, that'll do. Okay, cool. All right. Well, then I'm gonna update that uh, on the plan here. All right. Do great things for America out there, buddy. You know it, man. Do my best. <laughs> All right. It's just like every armor that's magical all happens at once. We got we got the, the, the endlessly choking to death sound. Hey, Allie. Thanks so much. I appreciate that. Appreciate you getting in here nice and early and wishing us well. Okay. Well, let's take our... Uh, yeah. You didn't hear me say we were racing, did you? We're racing? Yeah, you lost. What? <laughs> Damn. It's going to be like that, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, you said, let's go to our aircraft. I turned around and said, uh, let's race. And I checked on over here, <laughs> turned around, and you were nowhere to be seen. <laughs> Well, I guess you got me. We'll have to have a rematch. <laughs> I thought you might we were racing the other slick to the uh, to the AO. <laughs> I don't think this is our slick. I think the uh, the other one is ours. All right, Roadkill. Um, are you? Uh, so we we're gonna do Eagle and Ghost Rider. So you be okay. Eagle, we'll be Fine. Ghost Rider. Um, yeah, we're going to say fuck the comms plan. <laughs> well, because otherwise, it also gets confusing as you go Eagle 1 and 3, although that works. It's just like, you need call signs. It's just sometimes so much easier to know where aircraft are, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Gary so Owen, if yeah. If here, someone says Eagle 1, you don't hear the 1 or the 2 or the 3. Then it's tough. It's going to yeah. get chaotic, and it's going to get this is going to get chaotic today anyway. So straightforward. Oh, well, is there's shit. plenty of time, so hopefully it'll uh, be, um, you know, drawn out a little bit more to give us time to think. But uh, yeah, uh, so we'll just monitor the radio for now and see where they want us. Then I guess. Yeah, yeah, very much so. All right, cool. I got to piss one more time. <laughs> I've been drinking a lot of water lately. I suppose that's good for health, but if I get if I get a call on the radio, tell them I'll be on in like one minute. Yeah, I'm gonna go uh, to the head before we get started. To the head.
Ow, shit. I'm so glad to get to hang with Ghost Rider today. Uh, it's been too long, you guys. If you got any questions that you would like to ask him, just relay them to me and I'll see what I can do. We might be a little busy here shortly, um, but uh, he loves talking about stories. So ask away if you guys are interested to know stuff about uh, Vietnam and about SOG and aviation and Hueys and life, wisdom. Don's got uh, lots of it for us. So in case you guys haven't noticed, we are playing with Unsung Redux and a couple other community mods today. Welcome back, Ghost Rider. All right, I'm going to make sure that... Uh, this is Kelly. Uh, we need at least one transport flight to grid... One six eight zero seven four. Got dudes waiting for pickup. This is Ghost Rider copy one six eight zero seven four. Have a team waiting for pickup. How many people are we uh, looking at? One seven one seven four or zero seven four. I thought it was one seven four. That's what I thought too. That's oh, that's probably not one seven four. Yeah, that's way up past Hanoi. I think it's zero seven four. Oh yeah, uh, Talon PZ one. That's flashing Talon sixty nine, isn't it? Yeah, that's Talon yeah. PZ one. Okay, well we'll we'll get in our bird and get out there. We can take care of this one if you want, Roku. Okay. Yeah, okay. Is that a, you won't fly? Or... You go straight into the cubby. That's seven guys waiting. Yeah, that just one right. one bird. Okay, well that's fine. Roger that. Ghost Rider's on it. We are outbound towards Talon PZ-1 to pick up our guys. Alright, here we go again. I'm excited, Don. Me too. Hey, uh, be sure and unlock your controls. Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, let me do that right now before we get out there. Because I've been practicing flying. Really? Yeah. Do you want to jump in the uh, the co-pilot seat? Uh, not yet, but probably we got 12 hours. Yeah, I've got to, so I don't have the option yet until you jump in there. So if you could jump in real quick just so I can unlock it. Jump in that uh, co-pilot seat for me, and then I can unlock the controls. I don't think I have the option yet. Go straight to this cubby requesting ETA on that uh, transport pickup over. ETA one bike over. All right, I'm unlocking. All right, controls are unlocked. Why don't you sit up here for now, Don, and then uh, we'll meet with the the guys. Okay, so we are just headed cool. to the camp up here um, to the. Uh, Northeast. So, uh, how do we put our earplugs in? Earplugs, I mean. Uh, in the scroll wheel menu. Oh my god, Allie, you didn't have to do that. Allie, I will donate that uh, to our um, fundraiser that we're raising for veteran welfare. Thank you so much. Miller wants to know in our chat, uh, did you typically race to the Ghost Rider Slick when they were scrambled? Did you, uh, was that, I mean, I guess you'd have to run anyway if you were really trying to get out to fast. But was racing to the Slick a tradition? Uh, yeah. In fact, later on when uh, the 195th was at Quan Loy, they, uh, they had a siren. Oh. In fact, uh, there's some late footage that Walter Cronkite did on CBS News that uh, covers it. What's up, Don? Not much. Hey, hey there, Don. 
Good to see you, Battle. Yeah. I see Rip. I see Rip. Where to, gentlemen? Last man. All right, pilot. Take us to the grid of grid zero five eight one six eight. Zero five eight one six eight. Roger. That is yep. Talon LZ one. Okay, we're going. Yeah, that's it. Okay, hey, I think we'll uh, send off there, Whip. We have a slashing is there one time now moving to LZ. Cover. That's the cool touch, Evan. Uh, Covey, this is Ghost Rider. Yeah. We are outbound towards uh, Talon LZ1 with uh, one team. Over. You guys are the LERP team, is that right? Yeah, Ghost Rider. Yeah, long way up. Godspeed, Covey. You can one, you can one. Covey. I don't want to have to try out the Zen. Go ahead, Covey. Make sure to, you know, bring nothing up. Got nine packs ready for pickup at uh, Baked Alaska, Papa Zulu One. They're heading to hey, Alaska. Um, LZ One. Is the distance limited on the server? Understood. Um, pickup. Unknown. It might be under. Uh, Baked Alaska, uh, Papa yeah, Zulu One to Baked Alaska. Looks limited to me. Uh, that is an A firm and requesting ETA. When we take our break, we can uh, we can ask Dolly about that. Uh, TJ will be uh, a couple of mics. Yeah, it looks like it's blocked after uh, 1200. How about that? We're going to do a new route. We're going to head up. Thanks, and we're trying to get to the top of that bloody jungle line so we can just look straight down it. Sorry, on that. Sir, that makes too much sense. Bird. Pretty this much, we're going, stop at, we're going to stop at the RVs just to make sure we're all here and we don't run into really enemies. I'll try and get us up to 5,000 feet just to see what it's like to go all the way up there like you guys used to. That was the cruising altitude? I think it was depending on mission, right, Don? Like, depending on the uh, enemy composition, like AA. We can go down there. Well, to um... Oh, it was yeah, uh, apparently very on foggy. The if we were going a long ways, we'd go up to 5,000 feet. Uh, shorter range, we'd be going uh, at 3,000. And then, um, you know, on insertions, we'd go fly out, pick the team up, and if it was a long enough flight, Raptor, Raptor, we'd go up to 3,000 and then come over. down. And then low level to the LZ. Uh, That's what I'll do here. I'll kind of take us up at about 3,000 and then uh, come down to nap as we get closer. Yeah, well, I don't this think we have to do that. All available transport elements if it's a short in. flight, we go nap at the Earth. Okay. I'll go nap soon. I was just curious to see if we can still see the ground. Yeah, that is surprising. We were about to clock 4,000 rays this morning. Jesus Christ. That's great, guys. Hey, how challenging was it to fly formation? There's Covey off to our left there. Is that a bird dog element? OV-10. Yeah, that's draw with us. Oh my god, Ali. Thank you so much. That'll go towards a really good cause. You yeah. Honestly, <laughs> maybe not as seven. Okay, best way to donate, guys, is directly in the link below. Because if you donate over YouTube, it uh, it will go. A portion goes to YouTube. Yeah. I felt like I was, you know, falling into formation again. You know. Jesus, seven thousand four hundred. One minute. One minute. I keep coming on that. saying though, Ellie, 
really appreciate that. But if if you want to donate, the best way to donate, just for everybody else's reference, is go through the link in the description. That's the best uh, place to do it so that the YouTube won't take a cut. It's not a huge cut that they take, but there's something to be aware of that they do. Charlie Green, this is Chubby. Uh, interrogative, what's your, uh, what craft you find today? Thirty seconds. Jelly Green, Jelly Green, this is Cody. Uh, get the transport top. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Covey Ghost Rider, sure. troops away at LZ-1, Talon LZ-1, over. What'd you say, Don? It's too quiet out here. Yeah, it'll change in a little bit. It's more fun to fly nap anyway. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, I notice when I look at the map, there's no uh, aircraft indicator where we are. Yeah, I don't think that we're running those this time. That's why we got Covey out there coordinating everything. I guess a little more realistic. Yeah. Uh, not to my knowledge. Uh, we will go ahead and see where they're at. We want. So, how do you know when you're uh, how far out from the LZ you are and everything? I'm using so, so one, I'm cheating and using the onboard quote unquote map, kind of like a GPS. Got uh, it. With the right control M, um, that's best I can get without extensive training, I guess. <laughs> so I'm just drawing us a route in our own little group channel and then uh, using that. This is really cool to be doing a different uh, mission than uh, Mike Force or what we normally do. Yeah. Roger, uh, you are actually going to be sling loading those boats. Uh, wait one, I'm gonna get direct orders. Yeah, the last last week I started going into the showcase and then flying out to Oscar Eight. Oh yeah. And then and then landing and getting out and walking around. That's great. I, I would really love to see you fly. I think that would be awesome. I've the, You have so many people in the uh, community who want to see that. <laughs> right. Because we know you've done it for real, so, I mean, yeah. That's, that's like the most authentic we could get. Yeah, flying around's pretty good. Uh, you know, I still have to master the uh, landings. Um, when I, you know, I do touch and go landings on the uh, airfield mm -hmm. there at Pleiku, and uh, I crash and die a lot. 
Yeah, that's the way it starts for everybody. There's some equipment that I use uh, to help me with, with it. I use uh, some rudder pedals that are made by a guy in Croatia. Um, Dyslexi recommended those uh, on his flight control setup video. They're called the MFG Crosswinds. They're really well made um, and they work great for this kind of stuff. You just hook them in and then you uh, you can set them up for your, your Arma so that you can use them just like rudder pedals, you know, well, as close as you can get in uh, to real life in Arma anyway. But, uh, so do they, o do they override the keyboard or do both, both commands both work? work? You can set it up so both work. I have it just so that my rudder pedals do everything. Yeah, I've watched several of the Flexi's um, flight videos. Yeah, they're good. And uh, he, uh, he's a master at it. He, uh, <laughs> he's real impressive. Yeah, he's an awesome guy. He's really, really passionate about what he does. Yeah, I imagine he has uh, thousands of hours in flight time in Arma. Oh, yeah. I think probably, <laughs> yeah, possibly tens of thousands. Covey, this is Ghost Rider returning to play coup within one mic. Roger that, Ghost Rider. Uh, Covey out. All right, well, that's a successful first flight, I guess. Well, that's better than Ryan did. He just got shot down. Yeah. It was cool to see the Jolly Greens there that we just flew over. Yeah, this is uh, really cool to see the uh, additional uh, uh, Vietnam era. Going to yeah, the unsung team does a great job. Alright, I'm gonna just set the bird down just outside of our little what do you call these? These little uh are they revetments. Just revetments? Okay. I yeah, revetments. Not outside of the revetment. Alright. One, Eagle One, this is Covey, pressing your location, over. Don, I got another question from Miller for you. What would you do on long flights to pass the time? Did you play I Spy or anything like that? HC rations. HC rations. Yeah, you know, of course you can't do that all the time, but, uh, you know, we we eat the good stuff out of them, and we, we, my gunner and I, we were always talking about something. Yeah, I suppose deep conversation would probably be the the easiest way to stay entertained. Because when you're up in a bird, it's kind of hard to do. You can't read a book or anything like that because you know you, no, you and, got air blowing all over the place. And we had. Uh, toggle switches that controlled all the you know, all the radios mm -hmm. so we could turn them on and off and of course we always listened to the guard station which was what um, the um, um, it was the emergency channel I guess sure. and then uh, you know we had Coming, the AM FM radio we had the uh, UHF VHF Cubby, Cubby, Jolly. and uh so lots of times you just listen to what's going on. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I suppose you got to stay, you know, in sync with the uh, situation in the AO that you're in, and any guard yeah. traffic is important. Exactly. Yeah, if somebody gets shot down close to you, you might have to swoop in and 
suck them out of the jaws of the Roger, feet. Covey. Yeah. Uh, we're still on clear borders. Yeah, are they going to be loading the boats and we sling the boats, or are they going to ride inside this bird? Uh, Charlie, one, say again your last over. Say again. Are we loading them into the boats and then lifting the boats, or are they riding inside the helicopter? Uh, have her want to handle it. Uh, I think they're beer choppers, though. <laughs> Roger. No, just, just sitting in your back of your helicopter so you can hear me. Um, I lost yeah. my heli. Oh, shit. Uh, well, um, I made a hard landing because I took a missile strike from a SAM, uh, landed it. ATR Q was completely shot to hell, minor hull damage. God damn. And Dolly came over and, Dolly came over and I heard he was invisible, telling me that's an amazing landing. The team got out. And then I tried to lift off, and I just went straight to a death spin immediately, and the helicopter blew up. And, he, and Dolly told me, he said, well, if you want, you can ask for a, a, someone to come and deny the helicopter, and then ask for an extract. And in hindsight, I should have just asked for an extract. <laughs> yeah, wow. Well, uh, so that means we're down to three, or to... Oh, no, we got a, we got a replacement slip. No, it's back. It's respawned. It's okay. respawned already. Okay. But uh, that's something to be aware of. Um, we haven't got the country boundaries marked, have we? Which probably would have been helpful because, although, because I was was obviously in North Vietnam, probably at that point, <laughs> and yeah. I completely didn't think about I need to be flying um, lower. Yeah, Sam, that's a good uh, good reason for us to fly Napa the Earth. I'm glad we didn't go up to three thousand. I was flying that to the Earth as well, which is more, more of the problem was I was having to gain altitude to get to Alaska because uh, it's on top of a hill. So I was flying through a canyon and then all of a sudden I had to great, get height. Uh, but what is more concerning is the AA I was locked by was to a more probably north, sorry, easterly, maybe northeastly, but might be an even southeastly direction. Look at where. Talon LZ one LZ is looking for the triple A. So one might be slightly further south, maybe. I'm not sure. But it also shows that a Huey will take a hit from a, a rocket uh, from a AA battery and still pliable, rather than me just turning into a burning yeah, no ball of flames. Oh shit! We just lost Covey, I think. Yep. Okay. That's the pilot as well. Let me get in the air and we'll see if we can get... I'm going to get in the air and I'll see if we can get um, his last known and see if uh, Covey Rider's still out there. Yeah, start moving that way in case he needs a lift. All stations. This is Ghost Rider. We are headed up north to try and look for uh, Covey Rider. Over. Covey Rider, Covey Rider, this is Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, this is Covey Way 1. Rest him on the radio. That must be his uh, replacement. Ghost Rider, this is Eagle. Eagle Ghost Rider. Uh, Cuppy is uh, now back at play two. Okay, Roger. We got him out then. Roger that. So, Don, I know you like to listen to the doors, and you said you had a record, or was it a record or a, a, a tape of doors music? It was a reel-to-reel -reel tape. A reel-to-reel. -reel. Were you able to yeah. play that in the aircraft, or did you just no. listen to the radio in the aircraft? Yeah, all we could do in the aircraft was listen to Armed Forces Vietnam radio. So other than the doors, what other music did you like to listen to? Uh, all of it at the time. Okay. You know, uh, Creedence Clearwater, uh, you know... The Birds, uh, Rolling Stone, you know, just about any of the, the period area rock bands. 
Hold on one second, I got last station, this is Ghost Rider, send traffic. It was uh it was Covey shot down. Unknown, but uh, we've got a replacement back at Pleiku. Copy that. Okay, sorry about that, Don. Uh, okay. Do we have any birds shot down at this moment? Uh, we had lost uh, Eagle One, and then, uh, but he is now back at base with us. Copy. Okay. Did anybody, was anybody into um, Led Zeppelin before they were really big over in uh, in Vietnam? I know like in the late 60s, really late 60s, early 70s, they had a couple of albums Just out that became famous. Back in on internet. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was, uh, I know we got interested in him. I'm not sure while it was in 68 when I was in Vietnam or, or later. Got it. Um, That era is just such, I mean, just amazing music. My dad's always showing me all sorts of music from back then, and he's really influenced my taste. He took me to see the Rolling Stones in concert, and um, that was just incredible. Yeah, that would be. Those guys still got it, I gotta say. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? Yep. All right, there goes Covey again. I love that. Uh, we have that OB-10. That's so great. Yeah, it is. I had Allie in our chat, who's a friend of of uh, Draws. Um, Who's the cubby pilot there? She donated like a hundred bucks to the uh, to the cause, so really excited about that. Oh, cool! So he fly an OV ten. Uh, draw is the uh, the pilot. But. Oh, he's uh, he's excited about flying it in the game. Yeah. <laughs> But his his buddy Ali, she donated seventy dollars to uh, to the charity cause. So excited about that. Jolly one's lifting. Yeah, have you read Yarborough's book about his time as a fat? Uh, yeah, I'm actually about halfway through it right now. It's pretty yeah, awesome it's perspective. Book. Yeah. I I picked that one up a long time ago, and then I started started reading. Uh, Nick Brockhausen's books, and I, I haven't I finished that. it, so it's been a while. I, I might have to go back a few chapters and re. re Jelly in. plays. Jelly plays. Is Covey? Yeah, Ryan uh, asked guys you to uh, going with boats, or are you put together up a reading over? list for him. We're yes. uh, this is Jolly. We have so I went yeah, through my bookcase, and, and I'm probably going to have about 20 books, and it's kind of interesting because some of them I haven't read for 15, 20 years, you know. Yeah. But. Uh, Going back and remembering them, and and uh, a lot of them are missions that, like, just one house to house about the Ninth oh, Infantry awesome, guys defending Saigon during the May Offensive, you, you oh and we were all over that battle with them. As yeah. crew was. After wow! Boats were grabbing, I can't imagine what that was like. Grab. Yeah, it was a good read. It was, uh, you know, yeah, we're just grabbing a PBR. did a lot of damage to the couple of neighborhoods along the canals in Saigon, but um, the NDA didn't overrun it. Sure. Yeah, I suppose that's kind of part of the job. So far, Austin, just uh, just transport, but uh, it might we might trade off. We're doing this for yeah, 12 really hours, too so bad. it's kind of a... Nice and, and all the civilians displaced and their businesses and homes destroyed. And then the NVA run back across the border into Cambodia. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's rough. It makes me thankful for our, you know, 
what we got over here that we don't have to live in a war zone. It's uh, just yeah. There's it's important Unless to remember for all Chicago. of us. Yeah, yeah, I guess maybe some places are borderline war zone, but uh, just uh, you know, I think it's important for us to be thankful for that that we don't live in a oh yeah place like that. It really is, or like Afghanistan. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Charlie one, how'd you sling load that? I just used the normal sling load. I'm currently reading a book by Colonel Glenn Fraser called Hell's Gist. Uh, he was uh, one of the infantry officers in Bataan. I suppose we might just get out and hang out with these guys for a little bit. I got the radio on my uh, so person so I can monitor. All the years of Jolly 2, uh, Jolly 1, I'm just heading east slowly. Roger, sling load's not working. There it goes. No, it's working. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Hey. Are you done? What does this mean uh, to enter pilot? Does that mean to join your group? I, think so. I, I have no idea. Well, we can enter each other, uh, I, I presume. Yeah, that, well, that sounds a little, uh, well, <laughs> choose a little risque. Word, word. Yep. Jolly 1, <laughs> just Jolly 2. I'm trying to catch up. Where are you? Spooky, would you Just like keep heading the same direction, I can see you back Sure, there. go for it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> yeah, this is great. Just like Vietnam, all the air, air crews are on the runway uh, BS and waiting for a mission to be called. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I figured we'd at least get like an alert call because then we'd sit here spooled up, ready to go, and with skids on the ground still, but not even that yet. Well, well, if we get that journalist, Jolly, Jolly, you the focus in below, I believe. Negative, I do not see yep. you. Don, can you tell the story about the chicken, uh, yeah. the Thunder Chicken's uh, miniguns and how they would um, optimize the amount of ammo, their RPM and stuff? I got people Jolly asking one, about I'm this. Uh, at the coast. To the east. So yeah, we're the right. miniguns were... Uh, Roger. Uh, would fire a maximum rate of 6,000 rounds per minute, and that was based on the RPM that the motor could spin the barrel. And they had a governor on so a heading north solenoid now. that slowed that down when both guns were Roger facing that. forward to 2,000 per gun. And if the target was on the left or the right side and uh, the minigun on the opposite side hit the stop, then the, the gun that was being fired would step up to 4,000 rounds a minute. And so they put out just as much fire um, to one side. And then when it came back around to where uh, it was past the stop point, then both, Jolly one, both what is guns would start firing 2,000 again. Uh, Jolly One, they've changed our drop spot And now. they never uh, fired 6,000, right? Because it was just too fast, too much ammo? Yeah, yeah, just... Uh, Falcon, the, Falcon, uh, this the is coming here. system and everything couldn't really keep up uh, with it. Falcon, now and Jolly One sent. when you're uh, carrying 10,000 rounds of ammunition, that gives you about a minute and a uh, Falcon, quarter of heavy, uh, uh, fire we time. Have so people the looking mini guns for fired in short fast bursts. air support. Uh, uh, there's a sand launch site just southeast the, of the Alaska LZ one. Like track it over. Game. Okay. See, uh, I always heard that mini guns would jam if you fired them in bursts, but I don't know if that's. Did you ever hear about problems with them jamming? Roger, yeah, 10 mics, then until Falcon again. Okay, uh, Tango Mike, Fal uh, Cubby out. Like okay. I'm talking like maybe uh, 500,000 rounds. Break, Charlie like 2, I got eyes on you now. Okay, got it, got it. So that would be what, like Roger. a, how many seconds would that be then? Like a, like a 15 second About burst? 4,000 rounds a minute, it would just be a few seconds. A few seconds. Okay. Yeah, you uh, uh, 4,000 rounds a minute, 15 seconds, you would burn up 1,000 rounds. Spooky, did you guys use, ever use? Yeah, we still use the same miniguns on the uh, MH-53s, and we had a 2,000 round a minute trigger and a 4,000 round a minute trigger. Okay. Yeah, you can, uh, can switch them back and forth. 
Yeah, the Air Force gets to do a lot of things Army didn't get to do. Uh, spooky, spooky. This is... Oh, yeah, spooky. Spooky. Read over. Got their gunships this is Spooky, go ahead. Door guns. Oh, so we got a call? Yeah, sounds like uh, it. We're requesting air support. Uh, northwest, southeast of Alaska, LZ-1. Over. Godspeed. Air support, southeast of LZ-1. God, I wish we could hop in another Cobra. Yeah, I yeah, think that's what want us to hit. Okay. We need more aviators. Spooky's thing off from Plinkett. That's cool seeing the Green Hornets uh, logo up here. But, although it says the United States Army. <laughs> yeah. Roger, that's Spooky. Tank the mic. Come be out. Alright, well that, that's them away. Now it's down to three of us. <laughs> Covey, Spooky. Spooky, send your traffic. Uh, we hitting that Sam launch site up looking? I got one pound spot still on board. Uh, we won. Alright. Yeah, basically, where that sand marker is, I came up through the through the river, sang ha, followed there up, and then appeared off the game altitude to get to Alaska. As soon as I, as soon as I start going up the hill, uh, got hit by some kind of sand to the south easterly direction. Okay, that's good to know. Basically, the, the rocket hit my tail. <laughs> Damn, yeah. You know I mean, it's like I was slowing down for landing, so it was like it could have gone really badly very quickly. <laughs> Spooky, this is Kevin. Ellie, I'm gonna. Oh my God, who uh, drew? Your task with Somebody drew Ho Chi Minh on launch site. Over. Copy, investigating Sam launch. Twelve blocks out. <laughs> I'm gonna. Copy, this um, is Jolly One. Get Jolly One, traffic. Money donated right now. Roger, the, uh, both boats have been sick. deployed as well as infantry. We lost Jolly Two. I'm RTB now to switch to Falcon. Out. One. That's a good question. Don, did they have any type of uh, lock-on warning or missile warnings in your helicopters, or was that just not a thing yet? Uh, you would hear a hum over the uh, uh, radio, the AM radio. And is that for and a... You, that was uh, for a radar lock-on. A radar guided one. No, like Where things didn't go so radio, well for them. Oh, you got that one, uh, real kill. Yeah. All right. Spooky, spooky. This is coming. Looks like he does. <laughs> All right. Okay, spooky, give me a second. Here. Wave off. Uh, we're one hundred percent sure that that sand launch area is dangerous. And don't want you anywhere around it. Over. So I know this is a little bit more chill, but it's kind of fun. I enjoy this. Uh, uh, we're gonna have this you pacing. Okay. I'm uh, gonna get you loitering south of MSS Leghorn. Over. You know, and then. Copy. This is Eagle One. Copy, this is Eagle One, you read me? Copy, this is Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, this is Kevin, send you traffic. You got traffic from uh, uh, Eagle One, can relay. Send your traffic, Eagle One. Uh, Eagle One to Covey, uh, I have two for reinsert for Gay Rocket. Do you know their location, over? 
Covey Ghost Rider from Eagle One. Eagle One has two for reinsert for Gay Rocket. Do you know their location for drop off? Over. All right, Ellie, I got your, uh, your donation in full, 70 bucks. Thank you so much. I'll cover the difference between YouTube. Anybody else who wants to donate, make sure you do it through the uh, link in the description. That goes towards uh, Veteran Welfare. We are um, in cooperation with Lieutenant Colonel Dick Thompson and uh, the MVG Military Veteran Gamers community uh, to raise funding for Veteran Welfare and uh, Veteran mental health and access to the uh, stress resilience arsenal tool, which you can learn more about in our uh, previous podcast about stress uh, resilience with uh, well, dynamite. Okay, sorry about that. I was working on... kind of uh, one of those uh, uh, absolutely intense, boring times. <laughs> you want to you wanna get some stick time done? Uh, Roger that. Hang on, Mike. I don't Come know. Out. Um... Let's do it. Okay. Good time Eagle. to practice. You read me I'll over? jump in the uh, Peter Pilot. Eagle, this is Chubby. Send you traffic. Yeah, I don't and think my radio got uh, just reset my radio. Uh, I've got two reinserts for the uh, Gay Rocket team. Uh, where, Divert. where am I inserting them to, over? Are you two inserts for Gay Rockets? Wait, I was one. Just taking care of a donation that I got through the YouTube chat and sending it on to the charity. All right. You want to just we can just taxi back and forth down the uh down the runway if you want. Or wherever you want to go. Just not that Sam site, but we're pretty far away from north uh northwest Laos. <laughs> yeah, I won't be going up there. <laughs> Yeah, I'll keep a uh, standby in one radio. uh handling a uh fire support call. I'll oh, check that out. There's a PTF nasty boat down there. Understood. Eagle standing by out. Draw is doing great things for America, is Covey. I don't think he expected to be doing so much coordination, but he's doing a great job. My uncle described flying with the 4th Arvin Regiment as a... Uh, ooh! Well, that's okay. <laughs> it happens. All right. <laughs> the thing is is in real life that would be the absolute opposite I would be the guy who crashes the aircraft in flames because I have never flown a helicopter before Don has hundreds of flight hours so He, uh, learning in game is an awesome thing, and I really, really hope he keeps with it. Oh, that's Green Hornets, not Ghost Riders. Oops. There we go. All right, round two. <laughs> the 
focused on listening to you and not flying. Yeah, that's okay. It happens. That one wasn't on the books, right? I was uh, going to say my uncle, he used to um, fly as a Ford Observer uh, in a slick with the 4th Arvin Regiment um, as kind of a special tasking that he got assigned. Oh, shoot, yeah. I better check my radio freak. Um, but uh, he had an experience where this Arvin commander was... Uh, they were assaulting a village and this Arvin commander had a bullhorn and he was up in the helicopter with him and he was yell he was giving commands, issuing orders to his troops with the bullhorn from the helicopter, which just blew my mind. Eagle one, Eagle one, this is coming. Uh, Send message. Uh, all right, on approach, you're going to keep Joe. low, Much but we do have a marker right, that's, that's uh, drop zone, rub one. Yeah, I mean, uh, except for that the bad guys might hear it too, but, you know, I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, get our uh, slick ready to go. Uh, I'm currently holding five clicks uh, short of that LZ uh, at an IP, so I have fly some more? a few mics out. Roger that. Few mics. Tango mic. Copy out. All right. Yeah, until we get a tasking, let's just keep practicing. Fly around and. All right. Cubby Cubby, this is Falcon. Falcon, send your traffic. Roger, this aircraft carrier seems to be broken. The catapult does not seem to work. Uh, we had to put a second aircraft carrier Do down. Do I got a question? I've got my taskbar up. The aircraft carrier. Oh. At the bottom of the screen. How do I get rid of that? that. Okay, if you pause uh, the game real quick and go to the I'll options or configure. The carrier without the catapult over and once you hit uh, configure in the pause menu, go to video. And the other carrier beside me um, is only half long. And then at the top, there's something called display. And if you change display mode so from full screen to window to just full screen, that should fix it. And then you just have to hit OK. Awesome. Perfect. Let's get out there. Let's do some more flying. Hold on. Is that somebody waiting for a reinsert down there? Who is that? Leclerc. Or if he needs a, I wonder if he needs a ride. He's just kind of standing there. He's by himself, though. Well, if you want to take the controls and go ask him. Yeah, you want to unlock the uh, controls? I'll go down there and Falcon, see. Falcon, this is Cubby. Okay, this sure. should be unlocked. Let's figure out if he needs a ride. Thread this one between the two aircraft. Falcon, this is Kelly D. Reed. Hey, brother, do you need a ride? You need a ride, Leclerc? Leclerc, do you need a ride? I don't know if you can hear me or not. 
Awesome, Joe. That's great. I'm really, really happy to hear that. That's uh, that's awesome. You need to ride back into the AO, brother. Yeah, I'm not Copy. sure if they, if they want to actually Eagle. reinsert or not. They didn't really say what the... Eagle, uh, is it going to traffic? Yeah, I got you. the process is. Two times reinserts have uh, been inserted at DZ. I'll contact the uh, Covey. Uh, one, Mask. Eagle's RTB. Out. Covey, this is Ghost Rider. I have uh, one Leclerc here at Pleiku for reinsert um, with the SOG team. Uh, do you want us to reinsert him for you? Roger that, Ghost Rider. Uh, wait one, we'll advise. Roger, no rush. Tango Mike. Yeah. I'm taking the controls. You had the controls. Yeah. You know, we're just we're just uh going with the flow <laughs> out here at Playku. This is like your uh hurry up and wait. Um this is your authentic military operations experience. So Don, is this the authentic uh, experience? Just just hanging out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really is. Except for the oranges all over the ground. Yeah, who's who would do a thing like that? Hello, Covey. Send fire mission. I'm hearing shit. <laughs> So now what happened is, is that uh, I read back zero I've got a small nine. screen and a larger screen superimposed on each other. Really? Zero four seven one seven nine one. A small eight, screen and a larger screen. Yeah, that's weird. Is it both showing the same thing? Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider, this is Covey. Do you read? Oh, hold on. Covey, Ghost Rider. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and insert him. Uh, we don't know who he's with or where he's going, though, over. He is with the SOG team. I can ask him, LZ, and relay to you where we're going once we're on the way. Hello, Covey. Hello, Covey. Uh, Roger Hello, that. Hey, the uh, Rub 1 nice. drop zone should work fine, but uh, stand by. We're just going to double check on that. Okay, Roger. What AO were you in, Leclerc? Uh, we're on like the uh, west side, kind of like that. Uh... This is Covey. You drop uh, Alaska we have one. any attack, so, air support, aircraft there, available at this like, time, over. Okay. Like, Leclerc, to would you like six. me to teleport you? Uh, that's kind of... Uh, Spooky, good to hear from you. Uh, stand by for orders. Yeah, I'm just watching the stream for now. Just got, oh, like, unlucky while placing mines, but... Uh, yeah, that sometimes happens, mate. Yeah, Could... as soon as... Hopefully we'll get Cubby, more Cubby, people over. to die soon. And then we'll <laughs> Cubby, uh, any update? Are you able to get airborne? Over. Roger, I'm with you in the air now. But if you want to, because I don't Load want to got 114 far. But at least you've got Break 1220 mic mic. To to Break 8 <laughs> napalm. Time on station 1 hour. Wave off cove right, is I'll leave wave off. It to it. That's about all right, well, well, we'll just stand by for now. We, we just know that anytime you want, we can lift over. you in. Bird of one hour on station. Beautiful. I'll get this bird right. painted uh, like it should be. Airborne, it sounds like. Uh, we're going to need some help here momentarily. Break. Everybody in the chat, shout out for Draw, because Draw is doing an amazing job up there. I recruited him for this day before yesterday. I don't think he understood how much pressure he was going to be under, but he is doing awesome. I'm just getting this thing painted, Ghost Rider. I'm just getting her painted. So that was weird. Yeah, now I've got um, 
when I uh, uh, open the map, uh, it's just a little teeny area in that. the middle of my screen. Uh, about so six inches Bravo in from the side and four uh, down from the top and bottom. Try hitting the uh, Alt Enter key, longer. and if that doesn't work, hit it again. Alt and Enter at the same time. Alt and yeah, the Enter on the right side. That was Kilo Alpha Two. Uh, negative Kilo nope, Bravo that two. didn't do anything. Uh, didn't do anything. I don't think I can get this thing painted. Um, you might need to restart your game then, and rejoin. Yeah, it said I would need to restart the game, so that's probably what the... A spooky, this yeah. is... Yeah, I'll just do that then. Yeah, or you could it. try and set it back to the uh, full screen I tried window. I uh, Okay. Stand by. Uh, interrogative, are you still... Okay, I'll just uh, restart the game, see what happens. Okay, sounds good. We'll, I'll be here for you. If I'm gone, then I'll be back as soon as possible. Okay, so Draw is flying Covey, uh, which is essentially a forward air controller role. So he's up in that OV-10 Bronco aircraft, um, essentially coordinating all the air support. He's doing an awesome job up there. We have ability to. Come on, man. Where's my. There we go. That's what I wanted. Ghost Rider. Oh, whoops. I was telling the other guys roadkill. This is like the, uh, this is the most immersive and probably realistic uh, op tempo that we could have. Us just waiting, for, waiting, for waiting. yeah, hurry up and wait. That's kind of how it goes. It's a 12 hour mission, which kind of makes it, it's totally different than what we've normally done. So it's just, you know, it's all part of it. Draw is up there as the Covey pilot. He is just working nonstop. I really, really hope that people appreciate how hard he's working right now, because they are just coordinating everything. The radios, I, I, I have an understanding of that because um, my community that I play with on a Sunday, uh, which is the first platoon lot, which there are men, many here today that are representing that, because Alien, Spanky, Red Rocket, myself, Jax, uh, and Koss uh, are... Um, yeah, previously I have ran the platoon, so I have an yeah. understanding what Covey's having to do. So I've had like two radios go in my ear, command, and then trying to manage squads, and then maybe trying to manage a CAS as well and transport. Yeah, so it's, it is a lot of juggling. Well, hopefully we can, maybe partway through, we can uh, trade out with him so that he doesn't have to uh, do it 100% of the time. Oh, yeah. Because he can, he can totally fly the slicks as well. I've never really flown the OV-10, so I don't know how confident I would be with it. But, you know, I'd be willing to try it. <laughs> I think he's not a bad flight model, to be honest, what I remember. I, I flew it just a little bit yesterday. I haven't landed it, though. That's the thing. It doesn't look like it'd be that hard. I mean, not, not at all uh, saying for the real thing. I'm sure that it takes plenty of skill for the real one. But for the one in, in the game, it seems pretty forgiving. Well, the advantage of this runway is it's long enough so you can easily aim for a middle point and still have plenty of room to maneuver. Yeah, there you go. What are you talking about? Those beer drinking hats. Oh, uh, espresso. What happened? Oh, I got shot in the face on the hill assault. Oh, Ooh. damn. Well, there's two of you guys now. So <laughs> maybe as soon as Ghost Rider gets back, we can, we can get you back in there. I would very much appreciate that. <laughs> we'll just have to see where, where if we were to drop you in, where would you want to go? Because right there is up. a Sam at Alaska LZ1, apparently. 
it's well, wherever, yep. it's wherever I can get back in. Like, where you know, were but... you previously? Were yeah, you I was. I was on the hill Cambodia. That, uh, we, we're, uh, we were taking <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, the TDF radar. Okay. Well, the only thing I could consider then would be if you follow the we if we take you whichever one is takes you in, we skirt the river, hook, hook the river. Uh, and then we do a wet drop and drop you. But the thing is, there's that guarded point. So perhaps the only place I can think of is... Um, all the oh, hold on. We got a bright light task and just popped up on the map here. Bright light one. Uh, we may want to be ready for that. It might end up that you guys end up helping us with that. If you can be spared, that is. Oh, okay. Covey, Covey, this is Ghost Rider. We're standing by to help with bright light at uh, Fleku. Oh, yeah, a shitload of our team is dying. We can probably do retest for the bright light if people keep responding here. Okay, hold on, I gotta well, we check and see. We need to get you back in, don't we? I think that bright light might actually be for Covey. I'm gonna get up in the air and... Okay. Actually, Roadkill, I'm waiting on Ghost Rider. Do you want to get up in the air and check that out? Yeah, See okay, if you can we'll res him on comms. I'll be standing by. I have my radio. Okay. Getting that flickering on my screen. I gotta figure out what's up with that. All right. Hey, I'm gonna stage uh, my slick here to be ready to take you guys where you need to go. Okay. Right. We, we have a, a bright light that just uh, came up on the net, and it sounds like it, our cubby. Pilot might be down, so our other slicks take care of that. Right. Covey, Ghost Rider, radio check. Covey, Ghost Rider, radio check. All right, we got the bird standing by, ready to go. Wherever you guys need to go. Okay. Another helicopter? Oh, okay. The sound was glitched out. It sounded like the engine was still on full blast. Eagle One, Eagle One, this is Ghost Rider radio check. Any word from Covey? Roger that. I have uh, a bunch of uh, s snake eaters here ready to ready to go, but I'm awaiting what their uh, leader wants to do. But uh, we have troops here that we can bring in if we need.
Roger that. Understood. Yeah, if you can get in the area and figure out uh, what's the situation, we'll be uh, we'll be ready to go here. Okay, is Digby back there? I'm guessing. Right beside it, using the air gun as cover, but there was it, it, it sounded and looked like there was somebody like in the fucking hey, air gun firing at me. And hitting I'm not me. entirely sure. Oh. Welcome back, by the way. Glad to have you back. Um, we have a bright light emergency. Sounds like. Uh, yeah, Roger. I've already been told my team's going to that, which is fine. Uh, okay. Wait okay. For all to get here, and then we'll get in on that. Uh, uh, they're they're, the, they're like... by the airfield, dude. All right. Let's yeah. Go. Sorry, yeah. There's another the arsenal over there. I tried to tell you. <laughs> my bad. All right, hopefully I can fit as many of you guys as possible, but we're going to try and get in the AO and then we'll, I don't have a actual 20 on the crash site yet, so once we get that, we'll, we'll see if we can't get you guys in there to secure it. It's very oh, weird hearing the DLC there. talk to me. No, big guy already, I think he's pulling up the aircraft carrier. Yeah, give him a second. Cubby, Cubby. This is Falcon over. Did you manage to get the explosives? Yeah, I did that mistake. It went over the best way. Okay, Ghost Rider, we're going to get these guys in the air. Did the radar die? Nope. Damn it. We'll have to get it next time, again. The problem that you've got is that the instant death settings are on. So, you can literally get winged, and because there's no means to put people back in with their sections, you're basically fucked. Fuck. Yeah. That might be something yeah, we can yeah. adjust during the break. Uh, yeah, we're lost. gonna need to have like roving. We're gonna need to have free inserts because it, it is already well, no. fucking hard enough to run recon with Big B. It's quite easy. It's literally just mission fail. We move on to the next tasking. RT oh, fake Alaska is dead. So we unfuck our shit and go for the next tasking. Because that was that prisoner camp won't be done unless we do a C and fill via helo casting, or we do a ground and fill. Yeah. Right, I believe we're all in. Oh, no, no, I, I've listened. That's quite literally a no-fly zone. All stations, this is West Ghost Rider. Rider. I'm in the air with the um, bright light team, ready to go once we have more info. Over. Have you guys checked map and seen Wheels' picture? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Hey Digby, when I got my my gear, it made Eagle drop One, radio. Ghost Rider radio check. Uh, okay, have you got a radio now, or you still not got one? No radio. Okay. We'll sort it out, uh, we'll sort it out on the ground. Yeah. Okay, guys. Yeah. You guys in the back. I've lost contact with the other ship that went in to try and look for these guys, so this could get hairy. Uh, I've just been. I've just had a radio message from command that we're not on the bright light anymore. Right. Okay. Uh, we we, go we back can't over. insert to our previous objective. Well, that, well, well, that's what we've been told by. I'll confirm it with the command. But in a Any station. This is Ghost Rider. Radio check. This is Spooky. Good job. Spooky, do you have comms with Covey or uh, Eagle One? The best or? we can do is basically I try have, and get uh, as Red far up the river one. as we can, Hard and then try and move in on foot. Roger, any luck finding uh, Covey out there? I love Vietnam back to where we were. Hey, I love Vietnam so much. Okay, Roger, you guys got him. We'll RTB then, and we'll uh, await task uh, play coup. Slashing or something. Covey. Okay, one, situation is they got him. Alright, um... We're turning around. Lob us in. We got a, we got a ridge line that protects us from those SAM sites, right? Copy this. Is John so, Green. if we can walk in, you could probably put us down at that red X or at somewhere the, in the vicinity of it. You thinking? Just okay, don't let the phone here. Okay, hold on one sec here. So you're looking at hey. northwest of Von. Where where where? Donkia, just north of the uh, river. Yeah, so, uh, grid square, Wait. 041158. Put us down in that basin there, we can walk up onto the cliffs and then walk into the AO. It's a fair, it's a fair whack, but we'll be out of the range of the fucking AA. 041158, okay, roger that. Yeah, I see it now, okay. 
weird Can't country rip. peninsula. Uh, has anyone checked the left side of the map recently? Uh, yeah, I, 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 love that. I love that, I love that, I love that. I was about to say I love it. <laughs> the fact that you can Call do that in Green, go, the Arbor map is quite amazing. <laughs> Dude, one of my favorite animators animates on a 3DS. Really, this is Art the Ghibli crazy. Cubbies off net right now in the, uh... Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. In, uh, Eagle one. Crazy or masochistic? Yes. The answer is yes. Right. I'm gonna try and yeah, raise the new Eagle one, this is Spooky. Cubby. Are you uh, still on net? Uh, AFM, uh... Cubby Did we ever find uh, out of that last telephone? Uh, long radio off. present, uh... We're not far from Flake Q, so as soon as we get there, I'm sure he'll sort himself long range. This is Ghost Rider. Uh, I've got a SOG team um, moving in to uh, drop off at LZ Red X up uh, by Nong Kiao. Over. How many cookies have went through today? Well, we now fish food. May as well be. Are we going through Ben and Jerry's flavors now? Lovely flakes. Bigby, do we have any world reasonable station? As in any Sierra uh, equipped with hard uh, No, but we need we need one of the fucking phantoms to. They they have got harms. They have got um, anti radiation missiles. Digby and Ice, um, I just spoke to Covey, he reckons, like, you know, hat on reckons, if you follow the, the river line and follow the valley, we can get into Vakang, but you'd have to go low as balls. I think that's the plan. Although we're not I mean, going all, straight all, to Vakang. All the way to Vakang. No, there is a, uh, there's a, an LZ in Grid Square 030166 that I marked with another red X. It's pretty fucking flat. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I see yeah that's that. where yeah, we're planning on I going. I see that one now. Yeah, That'll I haven't seen that one because I was on the radio. That'll work great. Right. Okay. So sticking with the original Ignore plan me. then. Yeah, sorry. Can we me this Falcon? A little farther than it was. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, there is actually a marker on the map that shows me where I am. What? What? There is? Yeah, not a marker, it's like a cross map. Yeah, yeah you get that vehicle. vehicles. Phantom, yeah. Ah, yeah. Right. If you're in a vehicle, it'll tell you. Um, when you're on the watch, it doesn't. Phantom send. Be advised, jump on Freak 500, short range for coordination of runs over. Roger, <laughs> um, my altitude, Whatever. I cannot stay on comms with that. Ice, you've probably got more reliable comms with Cubby than we do, yeah, no, but it might be worth letting you know that we've located the target direction for any radar. Target direction for any radar at high point 197, Grid Square 031176. We tried to assault it on foot, got absolutely fucking wrecked. Roger, so we're going to need a Phantom with anti-radiation. It is an active SA2 site with a direction finder. So he's going to come in. He's going to need to come in very fucking high and very fucking fast. The hill, you will neutralize the long okay, Roger. And the um, yeah, we will. Roger, uh, setting up. We'll I can relay that as soon as down. comms. Yeah, comms are a little I'll try crazy now, right now. And I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll try and I'll let you know if I happen so you can pass it on. Okay, I'm going to raise up since we're back a little further back right now. I'm going to raise altitude see if you can. Get, I'm going to raise altitude see if you can get him. It's fun to fly low over the river like that. Sorry for the lack of comms, it's just when everything's... Right, I got hold of him. Okay, him. Roger. Am I good to I drop like back the... down to nap? I like the wording it. Didn't go very well. <laughs> yeah. It was very We got wiped out by three guys who had Technical guns and anti-air guns out of the wazoo. Yeah. Throwing more grenades. <laughs> grenades uh, didn't work. Guy behind the anti aircraft gun must have been the frag range about three grenades and he just shrugged it off. What a prick. 
problem that we have is that we've got a very, very fucking loud LARP team in the same AO as us who apparently can't fucking sneeze without needing to report it to Covey or call fire support on it. Which means that when we actually get an actual fucking emergency that requires Covey's attention, the radio is being held up by them. Well, just Re break, 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 or flash traffic. Weren't the, the uh, instructions to keep things uh, really brief? The, the issue came as well that um, Cubby was having to try and keep radar contact, radio contact with everyone on the map, which meant he had to fly quite a big figure of eight, which meant oh, that a lot of the time we weren't actually in radar, radio contact with him. Then concentrate the AO. I mean, that it's, it's either, either you give full discretional operating ability to, to the units and they don't report if they have to go for a dump, or you concentrate your AO and, uh, and correct, uh, correct command control. It's yeah, not we'll, an excuse. We'll uh, I'm, I'm, letting you, there. I'm letting you know the issues I had. I, I, there were times I couldn't raise Cubby all. I have no idea who Barbarian is, but uh, his kill count is going very quickly south. Quick question, which air channels should we be on for the map? Because the markers are spread over multiple channels. Yeah, yeah they will be. Just go to side. I'll mark everything inside from this point. I was marketing grid to try okay. and make it easier, but everyone's in fucking side. Yeah, Thank you guys, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Ready to go. Game phase on. Lock and load. Right, stand by. Bolum check left on that road bridge. That's gonna be blow the fuck out of the sky. Uh, Wait, which boy. direction are we heading once we land? Uh, up the hill, north, north, north. Stand, stand by. Stand go, by. Go, go, go. Clear. All right, we out of here. Back the way we came. Yep. Reinsert as you see fit. That was some nice flying. That was kind of nerve wracking because I saw that bridge there and I thought we were gonna have to fly over it, but no, we're good. Covey, you're doing great things for America. For the U.S. of A. <laughs> Are you here in the comms on 68, uh, Don? Uh, some of them. Okay. I'm on long range frequency if you hit Alt P, 68. So you can listen in if you want to keep up with the uh, situation. Traffic. We're back on station at the whole point previously mentioned at MSS Leghorn. Standing by. Beautiful Spooky Tango Mike, copy out. Spooky's standing by at Leghorn. So honestly, I'm just going to kind of keep us around the uh, tri border area, I think. Okay. Actually, the way I drew it, quad border area. <laughs> I think I didn't draw that exactly right. More or less. But that way we'll be ready to go in case Spooky, they need us. Uh, can we get you to move up north, okay, and so, uh, uh, just fairly uh, south of the what AO, did the all do? Uh, and remain on short range, 110. On, uh, you'll get uh, people coordinating fires from you from the ground. Over here. Okay, so it's going to be Alt, and then P is north. in Papa. And then that's going to bring up the radio in the slick. And then uh, you'll see towards the center, there's an option. There's an option to uh, increase All that preset flights, if you uh, increase ETS the megahertz. Yeah, there's an option uh, for the pack and uh, the one in the uh, Army the Iroquois helicopter. Okay, use the use the pack one, and then you can uh, from there you can just adjust the megahertz with the preset knob on the left to 68, Copy and then the one on the right adjust to zero. Going near Talon LZ, and uh, okay, that's what it's set at. Awesome. So you should be able to hear 
Spooky was just talking there. Are you not Spooky? Anything else? We'll let you know. You hear and all like... that talking going on? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Alright, so... Covey, this is Ghost Rider. We are just going to be standing by around the uh, border area, the tri-border area, and uh, we'll be ready for tasking whenever needed. Excellent. Good to hear, Ghost Rider. Tango Mike. Yeah, good morning, Harpy. How's it going, brother? This is going to be a Oh, I know where mission. we are now. Oh, yeah. This is where we had our uh, our uh, Operation uh, Cedar Falls at. Yeah. Wow, that was amazing. I can totally picture what was happening. It's cool to see it during the daytime. Yeah, and then uh, up here to the right is uh, Oscar 8. Falcon Falcon, this oh, is coming. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, there's the ammo dump right uh, there to our right. We need a napalm run. Oh, uh, it is. You want to land on it? Uh, break. Been there, done that. It might be occupied. That is grid 048. Yeah, perhaps that's bad judgment on my part. <laughs> that would be. Here's where that AA was in Oscar 8. Here's where we crossed the yeah. river. Yeah, we just. Yeah, there's the boat dock. You can mark that, which should make my life easier. You want to go visit Leghorn? Uh, sit down up there. Yeah. yeah. That's where Spooky is, I think. Spooky, this is Ghost Rider. Are you still at Leghorn? Over. Uh. This Negative. I'm near LZ Talon at this time, trying to get a hold of ground element that uh, needs me on. No contact though. Roger that. Uh, spooky, uh, just confirming that's short range 110. Uh, you're going to direct control, to, uh, to direct control of them for a little while. Yeah, copy copy. Which element am I under direct control of? Uh, that would be Baked Alaska over. Copy, I'm up the wrong LZ for them. Let me uh, shift over to Baker Alaska LZ. Roger, uh, Alaska LZ, one should do. Uh, they're going to be around the village of Vikang, over. Copy, village of Vikang. Shifting to LZ1. Hey, uh, be advised. Um, Spooky, there is that SA-2 and enemy radar around that area marked on the map, so use caution going up there. Copy, we're uh, staying at treetop level. Roger. Covey, Covey, Falcon over. Falcon, this is Covey, send you traffic. Roger, I'm on station now. Can you repeat that grid or put a mark on map? They're trying to put a seed mission in to destroy that enemy anti-aircraft. That grid zero four eight one eight six over. All right, we'll stand by at Leghorn for now, so that we're in the AO ready to go. Although Eagle One Ghost Rider. God, I'm concerned though that they're gonna have reinserts that they need to add in. It might be better for us to go back to Pleiku. We can visit here anyway. <laughs> I love that you can go around and visit all these landmarks that are historical. That's so cool. Yeah, it really is. That was one of my favorite parts of that uh, video that we put together for the SOAR Cubby, Cubby Falcon. goes over all Scoops the landmarks and stuff, or at least some of them. And so that's I just think that's such a cool addition. Yeah, those videos you put together uh, were no awesome. This time. Wait, one. Just awesome. I think they're a good resource for people like 
who don't know the game, you know, who aren't familiar with it, if you want to introduce them to it, you know. Yeah. So that's a good good way to do it. I appreciate that, Don. Thank you so much. We just, I just am so proud to help with it, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, a couple of days ago, I got the bright idea of uh, advertising the, the uh, drawing in this event to the SOA Something membership. And oh, okay. uh, last uh, night, us, uh, early in the morning here. before, um, our monthly newsletter went out, the area. and uh, Bonnie Roger, put an article in there area. and pictures of the computers and everything. Oh, that's and, great. And uh, did an awesome job of it. That's awesome. Whoever gets that is going to just cherish having that so much. Oh, yeah. That's for anybody in our, our audience who doesn't know, they're raffling away as, as one of the rewards or uh, potential awards for the um, uh, donations, um, a SOG, MacV SOG computer with a, a plaque that uh, has, what is it, General Bore Tilt and who? Uh, Dick signed? Thompson. And Dick Thompson, that's right, have, have signed it. And then uh, it's a Tiger Stripe computer, and I think it has the MacV SOG logo it's a nice computer too so. yeah it's tight wrapped in tiger stripe and then uh, the front of it has the zog logo and then the plate that has their signatures has a car 15 on it the zog logo and then their signatures on each side and it's the so plate awesome. is like stainless steel yeah. it is awesome eagle one ghost rider message are you near play coup right now or do you know if there's anybody who needs reinsert we're kind of loitering around the tri-border area right now ready for tasking uh, i'm currently on play Q. there's no way to pick up the present okay roger we'll just kind of keep in the air ready to go for now understood eagle out Yeah, I think Whiplash and Bonnie got together that does our newsletter because she just did a super job. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I know that uh, Whiplash is super passionate about this Falcon. stuff too. So, Falcon, Ghost Rider. Did you figure out how to change your view distance? Negative. I think it might be something server side. Roger, out. When we when we uh, reconvene for our break, we'll have to ask them if we can do two things. They need the um, the revive script turned on so that they can revive their buddies, and then they also need the, uh, we need the view distance turned up. Fake Alaska is KIA over. Oh shit! Spooky, did you receive last? Uh, Spooky at this time, uh, safest bet would be to return to hold over. Is this Hamburger Hill? Copy advisory hillside north of Fon Kang. Visual of it's enemy not Mark, radar station. Know. No okay. visual of SAM site. Yeah, I'm gonna head back to uh, play coup since we just had a huge Spooky mass cast. Again, location. Hillside north of Fa Kang, radar station in the open on the hill overlooking Fa Kang. Roger. Man, that's, that's a lot of guys just died. Bummer. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough to keep when you don't have the uh, kind of the live operations picture going on on the map. It's tough to keep track of where everybody is. But it's it gives you an appreciation, I suppose, in real 
world, we would have had the S3 and the S2 in the talk, you know, keeping track of all this Governor, stuff this and updating if, uh, everybody, directing they things. They would be monitoring the radios, and then uh, the C and C ship would be uh, up at 5,000 yeah, feet might be for circling, the best. Uh, yeah. and, and, and then you'd have the, in the, the Covey and the, and the Slicks and everything, you know, doing the operation. Sure. No, and I, and I suppose that they're, uh, like right now, Covey is kind of filling that role in a way, whether he likes it or not. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and to, when we do an insertion, we send up uh, um, four slicks, and uh, one of them would be the ins insert ship. Uh, one of them would be assigned to... Uh, uh, be a chase ship green. to go in if the insert ship was sh shot down and then the others were to back up that and so sure. when we'd circle away from the LZ and then when it was time spooky, spooky to insert, the insert ship would peel off uh, and uh, dive down to treetop level and be uh, vectored in by the by uh, the back for Covey. Do you still have uh, that border that we do not want to kill over? Okay. Don, I'm sorry, I was uber concentrated there. The chat totally got what you said, but I didn't. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Can so you say that again? That's that okay. You had four uh, ships, you had a chase ship, uh, the insert ship, down. and then what were the other two? Yeah, uh, yeah so the, the, the four ships board. would be up above, and then the, the, one of the ships would be the insert ship, and one of them would be the chase ship, and then the other two would circle and be in backup if they were uh, needed to go in after one of the uh, both of the first two well maybe what we should do then is be the chase ship for eagle one just in case they go down yeah it wouldn't hurt roger that uh you say again no, uh what about a pbr boat roger no, thank you Eagle One Ghost Rider, we're just following you around just in case. Uh, go ahead, Ghost Rider. Repeat last. We are being your chase ship for now until we get further tasking. Copy that. Uh, I'm just picking up the uh, Gay Rocket Brigade uh, from there. Uh, PBR point uh, and taking them north to uh, their LZ rearm point at their DZ rub one. Okay, Roger. We'll be right on your tail uh, in case sure anything goes south. Find out though. Uh, we won't. There's a lot of casualties there. I wonder, uh... They're up there in a bad neighborhood. Yeah, no kidding. Covey, this is Ghost Rider. We are currently accompanying Eagle One, but we can divert tasking uh, whenever. Roger that goes right and good to you here. Go striker, this is Eagle. Standard Eagle. Uh, I'm returning Blake to uh, looks like the uh, gay rock team are gonna take our nasty class boat instead. Oh Roger that. Sounds good. I needed a bathroom break anyway. Taking some firepower with them. Joe, I'm not 100% sure if the uh, Yadrang is.
pictured in Kamla Nam or not, or is depicted in Kamla Nam. Yeah, but we or escaped not. it in one of those boats. Uh, Might be. Well, the uh, NBA right version of it. That was a lot of fun when we played Escape that time. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. That was fun. We pirated ourselves a, uh, one of their, sh what are they called? Uh, I, I, I don't want to give the wrong name, but they're patrol boats. Yeah, they, exactly. Their version of the nasty boat, of yeah. our nasty boats. Copy, this is Eagle Over. Basically a PT boat, like they had in World uh, War II. That way to keep for a couple of minutes. Uh, yeah, from break. Uh, yeah, can I assist over? Only a lot more uh, uh, damn. Uh, so, Eagle, uh, what are you flying at the sun? Uh, current flying. They have nowadays TV. those, um, what are they called? Uh, they're depicted in the RHS uh, mod, but they have these big boats that have uh, mini guns and grenade launchers and 50 cals and all sorts of stuff on them. I forget what they're called. Somebody might need to help me in the chat with that. Hey, dude, uh, <laughs> I, I don't, uh, I don't know for sure if I'm going to be part of that or not. I'm kind of just waiting to, to see. I don't think I have any specific questions directed towards me, but you're always welcome to ask any questions you want in the, in the chat, if you have any. The, uh, the main questions are for the main devs. Wow, there's a Chinook. Okay, I'm giving you controls, okay? Okay. I'll be I'll be away uh, just for a minute here. All right. Eagle one, Eagle one. The transmit on radio is transfer control transfer caps. Uh, I am, and uh, now it's with Got it. Got it. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna need extract in the northwest. We do have our POWs safe and secure in our custody. Over. Copy that. Do we have an LZ at present? Vermeer, really appreciate that. Copy yeah, that. We, uh, uh, Eagles requesting has absolutely if possible. Have um, such when a great relationship with all picking of up our pilots. vets, and How? we love them as friends and family. Eagle, they are uh, very special to us. All of our we hope we share that with all of y'all um, through what we do. So thank you so much for Copy being that. part of it. Okay. Any traffic for Copy, us? This is spooky. We're nope. taking all right. small arms fire. But I did get a look at that Chinook when it took up. Oh, yeah. Uh, Roger, that's for you. I, uh, I didn't get to see that. Stay on station as much as you can, but if you take on too much heat, don't, uh, don't stick around and die. Over. Okay, yeah, Roger. Uh, can I take back control, Don? If you release control Pardon for me. Pardon me? Would you release control for me? So I can get us ready to... We're going to have to uh, get ready for extract, sounds like. Uh, okay, the, se you got him. the session, we'll see, dude. I don't know for sure yet. Um, I actually yeah, wasn't planning on streaming that, but I think that you can probably find that on Digby's channel. I'll let you know once I know more. I'm going to get us schooled up and on the way. Yeah, I'm on my way in now. Uh, I'm just wondering if I'm dropping a PBR off at a different location than Rub One. Break, break. Uh, Eagle One, are do you read over? Eagle One, Eagle One, are you on 
one is dead. Eagle one, Ghost Rider, do you copy? Covey, this is Ghost Rider. I got negative on uh, Eagle One. However, I I hear you loud and clear. We're ready for tasking. Excellent, Ghost Rider. Okay, we're gonna need you up in the northwest, uh, somewhere south in the AO. We have our guys and break uh, POWs. Uh, they're gonna need extracted. Over. Um, stand by for your draft. Sock Mark Five. That's it. Ghost That's Rider. The name of the Boat. Send you a message previous. Oh, Mark 5. Eagle Ghost Rider, we've got this tasking. We're being tasked uh, by Covey to assist with extract up in the northwest, so stand by in case we need extra support. Over. Uh, copy that. I'm already en route at uh, one times Chinook. Roger that. We'll be your chase ship just in case. Covey, do you copy last? Uh, negative. I do not copy on last. Uh, Ghost Rider, we're going to need you at. 036174 over. Roger, I copy 036174 is LZ. Uh, 036174, LZ pickup. Solid copy. For your, uh, just for your SA, Covey, um, we have Eagle One on station in a Chinook. They are en route to that location. Eagle One LZ pickup is your LZ, 036174, over. Great, Covey is Falcon. Falcon, this is Covey, send you traffic. Falcon is now situated east over top of the naval base, task. Eagle One, Ghost Rider, you copied my last. Over. Hey, firm, Ghost Rider, confirm all. Uh, moving to LZ pickup for extract of POWs plus uh, team on the ground. Roger, good copy on all. We are chasing behind you a few clicks. Over. Copy that. We're about seven clicks from landing zone. I'm going to hold short of an IP until called in. Roger, understood. Okay, so they've got that, that uh, Chinook in there already, and uh, we'll just be a chase ship Covey for now. Falcon? Yeah. Uh, Falcon, send to your traffic. Did you receive a last? Uh, that's a negative. Send it to say, getting your last over. Roger, I re over to the east side, now covering naval base for uh, top support. Fantastic, Tango Mike. Uh, we're going to try to get you on the horn with... Uh, with troops on the ground, over here. Roger, let know they'll have to use long range. I cannot get short range. We'll not cover distance. Did Rob ever come back? Is Draw running Covey all by himself? Covey, just um. the eagle over. I hope he's not. <laughs> I got him into this. I, I told him he'd be just flying. He's doing uh, like last everything now. But he's he's just a Copy great guy. He's so it. sharp. Eagle, send your traffic. He's a great guy. Also, uh, do require pickup now or am I waiting? Uh, Rob pulled out for the inner. Uh, they require pickup oh, now. Oh, that's right. Copy okay. That, in now. Was it in sh oh, I should have certain on urgency out. I should have um, jumped in for draw and let him fly the Ghost Rider slick for a while. I didn't realize that was happening. Well, I just, I bet that's why, what has happened. Well, he definitely rose to the occasion. What a guy. Spooky, send your traffic. Can you relay to Red One or Gay Rocket? One of them needs to get on 500 so we know who we, where everybody is. We have no communications with ground forces. So it sounds like so far they got their uh, POW they were after. Yeah, it does. The POWs, multiple. All our assets, uh, mission accomplished. We're, that's it. Good job, folks. All right. Let's blow this thing and go home. 
Whoa! Alright. Right. Oh my god, it's so many kills. Good shit, boys. Oh. Damn, we already lost four. Damn, damn, damn. Right, right, let's uh, try and keep this relatively controlled. We... <laughs> so, this... we've got about an hour now to have a bit of a chill out. Um, I know that any covey elements need it because that was intense. So uh, going forward for the next part, what I will say is we know now that the frequencies are, should be, if you are on the ground or in the PBRs, you should be on uh, seven zero. If you are a airbird, you should be on six eight and command is on six nine. So that is something that we don't have to worry about for the next part. Um, and yes, well done. That was really, really good effort. That was a nice warm up for the next part. Uh, can I mention something? We have a bunch of people in the uh, chat room. Can we drag them in? Oh yeah, right. Uh... Yeah, drag them in. Uh, can, can, actually, hey, Liru, uh, do do we want to fix the the range issue on the radios right now to get them a bit higher? I mean, that's up to them for the mission if they want to boost the yeah, yeah, I, mission. That, that no, works for them. It works for them. No, yeah. no, I don't want to boost it. I like, I like, yeah, I, I, I like the fact that there is that communication because what you guys couldn't hear on the long range was quite often you were talking over each other, which puts the covey in that really tricky situation where you've got to listen to both sides. So yeah, from your perspective on the ground. Oh, no one's answering me. What you don't realize is they're talking to another team, um, and which is a realistic, you know, which is a realistic thing. We've got to have these realistic elements, and we wanted to have these realistic elements in and these things to work around. So that is just something to bear in mind. But what I will say is everyone grab, grab a about an hour break watch the streams of the people who are in the uh moving to the next bunker find some cover you guys bravo go ahead and start lighting up that bunker while there's bolts from the other side Alpha's moving up on the bunker. Time now. We are to the west. That's what the fuck I'm talking about, man. He's down. He's down. There's another one. Left side. Left side. Two of them. Fucking Roger. Loading forties. Holy shit. Oh, that was like not at all the fucking Get you on camera all in, again. In this thing. <laughs> all fucked up right now. Roger. Throw smoke. Ice is hurt. I'm gonna need a medic at the bunker eventually. Oh, man. Actually, I'm okay. One, one alpha, the switch doctor. Oh. How do you how do you see? Yeah, how... Strange and. All right, I think it's strange and jinx it. Ben. Guys, Anyone? we are about to go uh, live with All the. Right. Uh, I'm here, Rob. By the way. We're about to go live yeah, with the uh, QA session uh, here, I'm so I'm I'll be streaming that. The UI yeah. should be the same. I, I'm not seeing any border or any. All right. Watch crossfire. Good shit. All right, first floor clear. I'll go left. You go right. Yeah, clear. This is Alpha. Bunker is clear. Bunker is clear. Alright, I need a self-aid. <laughs> I'm hurt. If there's bad guys there, shoot them.
Ace. To our south, we've got friendlies, guys, so just be aware of that. I think they're pretty close. Which yeah. doctor is down? Which doctor is down? All my lays are crazy. Got it. All right, Jinx, you go find which doctor. Where am I still hurt? Alpha team, where's my CLS? He's up here in the bunker with me. Where, where you at, lead? I am down right outside the uh, bunker. Bravo CLS, uh, what's that over? We're set, Bravo. We're set. We got him. Good job, guys. You're doing good. Keep those sectors covered. Right. or someone else. Can you check something? It looks like a channel. Kill, kill, kill. <laughs> You're doing a great job, man. Exactly what I'd want to see. Alpha, I'm going to need your CLS to load up on that casual so you can get back to base. Roger that, Jinx, you heard him. Get that casualty loaded up, get back with him, make sure he gets uh, healed up and everything. I didn't catch a word you just said. Hey, okay. I'm gonna need you to go southeast towards that bunker with Banco. Make your way towards that direction. Have a dead charge just outside the door. Fucking shoot us. Let us know on crew intercom when you guys are ready to go. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where the fuck they are. They're shooting at the chopper, I think. No, they're shooting at us. get the fuck out of here we're not gonna worry about him bravo this is alpha we don't have any more demo blocks since our guy is on the bird do you have any demo blocks you can use or should we use a uh, fucking rpg or something we should have some en route over Hello? alpha bravo this is lead i'm gonna need us on the screen okay and uh that's it that's all of us right tilt we're all here I, I just checking again that you've got good comms with us yeah, five by. I'm just uh, <laughs> now. I'm trying to find where I put the questions, but uh, <laughs> but at least we got okay. time. Okay. Do you need me to? Uh, um, are you? So you're on your laptop, I guess. Um, I'm, I'm I'm on the phone with the connect with yeah. you live. I'm going to my main computer to find the emails from yesterday to get to the questions. Roger that. So if you're using email, I'll email you right away with the question, sure. and then we're good to go. All right, thank you. Sorry about the confusion. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's on us, that one. So. Operator error to the max. It, oh, it's it's not as bad as me flying Covey in this mission we've just been doing. So, <laughs> uh, we've got we got the front seat. we got the back seat going. We've got four different air units. We've got four different ground units uh, all in really? contact. Oh, it's been a nightmare this morning. And we only had five hours sleep because we were running a big mission yesterday as well. So, <laughs> yeah. So if I seem frazzled today, that's why. Um, we just got shot down just before we finished here. So, uh, Ooh. Yeah, and we were just about to do a bright light. In fact, we just did, did get picked up, and then we had to stop to come and do this. So so we're all we're all a bit sort of pumped on adrenaline right now. So On the right. edge. Question set is now sent to you, Tilt. Um, yeah, I tell you what, though, it gives you a – it opens your eyes about um, Covey riders and Covey, you know, how stressful that is when you're – trying oh, to yeah. and you keep you keep losing contact because you, the radio is breaking up and uh, you're trying to call air support and then the air's the air's losing contact with you and then you don't you know and you're trying to keep your eye on the target and oh my lord how those guys did that i don't i don't know i know um right so 
I've sent you an e another email with the questions uh, link, and once you have that up, uh, just quick, quick check with the dev team that we've all got questions um, to hand. We're all happy, and then once tilt set, we'll we'll start, and I'll do a quick intro. So thank you everyone um, at home uh, for who's watching uh, and tuning in, and all the streamers who are watching, uh, um, uh, who are streaming, and the people watching the streams. So we're going to do our uh, developer Q and A. Uh, once it got questions and we're good to go. Uh, we're going to just run here. through for about an hour and answer questions. If if my mic crackles or cuts out, uh, whip just it's ho good, it's good. Ho holler at me because it's this. It's a razor headset. Don't buy them. They're rubbish. Um, so so uh, the, the, there goes our future sponsorship deal. Yeah, yeah I know. I know. I'm going to get banned off loads of people's streams for that. So um, uh, right, just, just a quick. Uh, yeah. Yep. Citrap, we are Ooh. at eight thousand five hundred and forty-eight dollars. Good job, guys. Good job. Fantastic. Is absolutely. We that is awesome. Five thousand this morning alone. Yes. We have. Uh, thank you to all the streamers that have been joining us uh, for the session. In less than three hours. Yeah, <laughs> that's phenomenal. So I think we we can Dick and an MVG can help uh, one veteran for about thirty-five bucks. So that's a lot of veterans right there. That's over three hundred or something. Or 250. So thank you. That's fantastic. Good uh, job, everybody. Right. It's a good so, cause. I, I got the questions. Huh? Okay. You sent uh, them to my email account, which I hate. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you know, I always copy your Gmail because because half of your email bounce back to me, as you know. They... Computers. Yeah. There we go. Somebody's on comms, uh, swearing. So whoever that is, mute yourself. Dick B. Swearing. <laughs> Dick B. Just server mute him. Um, I guess you don't have nice. Hopefully this is okay with you guys to <laughs> right. have a grid well like done. this. It would be Dick B. A little easier to manage. Okay. Uh, so now I've got I've right clicked and now I've got, I've got it stuck. No, there we go. We're back. So um, how do we want to do this? We can't. We could we like we can't. Um, gallery like all the people on camera so I'm just seeing a mass of people um, on the yeah, screen. Yeah you can you can right you can click and uncheck so non-video participants. Okay so it's like zoom so right Oh there we go. Yeah. There and, we go. That's much better. Oh, there we go. Uh, uncheck. Six of us. There we go. Oh beautiful look at that the the, the hoi polloi. Right it's sorted. So um, and then we can't see Nod unit or Spoil. go we know they're there. So okay um, so so Welcome, one and all. We're going to do this uh, this um, this uh, Q and A session. Uh, with us is um, is uh, the SOG legend himself, uh, John Striker Meyer, former one zero of uh, Recon Team Idaho, um, who's helped us design the game and is a character in the game. Um, and uh, watching us today, Tilt is um, that's his nickname for anyone that doesn't know that yet. Probably all should. I'd be fun to hear you and dummy. Yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, watching us is um, probably several thousand uh, people watching the streams uh, from some of the guys streaming today. And as you heard, we've we've raised eight and a half k to to support the uh, Dick's Arsenal system and the MVG wow. charity. We've got um we've got uh, Hills and Tyrant in here with us who are who are both uh, staffers and ex uh, ex US military um, who work in the. Uh, uh, military and veteran games charity uh, for whom we're raising the support today so uh, that's fab um uh, that's all the uh, where are the fire escapes and toilets do we need to do that uh, no because we're virtual so uh, <laughs> if anything catches fire just run away um so we we have i'll just introduce the developers quickly so we have we have veteran 29 just say hi hi guys and and he's responsible for the nva tactics in the campaign and and so every time you got your ass stomped on Oscar uh, Ray, um, Ooh, sorry about that. He's yeah. the one. Yeah, and then we have Spoffy. Say hi. Hey guys. And Spoffy's responsible for all the VC hordes that overrun the uh, FOBs in Mike Force, so you can blame him for that. <laughs> uh, we've got Public Horrible enemies. Goat. Say hi. Hello. And Horrible Goat's responsible for the um, terrain that you all love, so you can thank him for that. Apart from when you get stuck in one of these big rocks. Hey. Um, uh, <laughs> Not knocking your rocks, mate. They're great. Horrible good. Um, is and an we also awesome, have Nod awesome Unit. Say man. hi. Heyo. And Nod Unit designed the Hueys and the F4, and uh, 
the Shikra jet and the USS Liberty and the USS Freedom and Not all the most he's amazing a assets tank and armor. So of a modeler. For him, we all have a huge he's amount of amazing for artist. Uh, so oh my uh, god, he's amazing. Um, and uh, oh, who else have we got with us? Sorry, I, I, Whiplash is with us. Say hi. Whiplash, yeah, the best community manager. Uh, Whiplash is organizing all our events. Out there, he is amazing too. We weekend. have a great team. Um, and that is it. That's all of us from the developer team. So um, over to you, Tilt, with the first question. Yeah, that the questions that uh, I got the list for the general questions and the one for you and I yeah. to ask. Uh, the, the general question sounds good, yeah. Is that have you got the right questions? Let's just check. So, what does the first one say? Is it yellow? Was, how big is your DC, DLC team? Perfect. You've got the right ones. Okay, and that was right. asked by by Supernova, um, and uh, horrible goat's going to answer it. Yeah. So we have about uh, fifty people in the core team, and then fifty people in uh, as 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 like occasional people part-time part-time people and then about 50 people who have who have retired so overall the team has been about 150 people really in in the three years we have been making the dlc wow. and um the 50 people in the core team has uh, have, have produced uh, about 80 percent of the of all of the content so the turnover while it has been quite big uh the, the core people have stayed for a long time yeah and we're all really sick of each other <laughs> <laughs> no, we love each other well, we're like a, a big the family NBA, a good I have business here. For you're very impressive i'll tell you that <laughs> thank you till okay so that's that one um what's what's question two then let's just number start. two is a lot of dlc devs had worked on the Onsung Vietnam War mod. How many things from it went into the DLC? Right. So uh, what people may not realize is that um, some of us worked on the Onsung mod for, uh, well, I did for seven years, but it's been going for nearly 20 years now since Operation Flashpoint, the very first version of armor that came out. Um, and uh, we were not allowed because of licensing to take any assets from from the free content in the mod. Um, so basically, everything you see in the DLC was built from scratch. But of course, we took a lot of experience uh, that we'd built up over the years. And in the team here, we've got people from uh, a vast array of mod teams. We've got Dennis from JSRS uh, Sound uh, Mod. You know, Dennis. Uh, uh, and then Icebreaker and Temper with their Not terrains, me. Different uh, terrain ice. mods. We've got the anti Stasi some team members, the KP Liberation team members, Jets DLC team members, people from all over uh, the ARM community. So there was a huge amount of knowledge and experience that came from those teams into the DLC, which is why we achieved the quality we did that we're very happy with. Um, but obviously, we didn't take anything at all from Unsung. So, so there's nothing, it's completely separate. That's it. All right, very good. Number three, how did you convince SOG veterans to collaborate? Was it based on your charitable support to help vets? Well, um, Till, as you will know, we, we didn't start any charitable work until uh, recently, uh, you know, when you asked us to work to reach out to Dick uh, last year. Um, so really, I think um, from Ken's point of view, it was about uh, telling the stories of the South Vietnamese, Montagnards, and Nungs. Uh, Cambodians uh, that you guys worked with, and, and the King Bees, of course, and the M. And, um, and did but what clinched it for you? Part of uh, for me, it was um, the fact that we could talk about, and there have been other video games that pretended to be SOG that did not have the quality of the video games that Armor had produced. And uh, your quality level was just much higher, it was dedicated to true stories. And uh, that's why I joined on. Uh, when you asked me to help out, and um, it was strictly get the stories out. It's a different um, way of uh, getting the stories out to the to the world, and it's an opportunity to work with fellow veterans. It's really just cool at many different levels. And it's nothing to do with the case of whiskey uh, we sent you. <laughs> well, my wife... Is, she's the whiskey drinker around here, so <laughs> <laughs> she she was grateful for that. <laughs> yeah, 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 good one. Okay, so we're on to the next question. 
How did one, the veterans at the SOA reunion react to the final product? Huh. And the word, uh, everybody was either amazed or, or just blown away by it. It was just such a, um, for old guys like us, also old grayheads who had never seen a computer game in the last 20 years, what you had done here was incredible. I mean, everybody was like awestruck. Incredible work. I mean, I just can't find enough superlatives. And you, and uh, any of our guys Thanks you talked so to, to would say the same thing. Um, it generated a lot of interest. And, of course, we had our favorite rotorhead there, Don Haas, and he was taking people over. Anybody hadn't seen it, and uh, Don was doing a great job that way. Yeah, fab. And the year before, um, I went to the virtual saw. I think I think you. I'm not sure if you were there for that or all of it. For your part, yes, sir. Yeah, you were. Yeah, yeah. Of was, course, you I were. was virtually yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, so I was I was dragged onto the main stage with 50 SOG uh, veterans, um, and I didn't know I was going to do this. And they said, "Show us your game," and and I just had to, you know, this was before release, and I'm not allowed to show it to anyone. So. I said, uh, you guys can keep a secret, right? You know, and everyone cracked <laughs> up. <'cause... laughs> yeah, for 30 years, yeah. no problem. Right? No kidding. Um, and so I, I, took, I took the guys for a walk through FOB1 and showed them around the hoochies. And, you know, and I heard an audible sort of intake of breath, you know, a gasp as I walked into one of the team hoochies. And, and I heard a guy just say, it was just like that in wonder. And I, and I, yeah. thought, I thought, we've nailed it, you know, at that point, because... For the guys to have that reaction of you know and they were saying turn right that's the sergeant major's hooch you know like they recognized fob1 that's pretty cool. when we walked around it so i thought that was pretty cool Amazing. absolutely okay on to the next one then just keep yes, rolling the next question what's your favorite weapon to run recon in game let's roll around the team on this uh, the fact that's asked by the big man and that's for the team to answer yes sir I um, guess for me, I would say probably the M60 or the RPD because I love shooting a lot. <laughs> how so, how many you? rounds did you carry when you were carrying the RPD? As much as I can, and it's never enough. Never enough. <laughs> how about veteran? Yeah, for me, it would be RPD shorty because shooting with working iron sights is too easy in armor, so carry as much ammo and. Yeah, shit. We had like so that's six six RPDs on the last, last great run. It's got to be the M14. Like I tried most of, I think all of the guns in the DLC now, and I just keep coming back to it because Dennis did such a good job on the sound designs. It's so satisfying to fire. The and... M14. Yeah, yeah, the M14. <laughs> yeah, that's a heavy it's weapon. A designated uh, sniper rifle, the XM21. Uh, version, I guess, as well. If, um, if anybody wants to so, see our uh, 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 the videos Don, that how about you? we put together oh. for SOAR. My answer is going to be less cultured. I'm going to have to say for recon, like anything that is silenced so that my enemy doesn't hear the first five shots that I missed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 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 who did we, who did we missed out? Uh, out? Me. You're up. Oh, yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Go. Uh, I like the. Uh, M63A, uh, it's, well, I'm, I'm just from the, the stoner. aesthetic point that it's very unique looking and pretty well. Inspired so by the stoner, like sorry. Look at it when I carry it in the game. That's the stoner, so don't, don't yeah. tell Phil, because that's a seal gun. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's been traded, you know. Yeah, we did have the, the stoner, we looked at it, but we knew it would take a while to get the weapons and enough ammo to get them uh, aboard, and we were up and running with the Car 15 and a sawed off M79, and a few guys were carrying the M60. But uh, we, in the in '68, we were just Car 15s. Right, and I think for me, um, I I love battlefield pickup, so I'll pick up any weapon and use it. Uh, you know, a Chinese, <laughs> a Chinese, French weapons, like anything. But my personal favorite is the sawn off M79 because uh, that's a game changer and it's very oh, quick to use. Thumper. Yeah. yeah. We, <laughs> we asked Ken favorite. the other day at the end of a mission, we are flying back, and I Thumper asked Ken, the what's the shortest range you ever use that uh, for real? And he said 20 meters. Really? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. 20 wow. meters with an HE round. Yeah. So <laughs> that's that, I mean, that, that made everyone on the helicopter go, oh, my Lord. Because that's yeah, danger close. <laughs> that that's you know you know that you're in the in the proverbial at that point. So uh, good. All right, great question. Let's keep moving. Okay, number six. Was there anything in your plans that you couldn't develop due to engine limitations? And this is uh to horrible goat veteran and spuffy. This is from Scarecrow one six two five. Scarecrow, I believe he's from the start. Korean community. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, uh, we guy. had a, with him. quite a lot of uh, ideas, naturally. Um, the female characters is one, shorter indie characters. Uh, they have some difficulties in, in the engine, so and, and they are pretty difficult to create. So, so that, unfortunately, didn't make the make the cut in the in the in the planning stage. And how about that? Mm, I guess for the tracker model when the avalanche hits you, I initially wanted to have vehicles also being used by NVA, but uh, the map of finding and physics just couldn't let me use vehicles in the jungle. Path finding's pretty tough. You know, too. Flying BTRs and tanks and yeah, <laughs> stuck on, on their trees. So I guess that's that's this. Yeah, and and Spoffy. I feel like veteran stole my answer though. Like it's it's got to be the vehicles and the AI again because trying to get reliable pathfinding, you can send them off from point A and they may never arrive at point B, and it's just not a lot you can do with that from a from design angle. Yeah, even if there's a road from point A to B, they can just wander into the jungle instead of using the road and get stuck in the tree. It's not optimal. I, I wanted string extractions and thick triple yeah. canopy jungle yeah. on, a, on a 20 by 20 map, which, uh, you know, That's string extractions would never work um, and, uh, in the current engine. And the triple canopy jungle, uh, you could do it on a small map, but on a big map like that, it's impossible. To make yeah, it yeah, we, we had to optimize the jungle so that there's there's still it is still playable ai can navigate it and and, and um the object yeah, count doesn't go the, go the roof so so the fps stays pretty stable in the jungle but it, we we tried it at thicker at some point and you know, it just it didn't work so we're, we're on a bit of a downer here so what's the next question then then tilt I think that's the next question is um <laughs> is there anything you regret while making the DLC, the question was asked by Mitchell to the team. Yeah, yeah, we we regret uh, working with each other. That's for sure. Uh, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> no! Ever no. agreeing to give up three years of our lives. Come on! Oh, uh, dead. No, no regrets. We're all actually. dead. Um, it's been. I think it's been good. Not really. Yeah. Brutal. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm pretty happy with what we did. I mean, I. Like, like I've said on, I love on release guys. day, I, I should have recorded their reaction and, and the team's reaction. But especially me, because I freaked out like a little girl when <laughs> it was announced. So, you know, we, we, I, remember. Just, I... we, we remember. We <laughs> remember. Yeah, I, I, I wish I, I did not remember this, but I do, yeah. Uh, I was just screaming that we just announced the DLC. I was so happy because three years working on this in secret and finally telling everyone uh, that there's... It, there's just reason to be proud of, I think. Any regrets from you, Don? Oh, uh, well. More snakes? <laughs> uh, nothing on the project itself. All that was handled quite well. I honestly have any regrets. It's not managing my time better so that I could spend more time with friends and loved ones before life-changing events. I think amen, amen, brother. And I think yeah. we, we all had the same, <laughs> to be honest. F friends and family took a bit of a backseat for all of us. During These this. guys, so, uh, you know, I was, was a lot of sacrifices very much part-time right, volunteer all, for most of this of work. Of so. I did hear uh, These guys sacrificed a ton to make this happen. You, know, you got to appreciate that. that. So let's keep this. Sorry, Tilt. You live with the repercussions. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you're, a, you're, a, you're a well-versed in that. So, uh, 
What's the next one? Go on. Well, we're on it. Okay, next question. Mitchell is back again with another good one. How often did you disagree with each other on different things (laughs) during the development and why? I'm seeing a trend here. And he's asking that for the veteran and for horrible goat. Well, within the terrain team, we worked pretty separately. So, so if there were any disagreements, they would come up in the time when every everyone's work were put together. And for a while, well, if if someone had accidentally done work on someone else's area, that that might cause some issues on whose work are we going to use, but but. Uh, other than that, I, I don't think we had like, like that that big of big of differences in 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 the workflow. But and uh, well, uh, everyone who's who, who had a problem, we always solved that, and then the workflow and uh, all the process was refined through that. So that that's it's not a, like a bad thing to have the disagreements. Uh, I think I miss our Thursday evening. Um terrain meetings they were they were great fun uh oh yeah i still have the uh calendar <laughs> notification it, it pops up every thursday and i'm like oh <laughs> adrenaline spike yeah <laughs> you know at the uh, at the washington post they used to call that creative tension there's plenty of that tilt so <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> what, what, one thing, my sort of rote answer on that is there's there's never one way to approach something. And in armor, there's usually only one optimized outcome. And, that, you know, you need inquiry, debate, and experimentation to get to that one outcome. That's kind of my written answer on the question. Um, it, you know, in reality, uh, we would generally uh, just troubleshoot and experiment, explore, and, and work out. But we would always, most of us, I would say, uh, be aiming for that one goal of, of having a, a functioning, optimized uh, system. Uh, so somebody would write something. Performance. And, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Somebody would write something and Spoffy or Veteran would write, rewrite it to make it work better. So. Yeah, that kind of way. <laughs> yeah. As for the campaign team, I guess we didn't have much disagreement because it was only me and Christian working on the missions and we are very like-minded. So after a short discussion, we were able to agree on how to do something. Was very smooth in, in our case. Yeah, out of all the teams I managed, you were the smoothest, I would say, uh, in terms of uh, you just got on with it. And there was never yeah, a, ra- like, a raised like voice. Single brain, basically, me and him. But yeah, it's a good question because, you know, you bring a team together of guys who've never worked together. Um, uh, well, you know, some of us had, but not, not many. Um, and, then, and then put us under extreme pressure for, for long periods yeah. of time. And, uh, you know, we did well to to get where we got to really and still be friends at the end of it you know? i pay that's, them to be my friends so. <laughs> yeah you know that's the thing that the people see the game they're not aware of all the time and effort you all put in on that i mean three years is a hell of a commitment and you see the finished product is uh, how many hundreds of people had to work on it to get it done to get it done right the way you've done it with the detail the depth uh, when the when the games are going down, it's amazing. So a hats off to you all, for sure. Thank you, Tilt. Yeah, thanks, Tilt. If you don't mind, I'd like to. Uh, yeah, uh, go on. I'd like Tilt to extend, say that it's not just uh, people who develop develop content assets and things like that. There's also a lot going on behind the scenes with IT stuff, technical people who keep everything organized and the machine running. So they definitely deserve some kudos. Yeah. Airborne. <laughs> yeah. Big team. They're our, our King Bee pilots, basically. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. My camera. Okay, on to the next one, too. On to the next one. Number nine. When did you know you had something special? The question was asked by Sharp. Mm. He directed it to the team. Uh, jump in, guys. Uh... I think it was when the veterans started joining in, when they, when we started actually talking with them, when they started jo- joining the conversation with us, that, yeah, that was, everything changed there, I think, because it started to look even more serious than it already was. At least that's for me. Sure changed my life getting to talk to these guys. Well, it was great. Stories. 
Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go on. I was gonna say it was great fun hopping into like Saturday mic force testing sessions um, yes. just after we'd pushed uh, uh, some new content, maybe some new weapons, some new vehicles, and like the first 20 minutes, 30 minutes of the session, would people just be ogling and playing with the new toys? And that was always incredibly fun and and, and satisfying to see. Yeah, I, I sat down with uh, General Bore um, in Wales uh, when he was over visiting uh, UK Special Forces and and. Um, for about 90 minutes, uh, we went up to talk about contracts and we spent 90 minutes talking about NBA tactics. And uh, we were literally finishing each other's sentences. So um, it was just like we were singing completely off the same hymn sheet. And that's when I realized uh, that we had done enough of our homework to know that we could hold it with a with a SOG 1-0. Um, and, and he would, he saw exactly what, you know, that we saw his experiences as he saw them, uh, you know, and he's finishing my sentences. And at the end of it, he said, "What a fantastic meeting!" Because we just knew we, you know, we both just knew we, this was the right thing to do. We were we were on the same page, and I just thought, as long as that's good, everything else will follow, and you know, it'll be good. It's pretty special. Yeah, you you had a you like had that. a big impression. You made a big impression on him. That's for sure. <laughs> positive <laughs> yeah yeah it's all that arm twisting but no he's stronger than me so i, d I doubt that <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah i mean flying the cobra the first time uh that thing came out the out the gate like a race car on steroids and uh and i was just like punching the air that was fantastic uh really nice experience yeah i've flown in the front seat of a cobra twice and each experience was just phenomenal and then wow. compared to flying that. I was allowed to fly co-pilot on a couple of gunships when we were uh, we had the monsoons. We couldn't yeah. go run missions, so we loaded up the gunship and go out to the South China Sea and look for uh, NVA supplies coming down through those little dinghy boats, and we'd fire them up, man. <laughs> but over was something else. It was a big difference. You just feel like uh, all the weapons and everything. It was fun. I imagine it's like riding around in the palm of God's hand. Oh, absolutely. And not quite as much fun as a kink be, nor as challenging, but <laughs> you did feel like the power of God in your right hand. That's for sure going that trigger finger. <laughs> sure. Thanks, Till. And That's anybody so cool. else uh, has a good memory of uh, realizing what we've made? For Can me, I cheat with pretty light. Oh. Yeah, sorry. Uh, for me, no, it's pretty, pretty light. Uh, I'm, I'm really hard to satisfy when it comes to Arma, Arma work. So I think it was only after I was seeing that the player base was really enjoying the game. So it was only after the release. And I, I saw all the reviews, positive reviews, and people saying the missions are awesome, assets are awesome, and they fucking enjoy it. Yeah. So much to us. So much. I, I saw we had something special. Uh, I, guess... I, I, I think I was more optimistic in the in the beginning than maybe maybe others that when i saw, saw the lineup of our, of our team and and the plan and and that it, this this project had been accepted as a as a cdlc uh that was kind of like a like a moment that i was thinking that this is going to be special so so it's like uh, this will happen this is real thing i love the uh walker bulldog it was on point i've driven that vehicle in real life and you guys did an amazing job on the interior of that. <laughs> thanks jordan um don were you going to say something yeah i forgot that there was a we were doing the turn to keep things orderly i was going to say can i cheat with three answers go ahead the first time was when i started playing on the map and then i fell behind in my duties the second time was when i played the campaign with you and it was the very first time i played the mission and it felt like I was actually being hunted by the AI as opposed to they were just going somewhere. And the third time was when I played Mike Force and fell even further behind in my duties and couldn't stop playing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great. Thank you, Don. Playing the game the first time with these guys was yeah, really no, amazing it's interesting. for me. From our side, Jack Tobin was a, a member of the Mike Force. And one day he introduced me to a, a general. He goes, General, I want you to meet Tilt. He was in Saad. Those guys ran missions across the fence, and they were snooping and pooping. 
with the mic for us, we hunted for those commie bastards. <laughs> so that was that was a veteran's opinion from the mic force. <laughs> <laughs> well, that does happen, but it tends to be the other way around uh, as, as well in the way that Spock is. Well, really Jack's a great guy, and uh, but the mic force did. I mean, they they were a quick reaction force, and they went out on missions and they looked for trouble, fuck shit and they up. hurt those, they hurt him. That's for sure. Asking purpose, fuck shit up. On the number ten. Yep. Next one. Number 10, which part of the DLC was the hardest to create, most tedious, time-consuming? That's from Basil, directed to the team. That was terrain, for sure. Yeah, uh, well, uh, as, as part of the terrain team, it, it kind of, we started at the beginning and, and we, we really, really worked it to the very end. So, so it's probably the only thing that's been going on for the whole, the whole duration of the project. And it's basically still going on. And the original plan was 10 months, I think. For the <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think. It really? Was, it was also, uh, well, two times smaller. So, so the original plan, I think, was 10 by 10 kilometers. And then at some point, it, it, it grew into 20 by 20. Um, but really the terrain process, it, it, it encompasses the whole, whole DLC in a way that everything is done with it. Missions are done with it. The, the models are done with it and the, the work on it. It's and so then the terrain well is made to work with it's other so objects well and with the missions and the terrain sets the overall scene of the, of the whole DLC. And what sets it apart yeah, it is was, how it's a labor of love. It's so in depth. There's so many uh, things to discover as part of it. Posting some so much more of, than meets uh, the eye. Early work of the terrain. If you're interested to see that in the, in the chat, I guess. The, in the chat channel, yes. So that would be the original. Um, uh, yeah, you made sketch. a drop. So. I, I made a sketch on New Year's Day 2018, I think. Uh, and then an a4 sheet and then I, I drew it in photoshop and handed it to icebreaker and then he came back with the the uh sort of his version which was which was just a, a, amazing to see the difference of you know when, when you've just drawn something on a bit of paper and then then he comes back and it's the whole coastline just the scale of it was uh oh god what have we done <laughs> this is too big <laughs> we're, we're, we're all gonna die you know yeah Okay, so that's the end of that question. Um, yep. All right, number 11. Uh, again, this is for the team. Did you ever get to use Arma's quirks to your advantage? And that is from Republic of Pixels to the team. One for you, Spock. So when we were testing, um, we, we just have to read out the withstand module. There was this bug that I think still occasionally happens where the AI will just double tap you when you're down on the floor and just finish you outright. They'd run up to you and, you know, they might just pop you in the face with a sawn off. And <laughs> it was absolutely not intentional. Um, as far as I can tell, there's no way that the code should do that, but it still does, I think. And uh, that was always a lot of fun, um, mostly just hearing people complain in voice whenever it would happen. <laughs> The, the outrage at being executed, yeah. yeah. Oh, I actually just remembered one. This was actually a very early on campaign mission where we were testing the trackers. And I guess you guys still remember that if you lay down on the ground and not move at all, the enemy would just stay all, all over you, like on top of you, and they wouldn't do anything because yeah, they couldn't see you. <laughs> that was yeah, a good yeah. one. In the tracker model, there's this uh, mechanic where they they're being led onto the mines if placed. So we didn't want the mines <laughs> to be too effective. So initially, I was thinking I should make uh, them go on top of the mines random, but there was like no need to code anything because uh, our map of finding and waypoints are not so precise. So they might step on the mine, but they don't do. So it was like free functionality that it's it's kind of random to the depth of finding 
Yeah, that, I guess that means you, you still get trackers coming after you. They don't always hit your toe poppers, and, and it makes for a bit more tension in the design. But we didn't design it, like you say, it just happened. Yeah. No, in Shay, I just made them go on top of the mines and wanted to see how, how it would work out, if it would really be too effective or not. But turned out it's not too effective because I'm not for finding. Right, next question. Running out of Next time. question. Did you ever use armor? Oh, sorry. Next what, one. Are no. major, what are the major differences between developing a creator DLC and a regular workshop mode? I guess I'll answer this one because I can do it fast. I, I could do this one quickly. So basically, quality has to be high. Um, you know, visually, but also in the execution. Um, so, so in terms of its um, optimization and the optimization of all the assets, um, which you won't very well done always well. see in a mod, uh, because uh, you also don't have the time to spend like you have on a mod. You have to finish things and move on to the next thing uh, because time is money um, uh, for the team because we're all investing in the game and we're wasting each other's money if we basically spend too long on things. So, um, the I guess. Um, it has to make total sense, you know, to everyone around the world, which is always a bit tricky sometimes, uh, especially the translation and the, and the naming things. Um, and it has to stick within the PEGI rating and, and be backwards compatible. So there's a whole bunch of things there that, uh, uh, from the project director's chair, that's the things I'm kind of beating everyone over the head with every day uh, in terms of <laughs> it has to be this and it has to be that. And they're going, but why? You know, but because it, uh, yeah, because it has to be, it has to be a, a paid product, um, has to be done at a quality that you don't, you don't need to worry about in your hobby project. I think, I think that pretty much answers that one. Okay. Yeah. Number 13 is directed to the team. It's the question came from Sumac122. If you could add one feature to Arma, what would it be? Frames. Yeah. Uh, that's frames per feature. second. So, so yes. better, 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 better <laughs> optimize. More horsepower, as Don Hassey calls it. Mm. Yes. Um, yeah. I got one. Good. Go on, Don. A situational interaction key that will open a door or let you climb ladder depending on how close you are to the object instead of having to scroll through the menu <laughs> for everything. Oh. Yeah, same for me. I would not add a feature. I would remove the feature, the down scroll menu, and replace it with something more intuitive. Yeah, nobody likes planting mines on, on a, a yeah, casualty. In the arsenal? Yeah. On their spawn? Or on the helicopter. Ev everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. What's this? What's this button? Touch off. Uh, Goat, you had one? <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to say underground exactly. structures because those are neat and they, they would be very cool and add Done a lot of options differently than gameplay. we do it. Yeah, we kind of worked around that with our tunnel system. And we yeah, never yeah, yeah, but I, I, I love to have like a proper system on that. We never knew if it was going to work and we were amazed when it did. So well done to you and Jack for, that, for those. Um, I'd say let's end the sausage party. We need female characters. Um, you know, the VC had a whole army of female soldiers and couriers and stuff. We can't represent them in the game, so it'd be good if we could. All right, yeah. moving right along. What era, what Vietnam era song do you like the most? This is from Supernova mm. to the team. Oh, well, I know you like uh, Fire by Arthur Brown, right? Fire, and then That's in the early one. days before I heard that song. The all-time favorite was the animals. We gotta get out of this place if it's the last thing we ever do. <laughs> That's cool. Um, you know, we nearly got Arthur Brown's fire song, and the the um, the licensing laws are such a nightmare on Steam Workshop. Uh, we couldn't do it, even though Arthur really, really wanted. He was he loved the idea, and he really was. They kept contacting us, even even not that long ago saying, please, you know, use our track. And we can't because the lawyers, you know, the way the system is, you just can't, we, we can't use a commercial track in the game because uh, of the way the, 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 the store is licensed. And that sucks because I really wanted to get Tilt song in, in the game. I know, the damn blood-sucking ambulance chasers. Yeah, yeah, too right, yeah. Let me I see. love Jimmy Hedrick. Graham so Nash, any, any uh, to, to be honest. Girl to be on Oh, yeah, mind. Foxy Lady. And then, hey, Joe, I shot my woman down. 
absolutely. That's why we want the female characters. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Whip, you had one, I think. Yeah, I had a couple. Uh, Time has come today from Chamber Brothers and the Sky Children from uh, Kaleidoscope. I mean, I could put a, like a whole playlist of favorite songs, but I chose this one. Yeah, I, I've actually got Tilt's playlist um, from which Jez put up on Spotify. Uh, you know, um, Geraint Jones, your friend in Wales, he he put up a after your podcast with him, he put up a Tilt's playlist based on all the songs you'd been talking about. I think. So I have that on my Spotify and listen to it, which is pretty cool. And you know what song was? What there was a song that came out ten years or twelve years too late. Welcome to the jungle, baby. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyone else? Okay, then we're moving on to the. Somebody else. drove my first hundred plane for me. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. So for me, it's somebody's love by Jefferson Airplane. Airplane. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's a, that's a good one. I think that's the title track for the album as well. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I would sing it right now, but it's well, Tilt song. already sang something, so it's not yeah, like we're Grace monetizing Slick it anyway. Yeah, Grace was on top of her game then. Whoa. Yeah. What a voice. Haunting. Strong. None of this Absolutely. is monetized on this stream yeah. right now. It's all focused on donation. For the record, Simone, three of the best female vocalist or Naretha Franklin you could go on <laughs> there's loads of them from that era well yeah and don't forget you had the doors with the unknown soldier bullet strikes the helmeted head he is yeah. dead yeah, oh yeah and none of you guys wore helmets so you're safe I suppose yeah we are cool <laughs> we... <laughs> <laughs> wow right. okay ready for the sales question protect against a bullet yeah okay this is from uh, Des Eight five five nine to the team. How did the DLC Dead. perform compared? Uh, probably maybe a platform compared to your predictors, and how much of your wage went on hookers and blow? <laughs> <laughs> All of it. This is typical Dez. Thank you for that question. Um, well, I mean, that's funny. I don't think any of us spent it on hookers and blow, unless I missed. Yeah, if we had to make a party. With yeah, yeah. I think I did, uh, I did travel to the Netherlands after I got paid. So, <laughs> like, uh, but it is not. It, it's it, it performed pretty well. Um, you know, it's nice to see the income coming in every quarter now, and and the guys getting paid off for all their sacrifices. That's the, that's the kind of worthy answer. A lot of people went a long time without pay. Um, and if they want to spend it on hookers and blow, that's entirely up to them. <laughs> you're and, that and, and, you can do it. And Des, you're not invited. <laughs> <laughs> He's a paramedic, right. so he would be invited. Nice guy. On to number two. Do you guys notice an influx of sales after the larger YouTube, Twitch, content creators post a video featuring the creator DLC. And that's from The Dude to Whiplash. So, actually, believe it or not, not really. Uh, obviously, you got videos like uh, from Digby or, or the, all the streamers uh, that are actually present here. Um, you don't actually see a huge difference whenever they post videos that get a lot of views. We do get a, a huge uh, influx when we have uh, discounts on Arma 3 and the DLC, which is actually happening right now, by the way. Hey, yeah. And, and, um, the thing is, we, we get a big morale boost from that. You know, I think Drewski uh, got uh, 650,000 views on his last... More, uh, I believe. Yeah, How many? 700,000, probably, nearly, uh, at the moment. Um, so, so when when we see there's that many people interested to watch our game being played, um, that gives us a real big boost and, and helps us far more than money, I would say, far more than money because it keeps us it keeps us all uh, convinced well, you know that, that we're doing the right thing. I find that amazing, Rob, because it took me two and a half years with my first interview with Jocko on his Jocko podcast to get 700,000. It took me two and a half years to get 700,000 views. You guys kicked this ass. Power of games. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. Yeah, that was that that one I think had Don Hassey in the uh in in the helicopter with with Drew uh telling war stories and that that's why it blew up really big. So Oh, he's great. got some great stories, that's for sure. Don Don's a trooper. He he just, you know, he turns up for the team every week and he enjoys his game with us. 
and he, he puts a lot of brass down range. And we um, love him very much. He's so like yeah, a I think, I think that's, I mean, we don't, you know, but i tell you what we did see today was we, as soon as we got on today, he is a and grandpa, the right. ZF guys, and some of the others started streaming. Uh, we went from 3000 to 8,000 uh, in the donations. So that was, that was a very visible impact Thank you of, all of the streamers uh, working with us. We're very, wow. very grateful. Thank you, Ellie. Yeah, Thank and then you, for Joe. people that like Rotorhead stories, there's a brand new book out called We Saved Sog Souls, written by Roger Lockshear, who was in the 101st Airborne, assigned to Sog. And his it's a great book for anybody who loves Rotorhead stories. It just hit the market. We Saved Sog Souls. And he has one scene where he's on a machine gun, and the cubby tells him his helicopter's on fire. He looked back and said, yeah, it's on fire, but he kept shooting until they crashed and was knocked unconscious. <laughs> Great. But we're, nice. we've wandered a little bit. I'm sorry. Next question. Are we ready for next question? Yeah. 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 Number three, how do sales friend, friend, trends influence your ongoing development? This is from the dude again. He's back at you, Whiplash. Um, so actually not much, but I would point out the wish list that we made on the Sogfrey Fire forum. After we released, we obviously got a, a lot of uh, requests of stuff to do. And uh, obviously I can't say what we're working at the moment, but uh, I would point out the civilian vehicles, for example. Uh, on release, they weren't drivable, but uh, with the 1.1 uh, update, we, we made them drivable. So. I would say the wish list, we, we do look at, at it and we try to base the decisions that we make on uh, models that were, or changes uh, on, on that a little bit. It's a big just, wish list. But I just got that book on Amazon as you were talking about it. Cool. There's a, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of new SOG books coming out this year. We'll keep everyone posted on them as well. So, um, Tilt, you're working on a new one at the moment. Well, it, it, right now it's here. It's locked in my tiny shrinking mind. But between the podcast and the getting used to Tennessee weather, but yeah, uh, hoping to get number four gone by next month. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and Gordon Deniston, oh. Croc 3, uh, his book on Mad Dog Shriver's due out really oh. soon. Hmm. That's going yeah. to be the one that's going to be the killer. That will be the best of all SOG books because there's been so much. Uh, after we've done the Jocko podcast, the most uh, – there's two people that I get most inquiries about mad dog and Lynn black from, uh, RT Alabama before he came over to Idaho. So that yep. book will be a big hit. I'm sure. And then Dick Thompson's got his book, uh, due for publishing very soon as well. So, uh, we're all yeah, mad. He's hired a very talented, he's hired a very talented, experienced copy editor who just happens to be, <laughs> uh, we're related. <laughs> my first daughter she's a certified copy editor now so uh oh that's cool but uh that's awesome. anyways i'm probably just gonna say let's himself, get on the next but... question here what would... single thing would you do to really boost your sales popularity this is from facebook Ugh. question <laughs> and that's a question to whiplash he's picking on whiplash now uh, so I, I would just say uh, more events, events like this, the charity event, or just simple things like the Mike Force events that we've been doing in the last couple of weeks. So things with the community, I think. A lot of fun. Yeah, the word's getting out there, you know, and we, we're working. Obviously, we have Ken and Don, SOG veterans, coming in to play with us and, and coming in. And we have a whole string of new um, interviews coming up. We've got about 10. And then there's people like Tilt in the background with his SOGcasts promoting the stories of SOG and, and creating the interest in the... Just finished thing, one so interview this week. In the history, you know. So uh, all of that works together. Really We're doing more harmony. coming up soon. Cool. Yeah, we got we to gotta tell that questioner, Facebook, he's got to get a new he's got to get a new tag, man. Anybody using Facebook for a tagline? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 all right, number five. How can we, the community, do more to help you guys tell these stories? You're putting it out there, helping with revitalizing the community. How do we help you maintain and expand upon that? That question is from Shadow Band USA, uh, Twitter. 
And that's directed back to you, Whiplash. You're under the gun here. <laughs> so we'll actually go back to what I just said. And yeah, the events that we do, this charity event that we're doing right now, which, by the way, we're at uh, $8,887 at the moment. Wow. Cool. So, we're wow. getting close. We're actually over $9,000 oh. with the last three. Did someone we just donate? We're on, yeah, we're, we're about to under 1000 to unlock the PC. Oh, my God. Yeah, we are we're at, at 9057 right now. Yeah, oh, that, wow. So the PC giveaway is unlocks at, at uh, the goal. Fantastic. So yeah. somebody's going to win that SOG PC today. Uh, with tilts, wow. with tilt signature and Ken's signature and, and dynamite right. dick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, um, uh, yeah, nice one. I guess that answered. <laughs> uh, uh, as we started, like fifteen minutes late, are we good to to roll fifteen more minutes, or will will Dolly have a fit? Uh, We're good. I, I played him. No. Okay. Well, let's All try right. to speed up a little bit. So. We can yeah. Can okay, we'll speed it up. We're going to go to terrain questions now. Uh. Were there often map prototypes planned as an alternative to Cam Low Nom? That's from Supernova to Horrible Goat. So we we actually touched that this a bit earlier with the with the sketch images. So so basically, no. Uh, Cam Low Nom was the main idea, and there were not really any alternatives unless Rob had something in his head way before the sketch, but, but those never were like in on, on the table. Um, only thing that, that changed really was the overall refinement of course, but, but also the size, which became, uh, grew from 10 by 10 kilometers to a 20 by 20 kilometers area, just so that we could fit in all this stuff. That was wanted, and and that's actually not twice as big. That's four times as big as it's. Oh yeah, yeah, true. Sure. Yeah, it's actually a four times bigger map. So, you know, you might add a little bit on, but because of the squaring of it, you finish up adding years onto your life or taking years off of your life. <laughs> I'll post a couple of pictures in the chat channel to just yeah con right. continue on from the from the cool earlier yeah. sketch. Rob, how much time do we have? Because there's a lot of questions. There's some really good ones later down. Yeah, um, skip skip the next one because we've already answered it uh, about how long the map took. That was three years. Uh, and then uh, next one's all right. That's that. Okay, besides, number three, besides the most <laughs> well-known real-world locations that are present in the maps, the SOG FOBs, Hamburger Hill, cities, etc., what are some other lesser known real world locations that are depicted in the maps? Uh, I'll answer that quickly then. So the Plain of Jars in Laos, which we added because it was fun and it's a World Heritage Site, and Halong Bay, which is a insanely beautiful limestone rock formations off the coast of North Vietnam. Of course, it's miles away from anyone's AO uh, in real life, but uh, we just had to put them in there because they're so beautiful and uh, really enjoy them. Pretty cool. <laughs> Dolly, you are insane. We are at our goal, ladies and gentlemen. What? Oh. We're at 10,257. Hey. PC is now Woo, somebody's going to PC is now unlocked. Lucky PC. A lot of vets are going to get today. that support they need. That's oh awesome. <laughs> Actually, well, here's the fucking go. Thank you. We're going to have to come up with insane. another milestone. <laughs> Right, th let's jump to the mission questions. 20,002 PCs. <laughs> Here we go. Um, did the settings for the DLC start as Vietnam War in general and shift towards Mac V SOG or vice versa? Did it start with Mac V SOG and it meant the focus of the DLC team and its campaign? Yeah, it was Mac V SOG since the beginning. Yes. I, I that's joined the, the team, it was. It was uh, we have planned a lot more missions, but every one of them was Mag Visog. Yeah, is pretty and, special. Uh, I think in the original proposal was that dedication you've seen tilt that we wrote to to the Sog veterans, airmen, the Indige, and also the uh, the quote from Lynn Black's WTF book. Um, yeah, about why he fought in Sog and his Sog family. Um, and that, and you know, that really was the beginning of what we what we set out to do, and it was the middle, and it was the end. All right, very good. That was that question was from Snafu. He he also asked, 
Uh, Rob, this is for you. Is there any particular significance behind RT Raleigh's name? Yeah, so so basically, uh, RT Columbia is the main uh, team in the in the in the campaign, and Rally is the backup team for Brightlight. And uh, the what we had to do was come up with a way of fictionalizing SOG recon teams um, without pointing to real ones. And so, just like SOG choosing states, we chose cities uh, around Fort Bragg, North Carolina. All right. Speaking of the campaign story, what did not make it in? This is from Sharp to Veteran. Yeah, so basically uh, many missions, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we've planned, I think, 16, 16 missions. But only six made it because when we started making them, it was obvious that it's a lot more work than we expected. The voice acting, the polishing of the missions, everything was a lot of time. No kidding. Wow. Yeah, so, yeah, we, we planned 16 missions initially. I won't All say right, so we, w- we, which mission we skipped because it's possible we still might do some of them. Yeah, we could probably rule out a POW camp raid because yeah. uh, the SOG veterans asked us not to do it because it, they didn't feel it was right to depict a successful POW raid uh, because you know, one was never successfully done by SOG and they didn't want us to, to, to distort history. That's right. Fair, and Bill. And yeah, and don't forget, too, we had a recon team that was going in to a American POW camp, and the NVA came on the radio and said, we know where you are. Stop, or we'll kill all the Americans here right now. And then one zero turned around and went home. Oh, yeah, very a tough uh, situation well, to be good, in. Good logic, I can't Rob. Imagine. Thank you for that. Uh, what was the most interesting SOG mission you learned? <laughs> learned about when researching this is from coolio hand days to rob and the team yeah Lynn october Black's 5th Oscar 1968 yep. Lynn black and rt alabama 100 percent. oh yeah I'm uh, they got hit in the freaking head with a <laughs> hand grenade that's the mission uh, holy Jock shit and podcast 247 with tilt Meyer. uh you need to you need to what listen to that because that that is the i will link a uh, wild documentary on it that i really like give me a sec it's right up there, and uh, um, it, it compares to Legend with Roy Benavides down at CCS in May of 68. Absolutely. I agree. I'm biased. Um, what's coming next to Mike Forrest game mode? This is from that guy with the poor uh, sign-in name, Facebook, to, to Spuffy. <laughs> Yeah, so we've got a bunch of stuff planned um, over the next few months in Mike Force. So we're trying to make the gameplay a bit less repetitive, a bit more dynamic, because it gets a little samey by the time you reach the end. So we're working on a, on a gameplay director to uh, push back against the US forces and try and give some new situations and uh, different types of combat for the players. We've got some new scouting mechanics coming in to sort of address the balancing issues between air and ground and get them working to, together a bit more. Some new buildings, like we've got docks coming in, so we can actually spawn in some boats and get some uh, nasty boats growing up and down those rivers that are miles away from the airbase. Uh, we've got a full UI overhaul coming at some point, um, which will just, because the task roster is not fantastic, it just we're just tearing the whole thing out and building it from the ground up again, and, and hopefully that and the support menu will all be way more usable then. And uh, is slowly a getting further, further into the we've corner. Also got the sort of <laughs> ground and air funny. vehicles. We're bringing a scoped in, scoped down version of that in, because as we talked about earlier, getting any kind of proper pathfinding and armor is a nightmare. Um, and the spike team as well. Um, we've got a design in place for that, so that's pretty exciting. Fab. <laughs> there Can't he goes wait. back into this. Very good. <laughs> oh um, no, he's back in the corner. Now we go to asset questions, again. and Supernova is directing this to you, Rob. Some people say that the creator DLC focuses too much on spec ops. Why aren't there more tanks and planes in Prairie Fire? Uh, and what do you have to say to that, Tilt? <laughs> um, there weren't that many tanks, and we did use a lot of planes, but it's really hard to depict that. And the planes that have been, and the helicopters, air assets that have been depicted to date by the team, they've done an incredible job. And uh, three years invested already. Um, give a little time; they'll get there. Yeah, thanks. And, and uh, that's the answer. I mean, <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, we we did a vertical slice, so you do one of everything. Um, so you can test the technology, the physics, the coding, you know, the uh, the animations, everything. Um, oh, that's an interesting and so there's point. like one of one each of tank, yeah. one of each boat, and all that sort of thing. And and that was really what we aimed to do, while getting the campaign and terrain done. And and then basically once all that's out, we can then turn our ta- turn our attention to uh, fleshing out what you call the horizontal slice, which is to add more variants and more options. And that's what we're doing now. So. But we can't tell you, or we'll have to send Tilt round to kill you. Indeed. <laughs> and he will. All right, what's the update? One, one. Originally Kidding. planned with more content like new vehicles. Again, this is Supernova. Back to you, Rob. He really wants his vehicles. So, um, he does. Uh, we, we did put new civilian vehicles in 1.1 release. Um, and, uh, you know, it was really about My just uh, pushing out a hot fix of bug fixes here. over the summer. And so we just rallied them story. around and said, what else have we got? And actually, oh, Temp has made a whole new case and terrain, you know, and 12 by 12 kilometers of terrain, which he managed to knock out in about six months. So so we dropped that in as a pre, as a freebie uh, along with seals. Really? So, oh, yeah. So there was a whole lot of stuff that went in. Uh, but vehicles take a hell of a long time to finish. So so that's why there's not so many vehicles dropping in that in that particular update. Because it was right what are we doing? You mentioned SEAL teams. What's going on with the SEAL team side of it? Right. So basically, we have SEAL teams, and um, there's there's the Naval Advisory Detachment that we're uh, uh, with SOG at um, at Da Nang, um, and then there's the um, there's De- Detachment Bravo who were operating uh, up around the uh, the Cambodian border in, around the Delta, but further up on the border. Um, and then there's the actual SEAL Team 1 teams um, who were based down at Sea Float, places like that, in the, in, right off the edge of the Delta. So we've made all of those guys. You know, they're, all, they're all playable, and they've got all their different custom weapons, stoners and Uzis and all kinds of stuff. Uh, right. And, just... uh, and the UDT, sorry, the UDT as well, the scuba guys. So the first yeah. time I think they've ever been depicted in a video game or probably even in a movie or something, you know, actual SEALs in UDT gear. Which is pretty cool. Still, they look like they're out of a James Bond movie. Those beaver wetsuits. You mean with all the SEAL movies that are out there, they never depicted it that way? I don't think they've done any real good Vietnam ones, right? It's it's uh Oh, that's a good question. There's so many SEAL movies, I just don't have time to watch them all. <laughs> but on a, serious, on a serious note, at very early days, there were SEALs assigned to recon teams at Contoon in the early days of SOG. And uh, so we have to give them credit for that. And then they, uh, there were two SEALs that earned medals of honor uh, up in North Vietnam, one of which was the uh, film Bat 21, which the movie, of course, was completely inaccurate, but uh, was based on that mission. Fantastic. So what we're on to, I think, one of the last questions or so. Get close. Yeah, we are close. And- Maybe we could end this question with Basil. What is something in the DLC you're really proud of, from Basil to the team? Snakes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> right, let, 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 let's all answer this one at a time, just so, just, and then we'll, we've all had a go. So, the overall meaning behind it. it. And the ter- terrain is really awesome, and the sound design by Dennis is also giving uh, life to the game it's a lot better than vanilla yeah that's true um i would definitely agree with that uh spoff like in the whole dlc it's got to be dennis's sounds again um oh he did an just amazing job sit in a dark Legendary. room playing sog prairie fire headset and it just it's so immersive every single sound from the helicopters to the guns are just so damn satisfying um, that really did come out the best, I think. How's of the jungle? Sorry too. to everyone else. Don, can we ask you next? Someone who mostly likes to ferry around in the sky. I'm gonna have to say Dennis's sounds as well, because I love me a good wine and beating of the rotors. Yeah, I mean, he did such a good job of those that uh, we gave Dick Thompson a flashback when when he was watching the. Uh, watching the team uh, play the mission and he said he could smell the JP4 when we climbed in the King Bee. So that was pretty cool. Um, 
and uh, who, who, uh, goat. How about you? Uh, well, the terrain naturally, because it's it's awesome, and the ter- team did so so good job with it. Uh, and all then all on 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 my own work yeah. and fun things and, and proud things uh, uh, was the animated ammo belts because it's a weird feature that just happened to work. You mean yeah, work so, out. Gore guns. so what we did there was we took the um, animation system that's used on the uh, on the tank tracks to make the UV uh, animate and we put it onto the the uh, armored am- ammunition belts feeding the M60s in the helicopters and the miniguns. And so you can see all the bullets whirring by, and we never knew if that was going to work um, because it's on a, a weighted moving system of, of uh, you know, flexible. Uh, it's not like just a tank track, which is a single loop. It's something that moves around and bends and distorts. Um, and and I, I almost gave up hope about four times while you were designing that. And for total credit to you uh, for pushing it through and getting it over the line because we all absolutely loved it, you know. Um, uh, Whiplash yourself. Uh, the snakes and, and the screenshot. Oh yeah, you said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And the, the, and the screenshot because uh, yeah. I believe I made so far over six hundred screenshots, and that's only the ones that were published because the unpublished. There were ones a ton are of ones that Whiplash made, but never two thousand or more. <laughs> so yeah. probably that because it took me a, a lot to make them. Yeah, you did a fantastic job of those, and 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 you you know we always under so much pressure when we get to release dates because there's so much to get uh, so, sorted out for those. Um, but you know, there's very little rework because you you have such a good eye for um, for you know setting the pictures up and composing it's them. It's easy with the assets that our guys make. True. Yeah, yeah they all look good. So um, for me, it's the memorial to Sog. Um, at the end of Eldest Son, we added That's in, a uh, great requested answer. by Staff Sergeant Richard Fitz's son, uh, Richard Fitz Jr. Um, and we great added that answer. at the end of the Eldest Son mission um, with a lovely picture of his dad in the helicopter. Um, and then at the end of uh, Oscar Eight, uh, you know, penned and voiced by General Beauray himself. You know, the the well done to the team for getting through the the what we call the motherfucker target. You know, uh, not a nice place to go, and not you know very hard to get the team out. Um, and then, of course, it's followed up by the RT Colorado radio recording, which hits us all like a sledgehammer every time we finish the mission. And, and everyone I know who's experienced the end of Oscar Eight mission absolutely loves that moment uh, where where it brings home like the reality of the experience of SOG guys on the ground. You know, Charlie's fifty meters on our ass. You know, um, and John Plaster's saying, where do you want it? Where do you want it? Uh, Azimuth and distance. And he says, 50 meters north. And it's just, you know, he's snatching the words out as he's running. And that's Pat Mitchell. Um, and uh, you can just hear the absolute panic and terror as the guys are trying to separate, uh, you know, from, from the NBA who are hounding them. And we brought that into the game with their permission, you know, because Tilt helped us arrange that. Uh, that to me, uh, is the thing we're proudest of. I think. Never forget listening of. to that for the first time with Dare. He was a beta tester. Office, and me and him went through and listened to the whole thing and yeah. cut yeah. it oh, down yeah. to be a and little shorter than the, the 45 uh, minutes of the KIA, full. KIA, David Mixter. He's still yeah. amongst 50 Green Berets that are missing in action today in Cambodia and Laos, in addition to the 83-plus aviators who died supporting SOG missions. So you guys have paid tribute to them with skill and unimagined uh, dedication, because it's definitely the best uh, game out there in terms of the way it looks and the respect, and the, you pay homage to the That's eight so years and the men Tilt. that fought in that eight-year sequel war. Thank you. Thank you, Till. Thank you, Till. And, so and much. Wild Carrots, I think he's planning to go out again this year to, to on, on his um, bright light uh, to continue mission. He's still looking for that jet pilot. Yeah, if he doesn't get screwed over by DPAA one more time again, disgraceful. I'm sorry, my head broke. Kudos to him for, for for returning to a mission in his seventies to try to complete it. Uh, but, right, which the only green for any man I know to, on, to spend thirty five thousand of his own money to go back to complete the mission that he sent on as a recon team leader, nineteen seventy. Amazing story, a crazy guy. <laughs> I'll Definitely a guy you want on your side. All oh, right. yeah. Um, 
Yeah. But well, I think I think we've got to the end of the Q and A. Yes. We're going to go back to the mission. And, yes. Uh, just like to thank everyone for tuning in and watching. Thank you all for your donations. I can't believe we've made the 10K already um, mm. off the PC. So that's that's fantastic. We have a, a, a podcast in with uh, Dick Thompson uh, for about 30 minutes at the at, at 1900 or 1400 UK. Um, same place um, as, as we are now. And that will just be to explain what we're doing with MVG guys here, uh, helping veterans over the coming months. Um, and give get to Dick's unique perspective on it. Um, thank you all for your questions. Uh, that was fab. And thank big special thanks to the team and to uh, Tilt for coming in and and uh, 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 humoring us today uh, with the, with the questions and, uh, and and supporting us. Hey, let me so tell you, Rob, it's my honor to be with your team because you guys kicked ass and took numbers and you did it for three years. People forget that and uh, we'll never forget it. And we we're forever in your debt for it. Thank you. Thank you, Till. Thank you. Airborne. 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 It, 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 the ball. Airborne. I got something yes. for you, uh, Rob. All the way. Okay. If you're okay with it, the board has authorized a second PC built. Same PC. If you want to, we want to go for 20K. Yeah, if we great. have time. Yeah, we can do that. Um, 20 might be a stretch. Uh, Hey, we don't, we don't have that many more hours to do it in, but uh, we can go for it, sure. You got to right. go for it. We've go got for 20K, one hour guys. <laughs> and we've done seven, oh, about 8,000 in the last four and a half hours. Amazing. Right, well, let's get, the, uh, let's get hit Let's get hit in the public. Get some armor. Yeah, yeah. so now let's we get are in the, back get into, it. into the Get back to Nam. $10,715. And I would like to remind you that even though we're over the the goal you can still donate and participate on the raffles that are going to happen at the end of the event so you can still win the macri saw gaming pc and the signed rt idaho picture from tilt so keep donating if you want to get a chance if we hit the goal that's twice as many pcs you could win <laughs> right and if we go over if we get to twenty thousand, i'll add a second idaho signed oh. for the for the effort Thank you, Till. Thank wow. you, Till. Thank you so much. Well, we reached ten thousand. That's my. You're my heroes. Fifty you got meter out there, like so much class and style. I just, I'm, I'm blown away by it all. Thank you. Thank you, boss. Thank you, Till. I'll see you guys in game. Yeah. All right. Let's all jump out. Well, I got to take a short yeah. break. Tell, so I'll catch be you back in it. about five ten minutes. Thanks, Till. Marked on the map. Whoa! What the fuck was that? That was an RPG. I should have put mines on these roads, that would have been evil. At least concertina wire would have been good. Concertina wire with mines around it, so if you try and go around then you explode. That's a real tactic. Another tactic is to leave a sign that says minefield, but there's no actual minefield. <laughs> when I was in, they, we were always told, put up chemical or biological signs. Some little triangles, and we're like, yeah. oh, shit, watch what the enemy's at. And we're like, okay. <laughs> Yeah. So the glass on that is actually uh, like highly radioactive. Right? Oh. And uh, the glass piece fell out one of one of our Apaches. One of my buddies was a uh, mechanic that uh, went out with the cheap dudes to go grab it. They didn't give him my beer. And oh. <laughs> That's funny. Damn. Was he serious or was he just yeah, messing with him? So is that radioactive? Holy shit. Whoa, fuck, man. 
Go right, go right. That's incredible, though, that radioactive. Yeah, let's go south. Oh yeah. man, that's horrible. Yeah, yeah. 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 then they're like, well, you know, now your BDUs are fucked up because you turned them inside out. So I'm like, now you gotta wear this shit. Now you got radioactive shit on the inside of your BDUs. Dude, it's, yeah. it smells you paint, uh, Apache, you have to wear like gloves and all that shit. You can't like, if the, it gets on your uniform, you have to throw it away because it will literally give you cancer. It touches oh. you. Or that's you insane. Know, you that's yeah. It's really crazy. Oh. Alright, left here. Just I drive through the fucking hedge. Don't hit the concertina wire. Mm. Alright, stop here. Dismount. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> hit our own mines. <laughs> Get out. Alright, I'm out. I'm alive. Barely. We just hit a nice spot. We should lay out all the vehicles that we have. And wait like six hours for ice and half to show up to do an inspection. <laughs> you just sit there and just talk shit about ice and half the whole time like soldiers do. What'd you get? I would just ah. take this off just for the Did which doctor make it out? Yeah. I, yeah, he made it I'm fine. Alive. Good. You look like you just got LASIK out here wearing sunglasses at night. Ballistic glasses. Protect me from shrapnel. Can we have a kumbaya circle? Yep. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I have to shoot. Just make it quick. Hey everyone, our task today is to patrol into the forest and capture three enemy bunkers. We have ISR support from an unarmed loach overhead. I'm acting as Alpha Team Leader today. Hope you enjoy. Ready for contact, guys. When we dismount, we're going to be in a line. Again, blue left, red right. I will be the center of the line. Fucking dismount, guys. All right. Get out. Go into the woods to the right. Hola. Today we take a trip back in time to 1998. Our Colombian SWAT team is tasked with raiding a cartel drug distribution depot. What we learn from this mission is not to underestimate the cartels. They receive solid training and are equipped with unsophisticated but deadly weaponry. We go into this mission equipped only with CAR-15 rifles, grenades, flashbangs, and minimal medical supplies. It's going to be a tough one, but the engagement turns out to be incredibly cool. Hope you enjoy. Four dudes on the other team. 
We'll see how it goes. Hope you guys brought plenty of ammo. If you didn't, conserve your ammo and make sure you're using single shots and not full auto. If you're being shot at and somebody's down, return fire before you treat them. Kill the enemy before you uh, treat your comrades. Keep it staggered as best you can, just in case they lag out and crash straight into us. I can barely shoot over the top of the bed of the truck. Okay, you can also turn out and face forward, just so you know. Don't break yeah. that truck. Oh, good job, kid. Burn I didn't even see that coming. <laughs> okay, we are back. Get ready for part two of Operation Credence Muddy Water. Just one second here. If you donate 200 quid, you can also sacrifice whiplash for us what <laughs> what do brits mean when they say quid fuck off if we reach 20k we're giving away whiplash all right in game we go Yep. I can hear you running. Okay. Alright, disconnect and restart things because it's playing up. Yeah. I've got a nice program for you, uh, Rodkill. Inter Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, mate. Okay. I don't know if you've come across that one. It saved yep. my ass so many times after playing armor. Do you know, like when Windows 10 just goes, Nope, I'm freezing your PC because of memory. No, I don't get that. It's probably too late now, but hey guys. Uh, oh, there he is. Hey, uh, I was just gonna say, Draw, you're doing a fantastic job, man. Like, you, I know you didn't expect to be doing that much, <laughs> that much coordination, but you really rose to the occasion and are kicking ass out there. So yeah, awesome work, man. Trying to do us all proud, you know. Yeah, I was gonna say if if you ever want to trade out, um, I'm happy to help. I don't have as much experience with this airframe but i'm sure i can figure it out after playing a little bit with it yesterday so if, yeah, you need to fly in circles mate that's all yeah yeah i figured if 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 it's too much for you you know i'm sure that ghost rider would be totally cool with you hanging with him for a while so whatever you want uh, yeah i'm on the fence about it i mean how about you just give it give me a call when you uh if you decide that you want to do that and we'll just meet here and do that We'll swap out. Uh, you know, let's, let's switch it up some. 
<laughs> you want to do it? To decide now. If, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's, get let's switch out. it up. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's switch it up for this one, and then. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. So I got a monitor sixty-eight primarily, and what other freak? Seventy. I was just listening on seventy because, like, I would hear what Rob's hearing, and then. Okay, Roger. All right. This will be stressful, but I'm excited. I think it'll yeah, be cool. Extremely. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. So, um, why don't you go connect up here? I'll I'll run over with Ghost Rider and let him know what's going on. So I'm guessing you had 70 as an additional channel. Uh, I kind of just set it up so like, uh, yeah. Well, 70 was my primary because I I didn't know like who was going to be talking about that mostly. Okay. Um, but it's mostly. <clears throat> 68. Here, Nat. Here. You take my gear, and I'll take your gear. So, uh, spooky, are we going up in the spooky, or no? Is it not doable, or...? I have no idea. I tried hey, to Don, off. Hey, Don, I'm gonna give you a draw for, uh, for this portion of the mission, and then I'll come back for part three, okay? Yep. All right. Um, he's a great, he's a great, uh, transport pilot, but I want to take some pressure off him, because he's been working so hard. Oh, no, we're in part two. Part, it's part two. Yeah, they had part three laid up early by Here. Yeah. Yeah. Draw, you take my gear. Yeah, Don. Ryan doesn't okay. know how to unmute his microphone in TeamSpeak, so nobody can hear him. Oh. Um, uh, it, disconnect TeamSpeak, reconnect is probably the easiest. Yeah, yeah, just restart it's TeamSpeak. People, it's because people were stuck, still left in the T-Fire room when we finished the mission. Oh, I hate that. Oh. There we go. There we go. Thank you, sir. All right. How's it going, Dad? Well, they did it because they mass edited the channel and muted everyone so no one could talk to each other. I think he's helping. Someone he's helping Ryan car. right now. Good. Right. So, oh, uh, someone's driving my car. But uh, yeah, just make sure you get the right hey, paint I... job on that aircraft. Yep. Yeah. What's the password? Um, I'll get it for him. Yeah. I don't say it over. Um, Bronco's not terribly quirky, uh, but if yeah, you go down, you do have to master arm it. Someone drove off at my, in my car. What? Yeah, someone, Pilots don't walk. Someone silly. jumped in my car and drove off to the north. What? Yeah, there was a car on the other side of the AC-47. Because yeah, the, Zeus, the Zeuses know that pilots don't walk anywhere, they, they get a car and drive. <laughs> and someone just came up and stole it and drove off in it. Of course, of course. Oh. oh, right. Where is Zeus? At the Bronco. Oh, perfect. Because Rob had just dropped out and I was on my own because at the time, um, second Covey was, Dra was still on his way back to the airframe, so I was trying to help as much as I could. I see. Okay. Yeah, we got we got shot down by Sam, so uh, there was no I, uh, chance to warn anyone, really. Uh, we just there were down. a lot of Sam sites. I don't know, I'm, yeah, I'm tired. We, drift, we drifted too close. Yeah. Right. So this should be relatively simple. Okay. Oh, we have just got spooky, but NT's with spooky, so NT can feel spooky in. Right. Um for the time, Cobra, you stay on the ground, stay on standby. Jax in the F4, stay on the ground, stay on standby. Okay. I would like um Birch, you will be taking the seals in. Um, who's Eagle One? Roadkill is. Roadkill, you will be taking in baked Alaska. Okay, um, I've seen this before. No triple yep. eight. No, no miss, no sand missiles this time, please. <laughs> I, I, I will give you a briefing on that situation in a minute. I'm just sorting out the initial transport so yeah, everyone no knows where they're going. Uh, who's Eagle Two? That'd be me. Right, Eagle Two, okay. you. 
you will be taking in um Four you'll be me. taking in Four the uh, yeah, you'll be taking in the um, long range patrol group. Okay, so you'll be taking in Talon. So, long Excellent. story short, if you open your maps, please. And you will notice we have got three AOs which are marked. Um, Gay Rocket, you will be transiting upriver to investigate the red area which is on the river bizarrely making sense uh you are to investigate any and all settlements you come across just in case there's any suspicious activity we've been getting a lot of movement around there um along the river um so we think there may be an hq uh be advised you are navy boat boys so Yes, you can go in and clear towns, but if you come across anything a bit more substantial than a town, do not go in and clear it yourself. How copy on that? Form on me. Form on me. Rocket? Hey, Rocket? Rally up. Gay, gay Rocket? Uh, if Gay Rocket's here, double check you've got Dolly unmuted. Otherwise, we're going to be here forever. I've marked gay that Rocket. Anyone Ooh. from Gay Rocket here? Oh. Uh, I don't uh, think anyone from Game Rocket is here. No, we should wait for an alien and he's not here. Yeah, he's uh, no one from them is here. Gay Rocket's not here. I will go over yeah. that in a second. Right. To that end, we'll go over Gay Rocket in a second. Um, sneaky Seal Boys. Yep, yep. You will be getting transported into the red zone round Bang Trung. The red zone round Bang Trung. Mm -hmm. um, Regroup. Be advised that is anti-air in that area, but we also believe Regroup we're formation. getting a local um, local group. Regroup. You need to search them Regroup. out, try and find what you can. Um, I'm going to let you Regroup. designate your own formation. landing zones with your pilots, but you you are going up there. Um, right, then we have, um, I've forgotten the call sign now, long range patrol group, that is Slashing Talon, Slashing Talon, Slashing Talon, Slashing Talon 69, you have got a lovely, lovely objective, we have got an SA2 battery, which we need to not be an SA2 battery anymore, they're operating north of Leghorn, MSS Leghorn, you will be going up and blowing up SA2 site. So, pack explosives. Roger, will do. Anyone else get shafted by Battle Island? Baked Alaska. Form on me. Uh, you you will be d performing a CTR on the main the NVA airbase north of Hanoi. You've got your infiltration that you'll have to do, and if you have the opportunity to, you are to infiltrate as stealthily as you can to try and place munitions on as much disruptive material as possible. If you can get explosives on planes, do so. If it's unsafe to do so, pull yourself out, try and re-go. We don't advise you going kinetic because it is their main airbase, and yes... Uh, for pilots, Hanoi is a no-fly zone. Do not go there. Stay away from Hanoi. You will get fucked up. Um, and yeah, obviously the SA-2 site north of MSS Leghorn, it's an SA-2 site. Guess what? No-fly zone up there. There may be a few scattered anti-airs that you may have to deal with as well, but... Generally, you have, south of the border, you generally have this nice, clear path that you can fly around in with your own impunity. Um, the only target we may struggle to reach will be north of MSS Leghorn with the artillery. Everything else should be in range. Can we get dropped at Leghorn or not? Y yeah, you can get dropped at Leghorn. Again, just beware there is that anti-aircraft unit. We don't know of their range or capabilities, so that's something that your pilot's going to have to deal with. Right, everyone knows their pilots, everyone knows their objectives. Any questions? Uh, what are we actually supposed to do inside Bantrong? You kind of skipped that one. 
Van Trong. Well, yes. basically, somewhere around there, we've got um, a lot. We we've had lots of movement, lots of enemy movement. We don't know where it's coming from. That's what you need to investigate. Copy. So locate enemy uh, positions where they're hiding in it, sir. Copy. Yeah, and s smash them the fuck up is the official objective. Okay, I've got a bit Simple of information enough, if I can you. mention something. You're going to be short of the pilot. I need to step away probably in the next hour, maybe? Half an okay, hour? Okay, so. then. God damn it Eagle again. One, Eagle 1, um, stand down from transporting Alaska Eagle 3. Have we got an well, Eagle 3? I know, it's going in the next hour, Dolly. I can do the insert. But oh, I can, you can do I'm the insert. I'm okay, in an cool. hour or so. In an hour. I'm giving you heads up at notice, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thank you. Yeah, don't let me know. Uh, let... Uh, I'll let Covey know when I need let to Covey know. when I do some Perfect. Here. Amazing. Right. Uh, the only person I need to brief up now is PBR, Gay Rocket. So, everyone Maybe. else... And this is me talking to my Zeus's as well. If you could teleport your um, people to their places, please, that would be lovely. Um, Rob, else any go and brief up you your teams. Say again. I just wondered if Rob wants to do brief with the pilots before we get teleported. Not, not really. Um, I'll, okay. I'm preferring to just uh, keep it really simple, so we we'll just react to requests from the team. Oh, on the ground, one, uh, one thing I just want to say copy. is, guys, work for your covey. Because the comms in the last one was chaotic, and you didn't. There was a lot of stuff that was being reported that didn't need to be reported. There's a lot of calls for airstrikes that didn't need to be calls for airstrikes. So, from my perspective you know, as a baked Alaska team lead, my team fucking died in an AO because someone else was calling fire support on three dudes and a goat. So, proportionality is key. Cheers. Keep it short. Yeah, keep it simple. That'll. Yeah. Keep everybody just, happy. Um, so, yeah, just bear that in mind. Work for your covey so he can work for you. Um, because, let's face it, you can't hear each other. He he will be trying to hear everyone. This is a big AO that he's got to cover. Bear that in mind. Okay, right, Zeus's, if you could teleport the people away, not uh, Gay Rocket, because I need to brief up Gay Rocket. One slight problem I have is Ken has just turned up and I need to get him set up. <laughs> So, Who's that? Ken, uh, one zero Idaho. Oh, don't worry, I'll um, I'll change his number plate on his car in a second as well. Hey Dolly, this is Spooky. Yeah. I'm yes, setting up spooky. a few. Uh, one set. of us in the Cobra. Here. Yeah, uh, initially Cobra, mate. Initially Cobra. You Come may in. get to use the Spooky. That's fine. But um, just I'm sit okay there waiting for support. Can someone yeah, okay Discord send me the server address and password so I can pass it to Ken? Because I, okay. I can't, I can't Gay find Rocket. it. Uh, yes, sir. You'll notice there is a lovely circle Thank you. around the river on the left-hand side, around the town of Nookba. So, you you just need to investigate that river. All towns on that river. Anything suspicious, deal with it. Yeah, for now. Bearing in mind, you guys are Navy. Your priority is the boats. You can clear towns out, but if it's anything more like more substantial, call in support. So if there's a tunnel system or if there's, you know, armor, call in support and we will send another team to you. Roger that. So Any we're questions? just on it. No, we're just on a patrol and just calling out things as we see it. Don't even need to call out too many things. Deal with it yourself. Um, and just you know, if you need support, that's when you call it out. Okay, and we're free to move up and down the river between, uh, like, both Polecat and Otter if we need to? Yeah, yeah, your AO Beautiful. is that red circle. Just um, remember you need to maintain a presence on the boats, otherwise they may get still stolen. Roger. They would make an amazing fishing boat. <laughs> yeah, no problem. 50 cal arm fishing boat, wow. <laughs> so, Mark... Take yep. um, take your gay rocket away, please. Fall back. <laughs> what I end up doing? <laughs> Why is Scandi really on killing themselves? <laughs> okay. Okay. 
So I am running as the Covey currently, which is a forward air controller pilot. Um, taking over for draw for a bit here. Okay, hey, I. So you're you're Covey Covey pilot. I'm Covey rider. Okay, Roger that. I'm Covey. So pilot. you need to be you need to have sixty eight and seventy set for your your comms. 68 and 70 roger that i am actually going to grab a backpack radio because i'm more confident with that actually hold on this is the one from the base game i can actually use this left only okay so left is going to be air right is going to be command got it oh not stove not like the actual one <laughs> Additional channel. Okay, so I have. I need 69. Covey Last calling station, this is Covey. Smashing yeah. Covey. Uh, requesting transport helo to our pause for transport to LZ Leghorn, over. Roger, transport for slashing LZ Leghorn. We'll confirm. Uh, wait one. Give me just a sec, I gotta finish getting my radio set up. Can we radio check on Yeah, okay, because I need you to talk to the air units in a sec. Uh, I've got yeah. slashing and the I gotta to bring up the uh, I gotta bring up the uh combo plan too. Okay, here we go. Slashing Cubby, say again, uh, pick up set. Can you hear me on 68? Roger that scene. Stand by. Right, stand by, I'll reach out to air uh, as soon as we can get the comms on. Alright, just gotta set my channel back. Nope, wrong one. Oops. Hold on one sec here. Set. Yeah, I'm sorting yeah, Ken out on Discord as well. Yep, so. yeah. <laughs> I've got yeah. loads going on here. <laughs> I just need you to get your 68 and 70 up, and then yep. I'll brief you on what, what we're doing. 68 and 70 or 68 and 69? No, 68 and 70. 70. Can... Yeah. All right, so, so 70 is, um, you're listening on that. Uh, you're not broadcasting on it. Okay. Um, and 68, uh, you're basically, uh, that's what you're talking on mostly. Okay, you got it, boss. This is so Cubby, radio check, seven over. Track, seven track. This is Falcon, see me 5x5, five five. you new uh, Cubby, over? Need me for some Roger, for Bob. this uh, phase, seven A firm. Track. Can I get a 7 out track? So copy, Falcon with you. Oh. Good 7 out Ghost track. Rider, Cubby. This is Ghost Rider, reading 5x5. Five five. Thanks, Doc. I got a uh, tasking for you. You are going to be picking up slashing Talon at uh, the LRRP marker to the north of Pleiku. Stand by on that. Slashing talent. This is Covey. Where is Covey. your destination? No, 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 no. You can't talk to Slashing Negative. Talent. That's... Disregard. Disregard last. No, no. That's my job. Okay. That's what I was trying to tell you. Are you set okay. up now, Sam? Yeah, Are I'm set, set up, up now. Yep. Right. Okay. So, so I talk to the ground on um, on seventy. Mm -hmm. And you talk to the air on 68. Okay. No, That's that makes how sense. It works. Perfect. Yeah. That's easier so for me then. I like it. We have to pass things between us. So, what we're going to pass between us, we want to know call sign, tasking, marker, and then the air call sign. Right? Okay. So, so, typically, like in this situation, I've been contacted by uh, Slashing Talent with, a, with an LZ marker, which is your airbase. Cubby and they want gay rocket. and they want transport to their LZ, and mm -hmm. basically uh, um, we need to get an air call sign. So you now need to get on the net, find an air transport uh, to pick slashing talent up um, at that LZ and drop them to that pickup zone. Yep. Drop them to their designated um, uh, LZ, which is LZ Hornleg. Okay. Okay. Got it. So I just send him on his way, and then uh, they they will tell the pilot where to go. No, no, they I won't. will tell him based on what you tell me. Yeah, and then okay. and then when you confirm that that they're what you find out from them is an ETA, and I then pass the ETA back to uh, the ground troops, 
So I do all the talk to the ground Probably troops, this is gay the rocket. talk to the air, and we have to talk to each other. Right. So it's fucking full on. <laughs> gay rocket, Covey. Or, no, that's no, for you, sorry. No, 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 that's you don't you. answer any of that, so... so I'm uh, sorry! Gay I'll, I'll get used to it. <laughs> uh, we're all synced up and we're ready to move out on our side. Okay, Rocket Roger, uh, I, I'm not controlling your movement, you're, you're welcome to move, over. Roger, we're Oscar Mike. How about uh, air support assets? Covey, this is then you, you handle that as well. We are outbound to LZ now. Over. Uh, Falcon, slashing, Covey. Roger, you've been picked up already, over. And Falcon, I have been picked um, up and so already that, uh, uh, past the airport. On the aircraft carrier to so, the sorry, say again, it was noise, over. To get Already been picked outbound. up and outbound, over. Outbound, roger that. Good, good move, roger, if you're outbound. grounded on aircraft carrier, you're going to have to fly south to get comms with us. Uh, so we'll... I guess wait until you're on station to try and give you tasking. All right, I we need to you have to down, mate. Right, right, okay, so so all right, ear plugs in. All right, lift bar. Yep. I'm trying to set head up as well. Look, so so they all want to move at the same time. That's the problem. We've got four call signs. So slashing talent is now mobile. Mm-hmm. That guy said stay in the car until I got asked. And I'm trying to so reach the others to find out what situation they're in. Much more north. Okay. Gay rocket is mobile. Rob one copy. Uh, Comms check, over. Yeah, roger that. Sun again, last. Rob 1, Covey, uh, you ready for transport, over? Hey, fam, Covey, a lot of my guys have been inside the C-53 times now. Roger, so you have a pilot, confirm? Uh, yeah, Birch Farmer, player name, Birch Farmer, player name. Roger that, okay, uh, move out uh, at your discretion, over. Covey, Falcon, do you receive my last? Falcon Covey, I'm going to be off station for just one mic here. I'm trying to get a couple things set up. Alaska okay. Covey. Okay, so. Alaska Covey. Covey, Covey, Rub One, Rub One. Rub One, send message. I don't believe that this CH-53 can put all of uh, Rub One in its hole. We're having issues with loading people. Roger, suggest as you a short hop that you uh, just take the first guys in and establish perimeter and then bring the second guys in on the second transport. It is not a short hop. We're coming in from, I'll mark as a purple square. We're going to be finding from that area. Roger. Purple, purple circle is where we're spawning, that's not a shot hop back guys. Break. I'll be right back. Roger, Eagle. Okay, purple circle is where they're starting from. About 10 clicks. Is exactly. that Monkey Mountain? Flight, flight time should be less than Oh, I flight. see where they're at, yeah. Okay. Yeah, can we, can I'll can make that uh, LZ think. Freedom. Stand by. What do you need, another CH-53? Have you got a second bird well, on the probably, ship? No, we only have a strike fighter and one CH-53, probably a, a large model of the CH-53, the actual, like, Sea Stallion, that would be beneficial rather than the Chinook. Let me just sec here, why am I... Can you just tell me, so you only have a one DH-53 on the carrier, right? We only have one and Chinook on flight deck. A Chinook should carry more than 24 passengers. How many do you have? We have 10, but after four are loaded, we're not able to load any more. Roger, understood. So there's some problem. Have you got a gunship Chinook there instead of a, a transport Chinook? It looks like a standard transport ship, my guy, but it's not. It's not a standard transport at all. It's only got room for about five people. Roger, stand by. Can you use uh, Jolly Green, do you think? Did, did, uh, um... Sunray, we have a problem with the helicopter on the Freedom. Oh, it's, it it's only allow allowing four people to load into it, um, and Rob One is stuck at the moment and frustrated. Rob One, Covey, uh, we're getting that fixed for you. Over. Falcon, this is Covey. Thank you. Uh, can you send your last traffic again? Over. Yeah, Covey. Um, Dolly said to stay on the carrier till task. 
So if you head north, you'll have to come back south in order to get comms with me because I am off the coast. Roger that. Understood. You are down south. In order to get comms with you, I got to be down south. Easy. Thanks, so. Okay, cool. Now, this is good. This is a learning experience. It's new to me, but I think it'll be it'll be a good learning experience. Yeah, you need, you need to sort of retell Falcon to, to calm down because he keeps, he's always constantly messaging, asking for stuff. And it's like, you know, you just need to be patient, sit back and let us do the comms, you know? Yeah, yeah. We need to, we need to drive the comms and stay really calm and keep calm voices and stuff because. Yeah, no, that people sounds good. Giving us a right load of shit on the radio. Sounds good to me. Okay, so, so far. We have our uh, guys in. Wait, I'm on comms. Wait, wait. Send message again. There was traffic over. Uh, Roger, um, I've been in touch with um, uh, with slashing with Rob One and uh, Gay Rocket, and all, all three, as far as I'm aware, are, 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 are working towards transit. The only one I could not make contact with Ghost was Rider, Alaska. I, I've called them twice, and I've heard nothing back over. Talon's dropped off. Time now. Uh, RTV, time now. Roger, Talon dropped off at uh, LZ Hornleg, correct? That's an affirm. Roger that. Glad you made it in. Let's get this bad boy in the air. King B Falcon, do you get everyone out on board? Nope, we got a split of two birds. I don't know Alaska, what's wrong with Alaska, copy, uh, just local on Mutitude, you know, uh, have so copy. I can switch to co-pilot after seven to get in. Yeah, yeah Roger, reaching you 155. Uh, we're getting airborne now. Uh, do you need, what do you need, over? Covey, this is Eagle. Eagle, Covey. Eagle, Covey. Alaska, Covey, I've got no contact you right now. Uh, moving to uh, get close, over. Covey, this is Rob 1, proceeding to Beaver. Time's now. Roger, understood you're back on station. Rob 1, Covey, um, Roger, out. Eagle. I'll Go let ahead, you know as soon as i got a task for you. Alaska, Covey, um, moving to your location, if you hear me, uh, I will keep trying to reach you, over. So, so, uh, Sam, we, we, we kind of need to set up a, uh, like, a, a circling objective without getting, uh, shot down. Wait, one goes So, on. we need, we need to decide where we're going to be, and I think we probably need to be really around Atapu, and then... Maybe flying in a straight line up and down between Atapu and, and Flaku. Kind of. Shit. I put that on the, uh, I gotta figure out what's going on with my throttle here. Something's weird with the map. Let me just... It's weird, when I go on the map sometimes my throttle, like, fucks up. I don't know why. That's right. going to be a problem, because you need to use the map a lot. Covey, anyway. Covey, this yeah, radio no, I'll, I'll fix it as soon as I can figure Alaska, out what it is. Alaska, uh, five by five, send message. Covey, baked Alaska, uh, we require pickup from uh, LZ Playmate to transport nine packs to LZ baked Alaska 1 in grid reference 115158, over. Alaska, Covey, run at LZ Playmate pickup to uh, LZ baked Alaska 1. Scene uh, will confirm ETA. Wait one. Eagle right, Sam, one. I've got, you got it? Yep. Eagle one, this is Covey. That message. Okay, LZ Play May. I have Baked Alaska there ready for uh, pickup and moving out to LZ Baked Alaska one. Which is north of Hanoi. Pick up. North uh, of Hanoi. Paper, uh, I'll be the long way round, as it were. Roger that. Sounds good to me. Can you get an ETA? What's uh, ETA for you there? 
uh, I'm Eagle to WD and Dot. Uh, I'm doing a short hop from play queue, so I'll be there in a couple of mics. It's about uh, one or two mics. Roger that. Thanks much. What's the ETA? One or two mics. Alaska Ghost Rider Covey. Hello Covey, this is Bates Alaska, send you a message over. Uh, I've been told you relay Digby's entire Alaska, team is cut uh, off from messages, uh, two order. mics ETA for Eagle Roger, to Roger, I'll relay to uh, Covey Rider. Covey, Bates Alaska, Roger, two mics for Eagle to pick up. Thank you, out. Ghost Rider, this is Covey. Did you say Baked Alaska was cut off? Uh, not exactly sure who. Uh, just know it's Digby's team. Roger, stand by. Right. We're in comms. That that would be big to Alaska. We're in comms with them, so we should be fine. Kobe, don't fly into the one, AA zone. Rob one, Kobe, five by five, send message. Rob one, boot on right. ground, proceeding to go and clear the beaver. Rob one out. Recommended that you provide chainsaw because there is a lot of vegetation to clear this beaver. I'll say again, any call sign, flashing. Send it, send it, uh, Star got you. Rob once got you. So the relay to Covey, say on ground at leg, taking contact, base was under attack, moving out shortly. Slashing Covey, Roger. Monitoring your traffic. And no, there's no contact has received since now. We're going to wait three mic and then step off of it. Well, that's us hit. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Uh, Coffee's uh, down and heading for the dirt. I can't eject. I'm I'm stuck. Hey, for it's been Coffee, an honor. Where are you landing? Wow. Well, that was a good start to my career as a Covey pilot. Grid one eight one zero one niner. Standing oh shit! By. Oops, I respawned at the wrong place. Damn. So this gives me some respect for Draw and what he's what he's doing. He's uh, doing a great job there. Grid one five eight zero seven one. Ready. I'm gonna carry a parachute. Yeah, no I kidding. I just got one out of the plane. <laughs> you just got a so, static yeah, line parachute. Yeah, you can't fly into the. I need to get back on the radio, but you can't fly into the AAA zone. I was right over at a pew, just like we planned. That's where we were. I, I, I did put a really slim corridor, but uh, yeah, I think we went sort of into it. I don't know, but they shot us down. So we've now got to set all our radios up again. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah. Okay, I see. I see where you marked now. Yeah, that green area. I was. I was picturing something different. I flew out of that. That's my bad. No worries. This gives me so much up. respect for the guys who did this for real. Holy shit! Oh, mate. Yeah. What? What a horrible job. But very, very important at the same time. All right, I'm setting up too. Okay, I'm all set. Let's get her more. Now, let's try and stay in the uh, designated... Sunray, probably, uh, uh, one zero Idaho is joining the server, but he doesn't know where his spot is open. Roger, we'll advise him on text. All stations, this is Covey, back on station. All right. Roger that, Covey. Oh, 
or ground call signs. This is Covey. Uh, we're back in the air and operational, heading to uh, stand off your locations. Stand by. Out. Covey, this is Rob One. I've got a one time three insert needing a reinsert request. Ghost Rider, Rob this is Covey, stand by for Rob reinsert Covey. tasking. Covey, Rob One, send message. Covey, uh, got one time three insert request for Rob One. You should be back in the aircraft carrier. Roger, one insert carrier to uh, LZ, LZ Blue Jay. LZ Blue Jay. LZ is Roger. Clear. Roger, what a range. Uh, um, out. Can I task? Can I task the uh, slicks for that, or do I need to task uh, the CH? Well, I suppose they're the same guys anyway. Sunshine Doesn't matter. Ghost Rider, copy. Ghost Rider, send your traffic. I have one time to reinsert at LZ Freedom, going to LZ Blue Jay. Over. Roger. One times Freedom to Blue Jay. This is Ghost Rider, over. What's your ETA to Freedom? Over. Uh, ETA to Freedom, uh, just a few mics. Over. Roger, understood. All right, I got a bird inbound to the uh, aircraft carrier. Just two, three mics. They'll be there to pick up that guy. Rob one, copy. Stand up. Your insert will be collected in three mics, one carrier. Uh, uh, of, of the number two reinserts, gentlemen. Roger, will advise. Out. Ghost Rider Covey, it's now two reinserts there for you. Okay, watch the red hobby. Yeah, I need fire support yeah. mission uh, on Rob 1. Rob 1, uh, Covey Roger, would arrange fire support, uh, send target and your location over. Hey firm, I need gunship helping out. Roger, stand by. Right, we need to rustle up the gunship um, uh, for for uh, LZ Blue Jay location. Spooky, Covey. What's up for Spooky? I need Covey, gunship Rob support at LZ Blue Jay. Blue Jay. Troops in contact. Stand by for details. Copy LZ Blue Jay inbound. Ah, shit. Second. We're being sammed, mate. Yep, yep, That's yep, the second yep, yep. one. Mayday, mayday, mayday. mayday. Copy's down. Well, we were within that area. Still not good enough. Damn. Grid one five eight. So what do you think? We, we, should we keep it lower than that, or should we go way high? Well, we need to be high to, uh, to do combo, but the yeah taking us out. So it's an odd uh, balance. Um, the mission isn't working. Yeah. Maybe we need a different uh, orbit. It'd stick closer to play coup, but it's tough. We might have to relay from other. Uh, Elements. So I'm guessing that there's there must be Sam at every single one of these objectives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, okay. We, we, I, I don't know what we're gonna we're gonna have to. You're you're the pilot, so you yeah. need to sort out a, a flight path that's gonna keep us safe, I guess. Yeah. Let me look real quick here. I think I'm gonna keep us just to the east of Pleiku, or to the west of Pleiku. I mean. And I'll. Rob one, uh, Rob one, Bobby, uh, reading you, but we just respawned, so just bear with us for set ranges when we get over. Damn it! 
Yeah, Roger, did you get your request? Uh, we didn't have a chance to transmit it because we got shot down. No over. Spooky, Covey. We need a gunship. Spooky's on the station, south of there, LZ. LZ Blue Jay. Roger, you're on station south of LZ Blue Jay. I'm getting airborne. I'll be there shortly to try and help out. Got the size of the 2,000 rounds, 7.62 minigun, 300 rounds, 40 mic mic, and 38, 17 pounder rockets. Roger, it's probably going to be uh, up to your best discretion on what ordinance you use, but uh, if we're close to friendly, it's all advised to um, keep it reserved. Okay, I'm going to head us up to LZ Blue Jay AO to try and get uh, eyes on the situation with the Cobra. I've got the Cobra on station there. I've got uh, Spooky on station. Okay. The radio keeps resetting every time we die, and uh, it's just a fucking nightmare to try yeah. and get it <laughs> This is This is a good, uh, you know, this will be a good topic for the uh, stress resilience um, talk. So much incoming, and I just can't deal with it because I can't get on the right channel. It's just a fucking nightmare. No kidding. Cubby, this is Gay Rocket. Gay Rocket, Covey. Gay Rocket, Covey. Uh, found a small supply cache. Have it marked on the map. Roger, you found a small supply cache and you've got it marked on the map. Thank you, Mike. Right, I'm on comms. I've got it sorted. Now, okay, Covey. Roger. Uh, Sorry, mate. Is there any chance you could make us into Stockport? Because Hello, every time Covey, we get shot down, back to Alaska, Mr. Fucking... Mr. I just can't do this. I just can't do this. Every time we get shot down, spooky radio, Covey, Sega. We lose all situational awareness for teams on the ground. This is and they're spooky, getting no speed, traffic. We just stop station them, south of the blue ridge, standing by for calls. So Roger, disregard. Just, every time we fly anywhere, we get a sound of the ass. Roger, thank you, over. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to Cody, well, this is flashing. Urgent message. Over. Covey, this is Eagle. Eagle, Covey. Uh, we just should be returning, or dropping now? off at LZ Alaska One. Uh, currently, do, hugging the river back. Uh, I'm Kobe, getting. Kobe, uh, flashing, looks like there could be a radar or some, some uh, kind of blip on the end. Uh, maybe AAA battery due east of the river uh, towards the red here, where Jeff Eagle is. Roger, Hostile please mark on the map here. for Copy me if you could. Copy that. Slash it, Roger. We'll bring it up there. Covey out. Ghost Rider, Covey. This is Ghost Rider. Hello, Covey, this is What's your Bank status on uh, grabbing those troops from the uh, Bank to Alaska, aircraft carrier? Covey, Bank Alaska. Uh, we've got a King B actually uh, covering the inserts. Uh, so I am standing by for transport tasking. Last Roger, I understood. Be, uh, you currently one. at Play Coup? Sunray. Kobe, that's an uh, Rub One, Kobe, Rub One. Rub One, uh, Kobe, uh, one sec, wait out. Kobe, this is Spooky. Uh, Sunray, uh, Spooky, what, Kobe. What, 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 uh, Did you want us to wave off of LZ right Blue Jay or continue to stay on station? Go ahead, uh, hold on, stand by one. Of one, what, sorry, say again. Hey, uh. One five five, Roger that. Alaska Covey, we have six barrels, one five five. Uh, that's the battery, over. Covey, baked Alaska, Roger, six times one five five. We might be calling them up for support shortly uh, to help soften up the airfield, but we will let you know when we have the fire mission, over. Roger, uh, break. Uh, who, who needed Covey last? And I told him to wait. Rob, Rob one needs Covey. Rob one, Covey, send message. I've got a town bed, markers one inside objective beaver. Need, need ordnance dropping on top of that, either fixed wing or artillery. Roger, your target is marked uh, black one, Roger. Black one, black one, confirm. Black one, and you want ordnance on that, over. A firm, north south Falcon north Covey. ordnance. Roger that, north Falcon. south strike on black one, north of LZ. Need north south strike on. 
Mark Eight, one at objective smoke, Beaver. Trace from Red Smoke north 200 meters. Attack north to south. Drop ordinance on that. Drop on ordinance will be with uh, you shortly. Just, uh, go be out. Uh, leave the carrier. That's fine. Roger that. Okay, I got uh, I got Falcon inbound on that. You copy that, uh, Rob. I got Falcon uh, leaving the carrier yeah. right now to help with that. I also got a Cobra to the south ready to go if Rub One needs their support. They're at LZ Blue Jay right now. Rub One, copy. Be advised, we have fast air copy coming in on Black you. One. We also have a Cobra uh, loitering uh, not far from your location. It's available if needed tasking. Uh, hey, firm, have both out, both assets. Red smoke denoted enemy position. Roger, Wilco. Falcon uh, Covey, be advised that uh, there will be a Cobra in the AO. I'm going to send through first, stand by until he finishes his uh, run break. Spooky Covey, I need you to take a look at uh, the AO around point one north of your location at Objective Beaver. That is going to be for um, a north to south rocket run on enemy asset break what is the enemy asset there that we're attacking copy north south rocket run on point one a firm point one uh you're gonna see red smoke there smoke i believe update, 300 meters uh, north. Me. red smoke denotes okay. friendly position now red smoke is friendly position falcon and and uh, spooky one, red smoke red, is friendly smoke, position uh, near, uh, friendly to all point all one point sites. one is your target Copy, uh, red smoke friendly. Cobra's inbound from the uh, white smoke on enemy on position. White smoke on enemy position. White smoke marks enemy. Spooky. White smoke marks enemy. Rob one Roger. White smoke friend, uh, enemy confirmed. Falcon has tally and white smoke ready to roll. Can I get us up there, Rob, or are we going to get shot down if I do okay, that? Okay, copy. Spooky's out to the east. Hey, firm. Rob one reads good strike, good effect, good effect, good copy. effect. Copy. This is Eagle. Eagle, copy. I have uh, one time to be hey, on the jump on board my heli, El Cid. Uh, what's his destination? Over. Rob, where do you want El Cid? He's on board one of the slicks right now. Stand by. Hey, okay, Rocket B, uh, how how'd you read? Over. Sending out last Rocket in contact. Copy, Spooky, uh, run complete. Hey, okay, Rocket Can do another run. Go for Gay Rocket. Roger, understood. Ah, okay, Rocket, just checking comms with you. Uh, you, you all good? Copy, Rob one contact. Copy, Rob one requesting re-attack. Shift fire 200 meters north of last attack. Spooky, Strike, shift sir. fire 200 meters north of last attack. Rob one, Roger. Repeat uh, strike, uh, over. Copy, repeat strike 200 meters north. Hey, firm. This is fun. <laughs> okay, Rob, I've got I've got El Cid is uh, in a in a slick right now on Eagle One, so he's El Cid is ready for transport. Ah, oh, shit, we got fucking slashing Cubby. Check over. Slashing, uh, got missiles slashing, inbound. I'm dodging them. Roger, Cubby out. Spooky up. Okay, we slashing this Kevin. Run complete. Alaska copy, comms check. Woo! Copy, spooky. Holy wow. shit, that's yeah. a missile right by yeah. us. Yeah. Did you yeah, see yeah. that? <laughs> oh yeah, my yeah, god. Yeah. There's another one, there's another one. I'm, I'm dropping all the flares we got, Rob. I'm trying sorry, to get us. Be aware, there's, uh, there's a lot of. Uh, oh no, this is. Sorry, Rob. No, you need to tell uh, air. Spooky, sorry, spooky, Sam, and yeah. Falcon, there's enemy Sam to the east of. Uh, AO Rub 1, they are currently locking us and we just dodged like three missiles, so keep it low, keep it fast, and get out of there. Spook is clear on station near LZ Blue Jay. Advise the uh, missiles were coming from the northeast. Enemies looking at us. Right? Roger, they were coming from the north. Roger, I got, I got that on radar. Same thing. I'm going to keep us nice and low in the offshore here. Sunray Covey, um, messaging from Ken, uh, not sure what to do, he's on the airfield, over. I got, I got, last uh, word, Rob, I said this a couple times, but there's a lot of comms going on. Roger, Ken is, 
Ken is on board a slick right now, I believe, and I can tell him where to go. Those, uh, we're coming from Hanoi. It's Falcon Captain Roger, Burr. they were coming from Hanoi. We're going to keep low and slow. Falcon, Covey, send it. I uh, can Cam confirm Hello, from Covey Hanoi. Is, is to Alaska, Covey, send a message. Roger. Um, Covey, late Alaska. MI2 lifting off from GLAB Air Base. Currently, over. Right now, Falcon, just stay in the AO. Uh, you Alaska, can stay a little bit Kobe, south. We'll I think that uh, your tasking has expired uh, for now. Uh, so stand by. Right, we need, we need Falcon to go and take an MI2 out of uh, GLM Air Base. It's just lifted off. He can't get up there. There's that SAM is engaging. Um, Kobe, the same so one, one that engaged us. It's from 20, Hanoi. 17 pounders and 279. Alaska, the. We're late, my last. Um, we're not going to be able to send fast air because of the SAM threat. Over. Main station at Cubby, Cubby, Cubby. Alaska. Roger, MI2 has left the Alam Air Base and is heading north. It is armed with rocket pods. Over. Falcon, I got a SAM on my ass. Roger, Falcon. Holy shit. Uh, Covey, Rob 1. Covey, Rob 1. Five Covey, you have the same on me. Objective Beaver. One times AA missile just flew out towards air asset. Yeah, that missile system is definitely up there to the northeast. It's towards Hanoi. That's They're trying to relay that to us. I have, Rob, I think I have Eagle 1, the slick that El Cid is on right now. I can tell him where to go if you want. Covey, read lots. Covey, read lots. This is Covey. Uh, I did not read last. Send message. Wave off from uh, um, Moita Vector AA missile on northeast of Objective Beaver aiming towards southwest. Okay, I copied so that. Is that, is that. is that a target or you're waving us off? He's, he's trying to tell it's us. It's a target that we can't get to yet. In case it fires at you again, I recommend that you don't be in its firing line. Roger. We're getting no, difficult. pinged getting all over the place. Because I, 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 I'm trying to talk to Ken to get him in the right team speed. Uh, oh. He's not in the right team speed. Oh, no. We almost need a dedicated person to help with, like, getting people in, like an admin-type task. Yeah, well, that was supposed to be Whiplash doing that, and uh, but he's doing the whole event, so he can't. Yeah. He, asked for, or he asked for the people to help, and no one came forward, so uh, Ken's now left, Ken's now left the server. Ah. Uh, well, is anybody able to help Ken? Because because I can't do coffee job and help Ken at the same time. This is a nightmare, mate. It's an epic, epic nightmare. Why don't, if you want, you can mute yourself and I can try and handle everything for now. I'll just do my best. There'll be half Could capacity. Could you just take but... over Covey role for a moment? Um, yeah, yeah, you got it, boss. Because I, I, I've got to help Ken. He's in the wrong team speed. Yep. And, I, and yep. I need to get off. Go for it. You mute yourself and I'll try and take care of it as best I can. Last calling station, Covey, send it. Covey, spooky. Covey, this is one. K-Rocket. We are engaged at Nuke Moon. Uh, we've got an LZ for our pack to be reinserted. Roger, I copy that you are engaged and you have an LZ for a pack to be reinserted. Is your pack at the Freedom? Over. A firm, you should have been respawned by now. Roger that, understood. Copy Rub one, Covey, send it. Uh, Covey, found an enemy tunnel system is before six layers deep. Are we clear to proceed? Use your best judge. Use your best judgment, last. Uh, it's up to you. Right, I'm back with you. I've got Ken in the team speak now, and uh, he's in the right one, so that should awesome. be good. Awesome. Good stuff. Um, Ghost Rider, just, Covey. Just need to reconnect. I have a reinsert at LZ Freedom. You're going to bring him up to. Da River uh, break. I'll figure out which one. Stand by. Another Sam we can ignore. Can you figure out which? So um, here, I'm gonna just finish up a tasking that I was doing on your net. Gay Rocket, this is Covey. What's the LZ you're looking for your reinsert at? Over. Yeah, I'm back. I don't think you can hear me. 
I, I can, I can. I'm just finishing up what I was. Ghost Rider, whatever comes. Go ahead and pick up uh, that reinsert packs at LZ Freedom. Bring them up to Rocket LZ at Nuke Moon. Over. Roger, W, Ghost Rider out. Okay, estimate uh, 510 mics before we get him there, but I have a slick inbound to pick him up. Cubby out. Okay, hey, sorry, I just wanted to finish that last tasking there. Spooky, this is Covey. Covey Send traffic. Also arrange resupply for the PBR, Advisory please. of uh, enemy foot traffic, Hill 438 to the southwest of Rub 1. What? He wants a resupply for the PBRs? Covey, Covey, Roger. Is smashing Hill 138. Uh, to the south Correction of Rumble. I've got fire mission coming and, four, um, three, and a resupply for the PBRs. Covey, Covey, this is slashing, requesting fire mission, over. Slashing, Covey, um, yeah, send message. A bit of eyes requesting Willie P. Willie P on the town of Nongkai. Enemy AA position has been located, over. Is that something that I can task, Rob? Yeah, you need to send so these boats out. I don't know what the fuck they want. They want heaps. And 048154. I'm 048154. Slashing, say again, target over. Slashing. Eagle 1, this is Covey. And HT on grid 048. Do you have uh, resupply zero, capability? Um, I'm, I've got. Gay Rocket right now, looking for uh, resupply at their location, and I uh, trying to figure out if we can get that to them. I I will clarify what that is shortly. Uh, I don't think well, I've not got much on board, but uh, I don't know if we've got anything in play here. Slashing Roger, March target right kill box one, Kilo Bravo one, uh, near the bridge to the southwest. Okay, uh, Roger, stand by. We'll see if we can get. Uh, Sunray or somebody get us some extra supplies or uh, Zeus. Slashing Covey. Copy that. Target email. Kilo Bravo One, southwestern bridge. Hey, no, it's Bravo Kilo One, I'm firm, we're pulling out. Spooky, this Slashing is Covey. Those, those last we're known enemies on top three. of Hill 438. Roger You're that. welcome to do what you three. can against uh, them if, if you feel comfortable risking uh, hitting Sunray, that AA. Covey, uh, fire Kilo Bravo 1. Copy that, Covey. We're already engaging for self defense. Roger. Tango Mike. Sunday Sorry, I got a lot of uh, traffic mission. going on. Yeah, copy. Target is Kilo Bravo 1, southwest of Ridge. Uh, grid reference follows 048151 HE Willie P, 10 rounds. Uh, 100 meter pass. Over. Yeah, red and uh, Covey spooky threatening for us on the hillside. Spooky Sagan last over. Slashing Covey, uh, shot soon. Sagan last Covey. Uh, spooky Covey, are you okay? A firm, but neutralized. Okay, Roger. Tango Mike, good work. Remain on station for now. Uh, how are you looking on ammo ordnance? I just need a green, amber, or red. We are green. Roger. Copy green. Remain on station for now. Break. Out. Uh, hey, Rob. Sh who's, who should I contact for uh, to try and get those supplies in? What would be... Zeus's contact info. <laughs> contact info. Call sign. Zeus, this is Covey. Are you on this net? Over. Zeus, Covey, are you on this net? Can I get a uh, resupply box for both uh, small arms ammunition and vehicle ammo at Play Coup, please? Over.
Cubby Cubby, this is Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider Cubby. Uh, we can assume all uh, freedom inserts are being taken care of. Over. Roger. All the, ins all the reinserts are uh, taken care of. Uh, that's an A firm. I uh, got Kobe, the buddy uh, in the King B there. I don't know who that is over. exactly, but yeah, he's got over, it all covered. Still heavy okay, Roger. Okay. It's all good to go. Got it. Wait one. Sunray Covey, ETA on round, slashing his target over. Zeus, Covey, uh, just double checking, did you get a chance to slashing, Covey, get us that uh, resupply over? Okay, Eagle One, Covey, uh, I've requested resupply uh be available at play coup but i haven't actually heard anything back from them so i don't know yet whether we're going to be able to get that um but uh if you could check back there and see uh whiplash is point of contact for that over copy that uh i'm just landing at play key now out roger it was gay rocket that needed resupply Kobe, this is Sasha. we need to repeat I say again, we need a repeat on that fire mission, over. Slashing, Roger. Uh, stand by. Sunray. Uh, uh Cobby. Cobby, uh, this is, uh, Rub 8. 1. Rub 1, uh, Cobby, send a message. Disregard, actually, disregard. Roger. Yeah, I'm trying to get Ken back on the server. I'm not sure where he's gone, but I've got him in team speed. Covey, this now is he's Eagle One. Back on the server, so I don't know what's happened. Okay. Eagle One, Covey. Uh, so it's a negative on resupply of Play Q. Can't find anything on the ground. Okay, Roger. Um, we've just lost Wiz Flash at the moment due to Bow Lai. Uh, I've got one reinsert here That's waiting to get Play I, I, I just couldn't uh, get him on the other. Uh, I'm going to get right where you need to go, and I'll try and take him in if I can. Not working out. very well. Okay, Great Roger that. Sir. Once you once you figure out where where he's with, let me know just so that I can no, relay back fine. to he's their with, team he's, he's that he's going to be uh, going to the. He's with Bates, place. Alaska. Yeah, no, he's with Bates, Alaska. Yeah, uh, uh, he's got sorted out. Okay, Ken's Ken's there. Okay, great. He was on a slick a while back. That must have been where they took him. Yeah, Ghost Rider Cubby has sorted him out, so that's why I'm by a play coup for transport tasking. Roger, copy. You're standing by a play coup for transport. Appreciate it. All ground call signs. Thanks for your patience. Uh, we've been having some comms difficulties. They're all sorted out. Kirby, it's requesting repeat with HE over. It's seemingly hitting everything but the target we needed to hit over. Slashing, Roger. So third repeat, third repeat. No, no third repeat. Roger that, stand by. Sunray Covey, third repeat on Slashing's target, over. Covey, Covey, this is Flasher, cancel fire mission. Cancel, uh, We believe cancel. objective is complete, over. Slashing, Roger, cancelling, third repeat. Covey out. So it's interesting, when I pause, my throttle goes all the way to zero, which is not normal. Usually it should put it on the autopilot, but it goes all the way to zero. So if we crash oh, randomly, low. that's why. So, yeah. Hello, please, this trying to keep Alaska us out of the over. line of sight of those Cubby, SAMs. Alaska, Cubby, send message. Cubby, back to Alaska. We are preparing to call in a prolonged fire mission for those 6 times 155 guns. We're going to need to request their exclusive use for a period of time. Over. Roger, will advise on the call signs, stand by. Well, ground call signs, uh, artillery is about to be tasked for a long period, at least five to ten mics. Uh, any emergencies out on the net, over. Alaska, you have your guns. Covey, uh, back to Alaska. Roger, we are just moving into another OP position. Uh, we will call up fire mission when we're set, over. And Alaska, Roger, Covey out. Uh, Sunray, uh, fire mission standby, uh, warning order, 
I guess I should say, uh, we, we basically Covey, uh, this is Eagle uh, over. Alaska are going to want Eagle Covey, send it. for a period of time uh, on the geolabel base. Uh, they're um, not ready yet, they're moving to Team that's a hitting objective, Polka, which is slashing Talon. Um, Falcon, who is the guy who's his defense, uh, needs to be inserted near slashing RV4. Slashing RV4, stand by. Take a look at that. Okay, I've got one of my six yeah, has a guy that. from uh, the... Let's see. Let's just do what we can. Over. Roger, go ahead and bring him where he needs to go. Let's go, Kofi. Leaving. Okay, I've got one slick bringing uh, a reinsert from slash w, slashing rocket. to uh, their guys. Gay rocket sent message. Uh, we have cleared, mostly cleared the village of Nwakvin here. We do have a tunnel. I got some rats in there right now clearing it. There's a lot of supplies here as well, so they may be using this as a staging point. Roger, what's the location of tunnel and supplies? Over. Supplies are uh, scattered all throughout the town. Uh, tunnel is in a copse of trees in the middle of Nwakvin. Not, not seen. I'll mark it. Ah, seen. Okay, it's a different Coming channel. Yeah, seen. Last station, Covey. Not, Sega. not moon. So that is where the to the supplies are. Where's the tunnel? Yeah, this can be. Uh, tunnel I got one right in the middle of town in a copse of trees. I got some tunnel rats in there uh, checking it out. King B, you, you have a reinsert town, mean, for over? Rub 1. Uh, we have a village, correct? it's uh, roughly yeah, in the form of a circle. There's a copy Roger, go ahead and bring him where he needs to go. The, Just be advised of uh, uh, any AA workers in the area. In the Let me know once you get him delivered over. Okay, that's hey, a friend. bit um, vague. Are you talking about the Mock Boot village still, where the supplies are? King B, this is over. Yeah, uh, uh, not the Roger. one that's marked supply south. Tunnel approximation has been marked. Yeah, Roger that, see, uh, go be out. Bloody vague, that King was. Gee, this is Cobra. In the middle of town. It's like, <laughs> which fucking <laughs> town? Yeah, give us a marker or something. Behind that tree. Behind that tree. Yeah, fuck you now. God, you're saying that, I'm thinking there's a missile coming for us. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm all on edge ever since I saw three Sams fly right past us. Yeah, we had to be. They, that was not going to work. Rob one, Rob one, one requesting fire support mission. Copy, Rob one, good. we'll have air support for you. Uh, what, where do you need it? Over. West of our position, we can denote by red smoke. West of point one, west Falcon of point Covey. one. West of black one. Uh, west near his friendly. Over. Red Nearest smoke, friendly, west of point, point one. one marks target for east you. Of the road. Give Roger, that a uh, rocket strike. Over. That is for Roger, Rub 1, AO Rub 1. Roger, that is danger close, uh, Rub 1. Uh, danger we'll close, danger air, close, we'll friendlies to the over. east. Suggested that direction red north south. Target Roger, one, red smoke. Rub one. I'm getting over there shortly. I got rockets inbound on that last request. Well, be advised, well, we got some uh, rockets as well. Oh no, he's taking them off. Cobby, purple smoke is friendly. Falcon, this is Cubby. Purple smoke, smoke marks friendly. Red smoke marks enemy. Cubby flashing message over. Roger. Cubby slashing send message. We are requesting spooky asset. My team is in the town requesting spooky to cover the outside of King town. King B, over. Cubby, you've got. Uh, slashing Roger. Stand you've got by. a hot LZ down there. Purple smoke marks in. Uh, purple smoke, smoke marks friendly position. Red smoke marks incoming rocket strike. Sam, we need we need to bring Spooky up to slashing. Spooky, Covey. So Spooky. I need you to move out to AO slashing. Over. Stand by for tasking. Covey, X filling out to AO slashing.
It's spooky the Cobra at the moment. Yeah, it's the, it's the Cobra. Do they want the gunship? Slashing, I have one times Cobra in the Ashore Valley heading to your location right now. Is that good enough, over? No, no, it's yeah, I'm needing it fast. fast. Spooky, double time Say on again, that. Uh, you need to get there fast. They are in contact. Heavy contact. Roger, so we need to get that Cobra up ASAP. Uh, working on it. Stand by. That's the Cobra. Yeah, um, Cobra's inbound towards AO slashing right now. Slashing, can you mark your location and let us know the color? Mayday, Mayday, Falcons ahead, going down. Shit, we got a fucking aircraft down to our left. I got eyes on crash site. No survivors. They're gone. Slashing, Covey, uh, any cops? Shit. Be advised, we're getting into a tunnel. We need you to flatten the entire AL. Is that from uh, slashing? Indoor. Try to give us, if you can, just try to give us a, a approximate position for yourself. Throw a smoke before you go in. Uh, we've uh, got we'll a code rod station. Yeah, be advised, my team is in a tunnel. In the town. Stand by, uh, Eagle. I've, I've got uh, enemy. emergency I'm tasking going, going on right now. Yeah, Roger, you on the still on the south side of the river? Understood, Hillel. Be advised, comms might go, I'm going in the tunnel. Good luck, pilot. Out. So they want well, support, but they're not going to be there for it? Where you are. All right, Spooky, this is uh, Covey. When you get to AO slashing, our guys have gone underground. Any enemy you see, go ahead and light them up. They just want you to flatten the area as best you can. Over. Copy, flatten AO slashing. Advise, what's the status of the... Uh Holy crap. This, is, this, is, this job sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it really fucking sucks. Say again, what's the status on what? Anti-aircraft. Unknown at this time, we did have friendlies on the ground. Uh, that's. I, I realize I'm sending you into some shit there, but if, if it looks hairy, just get the fuck out of there, because our guys are underground right now. We can get a bright light in there if we need to, maybe. We need to get them out of the Copy location. That, uh, if we can. Spooky's so. inbound from the south into LZ slashing. Ghost Rider, this is Covey. This is Ghost Rider sending. I need you to get up to the south of AO Polecat, which is slashing Talon AO. That's around LZ Hornleg. We have troops in contact there. They've gone underground, and eventually we're going to need to pull them out. Um, I just need you ready for that. Over. Roger, Ghost Rider, moving in standby for extract. Yeah, it's a great job there, Sam. I'm trying. <laughs> it's Covey, it's Falcon. trying to learn. Falcon, Covey. Roger, I got took it over that Sam site. Um, okay, we, we're getting a little bit too far to the west, west right now. Well covered. Okay, I was going to try and get us around Horn Leg, but yeah, we can go back. Spooky, this is Eagle. Eagle, Spooky, send Something traffic. Spooky. Oh, disregard, disregard. Covey, this is Eagle. You could go up and have a look. There Eagle, Covey. Picks up on that side. Uh, did you say Slashing uh, Talon has gone underground, I'd say? They are currently underground, A-Firm. I've got Ghost Rider inbound right now to uh, to stand by for extract. Can Copy you actually that. let... I have one time Ranger on board on my helo. Uh, can we move to an IP? Because I'm going to have to disappear in 10 minutes. And then we can chain swap passages as it were. If you can co coordinate that with Ghost Rider, that'd be great. Copy that. Okay, we're moving up north. Ghost Rider. You towards say where? Uh, AO slashing town. Copy that. Where are you with vicinity to the AO? Uh, now I've forgotten who I was talking to. Yeah, can you uh, let. Uh, uh, Rob, this is for you. Can you let. Uh, um, uh, the uh, slashing the talent guys and, uh, know that I've got a slick there. inbound to uh, yeah, LZ horn leg ready oh, that's going to be ready to pick oh. them up if they can get out there. And I've also got a cubby in, or a uh, cobra in the AO that's going to try and yeah, I, soften I, the place. They said they were off comms because they're in the tunnel, but I'll give it a try. Okay. I'm circling this AO right now. Ho yeah, Cobra's up here. Not taking AA fire. We are taking some small arms fire from down there. 
Hey guys in the Smash chat, I'm really sorry I'm not interacting with you guys, but there's a lot of shit going on. Here. There's a lot of smoke in front of us, uh, the village uh, down on the peninsula there. Yeah, I'm hoping that there's not AA here. I'm just doing a quick flyover. Copy this is Spooky. Whoa! Hey Spooky, this is There's green traces from the, uh, the camp down there uh, by where, where the smoke was. South side of bridge near Kilo Bravo 1 marker. South side of bridge near Kilo Bravo 1, Roger. Um, you want me to run in with Willie Pete or something, or you think you can handle it? Uh, we're handling it uh, as of right now. We're uh, engaging threats. Okay, sounds good. Okay, we've so got a lot of infantry to the south of this bridge up here, it looks like. Slashing, Kobe. Heavy slashing, can you hear me over? Yeah, uh, great to hear your voice, slashing. Um, so we've got a Cobra in the area giving support. We're over on station above you right now, and we're putting ordnance in. Uh, we need to get your grid uh, as soon as we can, so we know where you are. Um, and we have a slick uh, standing by to try to extract you, over. Uh, no, I most of my team are currently down in the tunnel, over. Yeah, understood. Uh, where are you, uh, over? Yeah, I'm just at the top end of the over. Falcon, Roger, and can you mark that location for us Back in any in way, over? Sure, we love to shoot one rocket. <laughs> uh, it's on the ground, over. Okay, Roger. Get no, yourself no, up to the, the entrance, uh, so we know Slashing oh, yeah. Talon Roger, AO, Objective Polecat. We've got a whole lot of enemy in the village. Reference green tracers, your weapons free on everything for now. Just be advised that we've got friendlies in the AO. Holy shit. Taking, I don't know whether that was a fucking RPG or what. We've got what looks like SA-18 in the area. Uh, that is enemy eagle. Uh, what position require enemy, uh, M16 mags and M16 man pads. Stoner mags so and M16 just be drum ready for that. We just mags. dodged one. M Roger, we'll M63 see what we drum mags, sorry. M63, M16. Right, understood. And, and where's your position? Is it that friendly's marker? Uh, uh, I'll update, I'll update. All right, Roger. Right, rustle up a uh, Sam. Yep. Sam, rustle up. Russell up a uh, uh, Raptor, wait one. Uh, Russell up a um, uh, ammo crate with M63 and M16 and M63 drums. Uh, needed urgently by Rob One. Uh, need to get it up to their location. We'll, we'll we're going to come the actual to see if we can eliminate Whip the Raptor right on top this of the is ridge Covey. west of Kilo Bravo One. I need. An ammo crate with M16, M63A, and M63 drums at Pleiku as okay. soon as possible. Over. Falcon, uh, send message. King B, this is Covey. Covey, this is Rob One. Rob One, send message. King B, Covey. You see my Rob 1 reason by the shopping list that we've wrote down. This is King B. King B, prepare to pick up supplies at yeah, Pleiku. Yep. And we you are going to bring them to Gay Rocket. Or Roger, we'll stand by. On it. I might give you a uh, separate uh, AO. Sam, Sam, Sam you know. the resupply shopping list. Sam, break. Yeah, yep. uh, Rob 1, resupply is now listed on the map. Uh, WP grenade smokes, they want a lot of everything, uh, 40mm HE, M45 Whiplash, back shape, and so reference on. the uh, mark Copy. on the map with uh, supply list for what they're looking for for their supplies. I'm going to have King B go and get them, uh, get that uh, picked up from Pleiku and delivered. That's for Rub 1, right? Roger that, supplies are waiting at Pleiku. That's resupply for Rub One. I think I see your marker. It's Mark Tunnel in uh, group chat. Is that right? Over. For now, That's King right, B. Right. This is uh, Covey. For now, Roger that. Uh, it's going to be Covey resupply for Rub here. One. Over. Roger that. Rub One resupply. And the crate. Tell, tell the Coming uh, from Sam, Sam. Tell, tell the, tell the uh, Cobra that uh, slashing. Five is the tunnel entrance that we need to secure to get these guys out of the tunnel. Spooky Covey, slashing five is the entrance to the tunnel where friendlies are at. We need to secure that 
um, so that we can get friendlies outside Covey, this uh, is Gray and ready for pickup. Gay Rocket, Covey, send message. Captain Covey, uh, need us to pick up that red on ammo, ammo requesting you uh, wipe fast at the top the of the cliff on the east side of the valley. Uh, right, uh, picking you up two by five, did you say five packs? Paul can have eyes on that uh, white phosphorus. Roger that. Team V, I also have, this is Covey, I have uh, five packs for reinsert with Gay Rocket. Um, that'll be in addition to that uh, resupply task. Sorry, I know I'm stretching it thin, but um, if you could help with that, that'd be great. Destination will be to walk the Hey, uh, Roger, I can't understand Vietnamese. Could you write? Could you mark it on the map with a with a? a an understandable the ammo should be available at Pleiku. I will uh, clarify exactly where. Whiplash, this is Covey. Uh, as soon as you got that ammo up. ready, if you could just mark it on the map for us, that'd be wonderful. Covey, Tango Spooky, Mike. are you able to white foss the ridge line on the east Can side of Slashing by? by? East side of Slashing. Spooky, I Covey. Wants, I think he wants five I, packs taken to rocket rocket one. Rocket two, I'm reading? looking. Right, guys, I think I need to uh, have my Covey rocket. rider do that. Covey, can you repeat last? Copy. Copy. Whiplash. On top of ridgeline east of slashing five. Stand by. Enemy location. Kobe, uh, rope one. Can I get time status on resupply, please? Uh, that's a ne that's a negative, spooky. I can't do that right now. I got I got too much going rope on. Rope one, Kobe. Uh, negative Copy. at this time. But stand by. We're working on it. Falcon ridgeline to the break east of slashing. What was that? Spooky, can you relay to, uh... Sam Urgent. What is it? What's up? It's the, uh, top of the uh, I need, I need a, a, I need a ETA on this ammo. Uh, east of slash from, five, uh, the, uh, transport contacts. team. On top of the cliff. The Rub 1. Tell them 510 likes. Rock on ammo. Standing by to maintain observation. Rub 1, Covey, estimate King B, time. this is Covey. Over. Priority okay. is getting that uh, ammo is there to else rub we can one. Do to help? Like, uh, uh, can you I'm going to try and get you a location on it as soon as possible. Not in contact with the moment, then with you are to focus on getting those five packs to the, longer that we the stay gay idle, rocket. The, the, long, the higher the opportunities that we get caught out in the right, open air. Uh, uh, right, we well, we've been able to secure an LZ Whiplash, for the ammo drop this is that. Covey. If you Focus could mark the, uh, the on ammo crate, crate once that. it's we'll ready, that'd over. be wonderful. Uh, mark it for King B so that he knows where to pick it up. Covey, this is Eagle, over. Eagle, yeah, Covey? We need, that, we, need, we need that ammo tomorrow, uh, like yesterday, so... Well, hopefully because either this one or, or the third part. Eagle, out. Roger. Have a good one, Eagle. He's, he's Whiplash. Whiplash, uh, do Break you have that ammo ready? Five, over. Five, Napalm. Break away from slashing five, five, Napalm west of slashing, slashing five on the hillside. Uh, sit rep on situation Roger, security over the tunnel entrance area, over. Uh, Rob, still clearing it oh, out, we're getting closer to the, uh, command files, I believe. Sorry, I didn't get that again, uh, engine's too loud, Spooky. bear with me. Ordinary below, we're getting closer to the enemy strong point of this tunnel, once it's clear we'll be bugging out, over. Sorry, say again. Uh, break. My sound. Yeah, I can't hear Whiplash. He's speaking so quietly. Whiplash. This is Covey. I need you to speak louder, man. I can't. I couldn't understand what you were saying there. Ammo is ready. Covey. Roger. Ammo ready. Tango Mike. King B. This is Covey. We have the ammo ready at Pleiku. Please take that to Rub One as uh, soon as possible. Falcon off target. Rope one to Cubby. Let me know when that two mics out. Roger, Falcon off target. Smoke for DZ. Cubby, this is Spooky. Rope one, Roger. Spooky, uh, Cubby. Ready, and it's, it's about to be transited. Hey, Pass the message. Napalm uh, is on the uh, direct uh, hill. A firm call for when Rose smoke to deploy. We can pop her DZ. Break. One times SA seven destroyed and inside slashing five. You get that, Sam. Along with Pass multiple light armored vehicles. They're going to pop smoke. Roger, the, excellent. That's what I like to hear. To Tango to Mike, uh, we're going to keep Alaska lighting up that fucking uh, ridge Kobe line. Thanks, Alaska, and then uh, hopefully we can get, the get these the boys out of there. Passport. We had to go uh, very quiet, very okay. slow, Cup, very low uh, for a while as we were in very close contact. On we were maneuvering to a position where we can oversee the... Roger, RTB, we will remain on station for now. We'll keep harassing these guys. Roger, understood. We'll wait out. Copy, spooky RTB. Can you fire Willie Pete from your... You fire Willie Pete Cubby, from your back Falcon. seat there. Falcon no, Covey. 
I've got nothing. Right, got, got no, got no rocket or rocket bird. Say again, last. You want repeat on Ridgeline? A firm, repeat as soon as possible. Right, I'm trying to talk to Slash right now, but every time I try to talk to him, you get another fucking radio. Yeah. Podcast, so <laughs> it's just a nightmare. Shut the fuck up, Covey. <laughs> Somebody send a message. Oh, so you can hear me, buddy. Yep. Yeah, no, me and I can hear each other. Where the fuck are they? Right, yeah, listen, can we so I need to talk to Slashy to try and secure his tunnel entrance and get him out of there. And, and okay. I keep getting interrupted by fucking resupply missions and all Good kinds of crazy yeah. shit. Got we it. just need to get these guys out of this tunnel and get them out, right? Got it. I got King B on it's the resupply, priority. so it sh he should be set there. I got him also on the reinserts. Okay, Ghost Rider, this is Covey. Uh, Covey, I recommend you call it first, Ivan. This is Covey, I'm hearing lots of comms on the radio. I'm not sure if it's directed at me or not. I'm hearing emergencies, but I'm not hearing it directed to Covey. Um, which call sign was that and which location? Over. It was Game Rocket 2, had two times packs stuck uh, on terrain. I did not copy what he was saying. Okay. King B. Covey, uh, how's that resupply mission for Rub One going? Try to get a hold of you. It's, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, did, I don't even understand what I just heard. Say again, last. Covey, King B. The crane will not Roger, worry. are you out of the tunnel now? Can you we are out of the slow load? Roger that, stand by. Negative uh, can we get they transport break. to slashing? Ghost Rider Covey, uh, I need you to move up to yeah, slashing. Covey, Covey's not perfect, perfect. What the fuck? I need you to move up to AO uh, uh, objective Polecat. Slashing OP for now is going to be your LZ. Try and get uh, try and get in there and pick up well, these guys. Be two mics or so. I'm, I'm They're going to be marked sure by uh, fucking. Do we know what, uh, some kind of smoke. Give me a sec. Assets bringing it in. Negative. Uh, we've got, uh, if you saw how much traffic we've got coming through this net right now, you'd be amazed. Stand by. Uh, Whiplash, this is Covey. If you can help King B uh, get I've set got, up I've with that ammo, he's having trouble loading it. Contact and they're in emergency situations, so stand by over. Falcon's got eyes on Goopy Grape. Okay, have we just got Just Grape Mark slashing? friendly. Have we got. Sam, let's just take this one at a time. Uh, yep. Slashing, have, have we got a transport for them? Yeah, What's slashing the Slashing has a transport on the, like, literally landing right now, but he's taking heavy ground fire. Hey, uh, fucking Falcon, that green tracer to the east, I need you to light that up. Damn it! Fucking bird Bobby. went down. Good job. Grape smoke? Grape smoke, negative. I think that's friendly. I got... All around that, like 300 meters, you'll see green tracers coming up. I need you to light that shit the fuck up. Okay, Rocket, this is Covey. Stand by, stand by. Right, we have several emergencies stop. happening at once. Uh, just be patient, over. Okay, King B, this is uh, Covey. Um, once you get done with your current tasking, drop your guys at... Uh, drop those five guys, if you still have them, at uh, the... Sam, uh, need to go faster. What is it? Gay Rocket AO. And then I need you to proceed up to a objective Polecat. Over. Roger, the uh, SEAL guys are dropped. Well, PBR guys are dropped. Roger. Okay, once. We have one wounded on. Ghost Rider, I have your mayday on. Okay, that, that fucking wounded, keep him on board for now. If you can, you can drop him off at his element on the way, but I need you up here at Objective Polecat ASAP, over. Uh, Roger that. No comments. Gay Rocket 2, this is Gay Rocket 1. We are clearing Cubby up to your tunnel. You should be able to come out Falcon very Cubby. shortly. Large troop just north of where the napalm hit, right on top of that ridge line. 
Okay, we'll keep you. Roger, I also have troops across on the east side of the bridge. I see green tracers coming from there. I'm going to light that up. You light up that ridge line, okay? Roger, issue the Mayday on 100, send message. Was that directed at me? Right, we just heard, I heard a fucking Mayday and uh, then they broke up. I don't know who it was. Ghost Rider went down sure, sir, on the AO is, uh, on Objective Polkad here. Well, right where Slasher is. Yeah, he was coming in to pick him up. They got shot down. We got a ton of enemy yeah. contact coming in. I'm trying to suppress it. Is, it. is anyone alive? We need to get into that area and I'll try and pick him up on the radio. Which freak is that? It, Kobe, sh it Kobe should be draw. Cubby, Rob one. Rob one, Cubby, send message. Dire straits on ammunition, and we're last mags that we're getting assaulted, and we can't sustain this. Roger, I suggest you E and E because there's nothing we can do right now. Whiplash, Cubby. Right. I need you to help Sam, you're to have to Kingby take get. Rob one, and we're gonna have to get some. Uh, I get need you to, uh, there to help them. Need you to help them get uh, their ammo via. Ah shit, they're already gone. Disregard. Fuck, I don't, I don't know what to do for those guys. You said Rub 1, we gotta get down there? What's happening? I'm trying to get the... Uh, we're having I mean, trouble getting the resupply. Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. We're having trouble getting the resupply. It wouldn't load on the damn chopper, and we're trying to figure that out, but... I, so I, I've been trying to get yeah, it to them, now I'm trying to get extract for these guys. So what I need is, I need a fucking... Somebody to... to like admin get ammo to the guys in uh rub one ao because it's just the arma issue Roger that. stand by stand by stand by covey falcon falcon covey we are we have to go off station because rub one needs support right now um for now just keep hammering that ao up there roger i see a vic on the bridge is that friendly negative we don't have any vics in the area Kobe, this take it is out Slasher message. Roger, rolling it. Slasher, uh, Kobe, same message. Being up here around Polka. We have, we have a tank murdering at my boys. We need fast support, air right? to Slasher. A fast air to Slasher. We've got everything. Okay, there is a there is a tank in the AO. I, I will have direction shortly. What's direction on that tank? Slasher, Roger, we're sending you fast air over. Falcon, Covey, there's a tank in the AO. I need you to search and destroy that for now. I'll try and get a, a 20 on its location as soon as possible. Roger, so south side of bridge. Anyway, marking tank. Uh, south side uh, of bridge, slasher. rather. Roger, yeah, take it out. Roger, we see you south side it. of bridge. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> it is, it's fucking mental. This is only one battle. We need to I know. one out. Sunray, okay, Sunray, I'm getting on station for rub one here. I'm going to get Go low. Uh, did you pick up my, my comms about Rub Spooky, one, uh, Covey, can you get, get on station at AO Rub 1? Way to send them the ammo. Paper, on on way the they need support. They are under heavy fire, almost out of ammo. Copy that. Uh, on Austin McDelsey, Blue Jay. Stand by for calls. Covey. Yeah, that's Roger that. Do a show of force. Pass through that AO. These guys need some. We're going to teleport your ammo in. Some fucking morale. Load on the helicopter. Over. Copy that. Show of force passing through AO. Do you want us to expend any ammunition? Stand by. I'll let you know if we have any uh, markers on enemy forces. Rob one copy. Rob one copy, copy sir. Copy. I need you to put it where the uh, green smoke is deployed, please. Roger okay, that, spooky. Right. Green smoke Sunray, marks green enemy smoke position. Where ammo needs to be teleported to. Okay. Disregard. Copy disregard. Green disregard. Green. green smoke is for something else. God, I need to be Rob careful one, with that. I almost put, I almost put ordnance on okay, that green smoke. <laughs> Shit, not again. Whoa. I'm hit, I'm hit. Man. Take control, take control. Great, great. Oh, I, I don't have control. control, I'm hit. Oh. This is Covey, we're all, we're all dead. We're all dead. Um, Hold on, I still have control of the see. aircraft. I still have control of the aircraft. Good. I'm going to fly us back. I'm, I'm injured, but I can fly us back. Hey, Spooky, this is uh, hey, Covey. Hey. I am hit. I need to return to play coup. Hello, Covey, this is back to the Ghost Rider, this is Covey. I have troops requesting <laughs> exfil at Objective Beaver. Can you get up there? Spooky starting show of force run through uh, Objective Rubble. Rob, essentially, I can keep us in the air. I, yeah, I can't yeah, land fine. us because I'm incapacitated. Yeah, that's, that's 
No, just just keep, keep us in the air. Sunray's going to try and res us. I don't know how he does it. He's going okay. to try. <laughs> Cubby, this is Rub 1. Rub 1, Cubby. Got to reinsert the carrier, one time sold. Roger, one reinsert, we run one. Did hey, they just say they needed to get the fuck out of there? Box TD'd up, like we said, because it's not anywhere near us. Uh, wait one, we're both unconscious in the aircraft at the moment, we're doing our best. How are you both unconscious and responding to the fucking radio? Don't ask me, uh, but we've got Sunray <laughs> trying to resurrect Magic. us right now, and uh, we can't actually fly the plane. Okay, so I'm just, set to go, I'm good, there, I'm good. <laughs> I'm set. Okay, can I clear? I need to clarify. Okay. Uh, no, we're both safe. We're both safe. Past me. Um, we, we also need to rub one each there. Go be spooky short for us, run. Please. 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 I think I see it on a heli- on a, on a, on a parachute coming in, mate. Is that Slasher requesting X-Fill or Rub One? Uh, who requested X-Fill? King B, Covey, stand by to move in for X-Fill. Roger that. Right. King B, on objective polecat, I have a team requesting exfil up there. Right, sla Slasher needs, slash needs picking up, um, they need, they need Yep, I got King bro. B on it. Alright, I'm gonna get us up in that AO so that we can oversee. Falcon, this is Covey, I have King B heading up to objective polecat to extract our team up there. Can you cover him as he moves in? Which Falcon team will that Slasher? That's Team Slasher. Great. Falcon Roger, did you get any word with ground? Is that tank neutralized? Is that tank neutralized, Rob? What's your bleed out Can time, you ask sir? him? Um, I'm I'm revived. I'm good. Sorry, we've got one three seven, one three zero seconds to bleed out. Okay, I'm set, Rob. Do you need me to land so you can revive? Okay. Are you okay? King B, I'm I good now. On purple and blue smoke. Yeah, I sorry, Sunray right again. Can you, can you, uh, ask... Sunray, pi pilot, uh, Sunray, pilot is, uh, is not, is okay, it's just me. Covey, this is Spooky. Spooky, Covey. Yeah, can yeah, you ask... I'm on a parachute, on. middle of Rub 1. Okay, unknown at this time. What... Can you ask slasher, what color smoke Slasher is using you. to mark their LZ? What color smoke do they need? Be advised, blue on blue, whatever just hit us, hit half my boy. Falcon, blue on blue, blue on blue. Check target, check target. We got troops that are uh, staging for extract Roger, up there. Roger, on the blue on blue, we've waved off. Uh, could, you, could you confirm which call Roger, sign that was? Roger, what river they on? smoke on your Eight location in the north side of the river. Yellow smoke location, yellow smoke friendly. Yellow smoke marks friendly. Yellow Which smoke team? marks friendly. Slasher. Roger, Slasher. Roger, I'm engaging right, red we'll, smoke. We'll you know the, the direction of enemy from you that you want Roger, to get. understood. Northeast, northeast. We're waiting on extract. Roger, Roger, northeast Roger is that. direction Roger. of enemy. Roger. They're waiting on extract. King B, yellow smoke marks your LZ. I say again, yellow smoke marks your LZ at objective polecat. Slasher, we Rob have a King B coming to yellow smoke. Rob 1, Thanks, Trev, Trev, fucking copy. Can you we transmit to Spooky that there is active AA missiles in this area. They should not be loitering around. Yeah, much of that. We're, he's we're he's advised, fine. So he's fine. He's below Cubby, the uh, it's mountain. It's to their north. We're unsure about the accurate position just yet. Well, Spooky, yeah, this is Covey. Okay. Just be be advised that there's uh, enemy AA if you go too high. Uh, Covey, this is... Yeah, Cobb, we're staying Rob under 100 actual. meters. Attempting to uh, uh, break. Rob one, send Does message. Rob one need a... Uh, uh, I am closer? blown on the uh, carrier waiting for Insert, is there other instruction for me? Ghost Rider, uh, Covey. Wait, wait out, we'll send a transport for you. Abram, hey, thank you, I'll go off comms. Ghost Rider, Covey. Right, you on that, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying, but I can't res them. I'm gonna have to go back down south. King B, Covey. I'm dead, I've just, I just died, mate. So, okay, hello, Roger. Covey, this is Bake Alaska, message over. Bake Alaska, Covey, send it. Covey, Bake Alaska, we are just maneuvering into final. Uh, stage. I will be calling in a multi-stage fire mission for those 155 shortly over. I, I cannot get it to you until I, I need at least 10 mics to pick up my fucking Covey Rider because I'm trying to deal with the Prairie Fire right now up north. So stand by on that. If you can hold, I need to uh, pick up my guy. Just give me a sec here. Covey, Baked Alaska, Roger was not aware. Prairie Fire, we will hold until you clear. Out. King B, Covey, how you doing up there? 
Is that him? King Beach clear with everybody on the Fuck yeah. You got you got your guys on the board on the uh, bird now? All aboard. Roger, take him back. Falcon, get out of there. Or just fucking hit this whole AO with everything you got, and then I need you to uh, uh, get on station down south of objective rub one over. Falcon Roger. Joe, I've intentionally got my flaps down. It's because I'm flying so slow. There's a Ghost Rider checking back in on the internet. Ghost Rider, I've got a reinsert down at LZ Freedom. Go pick him up and uh, figure out where he needs to go. Over. Covey Slasher, F, message over. Slasher, Covey, send it. Slasher, Covey, send it. Uh, be advised, this is clear. Objective complete. Where do you want to say that? Return to play coup for now, and uh, await further orders from your commander. <laughs> Good work. I'm so glad we got you out of there. Yeah, I just appreciate it. We're heading back to our little base camp, north of the airfield. Over. Roger that. All other stations, this is Covey. I am headed back to play coup right now to pick up Covey Rider so that I can provide you with all the support you need. So I'm going to be off station for about five mics here while I do that. God, I'm flying right over AA. Sam, uh, it's me. I'm back at the airbase because I died in the plane. Roger, I'm on my way, Eggbeast. Spooky, keep doing what you're doing here. Cover these guys. We're gonna. I'm gonna try and get to uh, my copy rider back. Uh, just missed that. Repeat. Copy, copy. Copy, copy. Pilot, copy rider. I'm on the copy, airbase. Spooky, uh, uh, is there the a ground protection uh, for direct control with the uh, robot? Waiting to pick up. Hey, firm. If you can switch to direct control for a little bit, that'd be perfect. Cause I'm gonna be off station. Copy. Do you have a frequency that they're on that I can uh, transfer? To? Check uh, camo. Or a check camo plan. I got none at the moment. Covey, this is Gay Rocket. Gay, Gay Rocket Covey. Gay Rocket Covey, I got Ghost Rider inbound to the uh, carrier to pick up your guy. Perfect. We are currently at, uh, where are we? Currently at uh, DZ River November. Uh, you can also get a. Covey, spooky. I can't pull up the combo plan right now. I with do have the a mark destroy all that we're engaging. Are you able to area? tell uh, Rub One to? have someone to transfer to 500 for direct control. Rub one, this is Covey. Uh, if you need to task that Cobra while I'm off station, 500 on shortwave frequency, over. Oh God. Probably help if I put my gear down. Ah, fuck it. It's too short of a damn. That's what I give for trying to control shit while I'm trying to land. Rub one to shirt, uh, cubby. Rub one, cubby. Rub one, cubby. Covey, Rub One, send message. Had a Vietnamese uh, civilian who is a US sympathizer alerted us that hardware employed by the VC is in the town of Ban Trong, the Marcus 3 in Objective Beaver. Roger, Marcus 3, Objective Beaver. What's the target again, over? Target the Marker 3, a bandit strong, a BC employed metal hardware, as of what the BC civilian told me. Roger, what, what's, your, um, what's your proposition, over? My guys can move here, get eyes on if it's too big for us to handle, we'll call in the cavalry. Yeah, Roger, proceed on mission. Uh, Covey out. Hey, Covey, this is Covey. Are you in the air in a separate aircraft right now, or are you on the ground waiting for me? 
Covey, I am in the air. I was trying to tell you, but there's too much radio traffic over. Okay, roger that. All right, we'll just have to... I'm going to try and take care of AO um, Rub 1 right now. Uh, we have... Our troops are Covey, out of horn leg. Uh, Good all, to go. All them packs are dropped off. All packs are dropped off at Pleiku right now from uh, Slashing uh, Talon. Wait, heli stay, heli stay. Covey, this is Rub 1. Can I just get a status on our, re on our reinsert? Stand by. Ghost Rider, this is Covey. This is Ghost Rider, send you traffic. Sam, that's your. That's how's that, the how's that reinsert, reinsert coming? Update. I'm on front. Reinsert's going on okay. I got a mixed bag here, so I'm making uh, multiple stops at different kind of AOs. Roger, understood. Um, about how long until you can get him back to uh, the Rub 1 AO? Over. Well, actually, uh, well, it's going to be a couple minutes to Otter and then about a minute to Rub 1 AO. I'll keep you posted. Okay, Roger that. Okay, Slash Rub 1, this is Cubby. We've got uh, that guy is inbound on our Ghost Rider slick. It's going to be about uh, five mics before he gets there. The slick pilot's dropping off a couple other personnel on the way. Over. Slash and Kobe send message. Uh, Slash is back at the LRP base, uh, rearming center. Over. Sorry, there's too much comms on the radio. Everyone's talking over each other. I can't really uh, uh, get any of the messages right now. Uh, let's break, and uh, the first message will be. Uh, be advised, Slash's objectives are complete. We are back at base camp now. Over. Roger slash uh, break, uh, ne next message. Command send message. Covey, this is uh, King. King B, Covey. B. Yeah, come to find out, I still got one guy from uh, Sealed. The PBR. Say again, last King B did not copy. I got one guy on here from uh, Rock. From what? Got to hold your button a little longer there. You keep cutting out. Hello, Covey. This is Baked Alaska Message Over. One time three in. Covey two. That's off. Rob Baked Alaska. Can you handle them? They're trying to call in for ordinance, and I I don't have access to their net. Egg Beast, I say again, can you handle Baked Alaska for me? Covey, Spooky. Spooky, Covey. Advise this open field down here that we're loitering in is a good LZ for a reinsert. Uh, advise there's also mines Hello, along the Covey, road. This is Baked Alaska. Message okay, over. Ghost Rider, this is uh, Covey. We've got uh, a LZ at Objective Rub 1, at AO Rub 1, uh, in the open. Be advised there are mines on the road. Do not land on the road. Over. There's... Okay, ba Baked Alaska, this is Covey. Send traffic. Sorry, one of my, uh, one of my Covey riders just went down. Uh, he was the one who I was going to task to you. Covey, Baked Alaska, Roger. Uh, I am in position. Are you ready to receive uh, Covey, several Ghost Rider, Rider did not out. catch your last over. Ghost Rider, Covey, just proceed to Rub 1 AO. Get those reinforcements in there. Do not land on the road, though. The road is mined. Any station, this is Covey. Stand by, Baked Alaska. I'm going to do my best uh, with what I got.
Any station, this is Covey. Okay, where? Hello, Covey 2. Covey 2, this is Command. Come and land at Pliku and pick up your number one. Over. Roger, understood. I have a multi-stage fire mission. I'm trying to look for the right frequency for it. I, I'm trying to take over his job because they've got uh, troops in contact at at uh, AO Baked Alaska, and we need fire superior or fire support up there ASAP. I'm just hoping I can relay it to somebody. Roger, Covey one two, uh, stand by, and I will take command of fire missions. Roger, Tango Mike, that would be extremely helpful. Baked Alaska, this is Covey. Command is going to take over your fire mission for you. Can you do a radio check with them, make sure you can reach them? I'm, sh I'm pretty sure you can. Covey, Baked Alaska, Roger, are they on 70 or do we need to change frequency ever? Currently they are on 69, but keep somebody on 70 because they might try and switch over. Covey, back to Alaska. Roger, up. Sorry, guys. I want to get you your support, but I don't, I'm only one guy. You know? I can only do so much. Okay, let's head back up to Pleiku. Where the hell am I? The tower in the radio track, over. Command, command, this is Alaska radio check, check over. Good check, make to Alaska. Wait one. Okay, all stations, this is Covey. I am back on station. Roger, Covey, Falcon is off on station orbiting. Roger, Falcon, um, for now, I don't have any taskings for you just yet. Copy that. I'm returning to play queue to pick up my Covey rider. Give me uh, five mics off station real quick. not helpful, I know. Cubby, Rub One, urgent. Rub One, Covey, said it. Rub One, Covey, said it. Need urgent fire support, fucking objective Ban Trung, marker three in our AO. Spooky, objective Ban Trung, marker three in the AO, urgent fire support, over. Anything to in the town itself, Go, fucking yeah, level it. Oh man, I suck at this. I can't land this damn thing because I'm not a good fixed wing pilot. Copy Falcon, I got eyes on it. You want me to hit it? A firm Falcon, that'd be great. Thank you. Sorry, I'm trying to land this damn thing. Yellow smoke is friendly position. Yellow smoke, friendly position. Yellow smoke marks friendly, Falcon. I mean, we need a helicopter pick up, but uh, play crew or six pilot. King Roger, B. Covey, we need a uh, pick up at play crew for six people. Come on, please stop. Stop. Where's my wheel brakes? Tell me this is a Ghost Rider. There we go. We're down. Ghost Rider, Covey. Can you handle that tasking? Over. Uh, certainly can. Uh, are that Pleiku Pleiku or the LRP base? Over. Last calling station. Is that Pleiku Pleiku or LRRP base? Yeah, tracking airspeed's too high, man. It's been a while since I've done this. That is the LRRP. LRRP base, Ghost Rider. Tango Mike. Roger, I got Ghost Rider inbound. He should be there in about one or two mics, I think. Sound six, Roger, good copy.
Oh yeah, Rob. Please don't collide. I'm breaking rules. Yeah. AA gone inside the tower Covey is now is friendly King. occupied. King B Covey, I've, I've uh, tasked Ghost Rider with that tasking. So yeah. currently no tasking for you. No, I got I got one guy for uh, Gay Rocket that's been on board ever since that last tasking you gave me and I can't find him. Gay Rocket, this is... Uh, Covey, I've got one times reinsert on board a King B. Where do you want him? Gay Rocket, Covey. Yeah, Omega, I get it, man. <laughs> I'll get some practice with this. I was just trying to take pressure off a draw. It seems easier than it is, doesn't it? Three out of ten is perfectly just. <laughs> to be fair, I don't think I've ever flown a fixed wing on a real mission before. It's hard when you've got all this stuff going on. Egg Beast, this is ice. You around here? What the hell? Covey, this is Spooky. Spooky Covey. We are Winchester MORTB. Roger that. Falcon, can you take over on in that AO? Are you still on station? Yeah, I'm still on station. Roger that. Any contact with the ground where they need support? Rub 1, this is Covey. I've still got an aircraft on Falcon, station. Spooky, that Phantom's on station for you. Where do you need ordnance? West of Need the smoke of the village. 250 out from Brand Strong. Drop it from southeast to, well, southwest to northeast. We got runners. Falcon, reference 250 meters northwest of Bon Trung. Drop southeast to north, correction, southwest to northeast. Uh, we have troops moving through the jungle. Dismounted troops over. Roger, you said that was northwest of the uh, town? A firm. Roger, setting up. Okay. Where the hell is Rob at? Whiplash, this is ice. Do you know where Egg Beast is at? He had to disconnect uh, us. Oh! Okay, so I'm on my own. Roger that. Let's get this thing in the air. Kelby, this is Rub 1. Objective complete today. A position in the town has been neutralized. Rub 1. Rub 1, Covey. Excellent. Can I... I'll get a King B inbound to uh, extract you if that works for you. If you can mark your choice of LZ, that'd be wonderful. King B, this is Covey. I got a tasking for you. Rub 1 AO is ready for pickup shortly. If you can get up there and be ready to uh, extract him, that'd be wonderful. Good effect on Napalm. Good effect on Napalm. Strike confirmed. I'm south of the valley right now. I can hold on. Roger that. Excellent. Rub 1, this is Covey. I have... King B to the south of the AO, ready to come pick you up. Just let me know what color your smoke is and where you want to be picked up. LZ Just, not uh, clear, fucking enemy uh, QRF incoming on the town. Okay, currently King B, LZ is not clear. I'm going to get ordnance up there shortly and then we're going to fucking hit the shit out of them and then you're going to have to come in right I mean, after, we're in a okay? Defensive position here. A firm, uh, just make sure they pop some Okay. Roger that, Rub One. I'm gonna have ordnance inbound. I have a, I have a Cobra Falcon, and that Falcon on station. Stuff We're gonna just need colored smoke or direction or marker on map. Let me know where you want it. I'm gonna hit it with everything we got. 
Blue Arrow, south uh, southeast to northwest. Yeah, let's let's right 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 Blue Arrow, well. southeast to northwest. I got Blue Arrow, southeast to northwest. Say again, last part. Enemy killing from that ASR. Enemy QRF inbound. Enemy QRF is coming through that ASR there. That blue arrow hit that. I think it's actually purple now that I see it, but hit that. Who is Ro that to, sir? Roger, I see purple arrow. Is that is that what you're talking about? Yes, yes I'm colorblind. I apologize. That's okay. That's okay. I got ordnance inbound on that shortly. Falcon's running in. Falcon running, hit with rocket snape, everything you got on that fucking purple arrow, southeast and northwest, over. Copy, safe, uh, we're also having contacts coming in from our northeast as well. Roger, contact northeast as well. Okay, Spooky, anything once you're on station, of the town hostile. Of the get town up, up here hostile. and start hammering the northeast of the town up in the northern part of AO Objective Beaver. Over. Copy, northeast of uh, last track point. Right now, everything outside of that town within 50 meters is hostile. All friendlies are inside that town. We gotta Caster, hammer this Caster, place so we can Red get the fucking uh, bird in to extract them. King B, stand by. We're gonna Come try and get ordnance in here. In position, an all piece an hour. Thank you very much. Copy, Spooky. Is everyone in route from Blake? Falcon's rolling in a red smoke. Roger, Falcon. Hello, Copy. This is your second last good message over. Ghost Rider cover. Ghost Rider cover. Uh, dropped off slashing Talon. There. Oh shit! I'm gonna get shot uh, down. Uh, two time down. Roger that. Understood. Um, can you be on station to the south of fucking Objective Beaver for me? Uh, or cor correction, standby. Yeah, objective beaver. Hello, Covey. This is Baked Alaska. Message over. Roger. Baked Roger Alaska. Around. Covey, send it. Covey, Baked Alaska. We are exfilling from our lo um, target location now. We are moving to the west. Uh, be advised, we will uh, need pickup shortly. Spooky if one of your pilots is raised up and thinks they're dead, they can it. We would request a pickup at the river line. Over. Roger, I copy, sorry, I got a lot of transmissions going on. I copy you're requesting pickup as you are exfilling from the AO. Um, pick up near the river. Mark LZ, relay to me what that LZ is marked as, and I will relay to Ghost Rider who's going to come get you. Ghost Rider, stand copy, by for pickup of uh, Baked Alaska, Alaska at AO Baked Alaska. Over. Roger, stand by for pickup. Last calling station, say again, last. This is Covey. Spooky, you can hammer everything outside that uh, village. Cubby, urgent. Rub 1 being engaged by armored division to our northeast. Armored division to our northeast. Falcon, this is Cubby. We have enemy armor to the northeast of the village. Do you have any ordnance that you can engage that with? Roger, I've got Falcon on it. in it. On it. Roger, do what you can. I'm looking for them. I'm looking for those tanks. I'll put tracers on them if I can see them. Spooky's engaging with rockets one time. Hi, eyes. Holy shit, there's somebody in my fucking bird. What's up? <laughs> Alright, mate. Um, just wanted to let you know, I've just done the fire mission for Alaska. They're going to want pick up in a short while marked on that. Yep, tracking. Thank you. What's their, uh, what's their LZ Hello, copy. name? This is Alaska. Message over. It's LZ Pickup 1. Hello, Baked Alaska. Baked Alaska. This is Covey. Send message over. Covey, back to Alaska. Um, is it a uh, possible LZ, uh, LZ Mark pickup one? Is it possible to get a pilot who's brave enough to pick us up from the waterline? Over. Roger, wet Ghost, up. Uh, Ghost Rider wait, LZ pickup out. one is going to be your LZ. Can you see that on the map? It's it's going to be on the river's edge, so you got to be able to get in there close. Over. Roger. Uh, don't see it yet. Break. Baked Alaska. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's, uh, that's absolutely no issue. 
Baked Alaska, this is Covey. I have a slick inbound to come get you. Um, he's going to make his way into that LZ pickup one on the river's edge. Covey, this is Baked Alaska. Roger, uh, be advised we are not yet at LZ pickup one. We are uh, about two zero zero meters out from it now, over. Roger, understood. I will relay. Ghost Rider Covey, our guys are about two zero zero meters from that LZ. They'll be ready for pickup shortly. Covey, this is Rub One. Rub One, Covey. Rub, Rub One, uh, to Covey, we've been able to take out the position, but enemy QRF is inbound. We can hold the position for about five more minutes, but we need an extract. It will be a hot extract. Can you break, do you have enemy contact to your south? Can you break south to that clearing are, if I can get that King yeah. B to you? We're fully surrounded. There is no way out that we can't push without being shot at. Roger, I can try and get that King B in, in for you, but it's going to be risky. In the town itself is secure, but it's the road leading out that's a compromise. Okay, understood. I'm going to try and get as much ordnance as I can out there, and then we're going to fucking get that King B in there. King B, this is Covey. This is going to be a hot extract. I need you inbound on the village itself on the north end of Objective Beaver. It's marked Friendlies. There are enemies surrounding the village. I need you to find an LZ uh, inside that village or, or inside that perimeter. Pick those guys up and get out quick. I'm going to get as much ordnance as I can around there while you're en route, and then hopefully it'll be clear enough for you to get the guys out. How copy? Over. King B. Uh, Covey. Go ahead, King I need you to get to that Covey, village Covey, on the north Covey, side Alaska. of the AO and pick these guys up. Hostiles on all sides. It's a hot AO. Hot LZ. How copy? Roger. Roger. Covey reads that. Uh, we'll try and get in contact Ghost Rider, with stand by. And wait we'll try uh, and for get to my OK to pick those guys up. Go into a uh, holding pattern. Those guys are saying that AO is not secure yet. They're not ready for pickup. Just be ready for them. Over. Roger. All right. So I'm holding uh, southwest of that LZ. Sp Spooky, as soon as you're fucking set, uh, as soon as you are out of ammo, I need you to go back to the airstrip and pick up that AC-47. Get that thing on station and start hammering that tree line. Over. Disregard, we already have King B on station. Just do what you can for now. Hello, Alaska, Alaska. This is Covey. Are you able to move to pickup location 102147? 102147 for pickup. Uh, Baked Alaska, uh, this is Baked Alaska. Uh, we are in an open ground now. We're going to pop smoke. Uh, if the bird goes Climbs a bit higher, he should be able to see it to his northeast. He can come pick us up here, over. Okay, Roger, Ghost good. Rider, good this thing. is Covey. This is Ghost Rider, send it. Our guys on the ground up there are standing by. They have an open area. They're going to pop smoke. If you're ready to go in, they should be ready to be extracted real quick here. Good to go. I just need smoke, color smoke, anything. Covey, Baked Alaska, we're being engaged from our northeast. We're trying to move to an area so that we can call the bird in without risking it, over. Roger, hot LZ. I'll say again, hot LZ. Covey, Covey, Baked Alaska, popping. They're taking contact popping from smoke, the north. Smoke. They're popping smoke right now. Can you get a color on that Covey smoke? Covey, be advised. Uh, Hello, has everybody on Alaska, board Alaska, Alaska this back. is Covey. Confirm color smoke. Fuck yeah, King B, excellent. Uh, Covey, this Covey, is. Covey, Baked Alaska, is I confirm great. I can say again, I confirm Grape Purple. Ghost Rider Covey, it's Grape Smoke, Grape Smoke. Covey, this is Rob One Scorch Earth on the town of Bantron, level the damn thing. King B, I see Roger, you, you got anti torque out. To Keep your leveled. altitude high. You're looking hey, good. You've got jungle underneath you uh, on both sides, but just directly under you is, is clear uh, valley floor. Can you get back to the uh, Playku Air Base? Hey, firm, I can make it back. 
Roger, you're doing great things for America, man. Good work. Copy, this is Spooky. We can escort him back. Roger, do, yeah, do your best to make sure he gets back. Uh, okay, it looks like he's recovered. Rob one, Rob one, this is Covey. Be advised, 74 seconds till rounds on target. State again, last. 74 seconds, rounds on target. Hey, uh, well, Covey, already Falcon? Expo from the AO. Good Falcon, trip. Covey. Are we clear on uh, Beaver? A firm, light that fucker up, destroy everything left there. Tell them six, seven, All friendlies out of the AO. Roger, we have a call for fire mission, over. Roger, stand by for asset availability. We have no RT on station currently in other tasking. I will see if we got any Falcon air assets stand we can by. support. What I, do I you might require, have another over? tasking for you. Uh, I have, have Falcon on Roger, station. Roger, one name left. Our position, grid, square, if you're ready for it. Roger, at this time we do not have the resources to send uh, any air assets, but what we can do is send a SEAL team to you. I say again, send a SEAL team to you. I have napalm and rockets with that. Break F4. 153 121. Roger, 103121. 153, 153. I, one, I read back, 153, 121. I will send SEALs in to support. I will send SEALs in to support. Out to you. Hello, Rob1, Rob1. This is Covey. I need you to go and support Talon. How copy over? Hello, Covey. This is Break to Alaska. Message over. Wait out Alaska, wait out Alaska. Hello, Rob One, Rob One, this is Covey. Rob One's uh, currently headed back to Pleiku. Let's check on him. Because they, uh, they lost. Spooky, Covey. King be safe on the ground. King be safe on Roger, the ground, send Roger an that. Acid. Send an air send asset? Send an air asset. Yeah, send it all we can for... Is that objective Otter? It's... Uh, it's Talon 6, or 6 Talon. Covey, this is Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, Covey. Oh, uh, thank you so much for the RTV help, uh, 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 Roger that, good work. Stand so by. So my regards to Spooky as well, because that was... Let's see, uh, Falcon, I need you inbound to Talon 6. Uh, stand by, I'm trying to confirm where that is. Where exactly? Roger, okay. if you give me the AO name, grid reference uh, is animals, really 154. Okay, one grid, zero. One prepare five four, to copy. 154120. 154120. I've got troops on the ground in contact. We'll give you more information as soon as I have it. Um, they are requesting ordnance. I have just dropped Roger, artillery on that, that location, so. Is North it that Han Ba? I didn't need to call myself up for that. No, that's not it. That's not it. Let's try and get ourselves down there too. Because I've got so situation right now is baked Alaska is firm. You want me to go over Hanoi? Safely out of the AO. Are these guys north of Hanoi? Is that where they are at? Covey, this is King B. King B. Covey. Yeah, is it, is it break time or uh, you got another task? I think that we might have one more task for you, and that's going to be to just be ready to deliver those seals in for uh, uh, reinforcements, because uh, we got troops in contact up by Da Nang, right? Or correction, up by uh, Hanoi right now, and I'm trying to get support to them. They might need extra uh, support from those seals. Just have them ready. A for a Okay, let's see here. So Right, do you want some good news, Ice? Yeah, sure. Well, the good news is this is gonna be mission complete. Hey. <laughs> so this that gives us eight minutes to set everything up to jump into the chat. Uh wait. Who, Dick's not responding. Right, okay. Cancel my last. Right, in that case, um, <laughs> I, I'm going to talk to you 
whilst I'm talking to the Zeus's, the other okay. Zeus's, what we're going to do is we're going to move all forces up to the DMZ to support Talon 6, because they are about to get a massively heavy push, and we're going to move all assets. I would like uh, the Spooky in the air, with, in the actual Spooky, get out the Cobra, um, and we are going to send a massive infantry at them. Uh, so all Zeus's, we are going to Falcon basically to start Roger. getting spooky everyone to, play coup, get to the spooky gunship ready to go. Covey, spooky. Spooky, Covey, get back to play coup, Get that AC forty-seven ready to go. Copy, transfer to the AC-47 now. Copy, be advised, uh, King B is loaded down with seals, ready for train. Roger that. Good work, Ghost Rider. I need you to, um, get the, uh, fucking Talon, or correction. Yeah, slashing Talon. Well, I don't think they're back at Pleiku yet. Exactly where did, where did you insert them, uh, Ghost Rider? Uh, they've got a mark on the map there. It's uh, six Talon. It's uh, river south of Haiphong. Okay, Roger that. You've got Baked Alaska back there with you, right? Covey, this is Gay uh, Rocket. I uh, honestly, I think I just Sengay Rocket. Yeah, that was Baked Alaska. Okay, if you still have contact with them, can you have them rearm, refit, and get ready to move out for Hello, bright Gay light Rocket, support Gay Rocket, for uh, Talon Six? Uh, can do, yeah. Uh, uh Rob one, uh, uh, going on station, one Colby, like, no contact with Roger, Gay Rocket. Mike. Roger, Gay Rocket was calling, Covey. Officer, final Roger that, sorry. Uh, oh, uh, uh, we are at Han Bar, consider Roger, assets that. denied. Covey, copies. Roger, many thanks. Uh, remount your boat, start making your way back to the base, stand by for further tasking. Rob one back at base, we've been remounted. Roger, good copy, Rub One. I want you to push to the DMZ to support six Talon. I say again, uh, you need to support Talon uh, at grid reference. One five four one one nine one five four one one nine. It will be a hot LZ. How copy ever? Understood. We'll try and get the LZ set off for that. Stand by. Hello, Covey, this is Baked Alaska, message over. Send Alaska. Covey, Baked Alaska, we have exfilled um, one times KIA at the LZ due to enemy action. Uh, airfield destroyed, we are now back at um, Pleiku Airfield, awaiting retasking over. Roger, I would like you to rearm, remount your Spooky remount Covey. Helo. You Stand are going by, to get ready to move out to Talon 6. 6 AO. Okay, Copy you're going to support six, Talon 6, same LZ, it's going to be hot, stand by. Over. Ghost Rider and King B, stand by to insert your guys at LZ Angel near 6 Talon AO, zero, over. it's on the DMZ, over. That is a firm tier of 154120. Falcon, where's the uh, rearm point? Uh, thank you. Falcon, I don't know. We might have to request rearm via Zeus. I think the rearm point is actually north of the uh, those uh, helicopter landing pads. Can't remember the name of them off the top of my head. Falcon Spooky, it's a rearm truck, re repair truck, and refuel truck at your eleven o'clock now. Thanks, Spooky. Okay, I've got all the Copy assets ready to go. I've got two fucking uh, transport choppers ready to go with. Uh, Troops and I've got gunship on on standby and the fast air is rearming currently. Roger, get them um, get them all That's up there as right quickly here. as we fucking can. Okay, um, Ghost Rider and King B, get yourselves airborne with your uh, bright light teams at LZ Angel. I say again, LZ Angel, drop them in. They are going to be trying to provide uh, means to uh, support 
6 Talon. We'll give them further orders once they're on the ground, but for now they need to make their way towards 6 Talon. Over. If you yes, can sir, get them closer, go for it. But LZ Angel is your uh, tentative LZ. All facing that, we have a prairie fire Paper. situation. Spooky, get on okay. station as quickly as you can around LZ Angel. Well, okay. Woo! <laughs> Baby! <laughs> Holy fuck! Well <laughs> done, Abandoned. 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 Good shit, boys. 35 wow. kills. Nice. Shit. Holy shit. 69, 69, 420. Oh, that, Hell yeah. That that, that you know, village. bragging about your kill count just shows that you weren't sneaky enough <laughs> Ooh, as a recovery baby. you know. Yep. I was in a <laughs> fucking boat. I, I have so much respect for Covey pilots. Oh my god. Get on my uh, level. I Jake, 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 what's bullets. the plan right now? <laughs> MVG has the other spots, or two of three spots for top kills. Digby, you, you, you could kill someone with a wet we, fish, buddy. Digby, we, we killed... We, we killed, like... Like 150 people and also three villages, they'll never get back. Okay, so Dolly, who is there? What's the plan time, right now? The grown ups were doing reconnaissance. I was on a boat. <laughs> I was on a boat. <laughs> I mean, if you're thinking about just in terms of just pure North Vietnamese taxpayers' money, the damage of uh, Bay yeah. Alaska. As was absolutely cataclysmic. They oh, put God, six. Actually. They put. They they put six migs oh, out of action God. with artillery. <laughs> Jesus. Six migs. Uh, four mi ones. Uh, two sa two batteries. Two target direction finding radars. A barracks. A control tower. And a local command center. But how many pictures did you take? With That's small Right. Before <laughs> this dicks shaking contest turns into an absolute. <laughs> I will actually turn around and say I want to congratulate Ice, who didn't realise that we were actually ending this mission, which is why he was ramping you up, because it was almost as if there was some sort of offensive just about to happen, or, like in the area of Tet. Is you there know, a holiday you could coming call up? It the Tet offensive. Oh my God. Wasn't the three. Tet offensive because of the part of the time of year or something? Isn't it tonight? Yeah, it, it, it was the part part of the year. But stand by for part... I'm, I'm yeah. trying to ask again here. Stand by well, how long for is the break? The... It's uh, half an hour where we're moving over to talk to Dick, where he's given an introduction to uh, yeah, introduction to Arsenal, the <laughs> program that we're raising money for with for we'll MVG and it. such. Okay, yeah, cool. cool. Yeah, pretty much. Awesome. So well, I'm yeah, well, out here, cool. and I'm going to over there. Yeah. Hey, what we're doing. Just hang, uh, mute here and watch a mute here and watch one of the streams, and yep. uh, we're back in thirty minutes. Yep. Roger, Roger. Oh baby. All right. <sighs> SR, if you want to chat shit, we'll go into members club. All right, guys. <laughs> Holy shit! Wow. God damn. That was amazing. I I have never enjoyed being stressed out so much as that because that was just incredibly cool uh, and gave me... I, mean, I know that I sucked on the landing. I will get better at some point when I have time to practice. But uh, I think part of that was that, man, I was trying to land that thing while directing all those comms. But uh, holy crap, that was amazing. Uh, had a lot of fun with that. And we're only on part two. There's a part three. It's coming up soon. All right, let's jump in here and see what we can uh, get from the uh, next part of the podcast portion. That got a bit intense at the end there. I love oh, it. my gosh. It was so crazy. We were at, like, the DMZ with, like, a small, like, six-man squad, Walker Bulldog tank, and, like, it was just coming from every direction. It was crazy. <laughs> You got a streamed event of that or something? Uh, yeah, Hells is on our charity channel and he was streaming it. Yep. Will that also be it. uploaded somewhere? Uh, it's on a VOD on on Twitch. You can check it uh, on Twitch. Not. Yeah. Oh it yeah. Was, it was it was amazing. It was such um, a 
such a blast and that was the second part of our mission we got done with our first mission yeah. real early and that was um picking out some sam sites and like going down into a valley it was and then we went into the tunnels that was that was crazy i'm claustrophobic i oh that was i can work intense. on downloading the vod and stripping all this stuff out and uploading like each op up to youtube or something yeah were, were you were you in slasher team were they called uh they uh uh, talent six nine. Yeah, we were talent. Slash talent. talent. Yeah, yeah. So yep. when you guys went in the tunnel, the last thing I heard from your team leader was, "We there's enemy all around us. Hit pace the whole AO. We're going in the tunnel. Um, I can't give you our location." And I and he, and he was breaking up on the radio, and I was saying, "Say again, location." And he was going, <laughs> "We're all in the tunnel. Uh, when I go in the tunnel, I'm going to lose comms." Uh, but just hit everything. I can't stay here. I can't stay here. And that was it. Slasher was gone. And then at that point, I was literally bringing all the air assets to uh, to smash that location. But I was terrified that somebody might step out of the tunnel and just get napalm. Yes. We went into that tunnel, and we just started going buck wild on everything inside of that. But when we came out, there was like like three tanks on the bridge and we're, or like a whole platoon of armor. And we're like, let's charge it. We can't go anywhere. We don't have any cover. I charged it with satchel. We, we, Sam Sam was doing a fantastic job of trying to stack Absolutely. up all the, all the air assets around that bridge, um, so that we could try and get you guys out. Um, and we had we had uh, Huey, we had slicks on standby, really close by as well. Uh, but I just didn't know where you were. That was the thing. I was just dead. So and of course at that point we got two other teams in contact, and we're having to fly over towards them. And then, and then we don't know at that point if we've got any at the distance to radio uh, to be able to hear if you do come out of the tunnel because yeah. because of, because of the distance between the different objectives. So we were in the tunnel; we could hear the ordnance like blowing up above us. It was <laughs> it was crazy. Oh, it was uh, that was mental. Uh, so so you know the the scary thing is you, you when a team goes out of contact like that, they've asked for kind of broken arrow type scenario. You, you, you know, we don't know if you guys are going to come back out and oh. get you out. So it's amazing that any of you survived. I did. I, I, I couldn't stay there to the end to see what happened. But of course, I got shot. I, I actually got shot in the back seat from them and bled out. So um, and we made it out yeah. alive. Thanks so much, yeah. man, for your yeah. uh, so that was support. <laughs> I was like nodding off in the back of the Bronco, saying, uh, I've, "I've got like a minute left." You know, we're trying, and there's constantly incoming requests for support coming in. Oh, I got my hand on the radio, like because our team lead had to go, so I had to take over. And I'm like trying to do comms and try to get the squad to like position. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm back in the saddle. I'm back in the saddle. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, oh. it's good. It's a good feeling. Like this brings back some awesome vibes of, uh, you know, pretty close to home there. Yeah, big shout out to all the guys on the raid yesterday. You all did a fantastic job in the op. Um, and I know everyone was, you know, uh, struggling, breaking voice up, voices breaking up, and all sorts of happening because the radio distance is. But that was a really, really good intro to what we're about to talk about, which was, you know, <laughs> which is stress um, in, uh, you know, and, and with veterans especially. And we just experienced in the game there um, a lot of. Um, Kind of executive stress, the sort of stress you have in a working environment where you have to get a job done, and uh, the thing is mounting up, mounting, mounting to a point where you feel like you just want to rip your headset off and run out of the room crying, you know? uh, but you have to just stay with it and try and keep the guy, the guys alive, right? So, yeah, that that yeah. That, that, that beats the shit out of you. Oh yeah. So well done, oh, Dolly. Because you organized the mission for us, and uh, yeah, and you put me in the in the covey seat. Thank you. I I will turn around and say, you know, my Kozuses have been absolutely phenomenal with looking after the teams and you know making it really atmospheric. Because yeah, I put down a skeleton, but they're the ones that really put the skin on the bones. It's it's been lovely to work with them. So they're the ones yeah. who are really bringing it together. A great job. I mean, the mission went very smooth. So, On so his mission yet of the night. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I'd love to do that again when I'm, not, when I'm not trying to coordinate other things outside <laughs> of the mission as well. Because that, that really adds a layer. Yeah. 
made it quite difficult. Uh, but I really enjoyed the Covey role, and I'm, and I'm sure others enjoyed their, you know, the team lead roles and things. But it was it was quite hard to organise. Oh, yeah. as well. But yeah, that's what it's about. So um, just everyone, I've been we've been giving people the chance to get in here um, and the streams to get stream. Uh, what we're doing. This is like the what the, the sort of roll up of the event um, from today. How long is it still going before we call it uh, done? Um, in terms of the fundraising and everything. Uh, 31 uh, hours on the fundraiser, five hours, and then op still, I believe. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, sorry, yeah. yeah. I, I, I thought I was done. Oh, <laughs> we're going back. No, we, we, yeah, 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 again, that has all been... <laughs> Time for the night iteration. Yeah. All right, so so we're going back for... I forgot, yeah, I thought we'd finished, but we're actually going back and playing through till till midnight our time, so uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, right? So, oh, we're going to have to uh, what, And the charity's going to keep going for another 12 hours after that, so. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, and then, so you guys are still, what, streaming and collecting for another 12 hours after that? Yeah, so, yep. so when, does the, when does the raffle get drawn? Uh, right before we, we finish, so at midnight. Right. Us, okay. All right. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, my brain has been fried today, so I've, I've lost. You're not the only one. Don't worry. Yeah. Well, that would be the the first PC if we hit the 20k before. Yeah, we'll draw the, the first. PC. Goal, we'll be drawing another one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just talked to the board. If we hit 20k, we'll we'll make two of those PCs. Cool. Sounds good. We have. We, we are at uh, thirteen thousand two hundred and thirty dollars. By the way. Yeah, I'm looking yeah, at that now. So that's that's um sixty five percent or so. Um, no, ten k today alone. Yeah, that's ten k yeah. today alone insane. already. Insane, absolutely insane. Yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. So um, I guess we should introduce our guest with us. Um, uh, the guys uh who just joined the streams as well should should understand who we've got with us. So so, guys, you'll see on stream um Dolly uh who's been organising. The event with whiplash um and the mission thank uh, you dolly for being a great copywriter uh, dolly's a, a combat veteran a amazing Sean, um and a good friend of the team and then we've got uh hills and jordan who are both uh military veterans from uh the uh military veteran gamers uh charity who we're supporting today um, he's actually then, still active duty yeah oh who is i'm Hills. sadly still oh, yeah, active air force. yeah 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 so you're active air force yeah um uh, and, uh, Air Force. It's almost like the military, but yeah. But with room service and AC, it's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we need you uh, when when the time comes, right? As we were just seeing in the game. Um, and then, of course, we've got we've got uh, Lieutenant Colonel Dick Thompson with us, um, who's also CEO of High Performing Systems. Um, and and Dick was uh, one zero of uh, RT. Now, let me get this right. Was it Alabama? Um, one one with Alabama, oh, yeah. one zero with Michigan, and one zero with Virginia. So you have a huge amount of experience uh, running recon in Laos, um, and Cambodia as well. A couple of times. Yeah, yeah but mostly time. Laos, North Vietnam, DMZ. Well, um, and thanks for jumping in with us again today, Dick. Um, so what we want to do is just explain to people what we're using the body for. Um, so. Do you want to take it away from there? And I can put up the slide whenever you want it. Okay. If you want to, yeah, if you want to put it up. Um, there we go. So if you watch my stream, if you're in the, um, in the channel. Okay. Watching. Yeah. Uh, when I was uh, on active duty, uh, back in the 80s, uh, the, the, Brains in the in the military he said we're going to have um, a different kind of war as we go into the 21st century, and we need to start learning what we can now and on how to prepare for it. So uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to participate in um, looking at special ops, how uh, teams could continue to run for 100 hours continuously without sleep. Uh, all kinds of nifty little things that they were supposed to be able to do. And then how could we take that and transfer it to the regular military so that they could do that too? 
Uh, so I got to keep people up for days at a time to see what would happen to them and experiment with them. You know, the problem was most of the people would die after five or six days, and then I'd have to start over again. <laughs> you know, we'd get rid of the bodies and start again. But <laughs> we uh, we learned a lot about that, a lot about stress. And at that point, um, you know, we, we had battlefield stress, and we would just pretty much say to to rob uh okay okay on your feet soldier uh rub a little dirt on yourself now you get back in there and you'll be okay and so we didn't do a whole lot about it and tbi that was one of those things where you know i would say rob how many fingers am i holding up all right you're good to go you know you get back in it we didn't even pay it any attention i mean you didn't count the number of times that you'd been knocked unconscious or anything like that. But as we started moving toward the 21st century and thinking about warfare, we started to expand definitions and, and get better research and a better understanding. And one of the things that I had kind of started working on uh, in the military was how do we assess where someone is in terms of having kind of a stable, balanced platform uh, to move forward from, how can I get a snapshot of where I am today um, in terms of stress resilience, know what I need to work on uh, so that I can manage the stress of combat, I can manage the stress that's coming around from PTSD, things like that. Um, so I did a lot of research. I ended up putting together a questionnaire that we call the, the ARSENAL, uh, and the arsenal really is an acronym for the seven best practices of stress resilience. That if you can manage uh, these seven areas, then you've got a stable platform to work from. Uh, and it's something that's easy to measure. The other thing that, that I wanted, you know, I, I'm a psychologist background too. Um, I just didn't like being asked, you know, every fourth or fifth question, uh, have have I thought about harming myself? Have I collected what I need to harm myself with in the last few days or the past week? And it's just repetitive over and over. I didn't think that was the necessarily the best way to do it. So I, you won't find that in this questionnaire. It's going to ask you things about how often you exercise. It's going to ask you um, about sleep. Um, so the seven best practices, awareness is how aware am I of me and what's going on with me and what's going on around me. Uh, what kind of rest do I get? How much do I sleep? You know, do I get any rest during the day? Do I have a support group? Am I part of someone else's support group? Uh, what kind of exercise do I get? Um, what do I eat? Do I have good nutritional habits? Do I have a good attitude about life and what's going on around me? Um, am I in a learning mode where I'm continually trying to learn, keep my brain sharp? And, we, you know, the research that I did showed that if you manage these seven areas, um, it gives you a strong level of stress resilience to start with. And then if you find yourself in um, a stressful environment, you know, deployment, combat zone, whatever, uh, the higher you start out with your stress resilience, the longer you can hang in there uh, without doing, you know, significant uh, harm to yourself psychologically or physically. Uh, and you can use the arsenal to get a snapshot of where you are today, where you are six months from now, six months from then. Um, so you can see which areas you need to work on um, you need to get more rest, more sleep, whatever. You need to eat better. You need to get a little more exercise, whatever it is, to build the areas up and maintain a balance. And, you know, it's, it's had great results identifying people who um, need maybe to get some help, uh, to go to the MVG uh, mental health team, for example, to, to say, I... I'm kind of struggling in the area of support or whatever it is. You know, can you guys help me out? Um, and we also find 
it helps you, like if you're going into a high stress job, uh, a nuclear op operator, the guys that operate in the control room that control uh, the nuclear reactor and everything, very high stress job because they know if they screw up and let that thing melt down, uh, it, that's not good. Uh, you know, SWAT teams, firemen, military, special ops. So there are a lot of jobs that have a high stress environment that the people work in. And this kind of gives us an indication of who might be best suited for those and the areas that they might want to work on um, to, to have more resilience as they go into those types of jobs. And what we're trying to do with the charity, <clears throat> and I, I, I know this has already been said, but what we try to do with the charity is let's find a way, and at least our goal was to find a way that vets in MVG can take this assessment or questionnaire, get feedback on it, and it cost them 15 minutes of their time uh, to take the assessment and get their report. And then if they want to talk to someone, um, you know, the, the report will tell you. In some cases, you might want to contact, um, you know, the mental health team. Or there may be some cases where it says you might want to call a crisis line and, you know, have a chat with them. But... Uh, it gives you some feedback. It doesn't cost you any money. Now, you know, to our, you know, corporate clients, they pay a lot of money to get this thing. But what we want to do with vets, I mean, they vets have already, they've already paid the money. You know, they paid the price. We need to be taken care of them. So we just thought, particularly with MVG, you have so many vets already in your organization this would be an easy way to move this thing over uh, and let them be able to do it. So uh, we, have a, we have a link that, you know, you can go to, take the assessment, get your feedback. If you want to talk to someone, we can help make sure you get to talk to someone. Uh, and and it's a win-win. It's a we take care of our people. So... That was probably a long answer to your short question, but anyway, that was, that was that's perfect. Good. Thank you, Dee. I think I think you explained everything perfectly well um, in terms of what's on offer. Um, uh, Jordan, have you got anything for you guys? Yes. Uh, first off, first Dick, off Dick. thank you so much for coming out and helping out with this Arsenal program. Like your team has been an amazing, amazing help with getting this set up. Uh, I've taken this test myself. I love it. It's like Dick was saying, it's not like when you go to the VA, I'm speaking to my vets out there. It's not like when you go to the VA and you take one of these assessment tests and like every other question is, Hey, do you see, do you see pink elephants or do you think you're going to cause harm to yourself? And it, none of those questions will be asked on this test. And it's, it's such a good assessment tool for people to use. And like you said, take it six months later and see where you're at. Uh, within our community, we have set up uh, on our Discord, um, Get Military Verified, and that's, this service is free for you guys. Uh, you contact our mod mail. It's like a ticket, ticket system, and we get you guys the link uh, straight up into, uh, into your hands. And you take the assessment from there. It's, it's an amazing tool, and I, just, I really want to say thank you because I've used this myself and gave me a really good insight on where I was at. And how I can make improvements on myself as well as, you know, I get to share it with all my brothers and sisters out there. It's such a great thing. And I'm just happy to be here, too. It's great. Okay. Thank you. I, one other thing I wanted to say is that um, with the exception of Rob, uh, everyone's, you know, questionnaire is confidential. No one sees the report but you. Uh, a little later, we're going to put Rob's up on online. Here's where you can see it. But, you know, with everyone else, uh, it's, you know, my guys see it, you see it. And if you choose to share it with someone else, uh, you know, it's your your report. You can do what you want to with it. But, you know, your your employer doesn't see it. No one else sees it. So it's it's confidential. 
it, it simply draws a very simple picture of uh, what stage you're at with the seven areas of awareness, rest, support, exercise, nutrition, attitude, and learning. I, I kind of really, pretty much have that in my head, um, and uh, I'm always thinking about it in terms of taking action in my life in a given month. Like, what am I doing this month? What am I doing about Arsenal this month? Is there any areas I need to improve on? How am I doing? And, I, and it's now in my in my head as part of my kind of checklists. And just just from having done, and it takes ten minutes to do the survey, and at the end of it, you get your report and you know, read through it, think about it, um, digest it, take a few steps. And you're, you know, you're on the path to strong stress resilience as designed for U.S. Special Forces. So it's a, it's a powerful, powerful tool. You know, I really love it. Yeah, I, I do it, at least some part of it every day. You know, if, if I'm, if I come in and some of my guys say, uh, you must not have slept well last night. You're kind of grumpy today. Um, I just got a signal that on the rest. Uh, best practice. I'm not doing so well. Um, so where am I? And I, you know, like you were saying, you can go down that that little seven item checklist very fast. Now I'm I'm very aware this morning. My brain's not foggy. I'm doing well. I feel good. I'm rested. Um, ah, I miss my uh, um, you guys yesterday that I was supposed to meet with in the support group. Um, but uh, I did get my exercise in this morning, but then I ate a cheeseburger or whatever, a milkshake. So, you know, you can very quickly go through here and see where you are once you've taken it. Right. And, there's, and we have a war chest because we've done two events now and raised, um, you know, $23,000 uh, so far. So there's a there's a, quite a sizable war chest to support veterans who really want to have no shy people out there in the veteran community come forward. Yeah. You just need to go do it. Go take it. Like I say, it's going to cost you about 15 minutes of time. And then you, you know, your report will be emailed to you. And you just be amazed at what you will get out of this. Well worth it. And, and you don't need to be, um, you know, uh, right on the on the edge of crisis of this right the, the idea is to, to strike early um and build resilience it's like we're going to psychological gym way well it's actually a physical gym too it's exercise and nutrition as well yeah i mean i we have people all the time who are who you would say these are elite athletes uh top level people and they take it to say how can i get better how can i you know improve over where I am now, get more feedback. I want to stay at the top. So you don't have to be in crisis mode. It works if you are, but you don't have to be. You can just be wanting to get stronger, faster. Um, you can do that. What a fantastic gift. You know, um, it doesn't take long and it can make life, make, change your life forever. So it's a great thank you so yeah. much, Dick. I think that's fantastic. It, just, a lot of people I appreciate the opportunity to be able to get it out there where, uh, you know, more vets can, you know, take advantage of it. And That's I really appreciate way. what you guys have done to, to help promote it and get it out there, make it available to people and what MVG is doing. Um, you know, the SOG game, I think, is very helpful to kind of get the word out. Um, so there's just... There are a lot of things going on uh, to help put it out there, and we're working with you know some other groups, other organizations, <laughs> to try to help help vets and help anybody. Really, you don't have to be a vet, uh, but for the program we're talking here, we're you know it's it's free. Uh, you just need to be a, a verified vet and go take it. Great. And anybody interested in this can, can contact MPG on the Discord. Take it from there, Jordan, Hills. Some of you guys will be there to welcome. Absolutely. And it's super easy. Our Discord is, we're literally the military Discord. So, discord.gg slash military. There you, go. there you go. And then message the support mod mail top right if you need help or you want to do the uh, assessment. Yeah, our peer-to-peer -peer peer support system peer -peer. is twenty-four-seven. Our response time less than a minute. 
Awesome. Omega, I'm really glad to hear that, man. Right, right. Well, I, I think... Um, oh, I'm getting some feedback. Something. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely getting feedback. It's coming through uh, Dick's microphone. Ah, is it? Okay. Well, we can't read it. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, well, we, we, I'll, I'll talk quietly. Um, we, we've got to, uh, got to a great point day and in fact in the weekend so far uh the event's been going really well uh yesterday we had 120 players uh, actively trying to kill each other for um what the best part of nine hours i think um brits uh in the team were up to five point guys um who were casting and commentating and stream that was uh, barbarian that was fantastic fun i know you guys were streaming um, and then this morning we got up, piled in again, and then Dolly unleashed hell on us. So we're going to go back to that shortly and carry on. Uh, we're going to continue fundraising. Um, the, you know, the, the, the can is still being shaken, if anybody wants to donate. Um, and uh, we're going to keep playing through. And then we get to the end of the session, uh, we're going to draw the raffle for the, for the um, custom, unique, Mac v Sog uh, gaming PC, uh, which anyone who's donated more than twenty dollars uh, will be eligible for, um, and if anyone's donated ten dollars, they're eligible. Uh, it's not quite unique. I think there's a couple of these uh, signed um, RT Idaho uh, team poster, uh, which is signed by Don Walton, um, Tilt Meyer, and Spider Parks, and uh, that would be amazing thing to have on any um i i want it uh, <laughs> i'm gonna try and get one at some point but not as part of the raffle because if any of us win well, i'm gonna donate it back um so uh that's i think that's all yourself. sorry i said speak for yourself yeah hate to break it to you yeah i'll just buy myself a bottle of scotch or something like that um so um I think that's all from us for, the, for this session. We, we're good to go and get back in and, and continue mission. Um, I want to thank Dick for turning up and, and explaining so so clearly and precisely the and, you know, some of the expertise that's gone into this support mechanism available to MPG. Thanks to MPG for uh, you know for supporting the event. You know the kick-ass computer design, which you know, we just love it. So that's really great. Your an Artesian Systems is your sponsor. That's correct. They're, uh, they do a live stream for these builds. And the crazy thing about it is even though we have the specs of what we initially have, when that live stream happens, who knows? Uh, it's crazy. Uh, chat has the ability to upgrade those PCs. So who knows what it'll turn out to be. And of course, whenever those PCs get built, it should be within the next month. We've already placed the order for them. And, uh, We'll definitely shout it out on all the networks and we can all join in to see these things in person or, or at least live and see them get built. It's going to be a great time. That's great. And you do that because you actually build PCs for veterans who need... That's games. correct. One of our programs is called Keys to Healing. Our motto is Healing Through Gaming. That's uh, MVG, Military and Veteran Gaming's motto. And uh, one of our programs is called Keys to Healing. Um, we noticed that the... You know, active duty and veteran, the transition between the two, uh, you're the most vulnerable state as becoming a new veteran. And we want to help with gaming as well as equipment uh, from Ooh, PCs geez. to consoles and get those into those transitioning soldiers' hands uh, so they can connect with your brothers and sisters in arms. I can't tell you how many times that I've sat there myself. You know, I lost my platoon as soon as you get out. I lost the squad I used to stand in front of, but... Now I can connect with my brothers and sisters even more so on a virtual level. Anywhere in the world, I can talk to, you know, a Marine, to Navy, to Air Force, Coast Guard, Space Force, doesn't matter. Army, so many oh, Army buddies, people too. are in our Discord. <laughs> but I can connect with my brothers and sisters in arms and uh, use video gaming as an outlet for it. And we want to be able to make sure, you know, PCs, PCs are ex extremely expensive these days. And uh, we... we Networked with two different people. One is a private uh, contractor, and the other one is Artesian. And we build these PCs all the time for our vets. Um, 
last one that was an active duty soldier that got one uh and i think we were uh, last year we were at forty thousand dollars raised just building pcs alone and they do some crazy modifications i think somebody got the uh right uss here. massachusetts as a battleship it was crazy massive like table of a of a battleship that they got that was an actual commission though that wasn't yeah. a keys to healing pc yeah that wasn't a keys to healing pc <laughs> But it was like they they can do that though they have the abilities uh, they make tanks as you can see <laughs> but it's uh, uh it's yeah. great you have the wheels going back up too it's pretty cool yeah the army keeps on rolling as we mentioned sponsors i should just give a shout out to armor host i've not said a word about them uh, but they actually support all our servers and uh the servers we're playing with today uh, you know, thank you to justin and armor host all the effort you, you guys are putting in on the back end to keep our server network up uh, help help the missions going running quite smoothly so it's fantastic as well we don't pay a penny for our server we get about yeah. 50 or something. they just support us because they they, they, they love what we do it's great it's great right i guess we're going to get in and uh if one other thing of course is uh that uh, we do have more uh podcasts with dick thompson coming through on our YouTube channel. Um, so keep an eye on that on YouTube uh, and just Savage Game Design and you'll find us. Um, and there's actually a, a new playlist on there, which is called um, uh, Veteran Welfare with Dick Thompson. That's the name of our, our little series and Dick's meeting with us periodically. To record. I was going to say, you know, that's the name of where we sit in a group and have a bit of a chin wag, basically. Yeah, you know, we we just record it and yeah. put it out there for people. You know, yeah, yeah. and we talk about um, anxiety, fear, or you know, stress, or whatever, whatever sort of topic of the day is, and uh, just have a bit of a chat about it. So if you, you know, if you want to explore those subjects, but you haven't talked to anyone, or you know, maybe you think you need to, or something, it's it's, it's something you can just switch on and watch, and might sort of might trigger a reaction, might think about some things uh, by watching some of those so we thoroughly recommend it just a, just as a sort of gentle you know, dip, dip your toe in there because we we have Dick's um, fantastic expertise you know, his insights and insights from Dolly here guys from MVG um, you know as combat veterans talk about their experiences so you know, keep your eyes on the channel yeah yeah. And, and generally we also touch on like real world not just military stuff we touch on like real world sort of situations that aren't related to the military so you know we talk about the stresses of that you get in work and stuff like that it's not it's not just a sole military thing i will point that out and it's just trying to help people in any way that we actually can and that's where it really is yeah yeah and there are non military in MPG's Discord too, right? Verify your military, but you also have non military. You're well, that's correct. That's correct. Right. Yeah. yeah. As yeah. long as you're over the age of 18. Right, that should be. Yeah. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I didn't see how to act like you're over the age. <laughs> okay, so. Um, Oh, oh, I suppose one last plug is that Dick's writing a book, and I think um, I know you didn't want necessarily to plug your book today, but can I ask you to give it a plug? Can you tell us about it? Um, yeah, it's um, it's a book about my experience, um, how I got to how I got to SOG, and what I what I saw, what I experienced uh, from the time I got there and through all the missions. And then leaving and having to transition, you know, back to uh, another world. So I, I, I've i tried to put uh, things you don't typically see in a book. I mean, the the team action and all that stuff is there, but it's also um, what was I thinking about? Uh, what did I learn? Each time I went out, you'll see the uh, after each mission, here's the after action review. Here's what I discovered about me, uh, my team, and about the North Vietnamese. And you can, I think, see the progression in terms of uh, the tactics I use, the 
uh, how I did things, how I led the team, what I learned, what what they taught me, what I learned from the North Vietnamese. Um, so I think you'll find that interesting because it changed. And I'm sure you, you know, talking to Tilt and the other guys, there was a big difference between 68 and 69. Uh, as we went into 69, uh, the North Vietnamese had gotten a lot smarter about us. And they understood a lot more about the tactics that we used, uh, how to find us, how to track us. So you'll you'll see that play out in the book, but you'll also see how, uh, at least on my teams, I started changing things up a little bit because I knew what they were looking for. Um, and I found, you know, that for the most part, most of of the North Vietnamese were humans too. They didn't want to die, most of them. They were sent out there, and they knew they were going up against the SOG team, and that's not what they wanted to do. Um, but they had been told we were going to run. If we made contact, we would run. I found that, you know, if you wanted to shake them up, don't run. Not away from them. Run toward them. And that just freaked them out. You know? So, anyway. So it wasn't, you'll that it wasn't wrong what they were told then. You did run, just not in the direction yeah, they expected. Yeah. Just changed the direction, and that freaked them out. You know, but in 69, um, you know, we also started getting the 30-round magazines. That made a big difference. I mean, when you had an extra 10 rounds in a magazine, I mean, they had 30-round magazines to start with. You know, so they could put out a lot of firepower, you know, very quickly. And we were changing magazines. But when we had 30 that we could come back with them on, um, and then you, you put a bunch of tracers in there, too, in that first magazine, so they can see this stuff ricocheting off trees, coming at them, hitting close to them. Um, you could get their attention. Talking guns. Oh, well. Well, it's probably worth saying if anyone wants to hear more of uh, Dick's tales, um, his time in SOG, uh, Jocko podcast 204, 205, 206, I think, are the three that, that you recorded with him. Yeah. And the last one, you're actually talking more about the stress and uh, your, your other book, which is, uh, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, stress Effect. The Stress Effect. That's it, yeah. The stress Effect. Yeah. Um, and, and and so you've got that book out already, and then your new book. Is there a title for it yet, or is that is that confidential? Uh, it's, it's it has a working title of um, "Dead Man Walking." Huh. Yeah. Don't, don't don't tell him, Dick. He just wants to proofread it. He he just wants his hands on. <laughs> you know, we both know that he just wants a copy of it. He he wants to proofread it for you. <laughs> I yeah, suspect right. he. I suspect he will uh, relatively soon. So fantastic, <laughs> and I won't tell anyone uh, what's in it. So don't worry. Yeah, just well. put it on. Put it on one of these podcasts, I guess. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll publish it as myself and say I was so. It's like a three-hour episode of him just reading line by line. Yeah. Little do you realize all. that's um, Rob's proofreading pile behind him. Yeah, you that's know. right. Yeah. <laughs> Those books. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, fantastic. Well, you know, it's on it's on the wish list. Well, you know, it's on the wish list for this year. And uh, uh, there's a there's a fantastic other book coming out on on Mad Dog Shriver, written by uh, Crop Three, J um, Gordon Denniston, uh, which we're all anxiously wait waiting for. Uh, and there's a few other new song books coming out this year. Um, I know Tilt's just about. Right. He, said, he said earlier he's got it on his head. From the retrans site in the bathroom. Song Chronicles. Back. We're all yeah, well, we'll keep our eye on it and keep us posted, Dick. Okay, I will. I appreciate it. We'll right. Up a few sales. So, yeah. Just to close things up, we are at thirteen thousand four hundred dollars in donations, which is amazing. So, uh, the guys that are participating on the final mission can start joining on the server, and, and the team speak will be starting shortly. Long right. yeah. Again, he's fucking guns Dick akimbo. For, for having, <laughs> having us being here to share the, everything <laughs> thanks for coming all right thank you i appreciate it and if, if anyone thanks to dynamite the mission, he's uh, an amazing uh, guy oh my god on the, on the, the twitch which uh 
and I've I've put a link for the first uh, Dick podcast in the in the news channel of our Discord right now. So along with the Arsenal uh, slide to show you. Okay, I'm gonna sh disappear so yeah, I can brief up my guys. Dick, uh, lovely 100% as always. Runs on uh, instinct. So uh, as the Easy. more we get drunk, the more price, instinct yeah. we push. Let's go play some armor to the yep. to the fight. Okay. Right. That the one time I ran, and, and, and more instinct, master. we open fire on something that <laughs> opens fire on us. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Have you, ever, so, have you ever seen uh, Jackie Chan's like drunken master, where it's like just yeah. drunken kung fu and just yeah, kicking everyone's ass? Literally, SR. Yes. Every SR hey, goes through. Let's get that back fight. into this. Hmm. I wish I action. the one time I ran was Scandi Recon during a Friday Night Fights operation. I think it was EU. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the whole match it. was. I don't know if I'm ready for more, like but scream match. Got to rise to it. Let's do it. And we get up there, and it goes to absolute chaos. People are screaming and dying and running around. Everyone tries to execute their own flanks. And we still win. And, and, and then we won. Yes. <laughs> and then we and kicked then their we asses. Yeah, so we did. Like everyone's screaming and shit like that, but a lot of us are used to each other, so like we know how to tune different people out. Everyone's saying like the same shit over and over again. It still worked. Like people were still killing. So whatever, we, whatever you guys were doing was unfortunately or fortunately still working. What we have a chaotic playstyle, but we make it work. We know how to employ it. And heaven help the day that anyone tries to tap our comms because they're not in for a good time. I can, I can vouch for that. What, is it like joining oh, yes and another might force uh, mission and you're not no. in it yet? It's um, you know, what's that film, The Watchmen, where it's, where Rorschach is just like, you're like, I'm not locked in here with you, you're locked in here with me. Yeah. When people try and tap our comms, they eventually turn off our comms. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking weaponized autism with us. It's like <laughs> espionage resistance. Like, yeah. You don't understand I'm, what's I'm going sure, on. They sure as hell can't. I'm sure if this is a real chatter or if this is a, just a fucking hoax. It's a CIA. Just. Overrunning the comms is what you think, at least. Sorry, up. No, oh, I'm on the wrong fucking channel now. It's like you come to the wrong house, fool. Right. Wrong, wrong frequency, buy. motherfucker. Right, I'm just yeah, waiting exactly. for the last few people to jump in. So, I'll be yeah, in I'm, a minute. No, no, you guys are not on a spot screen, to... are you? Uh, what? There we go, Dolly. Ah, go lovely. ahead. Thank you. <laughs> right. Um, so, this is the third and final part of the mission. I will try to aim to get to 12 o'clock. It may not happen. Um, you know, but there's going to be a few more limitations that come up unexpectedly. Um, roll with it. Expect the unexpected. Um, and yeah, we'll do the same again where I will do the initial brief just to speed things along a little bit and get things moving. Um, because obviously I made the mission. I have a vision of how I see it going in my head. So me trying to brief it to Rob, who then needs to work out what to do, doesn't make sense. So I'll do the initial brief and then he can roll with the punches. Um... No questions are required at this stage. Uh, again, we will teleport over the commanders once they are cute. Yeah, and and you won't be able to you won't be able to leave either. What? What does that mean? <laughs> we will find out. Well, you've screwed it now, Rob. Yeah, you've tempted the big hand of fate. It's reaching down from above.
Sorry, I'm trying to have a boona. What? The <laughs> Dolly is out of control as always. Sorry, I'm just having a few issues connecting. Well, that's why I can't, that's why I can't rejoin because everyone's pressed OK. <laughs> you know, I'm still trying to rejoin the server. All right, once more into the breach. Yeah, it's just Gentlemen, taking time, let's so. go. the name of this HLC was uh something sorry chaps um and chaps lasses everything in between I am struggling to reconnect to the server um as soon as I'm in we can start going but it, it if you could avoid pressing okay that would be lovely oh, short range back on 500 Hey, Rob. I'm going to jump back hey, in the seat with you if you're okay with that. I don't know what? Huh? You're doing what? I'm going to jump back in the seat with you in the Oh, uh, yeah, great. You, fact I, plan. I thought you were going to say you were going back on the ground. I was going to panic then. Jeez, <laughs> you were, no, you were I feel like we set up the so, AO yeah. so well that we need to yeah. be ready. Great. Yeah, yeah. I I thought you, you had your role covered so well. You were making my life easier. So, yeah, good great. good it was a little bit chaotic and definitely some people got left hanging but i mean we can only do so much that's the thing isn't it uh, we can't we can't please everybody so there's no point getting stressed about it uh, just when, you, the best we <laughs> when you got job. four four different aos yeah it's a little insane hopefully this time it'll be a little bit more centralized but we'll see yeah we just need to not shut down by was like having to reset the radios every time we get in the bird. Yeah, um, that was it rough. Just it's just and it's stressful because you've got people trying to reach you, and you're trying to set. You've got to dash the plane so you can get the radio, and you've got to yeah reset all the radios. And there, all there's a flood of messages coming in already. It's it's not much fun that, that sort of situation. So the good news, um, the, the great thing is like the way you handle it. You know, you're just listening in and calling stuff. I'm not having to translate it to you. It's, getting, yeah, it took me a little bit to get used to it, but once I was kind of in sync, I had a lot easier time with it. What, what, what? We, a couple of times I was like, Sam, we need to speed up because <laughs> I'm hearing you like, like, kind of giving yeah, it's just when you've got so much on your mind, you're yeah. just like, I'm like, I can't remember the word that I'm supposed to say, you know, yeah. I'm just, yeah. I, I can't remember the call sign, I can't remember whatever, but you just gotta. I've been in that situation in exercises in the military, and you just gotta like slow down and think and go, okay, here's, you know, here's what I gotta yeah. say. Let me Break get it, it out. down into, in, in, I think with the three or four call signs on the ground, we just need to be touching base with each one, check their check their location, yeah, uh, their their target or tasking, um, and then uh, you know make sure it's marked and then. Which is what I'm doing because I'm dealing with the ground guys. So I'm basically find out where they are, where they want what it is, what they want, where they want it, um, and then hand it over to you. And yeah. then You give it to your air call sign. So it's who is going to pick it up, and and who they're going to go and deal with. And basically, they don't even need to know who they are, actually. They just need to know that where they're going, what they're doing. So it's just like location. Uh, and task what and i would call, like call sign call sign location task that's that's the key 
what I would like is uh, the um, the guys on the ground to maybe provide better like markers and stuff so like trps for where they want yeah. to be hit if they can do it in that same format that i just put down on the map there trp one two three and four that would be really helpful um because then we can get the uh the ordinance in quicker without having to wait like i kept having to call back to you and say hey what color smoke is it and then wait you know wait for you to get that info and then send it back because a lot of times i'd have yeah. a you know something coming in on my end I was wondering if it would work. Regroup. Yeah, uh, I got shot in the face because I said the wrong thing. Can I be thrown back to my spawn area, please? I was wondering if it might work better to have one of us handle the transport assets and one of us handle yeah, all the um, the kinetic assets. Because like, if I could handle just the kinetic stuff and you do the transport stuff, like I could contact the ground too from my role, and then I can use like Willy Pete rockets or whatever. And that would work. I thought about that myself earlier. I don't okay. think it would work because, because when you get somebody, say, um, uh, sl slashing Covey, who's going to answer? Yeah, I, f I feel... Well, no, then it would be... Um, yeah, yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. Hey. I, 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 I really love that I have to tell my guys don't blow up the carrier this time, every time. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's it, the the story of how that happened is still redacted. But hey, Dolly, can you hear me from there? Are you playing a seal, sir? Yes, I can. Can you do me a huge favor and make it so that the with the OV10, the pilot can control the Willy Pete rockets? Um, you should be able to. Oh, you can't set it to manual fire. I'll try and work out how to do that for you, mate. Let me see if I can set it to manual fire before Rob gets in. Just give me a second. Someone's stolen Ken's car. I need to oh, no. shout at them. Okay, roger that. Like the best part. Hey, Chris, doing pretty good, man. Five of us died, all in all. Nice shot that up, like Covey, that man. They had to be reinserted. Who boy? <laughs> yeah, I felt bad leaving you guys hanging a few times, but it's just you got so much comms coming in that it's ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah. Trying to get to, uh, but, uh, we being too persistent. That, like, yeah, you kind of got to be a little bit autonomous at the same time yeah, and yeah, just monitor the traffic. And then, yeah, we, uh, exactly. The other team thing was was quite waiting to pull um, all of the artillery, so they they reserved all the artillery and went to that. And then the other team, the other team was basically saying stuff like uh, kill, uh, hit the town, hit the town, and I'm like, which town, man? <laughs> like, come on, you're yeah, such no, a mark. Oh. I like him too, Chris. He's a good, good boss for the uh, company. He knows when to uh, when to light the fire under people's asses. Okay, hey Spook, you gonna have that thing ready to go? Yeah, it's uh, good to go. I was, I'm gonna try to see if I can get it removed to the other side of the runway so that we don't have a cluttered taxiway. Alright, that sounds good. I'm gonna try and get access to Willy Pete Rocket so I can help with designating stuff, but... If you if you take the, uh, the do you have the, uh, the, the, the same thing that we get for the helicopters and mic force option on that? I'm gonna, I was gonna take the OV-10 over there and see if I could customize the loadout, but my, my fear is I that we keep getting shot truck. down, and I don't know if we're gonna have the, uh, have the time for it. Hey, Don, is, is Draw back with you, or did he get in the game yet? We're gonna be, we're gonna be gunner on the C-47. Really? So there's no... So then we just got one slick pilot, and that's that's Birch. Oh, that's not good. I think I only have one gunner slot, but if I had two more, I would take you both. But I I can't. Yeah, I'm hit. Is Draw around? He's behind us. Okay, good, good, awesome. We do not have Talon. Okay. Always one is missing. Right, we're just gonna wait for Talon briefly because this is a briefing that you can tell your grandchildren and mightily bored they'll be.
also is Gay Rocket. Is the plan called Operation Market yeah, Garden? Yeah, Whale is filling in for Gay Rocket lead. <laughs> <laughs> the boy boys. Uh, okay, Whale, okay. well, you're gay, gay Rocket lead, Roger. Rally on me! It's, um, it's, it's not Market Garden. No, it, this is the Tet Offensive. That'll be fine. So you're telling I, me this I isn't almost, I almost thought you said pit. <laughs> no, no, definitely But that's what tet. happens after we win, the, we repel the Tet Offensive. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the Tet yeah. Offensive, Cor yes. Correct. We're going to yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take we gotta, the We've got to go find the Kitty Boy. Right. I... This one, I haven't been quite so nice to you. So I haven't done map markings. <laughs> Long story <laughs> short, the town of Huey, or city of Huey, has been taken by the MVA, including the Citadel. Okay, you need to recapture the Citadel and basically push back any assaults. Unfortunately, they have, as they have liked to do, they have brought forward some SA-2 sites and anti-aircraft. So, we have got an anti-aircraft site located around about stand by with pencils we have got an anti-aircraft site round grid reference one five nine one zero one one five nine one zero one we have also got another one at a fire support base which has been overrun at one six two one zero one one six two one zero one um so, to Are you sure that's correct? No. There are only 400. That's a down slope and only 400 from the first one. 162101. Yeah. One. Yep. Yeah, okay. that is correct. And the first one is 159101. One. All right. Thank so, you. one's 110. One, Sorry. 110, one, not 101. One. Sorry. Wow. Makes a lot more sense. Form on me. I was Form being an absolute muppet. So, yep. 162110. One, and the other one Hold is on. 159101. To that end, Gay Rocket, I hope you have big balls, because what you are going to do is you are going to go at the speed of a thousand gazelles past the Quay Citadel on the river, all the way past the good, Chris. to try and get round to Raise the money for a good cause today. fire support base at Kegal at 162110162110 that is your objective to try and get there as quickly as humanly possible on this instance i'm actually going to recommend one of your crews taking the nasty boat thank god um, good let's take the big boy okay uh baked alaska you are going to take the other anti aircraft Team Return at 159101. 159101. Again, anti aircraft, insert your own way. Return to um, Fall back. The other two teams, so we have Rub One and we have um, Talon. You guys are going to be taking the main prize. You're going to be smashing up Hoy. Recommend taking the industrial estate first, getting that out of the way. There is no clear landing zone. I say again, no clear landing zone. So, you may have noticed that you all have vehicles. I don't know how much use they will be, but they are at your discretion if you want to use them. If they die, you won't get a resupply of them. But you do have a few vehicles at your spawn locations. You have got the helicopters. We can double up the helicopter crew so they've got a side gunner. Return to formation. But there is a lot of anti-aircraft fire. Rally up. Um, I will let you form your own plans on that. Uh, again, back. industrial estate, then move into the Rally city, then move into the citadel. That is the safest way to do it. Uh, there is anti-vehicle, there is armor, there is yes. Any questions? A uh, question uh, from Gay well, Rocket. Yes. Go ahead. Thank you. So we're going to jam it up from our spawn right here north of Pleiku Air Base, and we're gonna we're gonna run right in. Uh, we're gonna run right under two bridges in the middle of the way. Is that uh, desirable? No, but we have no alternatives because of the anti-aircraft net. So big boy pants are required. Return to formation. Other question. 
Uh, what about cast? So... Up the gecko, do you want to still ground until needed? Um, Rally I up. would suggest ground until needed. Uh, that will be a covey decision. Again, I'm not dealing with the air assets. Oh, I'm not dealing me. with transport. This is now down to you as a special forces team to decide how best to Return do to your formation. own taskings. How okay. how ballsy does our uh, slick or slick pilots feel? Extremely. Uh, how Do how close do you think you can get us to hue from the uh, for a rub one? Let me say again. How close do you think you can get the slick to uh, hue for rub one from the carrier? Bear in mind, you do have a C one thirty, so you could do a parachute drop into Hawaii. Uh, now you're uh, talking. Now, now do it. I, I, I'm just if gonna you say, had pest Sandy... clay, you know, straight into Hawaii. What's the worst that could happen? Question uh, from yeah, let's just too. say we, we, we have bad, bad, we have sorry, question bad, from uh, Alaska. Top yep. three, my lock taken, not taken. Unknown. Cool. Unknown Regroup. at this time, um, but you are more than welcome to go and check it out for us. That would Fall be very helpful. What about Fox? So you want me to wrecky my lock and then proceed to destroy the anti-aircraft? Uh, that that is completely your choice. Uh, we are completely unknown at this time. Cool. Question from Gate Sorry. Rocket. I beg yes. This. How much does Huey should have resecured versus? Uh... Collateral damage. We have a lot of high explosives. We on our boats, want to minimize saying. collateral damage as much as possible. Uh, the Citadel is obviously a place of historical interest and importance to the people of Vietnam. Okay, okay. I'm going to uh, put down a little note. Don't blow so this up. So, to that end, no artillery is available. Okay, uh, I'm probably. Rob One is probably going to want a slick insert somewhere. Return to Either south okay. of Fubai or... Alright, I can plan this uh, with my team from this Rally point, Valley. Can you send me back? Roger, Likewise. do you need a uh, healer, bird? Nope, we'll go wrong. Okay, cool. You do have the uh, vehicles at the front as well that you can use. Yeah, cool. Vehicle. They will be too heavy, though, so we'll, we'll, we'll hoof it. At least cool. we'll then use the vehicles to get a little bit further down. We'll hoof it for most of it. Roger, Q, do you make Digby disappear, please? Thank you. Hi, Digby. Uh... Slashing right. Talon, I think I'm good on the, uh, realistically. Uh, okay, Slashing Talon, that would be Whiplash, could you Bad name. make Slashing Talon Command disappear, please? Uh, realistically, the, slicks, uh, I the LC, you... the LC Ice Pudding, either Colt or Browning, are both are fine for, uh, for Rob One. Okay, that can be your secondary and primary, maybe? Uh, yeah, let's, let's go with that. You, you, uh, you mean cold primary, brown and secondary? Oh yeah, cold, cold would be nothing. Absolutely easy. Okay. If you can take us down to cold, I, I, I think that, I, I, I mean, I think that might be too risky. But if you think you could do it, let's do it. Uh, we'll get to around Browning, see how it is AA wise. If we're getting lit up, if not, bring it into cold. Uh, if not, happy medium ground, Fort Fu by. Hard to mess up. Okay, Gay Rocket would uh, like yeah, to head on back to the boats, if that's all right. Mark, make, uh, with, make Gay Rocket disappear, please. Uh, with, Rocket. with what, uh, where would that pilot just was? Uh, with that, uh, with my magical powers, good. I make All the right. Gay Rocket disappear. I suggest doing a water uh, me up, drop Scotty. and call that river right in and get as close. Roger that. Right to that bridge. Uh, Which bridge? Use the name. Bridge Zulu or? Bridge Yankee. Yankee would be doable. I'm just concerned about the AA because I know. Uh, Stay on the left below. side. There's AA sites. I don't know if there's AA inside the town. Stay 20 feet above the river. Use it to mask you. Oh yeah. Well, I was I was thinking. Um, that river north. If you guys wanted to take it north. You guys seen this flickering going on on my screen, or is that just my monitor freaking yeah, out on me? Good to go. We're both good to go. Roger that. Covey Carlson, you need us. Okay, Roger. I'm gonna keep you guys grounded until we get that uh, fucking. Um, well, okay. Spooky, you're initially going to be... You have that uh, gunship ready to go, right? Where is that thing? Oh, it's right over there. Good. Can you run a escort for the uh, Slick as it's inserting our teams using the Cobra for now? And then once, once the teams are inserted, come right back here and be ready to take that thing off. 
that sure. uh, gunship. Can do. Okay, awesome. Which LZ are they going for? The Browning Colt ones? Or... Colt primary, Browning secondary. Copy. Ghost Rider is primary insert there. Do we have King B here? Birch? I think you just got, I think you just got yeeted off to the carrier. So guys, okay. I've, just, um, I've split way up into a lot of different name parts to, to enable the guys to communicate much easier about where they are. So they say 100 meters south of the cathedral or west of sports field or whatever, we'll know what's going on. In the last off, we did, uh, we virtually didn't know where any was for 90% of the time because they could not um, enunciate their position very clearly. All they would say is, by the white smoke, when we were actually flying over the AO. So, so I've, I've kind of just those markers in. Hopefully, uh, we can use those for reference points. That's really smart. Copy. As far as that's gonna make things so easy. As far as getting shot down, you still want Easier. to call midday and then uh, rough area where we're getting shot down, right? Yeah, let's just check we're all on short by 500. Because I was 500. Sure I 100 in the last off uh, after I died. Yeah. I'm yeah, on 500. Uh, it, it wasn't set to a, like a default for me either. Did you get stinged? Did you what, egg the last one? We saw one fly right over you and explode yeah, above you. I, I got shot down. <laughs> yeah. We. We watched oh, seven getting into it on. This is uh, gonna be great. Sevens chase after your Bronco. They want us. That was a bit around. hairy. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're supposed to be invincible, just because otherwise the comms just goes out every five minutes and, and it, everyone's off. So, so we're supposed to be invincible. Car fifteen uh, looks good. Unfortunately, as right? players, we're not invincible. So yeah, we, yeah. 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 yeah, get like knocked unconscious in the cockpit. <laughs> yeah, I do too. <laughs> I I, sure I have tried to make the vehicle guys. invincible and crew. Hopefully, it will work. Roger that. Man, all I, these I cheatings. Um, I'm, I'm, cheating. I don't know if you can handle Covey for Techniques. like um, oh. 10 minutes or something, but I need to keep I, so, I, yeah. I will do my best to. I need to actually right. get a radio. About so. the white cross? Yeah, okay. Let's jump. Oh, we're not right. going to be in the um, air. I mean, we could, we could loiter off by the. Uh, we could loiter off in the sea for a while, maybe. Just a little wider trip. Right, I'll get on with it. I'll be back. Uh, change the, the rockets to white pulse. Yeah, I don't know about that. Is that what you. Oh, sorry, what'd you, you say? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Good, good idea. All right, I'm going to get you the. You probably drive the truck over here instead of moving the bird. I don't think you can rearm that way. Can you? I do you get the scroll wheel for, uh, like, in Mike Force off of that? Um, it's not off the truck. It's off of, like, you have to go in front of these little, uh, revetments over here. No, no, no. It's it's on the, uh, it's on the ammo truck to change your loadout. Is it? Yeah, because you can open it to change your camouflage, but you can't change the loadout unless the ammo truck is there. Because that's what we did with the, uh, the Cobra. Okay, interesting. All right, well, I'll try and get that done. Yeah, it might be easier for you just to drive the, the truck over here and then change the loadout and then drive the truck back. Nonsense. No. Said awesome. We're not actually using Ace. We don't. Uh, we don't use it for these missions. Air stations, air stations, this is Covey, radio check. Name Charlie Covey, 6 8, out. Covey, Rob 1, you read. 
Rub one, Covey, got you loud and clear, help me. Negative uh, hit on your last, not sure if your last call sign was, did not hear you. This is Ghost Rider checking in on air. Ghost Rider, Covey, Covey got you loud and clear. Rub one, Covey, we're ready to rock and roll. Rub one, gay rocket, roger that. Can you relay... Your mic can you... might be muted, but we cannot hear you on that. You copy on this net? Skyline's ready to rock and roll. What the hell? What's going on here? Any station this net, copy, radio check. Copy, this is Bates, Alaska, good radio check, over. Last calling, um... You, you heard me loud and clear, you said? Radio check. Covey, this is Baked Alaska. Roger, read you loud and clear, over. Okay. Roger, Baked Alaska. I have you same. Break. Covey, this is Spooky standing Rub by for one escort for and the inserts as needed. Break. Who's the other one? Rub one and Gay Rocket. Cool. Radio Just check. Rub one, we cannot hear you on that. Gay Rocket here, we sound good. King B's ready to lift. Okay, Roger. King B and uh, Ghost Rider, which LZ are you guys going for? I want to make sure I understand exactly where you're inserting your teams. Cold, preferably, if not Browning, if we're getting lit up on radar. Okay, Hello, cold Kobe, and Browning. This is Baked Alaska. Message over. Uh, the King B, are you going for same LZ? LZ Colt. For LZ Colt. Roger that. Okay. Then, uh, Spooky, you run escort for them. I'm going to get up in the air, get in a holding pattern to the east over the sea. Copy that. Uh, which uh, is the priority for escort since they're coming from two different directions? Ghost Rider for now because he's closest. Copy, gonna fall in behind Ghost Rider. Hello, Covey, this is um, Baked Alaska, message over. Baked Alaska, Covey. Uh, I don't know Covey, we'll Baked Alaska, first, uh, we can set off like from our station and I'll be the guy. That all sorted out where they want to go. Roger, you're going to LZ Colt, or are you, which, uh, can you just fill me in where you're going? Or are you moving out from ground? Covey, this is Baked Alaska, we are moving out. On uh, ground vehicle for play May moving to investigate Bob 3 and move to take out the SA2 site around grid 1591 at 01 over. Roger, I copy you moving out via ground to head out there. Shit. Immediately engaged as soon as we. Ghost Rider, I believe we're, uh, you're picking up Talon or Slasher. Uh, unknown, not confirmation for that. Hey, all air assets, this is Covey. Be advised, I immediately took missile fire as soon as I took off, so keep it low, keep it nap. Baked Alaska, copy all. Thanks much for your uh, clarification there. Covey, rub one. Covey, rub one. Rub one, Covey. I got you loud and clear. How me? Covey, I cannot hear you for whatever reason. Rub one is not able to hear you. Roger. Can, uh, can one of your uh, other right elements, can, can you relay to rub one that they need to uh, check and make sure I'm not local muted in team speak? Can any other call sign confirm about uh, yeah, Cubby? A local check if, uh, I don't see Baked Alaska, and I think King B is handling uh, Rev 1, so... Alright, your, your team... I don't think... You can be chase ship for now, uh, Ghost Rider, because I think that we've actually got all the teams airborne that are going to be airborne, because uh, or uh, Gay, Gay Rocket, Rocket is, is uh, on uh, their boats. Rub one, go for Gay Rocket. Gay Rocket, can you come for me? Roger that. Copy it. Just gonna do a fly by and see if uh, Sasha Talon's waiting for us. Yeah, 
Roger, good call. Copy. Ghost Rider, Spooky's gonna be uh, following under six. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm Roger that Spooky Covey, dang, Mike. Can you not hear uh, Rub One? This is Covey. I can hear Rub One. It sounds like they're uh, unable to hear me. Roger that. Rub One, it sounds like they can hear you, but you can't hear them. Hey, for Rub One, Bob not clear. Bob not clear. Bob not clear. Roger, I copy. Uh, Fob not clear. Not seeing anybody there yet. Okay, so I'll I'll just remain on standby. Fob not clear. Uh, so if Fob you want to go escort uh, King B instead. Ghost Rider, King B. FOB one is hostile. You need to drop at LZ Browning, and have your teams. Uh, clear divert around FOB1. I say again, divert around FOB1. I was already low. I just dropped. Okay, I need someone to relay for me. Please don't uh, crash. He says, uh, Spooky's inbound to not clear. Uh, Bob one is not clear. Spooky, do not, do not uh, take off that gunship yet. Just stay low. Stay low in your Cobra. Yeah, copy. We're, uh, we're following the river south of uh, FOB1 in the car. Uh, okay, Rocket, if, yeah, just relay to Cubby if we are to take that FOB, yes or no. Command, command, Cubby, this is Cubby. do you want them to take that FOB? Negative at this time, have them evade around it for now. I'm trying to get a hold of command because I don't think I'm supposed to be the one giving that order. Roger that. I'm not the commander. <laughs> Rub one, go around it, they said. Rub one complies, Rub one complies. Ghost Rider, King B, you guys still doing okay on your way to uh, LZ Browning? Ghost Rider, King B, oh, disregard, disregard. Wrong freak. Oops. Ghost Rider, King B, this is Covey. Sorry, I was off station for a second trying to get a hold of command. Are you uh, doing okay on the way to your objective? On the way to your LZ. Hey, uh, secondary vehicles. Copy, copy. Spooky. I believe uh, King B had already dropped his troops in the vicinity. Uh, break. Ghost Riders uh, standing by for tasking. Break. Spooky is orbiting. Oh, that makes sense. The vicinity of, of Danang standing by. Tango Mike, awesome. That's exactly what we want. All right. For now, uh, transport assets return to play coup, and uh, Spooky, stay on station, just keep it low. Copy, Spooky's orbiting uh, around Dundang, keeping it low. Slashing Talon, this is Covey. Are you guys on station for this, or are you guys on uh, on for this mission? I'm pretty sure they're not. Why am I getting so much stuttering going on here? Covey, this is uh, Gay Rockets. Gay Rocket, Covey. Uh, be advised, there are a ton of infantry sitting on the roofs of uh, Hun. Uh, we took a lot of contact as we're driving past. Over. On the roofs of Hun, several enemy contacts. Roger, stand by. Damn it, not again. We can freaking missile fire. Did 
For now, do your best to bypass. Over. Jesus. I have a little bit of uh, protection from godlike forces. But not much. Where's my wheel brakes? I don't see my wheel brakes. Okay, well, guess I don't have wheel brakes. <laughs> For now, uh, Gay Rocket, bypass the enemy, make your way towards your objective, and uh, we'll see what we can do about that later. Just mark on the map, if you would, please. Yep, they are marked on map, and we are past the town already. Excellent work. Hello, Covey, this is Baked Alaska. Message over. Baked Alaska, Covey, send it. Covey, Baked Alaska, Fob 3 at my lock is overrun. Uh, we have taken one KIA. Um, I don't know how we go about reinserts at the minute, but we have one down who will need reinserting over. Roger, understood. I will work on getting an, a reinsert at LZ Vickers. Um, for now, break contact from that FOB. Focus on getting those AAs destroyed this so that we can get an ordinance on that uh, FOB for you. Or, I'm sorry, the industrial area. Covey, Spooky. Uh, spooky, Covey, standby, wait, wait, one. Ghost Rider, this is Covey. I have one reinsert. Take him up low to LZ Vickers and, or close to his team up there. Let him regroup with his team from up there. I think the reinsert is at uh, Play Coup or the Play My SF base. Over. Roger. Okay. And do Ghost Rider move. Sp spooky, Covey. Good. Send your traffic. Just want to advise uh, FOB 4 is clear at Dundag. Good for a uh, hold spot for transports. Roger, FOB4 Da Nang is clear. Good. Thanks much. Um, I'm going to need you to be ready to support Ghost Rider as he comes up uh, towards LZ Vickers. Don't get too close to that AA, but I want to make sure that he's got cover as he moves up there in case Covey, he takes ground this fire. Is Baked Alaska, message over. Baked Alaska, Covey. Copy, we'll follow uh, Ghost Rider into Vickers. Covey, Baked Alaska. Regarding my last message, do we know how we're getting our reinsert back over? A firm, I just contacted a slick that's going to bring it up to uh, LZ Vickers. That's probably as close as we can get with that AA there. So you might want to have somebody stay back there to regroup with them. Uh, Covey, Big Alaska, uh, LZ Victor is uh, Vickers is a no go. Fob three is overrun. Heavy enemy presence. The bird will get downed over. Okay, Roger. Then just tell me where you want them, and we'll see if we can we can do it. Just put down an LZ wherever you think is best. Talent has crossed whiskey on way to rail station. Covey, this is Baked Alaska. If the AAA issue is preventing reinsert, we will try and expedite our movement to take out the SA2 site and then get our reinsert back in as soon as we can, over. Hey, Firm, that would be best. Um, we will have him stand by and that's slick until either we can get a uh, tentative uh, LZ or we can uh, take out that AA site, over. Covey, Bates, Alaska, Roger, we will expedite the elimination of the SA2 site and let you know. Out. Ghost Rider, Covey, once you get that reinsert, stand by to the south of LZ Vickers. Um, the FOB3 is overrun right now, so not a good Covey, place to insert. Uh, we will get you an LZ as soon as that AA is taken out. Leave with Covey since I can't hear him. Ghost Rider copies all. I can't either. Last calling stations, can you try and get on the uh, six, can can one of you relay that they should try and get Talent on six engaged. eight to co uh, contact me, see if they can hear me over there? Was that Kobe that just spoke? Hey firm. 
No, that was Talon. Talon, this is six, Covey. Six, Radio check. This is Talon. Good copy. Good check. Send it. Like Roger, I've only got uh, yourself Negative, and uh, Bakes, Alaska, on uh, comms right now. Having a little trouble uh, getting the ho getting hold of the others. Okay, Rocket is on the Solid side. Copy. Spooky, Covey, uh, ho hold one. Covey, Gay Rocket copy is on this net. Wait, I can hear Covey now, what the fuck? Gay Rocket, uh, Covey, are you on 6-8? Rub one on six eight. Rub one, can you can you hear me? Can now. Okay, great. I'm thinking maybe what we should do is just change our freak. It sounds like that seven that seven zero freak is is bugged. Do you want to try seven one or seven? Yeah, put, so attack it to seven one. Attack seven, seven one. one. All right, I'm gonna relay that to the rest of the elements on seven one. Hey, fun. All stations this net on 7-0. We are changing this net to 7-1. I say again, this is Covey. We are changing this net to 7-1 due to issues with comms. So change your freak to 7-1. Over. This is Ghost Rogers in traffic. Any station, this Coming is Covey, you. radio check. Good read, Bobby. Rub one in contact, northeastern section of town. Contact one northwest. Roger, I copy you are in contact, northeast section of town. I don't have any assets I can give you until those uh, AA sites are eliminated. Uh, I do have a Cobra kind of in the AO, um, but they the can't really do much. Frames are terrible, we cannot fight. Ghost Rider, are you in the ridgeline south 5 for the 5 3 on the low ground? Uh, I'm kind of great. Uh, WK Rock is almost at the AA site, and we are engaging shortly. I'm just south Roger southwest Gay Rocket, of excellent. LZ Vickers. Baked Alaska, this is uh, Covey. How are you doing with your AA site? Baked Alaska, Covey. Covey, Baked Alaska, uh, I will be switching to 7 1 now. I just died and couldn't do it while down over. Roger, Tango Mike, I'll see you there. See you, hear you. <laughs> I'm trying to set my damn channel. Stop shooting at me, you fuckers. Baked Alaska, Covey. King B, this is, uh, this is Covey. I need you to just be flexible with reinserts. Um, I need you to periodically check play coup and the uh, Man, USS is, uh, Freedom and just take people where they need to go for reinserts. We're maneuvering our VIX to get a line of sight on the industrial area. How copy? Covey? Falcon? Falcon, Covey. I've got three for reinsert here on the carrier. I got a slick handy. You want me to take him in? Over. For now, yes, that's fine. You can take them where they need to go. Um, just, uh, you'll be call sign Eagle 2. Roger, Birch disconnected. You should be right back. But if I get these guys in the meantime. Roger, that sounds good. Yeah, you can fill in for them. We can't get you airborne until that AA's out anyway. Baked Alaska, this is Covey. Baked Alaska, Covey. Oh shit, I'm on the wrong freak now.
Rob one, Rob, Rob one, two times reinserts from carrier. Roger, when I raise Cubby, uh, Cubby, I will pass up that message as well. Up. Cheers, Chief. This, this is Covey back on station. Sorry about that. I was taking ground fire trying to adjust my radio and I borked it, but it's I'm back now. Hey, firm Covey, two times reinsert for uh, Rob 1. Reinsert Omega, best in press vector. Reinserting for Rub 1. You guys are to hey, the. Firm. You guys are uh, in the city of Way itself, right? Yes, we're on the coastline on the on the north, on the south, on the southern bank, far east. Okay, ingress from east to west at LZ Browning, low. Uh, negative. If we've got two fast reinserts ready to come in, put, uh, reinsert Omega is the better uh, the positions. Browning puts you with the view of that enemy fob. Stand by. Oh, reinsert Omega. I see it. I see it. Okay, try and mark those LZs in yellow if you can. Um, I think east to west is the best we're going to do here. Uh, front, so come in from the sea low. She played the game. Hello, Cody. This is oh, hey. Baked Alaska message over. Hey. Hey. There's a ghost in the back seat. Baked Alaska. Covey, send it. Covey, Baked Alaska. That bird that had my re in it, if you Covey, send it to. Um, the airfield, the airfield. Um, he will be able to reunite with the entire rest of his squad, and we all need a reinsert. Over. Roger that. Stand by. Ghost Rider, this is Covey. This Ghost Rider sent traffic. You have baked Alaska uh, troops still on your bird? Uh, negative. I dropped one off, and I think I see baked Alaska at play queue time now. A firm, yeah, they're back there. They're ready for reinsert. If you can go get them. Copy, Copy, Spooky. Do you want us to continue to escort Ghost Rider? Baked Alaska, this is uh, Covey. I have a slick inbound uh, to grab you. That's an A firm, Spooky. Roger, a bird has just touched down. Uh, Good copy, yes, You know, is my reinsert from earlier? Is he in another slick over? Covey. Too. He was already uh, he was already dropped off in the AO, so he is by himself right now. Covey, back to Alaska, Roger. Do you know where he was dropped off? Because we have no idea. Because we can give you an LZ over. You need to you need to talk to your pilot on that one. Covey, Roger. Eagle two. Eagle two, Covey. Covey. This is group one. Uh, Covey, Covey is now five to get on the south. I'm taking the LZ Omega from the uh, that's on the northeast side. LZ Omega, roger that on the on the northeast side. Got it. Last calling station, say again. I had another uh, call coming through. Rob 1, Cubby. We're taking a lot of suppression from Max D compound. Is there any ordinance that we can drop on it? At uh, Wait 1, I'm going to make sure that... Uh, I'm going to check on the status of that AA break. Baked Alaska and Gay Rocket. What's the status of those AA objectives? Baked Alaska, this is Covey. Baked Alaska is in the slick, aren't they? Sweetie, this is Ghost Rider. We're headed out Covey, back to uh, LZ Vickers. Nine packs are now in the just taking Copy off. Copy LZ Vickers following under six. Roger, I'm guessing you guys didn't get a chance to take out, or your previous element didn't get a chance to take out that AA. Covey, Baked Alaska, the radar controlling the SA2 uh, missiles Ghost Rider, do you want us was to taken lead? out, but there uh, wasn't the any gun necessary. there. So there is. Uh, that's an A from Spooky. I'll be right behind you. AA still at that location, but the guy did the gone over. Damn it. Roger that. There's uh, there's definitely still. Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> and it got me. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I got to use the bathroom. I'll be right back.
Okay, I am back. <laughs> Let's do this. One, two, All right, I'm back. Grid one five eight zero seven one. Ready. Rob, you still alive? I am here. Do a little uh, mention of that. I think at the end of the arc. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Big definitely salute. should, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Just an honour. He was over a hundred years old. He served in World War Two, Korea, and Vietnam. I'm sorry, but what was, was his name? Uh, John K. Singlau, uh, Major General. John K. K. Singlau. All stations, this is Covey, uh, back on air station. What's the situation? Eagle 2. Eagle 2, send it. Roger, successful drop in Omega, five packs, and then RTB to the ship. Roger that, you are RTB to the ship, and uh, once you are there, yeah, stand by with that. Hello, uh, Covey, this is Bank Alaska, Master Jabber. Falcon. Wilco. Cheers, Dolly. Bank Alaska, Covey. Covey, Bank Alaska, we have reinserted into previous AO, we are moving to find our missing uh, packs and also move to eliminate the last remaining ZU gun from the previous SO2 site, over. Roger, copy all, are you, which LZ did you insert to? Covey Falcon. Covey, back to Alaska, we inserted at uh, question mark, safe if low, the road just to... I can't hear anything over. on channel 1. Um, we switched to uh, seven one because we were having trouble on seven zero. Oh, did you? Okay. Sorry, didn't tell you that. Okay, say again. Say again. Last. You inserted safe if kept low. Covey Eagle Two. Eagle Two right, Covey. Good to go, mate. That uh, not no triple A took you anyway. out. Was like five feet above our helicopter, just whipped across it, and then took you out. It was uh, pretty impressive. <laughs> Covey, this is Bates, Alaska. We inserted at the new marker LZ reinsert. That is where we dropped in over. Roger, please mark any LZs in yellow if you're going to put them on so that I can tell they're LZs. Covey, Bates, Alaska, Roger, any LZ markings from now on will be in yellow. Out. Covey, Covey, Rob 1, Rob 1. Rob 1, Covey. Uh, which is the compound, east side of town, friendly occupied. Position not safe. Mac V compound is yes, friendly east occupied. Side east side of town. Friendly okay. occupied, enemies inbound. Copy, Can you mark that on the map for me? Over. Already is marked. Where? Mac V comp. Roger, I see it now. I see it now. Yellow arrows, enemy ingress route. Roger. Uh, gay rocket, this is Covey. I've lost comms with gay rocket. I don't know what happened to them. Yeah, I can keep working on them if you want. Yeah, why don't you do that? Can we switch to our other responsibilities that oh, we had? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, gay Go. rocket, Covey. Trying to, trying to get you on the net. Ghost Rider, this is Covey. This is K Rocket. Uh, we are currently reinserting uh, some men. Send. Uh, K Rocket, Covey, Roger. Um, can you give Excuse us uh, this an idea of the location? Send. Uh, uh, most of we're the force is more at off, the uh, main near LZ. Rocket. Actually break. Uh, there are two of us getting reinserted by Bird. Then the boat is north of that green mark. Uh, LZ reinsert. See, Roger it. that. So you're in the vicinity. Green mark rocket. You're waiting for inserts. Uh, correct. Uh, we're taking Paper. another up. Roger that. Thanks. Sir, we're taking out. some more up to um, break. Okay. Uh, did you hear that? I've made that rocket. Uh, okay. Uh, rocket great. Rob one. Rob one. Roger that. Keep Rob keep on. on Keep on ferrying troops up into there. Secured. You can drop reinserts closer to Mac V compound if reinserts are required. Okay, so Mac V compound is now secured. If you need to drop uh, anybody close to the city itself, which is to the south 
west of in reinsert Omega, you are should be able to get in closer there. Enemy FOB is still hostile, so LZ Colt and Browning are still out of the question. So I need to know as soon as the ground teams take out those AA assets. Eagle 2, Covey. I've got three more for reinsert here back to Omega from the ship. Bring them on. Uh, bring them on up Roger, to Omega. Now. You should be able to, uh, if they're sorry, Rub 1, uh, they can get closer uh, to the MACV uh, compound uh, now. Ken's asking me where he should be heading to. I don't think he Copy, Spooky. We're going to continue to do and escort of uh, Ghost Rider and Tulsa. Does he hold, hold 1 uh, Eagle 2 at, uh, at that uh, carrier there? We might Roger have Sid coming in there. Do you, Roger, does he want to get, come up now. with the guys in to uh, reinsert Omega and try and get into Huey with them? They're part of Rub 1. Because I can get him, if he spawns on that carrier, I can get him uh, on a bird and on the way up there. You copy that, Rob? Rob? Spooky, we are bailing out uh, south because that's going to be far safer, I think. Copy that. Uh, yes, we engaged, uh if you want to have him, um, El Cid spawn at the carrier, I, I have Sorry, a slick ready no, to go no, there. No, no, he's on a Huey. He's on a Huey. He's on a Huey. He's already on a Huey. He's just asking what heading, where's he going, and then I just realized he's not in TeamSpeak again, so I'm just trying to get him into TeamSpeak, and then Dick, uh, Dolly will sort him out. Okay, Roger. Okay, Eagle 2, do you have, this is Covey, do you have El Cid with you? Not in TeamSpeak, so... Yeah, I figured maybe he'd be able to tell just from the players. I don't know. Just proceed with your insert right now. El Cid's on a bird, so you're you're good to proceed with insert. Covey, Eagle 2? Eagle 2, Covey. Did we track down El Cid? Negative, he's in a slick, but he's not in the team speak, so just proceed with your insert. Yeah, no, he said he right. got off at uh, near destination Alaska, Team Alaska. All stations. So he just, just, you know, he just Ghost Rider, just dropped so he hasn't got El Cid. Short range uh, radio work. Pretty much. Okay, right Ghost Rider top dropped top top him off. Of Alaska's position. Yeah, he's all tapping right now, so. Roger that. Uh, Excellent. Game, Tango Mike, Ghost Rider. I'm going to keep us on the ground until those AA sites are destroyed. Would it be a problem, Rob, if I tuned out for now of 7-1 and just kept on the air freak so that I can concentrate when they're yeah. giving calls? Okay. Fine, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy for you to do that, yeah. Yeah, it's tricky, isn't it? It's, a, it's an interesting it job is. we're trying here, and it's, uh, it is testing all our patients that we need to sort of... Yeah, we we're getting better. Try, try. Yeah, we are, and we just need to sort of get, get you know, ease into the role, basically, because it's quite a tricky role. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, it's a I good challenge, I like it. Go, when I'm not answering you, it's because I'm texting Ken on my fucking cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> cell phone? What's, what's that? Exactly. I'm, it's like it literally is like being a copywriter. I'm, I'm, I'm all the, I've got all the comms in the back seat here. Yeah. Okay. Um, Ghost Rider. Yep, we're fine as one. Uh, I'm gonna have to uh, break around west and uh, return holding south of all objectives. Roger. Sounds good. Just stay away from that enemy FOB and uh, uh, be ready to return to play my uh, for any reinserts. Roger. All right. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll keep an eye out for reinserts. So, Rob, my priority right now is getting those AA Actually, sites destroyed, yeah, and then I can get in the uh, gunship. Spooky, this is uh, Covey. Are you with Ghost Rider still? Hey, firm. We're just covering them for a reinsert. Roger. If you want to go into a holding pattern around reinsert Omega and cover. Eagle 2 as he comes up to drop off some additional packs near the MACV compound. That would be wonderful. Copy, Rio, they're on Mega East side of Hue. A firm. Good 
copy it. Eagle 2 is about three mics out from Omega. Roger that, Eagle 2. I have a Cobra uh, inbound to cover your guys' insert. Roger, cover. Robon, copy. Uh, confirm you have a target tank. Roger, I'll see what air I can get. Somebody. Eagle 2, one mic out for Mega. I can't get air Robon, in until Robon the. Robon has, uh, a, has a target tank. Yeah, Roger that. I, when you say bridge, I need the name of the bridge. Uh, okay, Roger, bridge Zulu, Zulu marker add. Okay, the thing is, Rob, I can't get the uh, I can't get the air support in until those AA sites are taken out. So I need to know the the status of those. Eagle two, Alaska, Kobe, send message. Eyes on, covering. Just touching down a mega send. We're gonna be on your six o'clock covering. Alaska, copy, uh, Bravo, Zulu, well done, guys, uh, pass that to message to the whole team. Uh, yeah, proceed on mission, uh, sounds good, we'll be here to support, over, out. Right, so they've taken the SAM site up. out uh, near Alaska, that's down, so uh, okay. you should be able to try your air support now, give it a test, or maybe put a okay. fast mover in just to How see about you happens. and me go over there? <laughs> yeah, okay, all right, yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll test it out, and then we'll see if we can get eyes on that thing. Because we don't have Eagle 2, we just, don't have uh, a wheels Falcon in the area. We're going to fly over and see uh, if we can lure out any AAA threats. So we can clear, and if it is clear, then we'll be weapons free. We'll Spooky, Covey. Oh. Eagle 2 is clear from Rancer, stand by. Roger, return to play coup, get that gunship up in the air. Got me RTB for our gunship. We're gonna try and test the AO and see if uh, if we've taken out these uh, AA launchers. So I, I just tried to donate on the site and it. Alaska, copy said message. Here goes nothing. Alaska, uh, Roger, you've seen it to lay up site and overwatching Citadel, uh, sounds like a very good plan. Out. Spooky, this is Covey. We are flying over the AO right now. No target lock or anything. Looks like the AO is clear. Break. Falcon, Covey, get your bird in the air ASAP. Get on station over Huey. Falcon, we'll go. Good cut. Ghost Rider, uh, this is Covey. Ghost Rider Covey, just keep ferrying in troops. I'll let you know if I get a tasking from anybody at uh, the carrier. But for now, Play My uh, is going to be your primary s site to be uh, ferrying in troops from. Over. Roger, just letting you know I've got else set aboard. Roger, good stuff. Um, if you want, you can try and get him to the MACV compound over here. AA threat seems clear over way itself. I'm flying over it right now. No problem. Break. Um, Ken needs to go to Team Alaska. They're northwest of the Citadel. Okay. 
Uh, Ghost Rider, this is Covey. Ken, uh, El Cid needs to go to RT Alaska, north of the Citadel. Um, uh, I Alaska think you should know sure. their, uh, it should say Alaska something position. Alaska said message. Roger, I'll, uh, try to get in contact with their short range sheet exactly where they are. Roger, much Alaska appreciated. Roger, and, uh, we have one packs uh, on ramp to you, which is, uh, one to ride home. Over. That's good, Roger. Uh, Rocket Covey, yeah, so, sorry for the pause, but uh, I'm with you. Send message, Rocket. Ah, Rogue One, uh, uh, Rogue One, Roger that. Uh, uh, we'll get your inserts to us, All right, we've got inserts at Play 2 for Rogue One. Let me check Rogue One's location. Roger that. Rogue One, confirm location. Ghost Rider following your current insert, return to play coup for uh, inserts of Rub One packs. Roger that. Uh, just don't know where to where Alaska is at this time. They are north of the Hue Citadel, Alaska LUP, L U P. Smokey's pop, Smokey's pop for Alaska. Oh, perfect. Oh, okay. Uh, Smoke Alaska popped Georgia. right now for Alaska's location. Rob one, uh, again, position, you want the insert. Covey, over. this is Spooky. Spooky, Covey. We're airborne. We're going to be Roger that, on excellent. One mic. Roger that, uh, get into a orbit around way, and then stand by for tasking. For now, um, reference the enemy FOB marker and other markers like that if you need uh, to utilize your ordnance. Copy that. We're going to be doing a counter rotation around the way. Spooky AC-47 uh, is uh, airborne. We also have F-4 on station. Roger, copy that. F-4 is on station. Excellent. Roger that. And is that where you want your insert? Yeah, Roger, we'll go. Uh, we, we need inserts for Rub 1, uh, from Plague to Mackley Compound, uh, 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 Sam. Spooky Roger, I already got my guys there. on it. I got Ghost Rider on it as okay, soon fire. as they are, um... Roger. As soon as they finish with Rub, El Cid. Uh, Gay Rocket, Covey, Covey, sorry, I've been trying to get to you for a while. Uh, what was the Spooky Covey, I'm taking AA fire from the southeast corner of the Hue Citadel. Do you think you could utilize your miniguns to take that out without destroying any part of that, uh, that uh, site there? What's the location of the hey, over? I have eyes on a ZPU at that south uh, corner there, southeast corner. Near the white smoke. Yeah, it is that. south of White Smoke, 100 mics, 100 meters. Mics. Copy that. Is that on that little road? Roger, rocket, uh, mark, rocket tunnel it's on the wall, yeah, kind of at the corner of the wall, like right where the grass corner is. Roger, team. On it. Roger, negative effect on target for now. Spooky, this is Covey. Can you see that uh, AA site? It's shooting up green tracers from the southeast corner of the Way Citadel. Hey, Farm, I see multiple uh, AA sites around the entire uh, Citadel. Roger. The uh, only ordnance that are authorized are 20 Mike Mike and minigun for that. It's in the Hue Citadel, so don't drop any bombs on that shit. Falcon, Roger, 
Roger. Only 20 mic mic, no rockets, no napalm. Copy, Spooky advise, uh, looks like along the entirety of the Citadel wall there could possibly be AA. So Cubby, Spooky. I know. Spooky, Cubby. Yeah, with the... Eyes on multiple boats there? in the water west, direction east side of the Citadel. Roger, they may be friendly. Um, check, see if you can identify what type of boats. I don't think they're friendly, they're shooting at us. Okay, take them out if they're shooting at you. Uh, do we know about Alaska's inserts, uh, Tom? Alaska's inserts. Ghost Rider, this is uh, Covey. Uh, yeah, yeah, good, good one, send message. We got an aircraft Ghost down. Rider, Ghost Rider, I've got RT Alaska looking break, for break, break. additional uh, inserts from Playku, I believe, down, or Playmire. Falcon's down east side in the river. Yeah, Roger that. Which bridge? Zulu? Falcon, this is Covey. You copy Roger on that. short wave? Roger, stand by. We're doing one. Hey, we, we break. We got a fucking bright light uh, going on. No, uh, no, never mind. He's, he's bridge, dead. Bridge he's Zulu. dead. Bridge Zulu. We need Falcon. Bridge Zulu right now. Uh, or, he's dead. Or, uh, he's knocked out of the sky. Bridge yeah, Zulu, uh, Spooky, can you hit Bridge Zulu with ordnance? We've got enemy forces on Bridge Zulu. It's a tank. Tank it's a tank. To, 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 uh, Rob one, who is to the southeast. Is the the compact, the fire on I'm gonna try and put HE rockets on it. Let's see if we can. Are we okay with knocking out that bridge? Yeah, go for it. All right, Raj. Spooky, I'm gonna run in with with HE because that's the best I got right now. You're trailing smoke, buddy. Copy. We just got hit twice from AA. We're uh, pulling out a little bit. Return to, yeah, return to base for repairs. Bridge Zulu, I'm showing nothing right now. This is Ghost Rider standing by near Alaska for testing. Roger, do you have any comms with them right now? Bend in the road to your southeast, 200 miles. Uh, Bend in the road. This time. I can go through the nets and find them. I see it, I see it. Yeah, Roger that. Suggest you uh, move into the uh, buildings to your uh, east uh, and uh, take cover over. You want HE on that, Rob? Yes, mate. If you can handle that, it's on the bed to their northwest, I think you said. RT Alaska, right? Uh, yeah. I see it, I see it's it. It's north, north, northwest of Candy. The road bend? Roger that. Northwest on the road, Roger. Covey, Falcon. Falcon, Covey. Back on station again. Roger that. Good to Watch hear that. from you. On it, on it. Um, okay, as soon okay. as you can uh, get back out here, red I've smoke, got red smoke. Red Pass. smoke near RT Alaska's location at the bend in the road. It's surrounded by CS gas. Hit that with rockets. Roger that. What side of the um, Citadel is that on? North side, north side. I have two or three red smokes all through that tree line there. That's all enemy. Right, let's let's knock those fucking tanks. So we've got a tank. We've got tanks coming down the road. I'm going to mark it. Hold on. Spooky, this is Covey. Get on station as quick as you can. I need support at RT Alaska's location north of the uh, Way Citadel. Now on Route English, I've got enemy tanks. That's for Falcon. I need you to try and uh, be ready to engage those enemy tanks. I'm going to try and locate them. I'll hit them with Willie Pete for you. You said Route English? Yeah. Copy, Falcon. Roger, I got excellent, eyes on. Excellent BDA, excellent BDA, feedback. Falcon, Covey, I've got eyes on enemy Roger. trucks. Looks like enemy trucks, actually. Roger, just hit red. Oh, oh baby. 
Sorry about that. Oh, That's no. embarrassing. That is embarrassing. If it's in here, right, I'll, 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 te I'll teleport. <laughs> Thanks. This is what you get with an amateur pilot like myself. Flight crew traffic. Spooky Thank you, sir. Final. Right. Let's see what we can do. All right, Spooky, Roger that. Uh, Dolly, uh, it's, uh, Dolly, uh, send message. Uh. Falcon, this is Covey. We are off station for just a second here. If you can try and locate those tanks around Route English, that'd be great. Roger, Route English. No, no, no. It's pretty harsh right now. Um, don't, don't do anything. <laughs> well, that was an unconventional landing. I've we'll, we'll had a couple, yeah. uh, we'll, we'll couple close calls like that. Ghost Rider, this is Covey. Next tasking, I need you to figure out resupply for the guys at the MACV compound. They need, sounds like ammo. Roger, Ghost Rider's on an RTD and uh, I'll figure it out. Roger, Tango Mike, if you need help, trying to get the supplies, try and contact Whiplash, or uh, if you can't reach him, uh, try and reach me. I have a ton of enemy troops near the Hoy Citadel. We could take them out with White Foss, but I don't know if it would be out of our uh, rules of engagement. Yeah, do it. Do, do, yeah, do it, do it. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All ground force, so I need to be aware. Uh, Copy's about to engage uh, enemy troops in the open with White Phosphorus. Covey is Falcon. Falcon, Covey, stand by. I'm about to, uh, I'm about to run in on some troops in the Citadel. Roger. One tank scratch, the other one's been mobilized. Roger. Roger, good work. Okay, Rocket, uh, Roger, uh, good effort, chaps. Uh, uh, what, what do you do when you get to the boats? Dolly, um, Red, uh, rock, rock, team Rocket are basically heading back to their boat because they've got their tunnel clear, so I don't know if they need a Roger. task. Sounds good. I'm all out of rockets. I did not realize that. So I'm out of ordnance right now. Cubby Falcon, yeah, we have white foster rockets from one? Falcon, Covey, I'm all out. I am red on rockets right now, it looks like. So, what I'm seeing is a bunch of troops in the open right around that citadel itself. You should be clear on 20 Mike Mike as long as you're not directly engaging the buildings. Go for the ones that are in the trees, like to the east, over. Roger, scene, turning in. Spooky, Covey, this is... Uh, this is Covey. As soon as you can get on station, there is a target-rich environment in Hue Citadel. With those miniguns, you should be clear to engage anything that's not in a building. Over. Covey, can wear friendly positions in Citadel? Do we have any friendlies in the Citadel? Rob, stand by on that. Roger, what's your objective then? Yeah, 
Yeah, Roger, what's your objective? Uh, At this time, to, uh, uh, the Falcon, system, I'm going to uh, say negative. Uh, the, bridge, the, what, what's your objective? The outer wall, possibly. So keep it in the inner wall for now. Any ordinance you drop within the inner compound near the uh, Citadel building itself. Good cop, Falcon. Pretty much everywhere in there is swarming with VC, as far as I can tell. Let me check on slashing, slashing, but see where they are. Okay. Uh, slashing, Covey, uh, sit rep, over. Spooky, Covey, sit rep. Slashing, Covey, sit rep, over. Rub one, be advised, uh, slashing out of our contact there on the west flank. Uh, on the north side of the Citadel, we have Alaska, uh, who is in contact. Uh, inside the Citadel itself, there's at least uh, 50 to 100 enemy packs uh, with uh, 50 cal machine guns. I do not recommend you cross the bridge at this time. Either. Okay, Falcon, on the north side, near that bridge, north side of the Citadel, on the Citadel side of the bridge, I have an enemy AA cannon shooting at us. Can you engage with 20 Mike Mike and destroy? Roger, I can see a friendly position. Great smoke, uh, west of that position. As far as I can tell, I think it is, but I can definitely see green tracers coming from that enemy AA position across that bridge. Unfortunately, the guns are bugged, so I can't switch yeah, to them. Teams, uh, I, I'd like to get slashing back on the net, uh, so we can free <gasps> I can't the switch to guns. Get across Bridge Yankee. It's then fixed. Perhaps, uh, you, you can both, uh, both rub one and uh, uh, slashing push into the Citadel from the south side, um, along alongside uh, movement from south from uh, from uh, Alaska over. Spooky, Covey. But, but currently slashing's off top, so we don't know where they are. Okay, Rod. Boss, this is Covey. Do you happen to know where slashing is? Go try your back on that. We are in a Cobra. Ghost Rider, Covey. Are you, who's running transport then? Nobody. Uh, we, we got told to go to Cobra. Who told you that? Uh, that would have been Dolly. Yeah, Roger. We'll okay, Roger. I mean, if he doesn't want to have Slicks on station, but just monitor this frequency in case he Sam needs it. Urgent. Yeah. What's up? We've got a ZSU somewhere to the northwest. Northwest of the Sam. Citadel? Northwest, yeah. There's a ZSU. We need to get something on that. Roger, I'm working on one that's on the north side first. Once I get BDA on that... No, north we'll... side, that's the one. Yeah, the, the dollar's mark. There's yeah. actually yeah. two. There's one northwest and one north. But they're they're Roger both that. on the wall of the Citadel. Roger. Alaska, be advised we're trying to task air onto two ZSUs in the vicinity north wall of the uh, Citadel. Rob, one, got your message. Uh, stand by. Covey, Falcon. Falcon, Covey. Near that bridge where you were talking where the AAA is, north side, there's some buildings. Uh, if you look where my slashes are, there's a tank between them. Roger, Roger. Hey, enemy tank to the north of the Citadel inside of that little Hooverville town, that fucking little village there. Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider, enemy tank is in the fucking village to your east. Northeast, you need to evade away from that. I don't think you have ordinance to do with that. Let's go, Strider. Send it. Disregard. I think we got him. Oh, fuck. We just killed the friendlies. Jax. Guess that was a friendly tank. Killed Drewski, Boleman. Did we have a friendly tank down there? Oh, no. I didn't know we had tanks. Uh, yes, see. Uh, the Damn. Falcon, yeah, sorry about that. I didn't know we had any tanks down there. 
Roger, you want to pass that on to uh, Alaska? Confirm that. Flaker traffic. Yeah. Uh, spooky, okay. going airborne. Spooky, Roger. Everything inside the inner section of the Citadel is hostile that you see moving. Copy inside the main uh, walls or inside the temple itself? The inner walls, the inner walls. Ghost right there, see you spin it out, see if you can recover, get yourself back to play Copy, two. inner walls. Perfect, good job, man, good job. Shit, and they've lost their tail. Yeah, Draw can do it. I know he's a good pilot. I trust well, him. I try to. I've uh, just warned yeah, everyone to man. stay away from stay away from any Um. He's recovered. Yeah, so I did a donation earlier, and it kept erroring out. So, so he's I kept going to be 30 seconds out for fifteen hundred bucks. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Well, well luckily that's going to come. Good for you. Right? <laughs> no, the company's paying for that. <laughs> It just kept saying there's an error, so I kept trying it again, and it kept taking money over and over and over. And Maybe like, that's I a good strategy for getting lots of uh, yeah, yeah. lots of donations. <laughs> good work, Spooky. That's good effect on target. Keep that up. Try and avoid hitting the main building puppy, itself. Uh, up over. That's really cool, Britt. Oh, you got the spooky on station too, just like you wanted. Can't really see him due to the view distance, but he's out there. I'm hoping we don't collide. Roger, well, if you're already with Rob One, um, both take Zulu Bridge together at bounding, um, and then uh, stand by to assault the Citadel. Covey Falcon. Falcon, Covey. Do you want me to lay Right, so we're putting two teams on Bridge Zulu at the same time now. Um, they're going to go into the main Hold gate. on the napalm to the north for now since there's friendlies there. Um, if we do get an extra tasking, we'll want to use that, but for now, hold. Okay. Rob 1, Bobby. Rob 1, are you good to go over Bridge Zulu with uh, slashing and uh, assault main gate? Over. Roger that. I'll just rearrange with the. Uh, uh, I'll tally up with Alaska and see what they what they can do to get in from the north side at the same time. Over. Alaska, copy. This is crazy. Uh, Roger, have, have you got um, the sit rep down there? Are you okay at the moment? I got an F4 on standby. Ghost Rider, Covey, are you all right? Did you make it back? Uh, this is Ghost Rider. We're still in the Cobra. I did see a slick uh, get nailed and fly Roger, off somewhere. Uh, let us know when you. Roger, that must have been. Uh, uh, to cross the small bridge, uh, uh, over somebody. The <laughs> Eagle? Must have been Eagle. And apologies again for the, uh, for the uh, uh, friendly fire. I'm not sure we have anyone else left on slicks. Eagle, this is uh, Covey. It should be Birch. This is Covey. Yeah, Roger. We'll see what we can do. Uh, last oh, time we shit. had a guy in there, he had his tail Spooky, down, cease fire on that main forward. compound. We were doing a little bit more damage than expected. You guys are massing fire on that main building. One, Roger. Focus on trying to take out the uh, enemy AA along the wall. Covey, Falcon, Covey. Roger, both um, Birch and Andy, Roadkill is gone. We have no one on the transport. Ghost Rider, this is Covey. I need you to get back on uh, your transport roll and start getting troops back in the AO. Ghost Rider, stay firm. We just took out the main uh, Citadel building. Covey, I, that's going to be a... PR disaster, but you know, this is war. Alas, sorry, that was a lot of uh, tra traffic going on. Um, are you saying they're getting teleported? Covey, this is spooky. Spooky, Covey. 
Advise, there is a anti-aircraft gun emplacement relatively Roger close to the Citadel itself, I believe. So be aware that um, the opportunity Roger to that. To the main gate south. That one we're not going to so be able to do much be about because we your team down and, and get across that pretty much destroyed half that Citadel. Uh, what's the sit break? What's the sit rep on um, the ZSU somewhere here, Marker? Can that be deleted now? Advise, I believe there's a uh, anti-aircraft gun in the tree in, uh, east side of the citadel itself, possibly. A firm, yeah, your weapon's free in those trees, man. I think there's one on the south side too. I'm, I'm taking, uh, I'm taking tracer fire from there as well. Hey, copy the uh, trees I'm referencing are the two trees, immediate danger close to the citadel itself. Roger, seen rolling in on. Yeah, roger that. Go slow. But take take the main uh, uh, Citadel gate. Uh, if you can, where I'll try the uh, HMGs are. And see if we can neutralize those machine guns. Over. Rob, we've done a little bit more uh, effect on target than I think we intended on the Citadel. I'll take responsibility for that. Sorry. Did you blow it up with pockets? May well, no. The minigun fire apparently just eventually cause it to collapse oh shit okay so yeah so let me oh. just add insult to injury by firing four m60s in that general area What's your target fixation Alaska coming to message Copy, Malkin. Let us know when you're coming in for uh, strafes. We'll uh, ceasefire. Roger, see. Yeah, Roger, stand by. All right, we've got a tank. Uh, he's marked. Um, he's at 170-1015. Uh, 170-1015, marked tank uh, in the north end of the Citadel. Urgent, urgent task. 1701. That's, you just gave me a, like, seven-digit grid. 170-101. Uh, yep. 170101, got it. It's actually 1015, it's halfway down. Oh no, it's 1005, sorry. Anyway. Okay, one, one on seven on oh. Okay, Roger. Okay, Falcon, smoke, Covey, smoke. there's a uh, enemy tank marked around 170100. You are weapons free on that, bad boy. I've marked your tango through. Green tango through. Green Tango. Copy, this is we have eyes on red smoke. Is it hostile? Unknown <laughs> at this point. Is having a hell of a laugh that day. Is there? Red smoke is north side of the uh, inner wall. I got red smoke on the north side of the inner wall. Is that wave, our wave enemy? Wave off air assets on the citadel. Wave off, wave off. Negative. That is not authorized for engagement at this time. Good copy. So we, we have troops in the Citadel now, Rob? Right, no more airstrikes on the, on the Citadel right now. Uh, the tank's dealt with, we don't need anything else. Okay, all stations at this time, the Citadel is off limits, no fire zone, no fire zone. Falcon could copy. This is crazy. <laughs> it's, it's fucking real. <laughs> Having the OV-10, it just makes such a difference. It's a, it's incredible. What does, sorry? Having the Bronco. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can actually see what's going on as well. I wish the view distance was higher. That's my only problem. That's why I keep getting, like, having trouble. I mean, also because of my inexperience, but... That's contributing towards the trouble with crashing into stuff because I have to fly so low. This is a good height. Yeah, I can just barely see everything. I got a ton of troops moving on that west side of the inner citadel. Covey, this is spooky. Spooky, Covey. Being told by the gunner that there's a heavy VC presence in the maze north end of the citadel. 
Roger, Mays, North End. Right now I'm being told not to engage anything inside the Citadel, but I will get clarification on that. Over. Hey, okay, Rob, Spooky seeing on the north side a large concentration of VC, north side of the Citadel. If these guys want us to hit it, just tell them to put smoke on it and, co and tell us what color they want us to hit. I also got on the west side. Oh, wow, they took out a bunch of those guys with Willie Pete. Never mind. Hey, I've got a tank moving inside the Citadel itself. Yeah, they're calling it. Falcon, I have a tank in the center of the Citadel moving right now on the west side of the main building. Do not engage yet, but be ready to. No, I think they want to get up. We are sure it's not uh, are we friendly. We to engage that tank with fast air. We're we're ready over here on our side. I think yeah, we're just, confirming uh, that it's enemy right now. Copy to ground units. Uh, who's got eyes on the tank? Roger, have eyes on the tank. Rub one, right? Okay, so so Rub one sees it southwest corner of Citadel. Is it clear of friendlies? We hit it with fast mover. Get ready. Get ready. We're Two about players. to clear Watch it. That. It's too close, too close. Wave off. Looks right, like they've target, they've watch. disabled it. Watching it now. Lots of green trays coming out of it. Ghost Rider, this is uh, Covey. How's reinserts coming along? That's one reinsert complete. Full doing a great job base this time. time now. Roger, keep it up. You're doing great. Spooky, this is Covey. Are you guys still on station? Hey, firm, we're uh, on station 600 meter altitude orbit around the uh, Citadel. Roger that. Tango Mike. Shit. Feels so it's terrible killed. bombing we're this gonna, place. We're going like to need some. We're going to need some transport. Those okay. He's just gone down, and he's one of the team lead to, to make sure the transport's hot. Roger. Okay, Ghost Rider, I've got uh, a HVT coming in, HVI coming in to play coup to be uh, transported in, one of the leadership elements, so make sure you get him on board. It's Digby. Roger that. He wants to go to Alaska. He wants to go to RT Alaska's location. God, I gotta... I just hear a call out of a helicopter target. You got, have you got um, M60s or mini? Yeah, I got the 60s. Roger. Just let me know. Oh, I see it. I have eyes on. Falcon, this is Covey. I've got red air heading south of the main citadel. It's a Mi-2 Salamander. Can you take that thing out? Roger, I can try. My AAA doesn't work air to air, but it's Roger, I can, I can try as well. He's above friendlies right now, so we got to be careful. It looks like he's trying to insert some reinforcements or something. He's going to be on the ground near the main citadel. Ground troops, be aware. We've got eyes on the Salamander. It appears to be trying to insert south side steps into your location. Uh, hey, firm, south side. Down. I got no joy now. I'm not sure where he went. I've lost him. Nope. Still got eyes on. He has landed inside of that crook of the uh, main citadel. Right where the Willie Pete is. Ground team, Covey. Uh, Salamander has landed in the, in the uh, D shape, Covey, uh, C shape of, the, of the main gate. Ghost Rider, Covey. Reinserting out both of the dudes uh, north of Citadel. Roger, reinserting uh, a chalk north north of the Citadel. Okay, that was vehicle, that uh, helicopter is disabled, that red air is disabled. Good work, Falcon. Roger, I'll try it. Okay, that helicopter is disabled, Covey, it's Spooky. on the ground. Spooky, Covey. Advised, Gunner is advising me that the uh, 
helicopter did drop off transports and they were running intermixed into friendly forces. Okay, roger that. It sounds like that uh, helicopter dropped off a bunch of dudes that rushed into our lines and killed some of our guys. Alaska pause a C. Uh, do you know what's pinning you down over? Oh, hey. That was okay, amazing. Sam, yeah, I think I think we saw it. <laughs> that was amazing. That was in intense. Still, so they is think intense. it's all oh, over. Nice. It still isn't. It says, "Good." The fuck? That's not <laughs> that good. Was... That's not good. Yeah. That fight for the bridge was fucking insane. Like we spent a good mm, yeah. hour at that bridge. The frames. <laughs> yeah, the frames. There were no frames. Yeah. The frames, frames, frames took a vacation. I, I had the, about I had about six. Half of the frames fucked off to Taiwan on shore leave. I, I'd shoot at something <laughs> and they teleport a hundred meters. So Quebec. Yes. Did you have a fun time? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> what he do? What he do? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about it. Yeah, I fucking he, you like ended up in the ass end. No, you were, you were closer to Cambodia than you were Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> and then and you were running through the jungle. I thought, I'm I'm eating this guy with a tiger. And so I, <laughs> I ran a tiger at him, got him to the down position, or I think you grenaded yourself, and then I spawned a Vietnamese civilian, teabagged him, and left him for dead. <laughs> it was great. We can hear you. We can I hear can you. hear you, yes. Dolly. Yeah. Yep, yep. Oh, I can't heal. Hear Dolly, bear with me. Come yeah, on. Can I? Let me, yeah, let me I'm on something wrong. Hold on. Right, there we go. I have edited it so that the only people who can talk is you. If you could not hear Dolly and cannot hear Dolly still, please locally unmute him. Go, Dolly! We are going to do something a bit from stay in your current slots um join your teams that you were in previously we are going to we are we're going to be improvising adapting and overcoming um as zeus is so we are literally going to be making this up as we go along so give us a few minutes once we slot in uh, please don't kill each other. Please don't remove the aircraft. What I will say is this is going to be very kinetic, unlike the last three missions. <laughs> unlike the last three. Okay. So we're going to get shot so, down many, very, many very times. Very, kinetic. <laughs> Rob and Ice, you are not going to be in the cover role. You are going mm. to be in a platoon command role. You're going to be on the ground this time. I hear you, Ice. Okay. I said I didn't hear you. Right. So yeah, you you're gonna be on the ground controlling elements. Are we waiting so... for somebody to talk? No, I'm you just need to, waiting local, to stop locally looking unmute at me. the chat. Uh guys talking. Uh what's happening is you can't hear Dolly. She got him muted by by accident. So if you right click on Dolly and select unmute, you'll be able to hear him. Thank you. That's Noel and Ken on talk. So Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to improv improvise as Zeus's. We're going to make something up as we go along. Everyone's going to be in a kinetic... So I'm looking uh, at the map right now. Is that uh, where I'm supposed to be? Yep. Okay. Yeah, Ken, yeah. if you can't hear Dolly speaking right now... Oh boy, here we go. Somehow muted for a few minutes. I I had to mute for a while. Yeah. All right. But, Sounds like we've been promoted. Yeah. 
again, squad leads, come over to me. I will brief you as we go along. Roger that. All right. How about cast, Ollie? Wait, so what are we, the uh, Sergeant Major and the Commander? <laughs> yeah, just anyone else have drop any... oh, Hold on, drop. Any, anyone else? Anyone else having trouble getting in? Yeah. Jax is now, yes. I'm having trouble Rebo getting into rebooting. the slotting screen. I'm rebooting my armor. Yeah, I, I gotta reboot my armor as well. Give me a sec, guys. Rob, I'm gonna take advantage of this momentary confusion and try and set up a, a actual basic ground loadout. Drew, I, I think you you and a few other people are running like a nuclear cl reactor or something. Yeah, he did, he you just got. Hey, sir. I we're uh, we're just gonna get. <laughs> oh, hey, let's stay tight. Hey, what? there it is. I'm looking <laughs> for the uh, ammo. Okay, uh, I think. Ow. Oh, maybe they don't have it set up. I was looking for that as well. well let's try and find it together. If it's not here, it's that ammo crate over there. Yeah, I think it's probably this one over here, sitting by where Rob is, to your south. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Hello. Ah. Hey. Oh, wow. I don't have a weapon. All right. That could be uh, problematic. <laughs> Is Dolly or Zeus around by chance? I decided to respawn to go with a humor bit to the sun suddenly appearing, and I didn't realize I wouldn't be able to spawn near my squad afterwards. I don't know if they're around or not. I think we're trying to get everybody in right now. There was a uh, few people having trouble. Ah. Well, in the meantime, they reset might... frequency. To where some of the cockpits. Yeah, that's a good point, sir. Let me uh, check and see what we're at right now. Okay. I think. I think you're good. Okay, we so command frequency do. for us uh, six nine at uh, command level. I'm not sure where you're going to be r running around with, sir. If you want to hang out like, with Rob and I, you're welcome to. Or if you want to yeah, hang out sure, with the guys, yeah. What's our, I'll hang out with you guys. What's our short range? Short range will be break. Let's stay on one hundred for now, just for us guys, right. and then uh, we'll we'll adjust from there because it might end up that we go on a different one the emergency is 500 sure. in case we get an aircraft down or something like that okay okay i need a weapon <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll grab the uh, nearest weapon i find as soon as there's one available yeah, to be expected There's nothing in the uh, arsenal? Negative at this time. Oh. Yeah, it's the place you. That's the place your life becomes an endless questionnaire. That's a shame. I have no ammo for this one. There's 
Have you seen Can you hear me, Ken, is that, is that a front yeah. sight? Yeah, yeah. 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 you gotta look. Can you hear me? Yeah, Actually, I don't know. Let me look. Okay, cool. I it is. <laughs> oh, I've seen both. I've yeah, seen it is. Okay, I naughty, naughty. Just <laughs> well, I just yeah, took what I could get at when I loaded everything oh, and lo oh, made this uh, uniform. Terrific. What's up? Does it involve a bit more useful that yes. having front sight. Yes, exactly. It is. It actually looks you pretty good. It won't let me reload. You can't access anything. Yeah, when I put this well, outfit yeah, together for yeah. Oscar yeah. Eight, uh, yeah. I just no, took the closest have, RPG I there. I think everybody, everybody has that thing right now. I got the same Ken. Ah, cheaters. Good. Okay, if you need a back, switch to empty and get a new lock. Got this, buddy. Yeah, the law, the law is worth it. Yeah. No, I just have a stroke out. from. <laughs> I just wanted a tank. Being gun. I wanted. Tank schmank. You can't always get what you want unless it's empty. Walk, walk. You can always get what you want. Walk schwalk. Walk schwalk. He said tank schwank. He said pull. Tank walk, spank walk. baby. Oh, I'll spank your tank in a minute. There's no one yeah, yeah. in there. <clears throat> okay. Hey, okay. That gets a haircut. Do you want to do it rather down the street? I don't think it's a haircut. Hey, we have a parachute. None of the after works. Yeah, does it work for us again? That's one I see. Yeah, I'll do that. Where's your mate? Uh, While we're standing by, I'll be yeah, back I'll be in zero three. That, but, uh, <laughs> Roger that. Will have to be fixed, I guess. Uh, yeah, I, I can't we went, uh, uh, threw away the first time. We but once it is fixed, I'll take the radio. Work for me. Howdy, Rob. How are you doing? Yeah, I don't know. I could hey. open the gear that I already owned. Uh, hey, that Drew? Yeah, uh, already had. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey Drew. Catch it. I did terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I jumped into hell feet first, I guess. We were just that bridge with a cold jack. I I was just I was just laughing when that exploded though because it wasn't even Jax's fault. He couldn't have known that there were infantry right beside it too, and it, it did look perfectly functional from far away because it had a little fire and they had disembarked. But uh, hey, sorry about that, Drew. That's totally understandable why you bombed that. I you you are not fault. I'm not sure yet. But there's actually uh, my mom so called her and said he needed help with her. It was, it was yeah. 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 I should have let you guys know on the ground. One of the coolest were you in the tank? No, they were next to it. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. So we had, we had shot it with two uh, laws, and then we were kind of three people spread around it in a triangle shape. And then I've got to show you, Jax. I've got one frame of. What did you drop a bomb? No, those are rockets. Uh, I've got a rocket that went right past my face. And so I saw one frame of a rocket, and I died just laughing. What did it drop me? Did you like the steel injuries? No. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Uh, oh yes, it looked very cool. <laughs> game going. Yeah, Jax, you were hitting <laughs> dead <laughs> on targets. I was very impressed. How was your game? Okay? You like uh, not not sarcastic. Like I was actually very impressed at your uh, your cast that last one. Uh, yeah, I think, I think you want to uh, see uh, Wow. So what's going on here? Okay, back. Race down the track. Come on. There's a lot oh, going on here. Uh, Radio yeah, check over. A lot of voices. That's a lot of clear, sir. Roger, thanks. We're on the short range 100, uh, Rob, just for our little command element. No, short range is on 5. That's the emergency freak. Uh, you want to talk about just need a lot of trucks for it, That's some five's emergency, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Are you free up the and 100 is what I'm on. Yeah, I think we put down just like a normal uh, ammo box and stuff. There's one up there. Oh, oh, I need to get a. Uh, I, I don't believe so. Um, oh, it's good. Can I pinch your RTO pack and then get another one? Because I can't access one in the arsenal. At the I can't access it either, but go for it. Oh, oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it's a tight No, no, you pick it up. Uh, oh, actually, I'll pick it up and then you can score. Actually, I think it wins. Yeah, that works too. Actually, here. Hold on, let me try this. I've got to back away, there's so many voices. <laughs> no, no, um, I am also the couch. <laughs> yeah. That's still weird. on the couch. No, my arse is still bugged. This is probably the funnest mm. event that I've been doing in a long yeah. time. I'm set to go, Rob. 
There's little couches. I'm all set. You can take my. There's a tiger running around earlier. Yeah, there was one of the aircraft carriers. Mike Tyson lost his tiger. The tiger was on the aircraft carrier. Hey, Kelly, you actually want to you? Take a picture of you. Come on, take it. Go. Hi, Ken. Hey, I was saying. Yeah, see you. Thank you. <laughs> she actually got some uh, some back issues there, brother. No, I was just... Oh, me? <laughs> You're just leaning forward. So what is the next mission? My head track is off. We don't know yet, sir. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is what we used to say. The command was mill around mill. Uh, I think we're going to do yeah. a briefing here. Right. <laughs> So do we have poisonous snakes here too? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. I don't think so. I mean, the snakes are here, but I have yet to see anybody see them attack anyone. They're they're just right. garden snakes. Right. Oh, the, the green mambas. I'm scared. If only Ace was here, we'd fucking take all of his tires. I mean, it's an option. Okay, I'm gonna do my best, guys, but this kind of sounds like we're throwing a bunch of stuff together out of nowhere, so 14, hopefully. Wow. Hopefully, we. Uh, you know, 11, 11, hopefully, everything goes well. It Put it that way. Right, and where's Ken? He's right in the gaggle, people. Yeah, that really helps when I'm telling He was right next to where Ice was. <laughs> there there several, we go. Several guys. Yeah, he's here now. Gaggles of gaggles. Briefing here, Ken. Final response. Right. Going on. Okay. Gotcha. So, gentlemen, we have been given an opportunity. Um, <laughs> after the last push of hellish proportion, where you retook the Hui Citadel, we have discovered where the nva headquarters are to that end we are going to be doing an on mass assault to go and basically kick their back doors in so to that end the objective market is marked with kill them away um you can either and this is where it comes down to uh mr robbo's choice you can either go in via, via Sanbei Ban and do a parachute drop along the runway. Uh, one of your pilots having to do the drop and uh, obviously come back and then get whatever plane they're actually getting into. Um, there are parachutes in a box behind the C-130. Or we have got Chinooks behind us, which you can mount up in and they will take you slightly closer probably to grid reference 062015 around that area so that is your first choice all pilots for this mission will be either fast jet or cobra we will be doing a teleport system so when you respawn respawn at the airfield and there will be a teleport pole there to teleport you back to the front lines any questions on that? I'm looking at you, Rob. Not really. Uh, just marking up some some uh, target reference points. So, uh, bear in mind you've in... got a full platoon there, mate. We've got a whole platoon, yeah. And uh, do we have any intel on enemy strength? The enemy strength is this is their main headquarters. It's a sim. It's a simple bright light mission. Watch the walking apart, right? Yeah, simple bright light mission. That's all I'm going to say, Rob. Right. Uh, yeah, just like last That's That's more like a hatchet yeah. force mission. The last of the good deals. Rob, Rob knows me well enough to know when I say it's a simple bright light mission, it means it's going to be fun. <laughs> so with no cover uh, now, do you want uh, CAS to monitor 7-0? CAS is going to be on 7-0. Seven, uh, seven Ground forces are going to be on... Um, no, actually, stick CAS with 6-8... Ground forces will be on six nine. Is there any okay. AA threat in the area? There is AA threat in the area. We may not have placed it down yet. 
but there is going to be. Question? Yep. You want the boats taking the boat, or are we going with the helicopters? You're, you're going in on foot, mate. You, you, you are literally being part of the platoon now. You may oh. all be dressed differently, but you're all part of the platoon. Roger that. By the way, we also just hit 15,000. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah we That's... did. Rob, nice. do you want to be Savage 6 and Savage 7? 6 for command, and I'll be your sure. Holy God. first sergeant. Awesome. All right. We're thinking C-130 or Chinook. Only problem with C-130, you won't have all the ammo, right? Because you won't be having a backpack. Where's the parachute still uh, allow you to carry a backpack? Someone, just so you know, someone get a donation to do that. Before you, uh, <laughs> before up. you place loads of shit, the arsenals are not working as well as they could. I will use our you know, As in, we can only few. we can only access the gear that we've already got. So we've um, tried to, we've tried to fix it. Unfortunately, um, we are stuck in this situation where we are very much struggling and i will tell you now i'm not going to go through every individual person's loadouts changing uh, them. hold on no, that's got... fine uh someone suggested in my in my radio at one point to relog it that that might help it but i don't know um, is it possible to put down a box with uh backpacks A box, of, a box of bra backpacks. Okay. Specifically, uh, RTO that backpacks. That is something. That is something we can do, and that is something that is currently being worked on specifically with um, radios in mind. Return right, to thanks. formation. Uh, if we but need... yeah, I'm more concerned about the fact that a few people on the ground aren't able to get ground kit now, or is that not the case? Where's no. Rob? If if you have the same loadouts, you can still load the same loadout from the arsenal, even with that when, when they are broken. Oh. Rob okay. is uh, to your right. So we can kit people out, giving them a loadout off of our back, and then save it if they need it. Basically. Yeah, that, can... that's what we did from the start. Uh, okay. So we did our loadouts. We saved them. We got a workaround. Okay, we've can... we got a workaround. Unfortunately, I don't know why, because this is actually one of the previous missions that we loaded, and all we've done is... All we've done is remove the enemy elements from it, so it shouldn't have changed anything. But some, I got a some weapon now. For <laughs> bizarre reason, it has. Um, so, yeah, if we can just ask people to be a bit flexible with us, we are doing on, what we me. can on this. Um... Right. Yeah, so what do you want to go in via C-130 or CH-47s? We don't want to do parachutes because that'll scatter us Return too much to and think... also it will mess up oh. all our backpacks and radios, so let's not do that. Oh, yeah, uh, so Rob no come on, Rob. Come on! Rob Roger. won't the same for that. Well, it, it, I, I hate to break it to you. You're going in as a platoon, so it's Rob's choice. <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's good to feel good about my decision. I, 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 oh, Rob, here I'm, I go. I'm glad you agree with me. There you go, Rob. But unfortunately, yeah, it isn't actually a democracy. So, yeah. uh, Rob, the you're going in by you. Chinooks. We're going to try and fit as many people gotcha. as we can into as little Chinooks as possible. Um, if you could get yeah. your guys briefed up, I would suggest moving as a platoon, taking it in turns to get people in point and rotating around. This would be an interesting thing for you because I know you're. You're used to working with small teams. Now you're working with big, big team. Well, we'll just delegate as much as we can. So we'll we'll go with um, squads: uh, Alaska, um, Rocket, uh, um, Talon, Form on me. and and Regroup. Rob. And basically stick with your call signs that you had before. Um, I'll, I'll be, uh, I guess, I'll be Savage, and uh, we'll Savage have Six. Air, yeah. The air elements, yeah, Savage 6 will have the air elements as we had before. Um, and uh, if you just check your maps, gents, what I've done is... I've, I've just marked put... the LZ. Roger, yeah, okay, so um, in your side chat, you'll see a whole bunch of uh, sign of, of uh, markers and landmarks have been added on there. So when we're talking about uh, moving through the, the, the area um, 
and where we need support, just use these reference points that we have on there. Um, we've got several LZs for pilots. We've got LZ X-ray to the west, which should be fairly safe, hopefully. Uh, That's an your initial? Yeah, that'll be our initial. Be, be advised, you're not getting in in your own, because they're coming in as um, escorts for the Chinooks behind me. Yeah. Fall back. Yeah, so I right. can't see your mark because they're not in global. What? Oh, they're inside. Yeah. Okay. So everyone else inside see them, just not you, Dolly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is and LZ X-ray is where your marker is, so that's fine. Okay, cool. Everyone's landing on LZ X-ray then. Yeah, we have yep. an LZ Yankee, which is approximately in that position. There's a clearing there with some shell holes. It what, might be a bit further position? west. Uh, so I need to put it all in global, do I? You, you need to put it in global, mate, because I can't see. If I may, don't worry about that explosion. It was for charity. Can somebody and else we have do past that? 15k. While, while, <laughs> while I'm doing this. Nice. We know. <laughs> is, is somebody up with I've, switching I've got to global? Yeah. I'm just uh, working totally on it. I've got, yeah. Right, thanks, guys. Yep. So yellow <laughs> for LZs and green for, green for uh, uh, landmark. Thank you, a suggestion for our gear a situation. Yeah, if we have sling, uh, sling loadable boxes with like yeah, ammo and the like, one hundred percent. suggestions. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Um, right. So just keep looking at your maps. We've got we've got the um, green markers on there. They're all being switched over to global, so so that Dolly can see them for support as well. Uh, what we'll do is we'll land at LZ X-ray and then basically split into squads and move in line into the, into the jungle towards Bunker Hill, and then we'll just take them from there. So uh, we're just going to sweep clear this this objective. We've we've done it many times. Um, it's it's pretty shitty ground. There's a lot of uh, elephant grass. There's a lot of rocks that will cut your formations. Best thing to do is just stay uh, in your squads, um, and we'll just work um, as, as elements um, working together, covering each other. And we'll just sweep through and through each of these objectives that we've marked. And uh, if you see anything particularly you know noteworthy, we'll add them marker for it but but these ones should keep you know should be good enough for, 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 uh, for landmarks um for the pilots we have lz x-ray on on the west we have an lz yankee uh which is not been added okay thank you lz yankee somewhere in the middle of the zone and uh there's there's like an area there of shell holes and then there's an emergency lz zulu on the other side of the river in case anyone loses a tail and needs a big space to put down in that's about it for me. Um, now we can have suggestions and questions. So for uh, there is no reinsert stand, we're just going to be teleporting in. So those other LZs are just in case that uh, X-ray, their secondary and third LZs, correct? Yeah, those are just additional LZs for later. Oh, but what? There's no reinserts at all. No, I think he said he's going to teleport everyone in. Yeah, there, there's right. a teleporter system. It's going to be on teleport system. It's going to be a teleport system. Sure, sure, but you can I teleport them to uh, the LZ, I suppose. But yeah, at least we know roughly positions we can kind of uh, secure. If we need it for, and, and also, we need to know where aircraft emergency land, so that'll be fine. Okay, Return because I know formation. no one wants it, uh, I am happy to take Bunker Hill Factory North Jetty Return Stream Bed and the Northern Elements because they are the toughest nuts to crack. Um, that might make it easy for you to uh, allocate other people elsewhere. Rog, so, uh, so somebody's written rub on on the north side. Let's change that to Alaska then. Okay. I, I would have been fine with that, though. I, I, I honestly am completely fine with taking the north route. No, it's I don't okay. Alaska did be the satisfaction. <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh, Alaska's on the north one. And then stick rub in the, in the center, go to Elza Yankee. Uh, Talon is in the south, and who's a, who have got missing then? Uh, Rocket. 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 Yeah. So, so, so Rocket, Rocket will work with us as HQ. We'll bring up the rear. You'll be our security element, and uh, that's me and me and Ice on comm. So, if one of us goes down, the other one can take over. Form on me. So, we just just do a quick frequencies check. Uh, go ahead, Jax. Yeah, I was just going to say frequency. So, CAS, you'd be calling on 68, correct? That's what we'll be monitoring. 68, correct. Yeah, I will be on a station with CAS as Savage 7. Copy that. Right, so you're talking to the aircraft. I'm talking to uh, the rest of the team. It's on 69, right? 69, check. Uh, I think all the infantry was supposed to be on 70, right? 
Doesn't oh. matter. Six nine or seventy ch takes choice. Rob. No, no, no. Let's go with whatever. Radio really check. Okay, so yeah. what's short range? Well, let's just do long range for a moment, Ken. Um, so, okay, so six nine for the long range for um, the channel one. Every all the all the main uh, team leads, and then uh, what's on seventy then, uh, Dolly? Se seventy used to be where all the infantry was with Covey. We don't have a covey anymore, so we're replacing so it with six eight. So you don't have a covey anymore, so you're going to be on um, six eight for aircraft. Seven zero is going to be for the teams and command. Roger that. Okay. Stay in seven zero, just to clear. Yeah, yeah. Se okay. Seven zero. It'll make it easier for you guys. Uh, rip. <laughs> seven zero, Roger. Checking 68. They're, they're killing each other for charge. Don't worry about it. Copy that. So right, all the prairie <laughs> fire is at call 68. Let's get right. the team. Yeah. Let's get the teams ready. Okay. Um, pilots, how many pilots? Could all the pilots come over here, please? Uh, redundancy sure. in the event that you're killed, Rob. Yeah, are, we, are you going to use short ranges in your squad? Yeah, but so you've still is. got your same short ranges you had. So yeah, I'm going to use. Squad, so yeah, I'm going to use three one, th uh, yeah. three one one for me. I believe that's what I have. One three one for me. Rob one, Rob one has been short, short range. Uh, I'm on one three one, Ken, which is my SR for my mob. If you, uh, for us, if you head over to, yeah, cool. Um, I'll use my short range command, my dudes. I'm also going to have my RTO who will be relaying stuff to me. I might grab a LR just to monitor, but genuinely, I found it not having the LR in my ears has actually been which, great for my sanity. Short range is Rob on. So I, I know the be feeling to be. Rob, Rob, what, what short range are you using? Uh, we, we've been using 120 for our short range the entire time. Gotcha. We can just use the same. That's for us, 120. Oh my god, look at all the bodies. Done, okay. Yeah, Rob1 is using 120. Uh, are, are you guys gonna be in our uh, short range then? Yeah, yeah, because you're our security element. So so technically, you run your squad. We'll just run with your squad. And we'll run from... Oh my Rams god. on the... Uh, not yeah, safe. Good. Okay, uh, guys, <laughs> just so you know, uh, command element with uh, will be running with us. I think we'll be that's their what that is. Going through what the are middle, those things called? Yeah, they're being our short range right now. I don't think it is a gamma go gamma go somewhere. Security. Yeah, I won't use short range. I'll just be too close. So Get some step. Let's go. Uh, Speed sorry, set. My, my, my right, team, let's get our shit right. together. Uh, what, two minutes and we're going to mount up. What are you on about? All right. Um, yeah, you want me to be on the okay. same bird as you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Guys, uh, okay. two, so ten guys, minutes to break, break, break. Uh, two okay. minutes, get your uh, if, gear and shit sorted. Yeah. Any station, any station, Savage 7. Radio it's essentially a mass, mass assault mission again. Uh, I'm taking a vibe, right? Okay, so you guys are going to be coming in first by a Chinook and then you're going to bring on the... The gunships, right? So what are we doing? Uh, it's AI pilots. AI pilots. We're going to be taking off. Is this off like any, an uh, urban thing, gunship. a woodland thing? Uh, Roger, understood. Uh, Sounds good. Me and Don are going to be in your spooky. Okay, Is Roger. So we got spooky on station. We got Cobra. Yeah, we got Phantom. Cobra, you're going to be Scarface. Um, Phantom, you're going to be uh, Falcon, and then Spooky, you guys will be Spooky. Works. We're one of the Got Chinooks, that? right? I've taken myself off the short range. Uh, I think so McGabe might need medical. I'm gonna walk yeah, I'm gonna and I'm driving. I'm gonna turn mine down significantly. Yeah. I've stuck so it on dog. 50. <laughs> your plus and minus key on your uh, number so pad, right. you can zoom yeah. in. If you can the gun sight and get as oh God, many people sunglass. as you can yeah, I know into that. each Chinook. Coach is good. Because uh, I want to limit the amount of AI pilots I'm what having I to use. What I do need to uh, be reminded of is how to set the, uh, set the uh, radio frequency. Uh, command element, so this is... Radio um, Rob 1. Can I just get a status of your position? It should automatically be set to 68. Uh, come on, uh, status uh, control, of my position, please, I'm please, where yeah, the briefing was. Be set to five zero zero. The briefing was so, all safe, I'm so over with Rob and ICE at this time. Five. Yeah, my squad leader was asking where you were, sorry. Alt plus Papa. Yanni, he's over my briefing. It's up to you, Joe. 
but you should be under All teams, let's get you mounted in the yeah. chin-ups. Uh, try and stick together in your teams. Um, darn, darn. A few chin-ups as we can get. Guys, uh, again. Jack, Jack. Uh, oh my god. What are those things called again? The, uh, the West Don Don. Heard that? There you are, Egg. Uh, so Don. you're supposed to be on the uh, rockets. Not the yeah, no, 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 we've ditched that right, because, be because all your guys are just team. chatting bollocks. We don't want to listen to it, so we've just we've just cancelled that. Uh, so yeah, yeah, just yeah, 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 it's, it's fine. It, it was the, you were on the wrong squad. So I, we're not your security on this rocket. The Rob one's going down the middle. Yeah, yeah rocket on me. Over here. Right. Over here. So the, sorry, Rob. But yeah, like I said, I'm sorry for. No, it's alright, we switched that Could off. You, you got a long range. Uh, uh, no, I, I'm using oh, yeah, one of my guys as my RTO. Yeah, yeah, fine. fine, fine. With, uh, okay. with ice. Yeah, yeah no, we've been, we've got, because uh, the RTO guy, is, he, he's been the godlike uh, yeah, JTAC, yeah, essentially. Yeah, 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 no, that's fine. I yeah, but yeah, I, I, I wanted to get more accurate. <laughs> yeah, 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 so yeah, we, yeah, we, I mean that we, we control yeah, chaos, but we make it work, and that's why we're so efficient. Yeah, fine between uh, yeah, two fifty and three fifty. All right, mountain. Uh, yeah, all right, let's do it. Yeah. So I, I got comms with all our. Uh, I got comms with all our uh, air support. I believe you couldn't oh, hear it. Short range. Follow me. Pick, pick the westernmost the west chin up first. Did you hear that? Did you hear that one? Yeah. Okay, that's your short Load range. up on the westernmost yeah, chin up yeah, first. Yeah, I've been taking pictures of days. This feels like a hatchet force mission. It's a big mission, yeah. I don't know if we're taking that one. West, western end of the line, western end of the line, TV. Oh this boy. This face, you're going to want us in front of or behind the, uh... Digby, do you copy on 7-0? Uh, Digby, Scarface not on 7-0, uh, I'm letting him know now. Roger. Yeah, I got an RTA. Spooky, for you, I want you to orbit around DZ Juliet until we need you on station. Copy DZ Juliet. Oh, fuck did Rob go? Covey, this is Eagle. I got a short range. This is Savage 7 Eagle. Oh, so what, what uh, channel? Was? I just, We're on just 691 range. Yeah, but I, I'm on um, 69 on my short range. I wasn't picking Eagle, up Savage oh, 7, I'm range. directing yeah. uh, everything that Covey was last time. Copy that. I'm now back on comms. Um, what do you need me? Um, Scarface, do you have a gunner right now? They're filling up west. Uh, that's an inverter. Uh, I'll check. Okay, uh, Raj. Last station, Eagle. You can you can help out if wherever you, you want. If you highlight it on the card and type in five zero zero, you can change it that way. You might have room in the uh, uh, in the spooky. In, uh, okay, Roger. We we're having AI pilots. Is that right? There's no transport. They're just teleporting. So it's just two gunships and a Casper. Copy that. Savage Seven. This is Spooky. Spooky Savage Seven. Did you say I was getting that third person? Yeah, you can take. Uh, what is that? Roadkill or Enti? Who is that? I, I'm sorry, I can't Rogue tell kill. you guys apart. Rogue kill? Yeah, rogue kill. If you have room for him, take him. I have a load map yeah. position that can drop players. If not, he can just help you guys out as best he can from up there. Are these the RHS chips? Yeah. No. I don't think they have that. Nah, they run some ones. I, 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 uh, yeah. this one. Savage, savage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Like, I, I find it after you know, I, I find it after that because Larry, as you guys made the command, well, that instantly get the fuck out from listening to our car. Last station, say again. <laughs> Am I the only one seeing uh, If you need another cars, bird, I'm happy to fly, but uh, obviously that's in within the mission parameters. <laughs> Roger, <laughs> if you want to put a loach in the air and help spot targets, you're welcome to. I don't know if you yeah, have one. Yeah, I'd have to go loach. Or, uh, I'm with, uh, white box rockets. Chaos. 
Well, Up to you, that's, that's your choice. That's part of our charm, why we work so well, and why we get shit done. Helicopter, helicopter. I mean, no! There's, Copy that. There's only one song we have not been singing the whole <laughs> time, even though we should have been. Three what more is it? it is. Three more Victoria. Right, let's lift off. Wheels up, wheels up. For alcohol. In the jungle. The mighty the jungle. Hey guys. Oh, don't use the use the radio if you want to sing so you don't blow up everyone's ears who don't want to. Gentlemen, can you are you able to hear me in the back? Yeah, I can hear you in the back, mate. Awesome, I'm your pilot. Yep. Oh, we told course. wings up, wings up, wings up. Oh yeah, wings I was up. trying to say that, but no one could hear because we were being okay. so full load, full load, wings up, wings up, wings up. A wind up fuckers. Wind stay wings. with me. You are now. It, it's not full load, but yeah, I guess we're going. That's what she said. <clears throat> I guess we're going. Fuck it. That's not it's not a full load. Okay. I guess we're I was, going. I was told to take off. Right, I'm taking off. For you. Yeah, you're, you're good. I, I mean, I, I don't think anyone wants to be in the same... Uh, I mean, it, it literally everybody just got out of our... <laughs> Yo, <laughs> it's how it should be. It's our autoimmune defense system. Okay, Spooky, <laughs> once you're... Uh... In orbit, let me know. We're basically COVID, except inside the Chinook. We're basically COVID, but instead of COVID, we're actually just weaponized off. Look up. Yes. Yes. I didn't realize the short range also broke up the intercom. Yeah, I did that. I guess it was like different. Because who's fucking hot miking? Nah. Sorry, I was putting my headset to charge because I've been playing this fucking game for too long. Hey, 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 old man. How much use a, a non-USB headset. USB? Sir, this is wireless. Sam, can you can you rustle up Raptor and make sure he's on station? Now, who's Raptor? I haven't heard of Raptor yet. Oh, uh, what's he called? Falcon. Falcon? Yeah. Yeah, just make sure he's on station and, and uh, Falcon, also spooky. Falcon, this is Savage Seven. Uh, let me know when you're on station. I have a station. You guys recognize that one? Roger, you're on station. Spooky, you guys are in route. The pilot. Uh, We're uh, handling technical difficulties. We'll be in route. Uh, uh, one mic. Real voice. Who's the guy from the Savage Seven? Falcon, do you want me to press the L two? Who's the guy from the commercial? <laughs> At this point, if you're on station, go for it, because we're not there yet. We're about five clicks out. Yeah, Sam, uh, Roger, can, need, uh, can, you ask, can you ask Spooky to expedite uh, mission and uh, get in the helicopter, because we're going to need them. We don't need them to be uh, doing technical stuff at base. The, they're, they're jumping in the gunship, the, uh, the AC-47. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. They're just, I think they're trying to get Dawn set up or something. Or maybe yeah, uh, I know, I know. Yeah, but, but uh, that's one. That's only one person. We, we've got fifty-six people to keep alive here, so. Okay, Spooky. This is Savage Seven. I'm yep. supposed to tell you Savage to expedite, get in there as quickly as you can. Uh, tech issues are secondary priority. Eyes on the target. Yeah, copy. We're uh, getting in now. The guard looks like something up by the waterfront, by the bunker. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but. Scorched Earth. Where are we going down the middle? Uh, are we supposed to land right in the middle of that artillery barrage? Yep. It's called clearing the fucking. Uh, Falcon is rise on the insert. Let come. Our target. Let come. Uh, all call signs. So take your positions when we get off the LZ as fast as you can. Uh, they've gone out to the tree line where your blue markers are. Um. Who's miss? Who's with us? Uh, fuck. Who's with us? Alaska. No. Uh. Rocket, okay, so Rocket's with us. So, so Rocket, uh, take the, uh, western tree line. Western tree line. We're Rob 1. Falcon we're Rob 1. Roger, western tree line. We are at the LZ. No, we're no, no we're not. We're done. We're going. Yeah, Roger, no, I've got eyes on you guys. No target. One of the AI is dead. This man, this man, this man, this man, this
All station 77, we are on the deck. Falcon, good copy. Roger. Spooky, this is Savage 7. What's your status? Get that chalk here. Lifting. I don't have control over these. I think these are AI. Roger. Right, Team Rocket, uh, form up with us on the uh, western side. Savage 7, this is Eagle. Eagle, Savage 7. Eagle, Savage 7, send it. Okay, let's Eagle check in. Eagle is Falcon. Alaska, are you set in your, your position? Savage 7, can hear you. 10 requests. Hi, Savage, it's Alaska. Negative. Uh, We're in north uh, now uh, to get to our position. Radio uh, radio uh, radio we had a uh, body-related catastrophe getting out of the helicopter. Alaska, so Roger, are you guys set? Break, rub one. Alaska, are you guys ready to set? Break, rub one. Alaska, advise when you're in your position. A set. Seven, outrun. Rob 1, confirm position, standing by. Last calling station, I just had some kind of a glitch out, okay. and plus there was somebody else trying to talk over the uh, radio, so negative, I did not copy last. I did copy, Eagle has White Foss on station to mark targets. Roger, he'll be uh, manning a Heavy Hog. Rog, Heavy Hog, got it. White Foss just for marking, he'll uh, work the back. This is Talon checking in, uh, radio check. Who, who just checked in? Radio check? I'll copy on line. Talon. Radio. Talon. It's Talon. Talon, yeah. This is your main Talon? mayday there, Sam's. Good luck, uh, Godspeed. I'm just uh, doing a radio check. I just snagged an RTO. Roger. Uh, Talon, let us know when you're set at your, at your initial objective uh, marker around the LZ. Okay, they have Sam's in the Alaska. air. Our uh, Cobra is down. Uh, uh, the Oscar Mike. We're airborne en route to a hold. Scarface, can you mark Red where you're marker. going down if you have time, if you have the ability? We just lost Scarface. They have uh, enemy yeah. Sam's. Break. Net uh, call, net call. What the fuck, uh, what, who's missing? This is Alan? Savage 7. We have uh, Sam's in the AO, so if you are in a rotary element stay low I say again rotary element stay low um spooky stay on station at uh dz juliet we'll let you know as soon as we know that that uh, AA is destroyed falcon use your best discretion right okay looks like we're all set a uh, couple of couple of guys running across the lz towards alaska's position keep going uh well they can't um can't once they're in position, eagle over. i think that's all of us in position right we're all good eagle savage seven uh, sorry, Savage 7 Eagle. Uh, do you have an IP that I need to hold out, or which LZ is the uh, first set of troops going in so I can support them? Over. LZ X-Ray is where we just inserted. If you get into the AO, keep it low. There is an enemy SAM in the AO. Just took out Scarface. Over. Command, are we good to move? Understood. Out. Hey, Egg. Just want to make sure that Command really Alaska control. in contact, northern side of the AO. Savage 7, Falcon. Falcon, Savage 7. Command, Rob 1, are we clear to move? Um, the Casper, Rob 1, the Stamp uh, What I would like you to do is to push forward a little bit and, and uh, secure right I flank with uh, location as well. Uh, Alaska. Uh, if you can spot close, that, Sam, you're fine. welcome to do seed. However, um, I, I have no are, idea where it is at this point, gas, so but, use uh, your best discretion. Squeeze that flank. Yeah, yeah, negative on Sam. It was a man pad. Man, the Talon, are we uh, cleared out? Roger understood man pad. Yeah, Roger. Um, guys, I don't want you asking me questions. And I did engage the area, area where, where we have a shot clear head so I can give instructions uh, as best as possible. So just stand by for me uh, to respond to you. Savage so, Alaska, advance your contact now. Alaska, Roger. Oh, I no longer have any of my loadout. 
Scarface back on station. Roger, Scarface. Good to hear from you. Start moving your team towards uh, Alan, uh, Spooky uh, Tango 1. Uh, Mark Spooky Tango 7. Uh, but do it slowly so that you're supporting the station, right flank of Rob 1. Roger, understood. You can Down move camp. to uh, Aussie, Yankee, Rob, Orbit, right Orbit or Alaska AO, and then the uh, look for green tracers for now. Um, Roger that in that. Uh, Alaska has keep it to anything to the east of the river that you engage. Be aware that there are enemy man pads in the AO, so try and Keep your, uh, just be aware of that. Be ready to use countermeasures Rocket, if you have Rocket, start them. moving out across the LZ, your security. So yeah, we'll you on our left, on our right, and on our rear. And uh, we're going to move forward and uh, push in into, into the center behind Rub 1. Roger that. All right, Rocket. Savage 7, Let's Rocket moving. Left. Let's stay left and right of uh, Falcon. Um, I've been on station for quite a while orbiting. I've not picked up anything on radar as far as uh, Sam says. Okay, Roger. Excellent. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm just trying to get... Everybody's on station right now. Everybody's on station, so as soon as you need any uh, support, let me know. Roger. Team leaders, just remember to check in when you hit any any uh, known uh, landmarks marked on the map. Savage, Alaska, Roger. We're on the road towards Bunker Hill. I'll let you know when we're taking it now. Roger that. Remember to set the pace uh, to match so that your that your right flank is constantly covered. If the guys drag behind, just let them know that they're dragging and uh, go slower. Savage, Alaska, Roger out. Right, I don't want to be on point here. Um, we need to get some rocket in front of us. All right. Uh, rocket, can you send a couple guys on point so they're in front of us and we're not the point element of the team? No. Yes, sir. All right, let's just make sure two are up front on point. Everybody else, we need to make sure we're staying near HQ. Good job. So. Yeah, Rocket, I'm going to use this as a flying company to, to sort any breaches out from the rest of the guys. Uh, we'll be we'll be like a reinforcement. 7, seven ski, we're starting to orbit around yeah, uh, we'll the Yankee. as we see them. Roger that. To my east, approximately like 500 meters uh, of LZ Yankee, I have audio on what sounds like 23 millimeter AA. See if you can locate that and put uh, minigun fire to suppress it. Copy, we'll go. Savage 7, this is Eagle. Eagle Savage 7. Uh, the factory on top of the hill uh, is uh, a hell of a lot of Looks like a quiet established perimeter there. Roger, Maybe the uh, right now. AAA batteries. Yeah, we need to there. go quicker. Um. Roger. Hello, all forces, all forces. This is command. Be advised, your teleport pole for respawns is on your previously cleared LZ. So if you need to respawn, go to the LZ. How copy over? Roger, good copy. At this point, I don't have Rocket, any concept of... Guys among, uh, anti -air. We've been hit. Roger, Spooky, if you can, get back to play coup. And also on my right side. I'm having trouble because there's enemy AA that's firing on Spooky. Spooky Scarface, is, is off man, station now. Is, um, I don't one. have any direction um, on where we need fire support. We are so one, one, we're pushing east for the destroyed uh, bars. Eagles in one times heavy hog. I'm on with white phosphorus rock. Rob one, Roger, if I can, I'll try and mark targets, targets for you. We should be about equal in pieces. Roger, uh, uh, keep an eye on uh, Alaska, but we cannot support them due to death load. Roger that. Sorry, I got so much comms Rocket, coming over my radio. Fire. We need you guys on our point. I've only got one guy in front of me at the moment. Over. Roger, I'm moving them up. Yeah, send them up now, please. Bring the whole squad because we need some guys in front of us and it's slowing us down and we're going to cause a, a, a failure to stay with the rest of the team. Savage, this is Alaska. I am at the bunker position and reconsolidating. We're taking heavy fire from the factory. I need fire support from the section to my south on that factory before I can advance. Over. Roger that, Rub 1. Uh, how, how can, you, can you push up and support right flank? I can get air on it too if necessary. I just need to know exactly where. Savage Factory. 7, this is Eagle. Eagle, Savage 7. 
Uh, it looks like we've just lost Spooky. Roger, yeah, I saw that. They took AA fire, I think. If you can check out that factory, it sounds like they need support on that factory. Um, Alaska needs support mid on the factory before they can go in. Cafe's going down. Cafe's going down. Gunner has no control of uh, pilot's yeah, control. We've got a float away uh, Cobra in the area of. Not sure where he's going to land. Roger that, Scarface. Just try and mark Carfe. where you're going down as best you can. Carfe, this is here you go. Break Scarface. Uh, as co pilot or gunner, you can take control. Can you he has a lot of controls to begin with. I'm in the gunner seat. Understood. Good luck. No, he was dead. Damn, man. Sure, our squad mates have a lot of T-Far trouble. He does have a long range. Falcon 7 7. I'm back on top cover. Yeah. Man, be advised, we just got an MPV pulled west of our position. How about 7 this is spooky. Spooky 7 7. Possible bright light location south side of MSS Longhorn for spooky gunner. Yeah, we're using Elena, Roger, understood. Yeah, can no Mike. one hear me? Eagle, can you work with Spooky? Walk onto that target to try and uh, pick him up over by MSS Leghorn. Copy that, heading Leghorn now. Spooky, can you walk him onto uh, that this is crash site? Command center got hit by BTR 44 times down. Eagle, we're going medical solution. There's a break, break, break this here. It's the last one. Did any friendly elements of my support work to engage the, the factory over? Should have uh, so, one times. This is Savage 7. Say again, you need fire support at the factory. This is Baker Negative. Alaska. Wave off any fast air. I was calling that I'm headed for the factory complex and I have been struck by friendly fast air. Wave him off. Out. Wave off, Falcon. Wave off. Uh, friendlies are moving into that factory. Roger, copy, relay. Roger, you're right on the white phosphorus center and engage it. For now, let's keep off of the uh, the factory. Man, this is Talon. We've picked up phase one. Roger, factory, no target. Sorry, guys. I know Waiting I'm not giving order. you much to work with. I wonder if I should uh, monitor both channels. I'm trying. It's just that uh, I'm yeah, not getting any guys, direction on where fire support's needed. Hey, all stations, this is Savage 7. If you need fire support, mark it in red with a TRP and a number and just Savage tell me Seven and I'll Eagle. get it on uh, station for you. Eagle, Savage 7, send it. Uh, was not last known position. Rob 1, Ground Forces. Rob 1, Pass LZ Yankee. Over. We're trying to take the next hard point. Spooky, Savage 7. I really do think it's 6 9, but I don't know for sure. Mark on map, uh, grid ref 0 4. Team leads, are we going on, on 7 0 or 6 9 here? 7 0 should be the everything. Yeah, Roger seven, that, zero. 7 0 it is, right? Yeah, no, it's 7 0. 7 0, Rocket. Okay, 7 zero. 7, re radio relay if you can to Spooky, because I've got him 1 out of 5. Uh, seen uh, for approximate location moving now, 3 clicks out. Roger, copy all. Spooky, Savage 7, uh, the uh, gunship is moving out towards that, sp that spooky crash marker to look for survivors. Copy, relay, one time survivor possibly in the area is going to be Don, he is on short range capability. Roger, excellent. Um, to Scarface, or correction, to Eagle 1, there is one... Packs still on the ground. That is Ghost Rider Dawn. Understood. Savage Seven, seven will try to locate out. Savage Seven, this is uh, Scarface. Uh, request permission to go help at uh, Spooky Crash Site. Out. Scarface, that's fine for now. Just be ready to to fall back to our position as soon as we get any requests for uh, for uh, air support. A firm. Eagle Falcon. Go ahead, Falcon. You'd be able to reach right, Rocket on I need somebody on my range. right side because uh, it's not a diamond. Up. Situation right now is that we had a bird down up by Leghorn and yeah. I got assets going to get him. 
I do not know what's going on with my team fire. To the team Alaska, and so they got hit by friendly fire. You've got to be careful when you call air support directly like that. You need to make sure that I'm letting the team know, or you're letting the team know. Yeah, I, d I guess I, That's all right. I just need more consistent just, just, just markers okay. from them or comms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Just keep moving. Where's our security element now? Where's Rocket? They should be in a diamond right around us and they're not Wait, yeah. Savage, Alaska. Back to the is now clear. Proceed to screen bed in minutes. You just need to reel my casualties over. Wave off on the right line. One of uh, course is Rob wants took a bit of a licking. Half strength on front line reinserts so, uh, trailing in now. Uh, yeah. Okay, and is somebody from Rocket in front of us? Uh, like, I know he's got someone well, around here somewhere. What's wrong with this Rocket team? They're just fucked. My excuse is is nine hours. <laughs> I am. Yeah. Uh, here they are. Here they are. Ah, okay, so they are right. Yeah. yeah. No, they. We were told to come to the bunker, and then there was no one right. here. Lads, lads, lads. No, you're supposed to be in a diamond shape around me, uh, but I, I don't know why. But you can't yeah. command me. You see this man? You see seven, this seven, very, Falcon. Very lovely looking man right here. Falcon yeah. seven, seven. Hello, all forces, all forces. Roger, this is command. Be advised. Make sure you uh, have between teleport has been moved to Lima Zulu Yankee. On the I said Lima Zulu Yankee. Savage, acknowledge over. I see Turnpike. Acknowledge, on the map. Rob One, teleport moved. Roger, all along that road. Savage, acknowledge. Uh, uh, Call signs as you move across and through your objectives. Roger, mark understood. Off cross with a red cross when they're when they're dead. All stations, this is Savage 7. I've marked enemy infantry to the south near LZ, near Point Turnpike. Do I have, uh, am I cleared to put ordnance on that? Do we Savage have any troops seven. in there? This is Over. Eagle. Eagle Savage then, 7. I'm currently orbiting around Turnpike. I can confirm infantry. Don't know the proximity of friendly troops there. Over. Roger, I think we can. Probably assume to the south there that we're we're clear to use anything that's not rockets. I don't know if you have mini guns or anything like that. Most of our troops are concentrated, uh, moving westward. Keep it to the south of that road, kind of where that red line is. If you do engage, copy that. Uh, unfortunately, I've only got a grenade launcher or a white box rocket. Break Falcon just hit it. Roger Falcon. I'm just not getting any response from any of the guys when I ask them, so we're just going to have to be ultra conservative on Alaska what we Savage, use. Uh, sit rep. Yeah, that's understood. Out. Over, Major. Savage, Alaska, send your message over. Yeah, can I have a sit rep on your location, over? Savage, Alaska, we've literally just set off east from the factory room. We are moving down the hill now, over. Roger that. Yeah, down towards stream bed. Uh, Savage Alaska confirmed moving towards the bed. Out. Roger that. Uh, the, uh, break, uh, Rub 1, uh, sit rep. Reinforced for uh, our reinforcements. Taking contact from our southeast. Racking its position, Oscar A. I've got Roger that. When you get to the north hold, side of that road, um, and, and make sure you're holding the right flank as, uh, Alaska moves up from stream bed to north bunkers because they've got a steep climb through difficult terrain. I just want you guys to be I got a lot uh, of comms going right now. I will let you know if I hear any problem. requests for air support, but uh, for now, it sounds like right flank towards HQ. There's friendly somewhere yeah, in that Roger, area. I think uh, they're to the north flank. Copy out. Uh, break, uh, Roger, they're Talon, just uh, on the north side of that road. Then, what's your location? South side of. Uh, Talon is held up at uh, I'm gonna hold off. Turnpike. Rog. Um, Pike sounds good actually. So if you could make your way towards West Bridge, what's the situation at the moment? You're being hit from the west. Uh, we are being hit uh, by sporadic enemy uh, advances to the southeast on our pause. Southeast, roger that. Uh, suggest you break contact, move north, uh, get up back towards the blue line that you've got, and then and then uh, hook back towards the West Bridge. So just just break contact from the the enemy down there. We need to get you close back into the team. Talon copies. Making contact. Talon Savage Seven. I can I can light up that rear with Willie Pete rockets, grenade launcher, whatever you need. 
but I would do it south of the road. Do you have all your forces to the north of that uh, improved road? Unimproved road. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Savage 7, this is Eagle over. Great, this is great. This is Eagle, seven, Savage 7. Uh, spotted two times, MI2 on the deck inside the enemy compound near the HQ. Roger that. Roger that, watch the flank targets. Rob, has anybody reached the HQ yet? Okay, Roger. Hold fire on HQ. There are friendlies close by. Understood. Uh, we may want to capture off and kill said MI2s. Raj, we'll let the uh, we'll let the infantry guys worry about that for now. If they do take off, then you can knock them out of the sky. Understood. Out. Eagle, this is uh, Savage Seven. Did you have any luck finding Ghost Rider? That's a negative, unfortunately. Uh, I think he'd already um, bit, his, bit the bullet before I arrived. I think he'll be back in the air with Spooky shortly, hopefully. Understood. Spooky, Savage 7, you got any copy on that? Hey, from uh, I'm just trying to, uh, to uh, cancel oh, Brett. Callan is about 150 away from West Bridge marker. How copy? Yeah, good copy. Uh, West Bridge is a good place to stop. Once you get there, uh, Consider in the moving into truck park. In the Cobra, we're going to just free fire. You're pretty close to have friendlies. Where you just fired. Fired. Talon picking up uh, West Bridge Park now. Hell. Roger that, holding fire now. Roger that. Okay, Who else is on top, Sagan? This is Rob 1. Oscar 8 is held. A threat. lot of fucking counterattack. Yeah, yeah Roger that. Uh, Talon moving into truck park very soon to support your south. Rob 1 is... Sorry, is that Rob 1? Where are you? You're yeah, Oscar, yeah, 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 right. fucking Oscar, Roger, 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 Rocket, we're moving up to uh, baseline Bravo, 100 points to our south. Alright, uh, make sure eggs sitting still, whale on me, we're gonna play that. I'm on the covey frequency, damn it. No, that's what I'm supposed to be on. Egg, uh, keep on my left. Egg, keep in mind we've This is Sheriff Ace, RTB, going off station. Uh, guy, should just do a bit of recon. Okay, Roger. Uh, Fill back in on his left and let's get moving. Where are we going, Egg? Yeah, Just yeah, so I have a. You see, you see that really big bunker ahead of us at 150? Yeah. We're going to go and occupy that position. Hey, fam. But don't dash too fast because we could get hit yeah, yeah. in this valley with a big formation. Let's get, let's get some of your guys on uh, so we've got a little bit more in the front. Alright. I've been trying to get air support right, yeah, on yeah, station. They're all ready, but I'm getting no eagle. fire missions from anybody. Alright, so just try and unfuck them, Sam. Keep going. Eagle Savage 7. I have eyes on a great Negative. smoking We've two facilities on, uh, on the northern uh, end uh, of the uh, AO. Uh, rejoin us and just keep your eyes open. You have eyes on, say again, what? Purple, right, great. Let's take this, uh, right, great let's, uh, smoke. Roger, I, I'm getting no comms on it. I'm gonna keep trying to unfuck these guys here. Copy that, Savage 7. Uh, eagle out. Stations, again, this is Savage 7. You need, If you need fire seven, support, seven. then mark it on the map with red, and then let me know where it is, and I'll get it for you. I have a F4 Phantom and a Huey Hog on station. <laughs> Requiring fire assistance, red line south to north, put it to the east of that red line. Requiring Roger, guns. east of the red line, guns from the Phantom. Okay, Falcon, reference HQ, south to north, to the east of that red line. I need 20, 20 mic mic. Uh, Talon, pause rep. Uh, this is Talon, we're still uh, holding the west bridge, ready to move. Roger, Roger that, 20 mic mic on that line. Over. 
Truck park is held to the from east of the line. I say again, to the east of the right, line. Yeah, we're just to your north, and we've got uh, what's they called Rub One are in uh, Oscar Eight, correct? Uh, Last Rub station. One. I have. I have the F4 Phantom in, rolling, rolling in shortly. Make sure you're hey, firm. Spooky Sabre Seven. Mark your white phosphorus. Okay, stand by is, uh, orbiting now. Orders. We're gonna Standing rub one, targets. you're gonna move to the stage HQ. Alright, A-Firm, um, call, okay, pull west, pull west. Okay, Mark, pull west, pull west. Uh, we've got fire support coming in. Roger, in white phosphorus so not seen anywhere near that line. Bunker, alternatively, and get your head down. Uh, Falcon, uh, this is Eagle. I think he was anything east right, of Red Line. In the bunker, we've got a uh, airport coming into our east. So uh, just make sure you get your head down. Good. Roger, rolling in. Uh, support, call him when you finish your strike so we can begin to move again. Roger, they're rolling in right now. Call when finished. Is that good effect on target? Good effect on target. Are we, are we good? Good effect on target. Wave off. Let the guys move up. A firm, you're good to move up. Falcon, no target. Command, was there a movement order given for talent? Nothing of value was lost. Nag, uh, we have to hold because we were taking a lot of fire from our own air. Falcon's unit. got uh, multiple reds. Just stand by. That'd be north Red. of the black smoke. Uh, so Falcon, I'm giving a movement Eagle, order, order, order which is Rock 1 to push forward uh, and take HQ. Break. No target. Uh, Alon, uh, push forward to take position with 12 Break. Right. Last target, we'll push smoke. forward from stream bed to north bunker. I'll copy three, three, three teams. Last one copy. copy is pushing now. Talent copy is pushing. Roger, all teams move out. Uh, Rocket, you're with me. We'll just continue moving and uncovering the back. Savage 7, Savage 7, Alaska 1 0. Bad red smoke, bad red smoke. Uh, east, east on north east. Bunker. Cease fire on red smoke, cease team fire team on red smoke. Roger, Roger, I relayed that. Cease fire on red smoke. Can I request all frags held? All frags do not throw frags. Again, cease fire on red smoke. Eagle is not engaging red smoke at present. Out. Falcon, do not engage red smoke. Spooky did not engage us. Roger, excellent. For now, focus on the outskirts, you guys. There's our flanks around the AO are bound to have huge movements of enemies. See if you can interdict them before we get hit. Savage Yakko, this is Alaska. Northern bunkers are clear. Moving on the east bunkers now. Sorry. I got to. Emergency call there, but I will elect whale. You can just hold those four guys with you if you can hold the east. Everyone else, okay, that's fine. Rub one, how copy you have enemies to the wall to our east, okay, just make uh, to your west. Um, holy shit, <laughs> seven, 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 seven. This is the last of one. I am mean, taking fire from the spooky. So, Get him to wave off over spooky. Wave off. You are hitting friendly forces. You are hitting friendly forces. Roger, I relayed. Falcons, uh, RTB. I give you off station for minutes. I'm here, Spooky, this is Savage Seven. You're hitting friendly forces on last uh, splash. Copy. Yeah, and this line here, just push forward. That's good. Spooky, this is Eagle. As many guns as we can at the front. Set. Uh, be advised. Uh, missile strike. Missile strike. Break. Uh, Savage Yak, this is Alaska. Uh, mini guns are now of, clear. Uh, so it's spooky or incendiary. They cause flash damage. Hey! Alaska, uh, uh, Roger. Uh, so you say north bunkers is terminated. North side is where the whole time is. North side is where the whole time is. are now clear of enemy presence. We're getting sporadic. I can't hear a word you're saying. I'm sorry. Correction, south side. I'll type it. Eagle has no eyes at this time. Friendly forces are in the AO. I'm not engaging. Out. Do you need a uh, ride from Eagle? Roger, let's have you uh, move to position okay. we the, uh, get to an HQ. Stand by for location. This one was fired from P-12 uh, area. Hello, Savage Alaska in contact. Say again, over. Roger, guys. Guys. move to position, Ridge Alpha, and hold position. I, I can't di differentiate between anybody's comms right now. <laughs> Ridge Alpha and hold. Alaska copies out.
Rob one, uh, sit rep. Is Fox a sit rep? Rob one, sit rep. Is Fox a sit rep? Oh, right, okay. Uh, so you're, you, you, need, you need some help, you? Uh, we're city clearing right now, if you can call Hots a city, they're coming out the fucking woodwork, both literally and proverbially. Roger, Roger Rocket's uh, gonna move up, uh, I just need to check, yeah, what, wait one. Uh, break Talon, um, are you, how, what's your position now? All air assets for now, stick on the outskirts, Talon. like I said, of Savage. the AO, try and focus on any Incoming Never. troops and interdict. Speaker will keep us out for boats. I know that's not the uh, most we'll desirable we'll... thing for you to hear, but I'm just trying to keep us uh, from doing hurting our own guys. We're doing good. Okay. Good copy. copy. Understood. Eagles holding IP uh, at the factory at present, hovering here. Roger, understood, Eagle. You're holding right now at the factory. Oh, shit. Eagle, you focus on defending that northern AO if you can. Spooky, you just keep eyes around in general. And Falcon, you focus on south of that red line if there's anything. And I will tell you guys if I get additional fire missions for you. I think. Spooky, good cop. We're gonna focus uh, mainly looking at the river for anything in the river. Since we get good eyes on the orbit. Sounds good. Something's obviously going on with my key bar. It's fine. Yeah, sorry, I don't have a long range, so I'm. Um... Eagle, copy last. Uh, we'll uh, circle around the north area. Keep that cut clear. Out. Yeah, right. Roger, Eagle. Alright, take us there, Diggs. Alright, okay. Uh, uh, so, so no. just wait, just wait. Give me two seconds. Can you, are you able, yeah, are you able to beat, can you be an RTO? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Alright, um. Egg, what channel are you on? Uh, long range. Seven, 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 70. 70. Uh, 70, go. Right, Air assets, be advised, we have friendly, uh, who have captured an enemy truck, an enemy troop transport. Copies. Uh, here is now my Seven station. Seven, spooky, immediate, uh, fast mover, MiG-21. Okay, that's uh, that's all you, Falcon. What's direction? It's heading north, did a low flyby over the AO. Falcon, break off and intercept if you're equipped for it. Sup? Uh, unknown at Falcon Station. Which yeah, position yeah. is this? Position yeah. is this? That's right. This is, um... We're currently on GR 1137. Hey, Rudy. No, this is something completely different. As you can tell by the AC-47 in the sky. Right, P-12 for Dream. We're taking a bit of fucking heat over there. Uh, Talon, this is, uh, Savage. Are you in contact? Over. Falcon, this is Savage 7. Talon on 7-0. Are you picking up over? 7, this is Eagle. Eagle 7-7. Seven, seven. I, no uh, I believe uh, Falcon may have had to step away from the keyboard perhaps a bit. Okay, roger that. Understood. Well, good luck to you guys up there. If, they get, if it gets too hot with the MiG, then get below the tree canopy and just uh, hide for a while. Copy, the MiG-21 is doing low flybys over the AO currently. The last visual was west-southwest. Oh, uh, command reading, command Roger reading. Send message. Position B to There's a certain amount of chaos involved in this that you just can't expect yourself to be perfect. <laughs> yeah, Roger, which which call sign is this? This is Rub 1, Rub 1, Rub 1. Rub 1, Roger. So you're in 12. We're going to move with Rocket to Elipad. I'm still out of contact with Talon. I'm sending runners to try and locate them. Over. You should have, you should now have um, Alaska at Ridge Alpha to your November Echo. 
Hello, Sammy, this is Alaska. Seven. I think I am in the bunker structure oh, immediately the to the game. eastern side of Ridge Alpha. Uh, re yeah, roger. Disregard. Eastern side of P12. It is clear. Have a... Yeah, roger that. Good job, yeah. guys. So we'll just hold. We're going to move to helipad and we'll hold there. And we just need to find talent and, re and get them to regroup. So all teams just do all Spooky, round Spooky, Savage 7, any more eyes on that enemy MiG? Over. Savage out. A firm just did a northwest to southeast uh, pass over you. All right, all right Roger. I, I'm not sure what to do about that if we don't have our fixed on fixed wing on station. Okay, we got an enemy MiG flying over us and Falcons off station. I don't know what happened to them. In the vicinity, a manpower was launched at us. Got rid of the diamond. Just warn the helicopters if you if you if they don't already know. Yeah, I already do. We have found Talon. Talon is on the other side of the uh That's probably that MIG. <laughs> they are on by the helicopter. <laughs> there goes eyes on MIG. Unfortunately I have nothing to engage. I need to that good, on board. Good job. Could you try to get them onto frequency seven? Spooky, when they're outside of the uh Savage? AO, do you think you could harass that thing and get it to uh fuck off? Okay, Roger. I understand. Yeah, yeah, as soon uh, as we get Falcon back on the station, then no, we'll be able no, to do no. something. But for now, can't really do anything. Yep. I'll send whale back Copy to last you. seen visual was uh, west northwest being chased by Eagle. Right. Okay. Roger. So let's go and take the helipad. That's the rise above us. Savage Seven, this is Alaska. You know what I'm about to say. Over. A dream I do have a long Alaska way Savage go, uh, 7. 70. Send it. Roger that. Simply will be back for you. Thank you, Simply. Yeah, no problem. Past first. Okay, Egg, uh, I heard you pushed our RTO onto um, Talon. That's fine. Yeah, we've got. Just, just we've got yeah, we've got okay, backup so RTO. The rest of your guys? Uh, his name is Simply. Spooky, right. this is Sav oh, Savage 7. Uh, stand by for tasking. Copy, stand by. Let's go. Let's go. I am now your RTO, so I'll be in contact with the lead. I got any sort of bombs? I got breaching charges. All right, if you've got anything that lead, uh, where do you want talent? Seven, seven, this is spooky. You have a boat in the water east side. So you have a boat uh, in the water east savage, side. Uh, what's your current position, over? Is that enemy boat? Uh, Talon is currently Unknown, by the, the enemy helos. Uh, if boat. it's not a U.S. made, Roger, then knock boat. it out. Eagles engaging. Oops. Jesus, man. We're standing right here. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it's been a long day. Sorry, guys. Eagle Savage 7, boat is totaled. Sorry. Sorry. That was my bad. I meant to hit place mine, not touch off mine. Alright, I'm touching off that other one. Fire in the hole. Rope one. There we go. Bridge Alpha is under the control of Alaska. Bridge Bravo in pole one. Alaska, this is Savage 7. I got Spooky on standby for you. And also, I need someone southeast. Please, no. Someone northeast. Savage 7, this is Alaska. Roger. He's very close. He's going to be within like 300 meters of me. So, um,. Could you get him Thank working you. the southern road for me rather than directly over my head, Ever? Roger, A firm. The southern road is that Ridge Bravo type area, Ridge Bravo South Bunker. Is by, Ridge uh, Bravo is occupied by friendlies. Ridge Alpha is occupied by friendlies. Savage 7, this is Alaska. By southern road, I mean the road coming out of uh, the Oscar 8 target on the turnpike. Grid square 081101. Over. Roger, understood. Spooky, this is Savage 7. For now, work the target south of the enemy infantry marker with the red horizontal line and try and uh, see if you can spot enemy forces there. Copy, I spot a boat in the water on the south side. Multiple boats in the water. South this side. is Savage 7 on the south side. We have multiple boats in the water. Do we have any friendly boats? Copy, over that's the uh, Eagle Green south side. You guys have eyes on boats in the water? Eyes, guys. Negative on friendly boats. Ignore them. They do not concern you yet. Tell your helo pilots to ignore the boats. There okay. Are boats Air assets, ignore the boats right now. Over. 
you know, give us a chance to try Adam to spawn stuff in. We are to ignore the boats. Would you like to tell the ones that are shooting at us about that? These are not the boats you're looking for. I uh, I don't know what to tell you other than these are not the boats you're looking for, according to our fearless overlords. Understood. They make use of targets to force my my grenade. No enemy boats. I've lost Rob entirely. No enemy boats. Hello, Savage. Savage. This is. Come on. I have lost Rob entirely. Hello, Savage, Savage, this is... Come on. Yeah, Savage, uh, I'm talking on command. Can you not hear me? Um, I am command. I could oh, not command, hear so you. This is Savage. Yeah, sorry, I've replied a few times. Okay, I'm here. Uh, be advised, from what we can see from the air, it looks like you have cleared out the place. Um, it's going to take a while to get you picked up. Could you form a defensive perimeter facing uh, west? Defensive perimeter Oops. facing west. Uh, okay, Eagle, get on combat air patrol to the west extra, extra of the MSR moving uh, south to north. Uh, I'm going to draw a line for you. I want you to um, both look for when we, when enemy aircraft and uh, enemies on the ground spooky same thing everything to the west of the ao west of lz x-ray repeat order for rob one we're taking contact of lz x-ray south across the east side of the river opposite the shoreline you have contact shooting at you guys move to east bunkers when i give the go uh how copy seven seven roger if they're on the east side of the river spooky you are Clear to engage. Copy, east side of the river, clear to engage. Eagle, you focus on the west side. Copy that, patrolling from the position you missed your way down to LZ X-ray. We've got Spooky engaging uh, enemy troops across the river right now, and uh, another a helicopter patrolling the west flank. Talon, your movement will be to take, uh, to, to occupy position Ridge Alpha. I'll copy. That one copies. And Rocket will move to position Ridge Delta. Savage, Alaska, interrogative. Do you want us moving now or waiting for your go over? He, he's only dead inside. Yeah, you're waiting for my go. Okay, all, all call signs are ready to move, so let's move, guys. Six, this is seven. I'm just trooping the line right now. I lost contact with you, so I'm sticking with our line units in Rub One. Seven, say again. I've lost you, so I'm sticking with Rub One. What's that? We're good. Don't worry about it. What, what was that, Rub One? We, we've just left helipads and we're heading for Ridge uh, Delta. Delta. I was talking to the commander. I'm actually more effective out here, I think, because I can actually spot what we're looking at. Um, why am I... I what? What, hello? Eagle, this is uh, Savage Seven. Any uh, any contact on that west side? Uh, no contact at present. Over. Roger, Tango Mike, keep it up. The the enemy is uh, likely to come from both directions, so keep on station. And if you need to request support from uh, Spooky, let us know. This is Savage 7. We've got Spooky on station. We've got Eagle on the west side. Let me know where you need him. Hey, from Spooky, I've got a fire mission for you. Send it. Put it. Put a uh, red marker on the map with TRP and just let me know where you need it. Do you see the red arrow on the eastern bank from Pen 1? Hey, firm. 
Give me a rocket run on the elephant grass. I don't know what the fuck's in there. Eagle, I need you to divert around the south side. Come south to north. You'll see a red arrow on the eastern bank. Rocket run through there. There is some kind of enemy forces there. Alaska 2, this is Savage 6. Did you say Savage 7? Understood. Eyes on. Make it two seconds. Last calling station, this Everybody is Savage 7. I just got done with a tasking. Send your traffic. Savage 7, this is Alaska 2. We are at the eastern bunkers. Yes. However, at the east bunkers, however, another squad has come to join us. Are we holding it by ourselves or with them over? Uh, that was Rub 1. Our orders will go to a Pen 1. Uh, Alaska to Roger. Dear Lord. Uh, Talon has a whole shit ton of droppers over all our entire unit. Those are tigers. They are all tigers. This is Savage, we're in contact. Oh, this is an unconventional war. Hey, Spooky, there's a whole fuck ton of paratroopers. If you get low, just light those suckers up. Are we gonna engage on our rear? They are flying tigers. Uh, we have para-dropping tigers. Get to okay, oh yeah, my god. <laughs> to the skies, to the skies. Savage 10, this is Eagle. Multiple parachutes, multiple parachutes. Yeah, Eagle, uh, it's been nice serving with you. There's like a thousand tigers jumping in on our position. Server dead. Server dead. Well, that was ended. <laughs> My whole game crashed. Good times, y'all. <laughs> yeah, me too. Armor now, 3 has exited in an unusual we manner. Did. Yeah. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> I just had enough. Way to go, Dolly. Maybe it has so to do with the uh, hundred or so tigers coming down from the sky. Not, not only tigers, but parachuted tigers. <laughs> Wait, did it, imagine they, they, they were tigers. tigers. Imagine tigers. tigers. Imagine the sheer amount of trauma the that these tigers now have to go through therapy for, you bastards. A new stage in warfare has emerged. <laughs> so, where did they get the wing parachutes from, the <laughs> 275 square War. foot? War sometimes yeah. changes. Yeah, Apparently the black market didn't want them anymore. I do not so envy they, they whoever had to put us. the tigers in those harnesses. <laughs> I, I, I'd like to know how how did the Vietnamese weaponize tigers and how did they do so in the They weaponized they, everything, they, man. They, they, they knock out the tigers Lovely and as they're coming to, they shoot, they just shove them out the back of the plane. <laughs> how'd they get the plane? They, 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 yeah, they knock them out in the harness. Like, yeah, out, they're in the cages. Load them in the yeah. harness. Circus tigers. They're still there we go. You're not anymore because I have muted everyone other than the top six of us. Excellent. So, uh, going to do a quick debrief, or what was the situation? With tigers. We have literally just crashed Serger. Debrief. So, yes. As you can tell, you successfully took the objective way quicker than we expected, mainly because we couldn't spawn in enough to slow you all down due to frames. Because um, if we'd gone for many more people, uh, if we'd gone for many more people, we would have literally dropped you all down to no frames, and we didn't want to do that. So we just literally went. Okay, we're going to end this on a high. We're going to parachute in. Tigers. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. You know, it, this has been a interesting challenge, I will say, for myself. And I just want to say a massive thank you to my co -Zeuses. Um So, yeah, thank you to Whiplash, Quebec, Windwalker, and Merc. They were absolutely amazing. Thank you to you all. And um, yes, so Rob, as the overall command, I will let you carry on. Yeah, well, thanks for the Tigers. Thanks for the uh, missions today. That's been <laughs> fa a fantastic uh, 10, 11 hours of fun. Um, and thanks to all your Zeuses who did such a fantastic job um, on behalf of everyone. 
thank you guys take a bow and thank you everybody uh, in terms for joining of debrief, the well that was a good mission i mean basically I, I i kind of should have put phase lines on at the beginning but i you know i i, I got into that and put them in later uh, the teams moved really well, covered each other's flanks really well. A couple of friendly fire accidents due to commo glitches uh, between me and me and I, so apologies for that. Um, but yeah, and then we lost contact with Talon because their RTO was dead, uh, and I sent runners down and re-established contact, and then we were all good again. So I felt pretty good about that. All the teams were commoing really well, and they were moving really well, and you didn't seem to have too many trouble uh, dealing with your, your contacts and reporting back, so uh, well done. Uh, that's all I've got to say. Really, it was a it was a well well uh, well delivered mission. Thanks to the um, individual squads being, you know, fit to to run autonomously and uh, deliver the goods. So yeah, well done. Good Patrick times. Back. Oh, wow. Okay, I will release the talk power now. I hope everyone enjoyed themselves. Anyway, that was great. Absolutely. Yeah, we really It did. was good fun. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah, yeah. Great fun. Good. Yeah. If, yeah. Thank you, everyone. If, if some of enjoyed. us seem a little bit sort of down in the mouth, it's just because we were up till 5 a.m. playing and then got up playing for 11 hours. So it's just... It was just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of us have done the same. <laughs> yeah. Can, can, can I just it's add? I've just... Aeon. Stop whining. I've just got a message from Spoffy saying server was heartily murdered. It full on hard crashed. Wow. <laughs> I, uh, uh, that's what I 500 so tigers will do to you. I went to bed. The tigers did it. Sir, I got my tiger. Last night I went to bed. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and mute those jokers there. And uh, we are index. For today thank you so much everybody holy cow that was some serious stress levels for arma that i've never had before but i felt like it was a great learning experience i learned a lot about the not only the ov10 itself but the role of it in a uh, covey fac role and it was uh, really really cool I have never done anything like that in Arma before, so I was really glad to be able to share that with everybody. If you haven't already, check out the cause below in the description. We are doing this all for a good cause. It's for uh, military and veteran welfare, uh, for specifically sh helping people develop plans to manage their stress resilience. And that is incredibly important for veterans. Um, it's something that all of us know in some degree, many of many more than others. Uh, but uh, anyway, yeah, very important cause. Check it out and uh, consider donating if you have some extra money. They, I think they said around $35 can connect one veteran with uh, the resource that they need. Um, today we raised, it sounded like over $15,000 for the charity, which is excellent. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing who gets uh, selected for that badass SOG, MACV SOG PC. And uh, I think that'll be announced sometime soon, probably on the Savage Discord. For me, I need to end what we're doing here because I am so hungry right now. I have been pretty much sitting at my computer for the last... 11 hours so um i appreciate all you guys sticking with it joe uh and uh chris austin and uh all you guys it was a blast let's see who else um omega yeah definitely omega who else i saw brit in there harry was coming in of course draw was coming in draw was rocking the fact roll in the beginning uh, Miller at the beginning too. It was really fun to hear from you. Allie who donated $70. Oh my God. Wow. That's pretty amazing. Good for her. Um, I think that is a great cause to support and I'm excited about that. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much. See you sometime soon. Have a wonderful